to size uh, Z here. Uh, and you've got the American sizes as well. So sizes um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 33. You'll probably, most rings you'll make between sizes five and uh, 10 though. So that, that they're 10 to be yours. 59.99 for you today. Well done. You've got your interest-free split payments. Loads of people there That's of 29.99. It's a brilliant. I mean, to have all of this in one bundle for yeah. one price is great, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is a fantastic price. And you know that lovely, the lovely ring mandrel, which is looks really decorative. Mm. It's a nice one to take out with you to craft fairs yeah. for people. I generally use the the smaller. Um, aluminium one yes. to hammer on and work yes. on and then a nice one to take out so I can you yeah. know. one for best yeah one for best <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous well done um, brilliant well done loads of people coming through for that that's great well done um, right okay star by coming up now time for uh, amazing um, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise have a look at this Do you know something? We've, we love uh, being able to bring you all these different things. And uh, do you see what we mean today? There is something for absolutely everyone today. Really, really affordable kits at bundle prices with uh, free strands. Loads of incredible mandrels and hopefully, uh, you know, us talking through them and, 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 and Gemma kind of demoing and showing you how to set these up has made it a lot easier. The wire crinkler tool, it's brilliant. But we want to be able to bring you loads of wonderful gemstones as well. And we've got Santa Maria Aquamarine coming up uh, in, about, in about 10 minutes time, which is wonderful. But I've also got another gemstone as well that I want to introduce you to. And if you've heard of this gemstone, then you will know, um, um, arguably, you know, the kind of prices this gemstone can, uh, uh, the kind of prices it can reach. Um, I am, of course, talking about Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Now, we had a little showcase on this gemstone the other day, and it absolutely flew. Um, what we're looking at... Um, is a variety of turquoise which is world famous and it's said to be the closest thing to the original Turkish stone um, uh, which is where turquoise gets its name from mined in the Sinai Peninsula um, in, in kind of Persia that's that's the kind of region that we're talking about the quality of this incredible gemstone is undeniable and turquoise depending on where you get it from whether it's from china or tibet or even different mines within the usa because the usa is famous for its turquoise it can all look wildly different it can have more greens in it more blues in it turquoise is famous for having a matrix and it's just due to the the rock that it forms from and that matrix is more prevalent in certain varieties of turquoise than others. So uh, Bisbee turquoise, which is from, uh, I think it's from Arizona, actually, Bisbee, uh, the Bisbee mine. It's got loads of inclusions running through it. Lots and lots and lots of inclusions, lots and lots of um, uh, beautiful uh, matrix running through it. Um, you can also get, though, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, which is famously pretty much devoid of any inclusions. You will get the old one, but pretty much devoid of any inclusions. Now, today is the 4th of July. It's Independence Day mm -hmm. uh, over in the States. Um, uh, happy Independence Day if you are watching us over in the States today. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic uh, national holiday over in the US. And what better way of, of celebrating that than bringing you Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. This gemstone is legendary. Now, sliding class bracelets. They're one of our biggest selling items here on Jewelry Maker. They are brilliant. Very simply, very easily, with very little jewelry making knowledge and confidence, you can make a very professional looking piece of jewelry by using this incredible bracelet. So if I show this to you, you've got here rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. Uh, you've got two little loops here and within these loops you can put whatever you want there. You can put Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, you can put diamonds, Santa Maria, Aquamarine, whatever it might be. Um, gorgeous, why not? Um, this little ball here slides up and down the bracelet and it means that it's one size fits all. And of course the beauty of that is you, you don't need to know someone's wrist size, you don't need to know 
um, uh, what size uh, anybody uh, likes to wear their uh, uh, bracelets, whether they like them loose or tight, because of course they can make that decision themselves. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could offer you a sliding clasp bracelet with some turquoise in? Mm -hmm. Any turquoise? Sleeping Beauty turquoise. This is one of the most beautiful examples of this gemstone. Take a look at this. The colour, the intensity, the quality you are getting here is absolutely superb, isn't it? That's gorgeous. It's absolutely superb. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. Lovely. Have a look at this. Now, we are at 79.99. And you might think, well, hang on, sliding class bracelets on Jewelry Maker, they're normally, they're normally a little bit more conservatively priced than that. Well, yeah, but this has got Sleeping Beauty turquoise in. But guess what? You're not just getting the bracelet, you are also getting this incredible strand to go with it. Oh, wow. Oh, my word. That's beautiful. You are getting genuine, natural, sleeping beauty turquoise faceted rondelles as well. On the strand, you are getting here two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Individually hand faceted Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, the Fallen Sky Stone, said to be the perfect marriage of Mother Earth and Father Sky, the gemstone of Native American tribes people, the most incredible colour the most legendary variety of turquoise the world has ever known. And we are at $79.99. It's not your price. We are taking this down today. And anyone who comes through to get this, you are getting the most sensational deal for genuine Sleeping Beauty turquoise. $34.99. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That, that is amazing. How is that under 50 pounds? <gasps> I mean, that's crazy. I mean, I, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be able to handle Sleeping Beauty turquoise, you know, quite often here at Jewelry Maker. The mine closed back in 2014. And I have to say, even I'm looking at this and thinking, that can't, that, that, that can't be right. No, that's that incredible. That can't be right. <gasps> I mean, that would be incredible. Are you ready for an utterly fantastic Monday morning? Uh, you called it what? Quartzy? What does quartzy mean? Oh, I see the kit. It's a bit quartzy. I get it, I get it, I get it. Well, um, we have some fantastic, fantastic designs for you. Some incredible inspiration. Um, but it'll be impossible, impossible not to have that when you have this fabulous gentleman to my right. It's Mark Smith, everybody. <laughs> Good I'm still coming down from Saturday night. Saturday you know night. Something? Oh, I never, yes, I never yes. watch football. I never watch football. But I decided I'll be really patriotic this year and watch all of the England games. Did you? Right. And it's a clean sweep so far. I know. We're doing they've well. Either, they've either drawn or won. And yep. I, think, I think I'm a good little mascot, so I'm going to keep, keep on watching. watching. Yes. Definitely, definitely keep watching. Yes. I was um, wrestling with a naughty Tiggy on Saturday night, so oh, I didn't no. see much of it. But no, it was very yeah. exciting. It, yes. Mm. Um, 
Uh, so I hear, like I said, my yes. husband went to watch it. But this is exciting, went isn't it? Went to watch it? Well, no, 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 no. To oh, the, oh. Went to the pub to watch it. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> he went to the pub. Right. Yeah, let's correct right. that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, before we get anywhere, mm. um, and mm. I know I've done this previously, Mark, but I have got an apology to make to you, haven't I? And I know I have already. Because this, <laughs> the, the, the Saturday the 24th is a pretty big deal for Mark. It's his 10th it's anniversary. Massive. I know. Yeah. It's his <laughs> Don't make me feel even worse than I already do. It's his 10th anniversary. You should hear what's going on, what they're saying about you. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's your 10th anniversary here at Jewelry Maker. It is arguably one of the, the biggest shows that you're actually going to see here. First day of International <laughs> Beading Week as well. First day yeah. of International Beading yeah. Week. Two DVD launches. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I, I messaged the group. We've got a big group WhatsApp. And I was like, oh, my goodness, guys. Uh, that was exactly what I wrote. <laughs> I have made a massive boo-boo. And they're like, what? I was like, I, I forgot to book off Willow's birthday. It's Willow's birthday on the same day. Oh, no. um, and I was like, oh, my goodness, I'm so sorry, because I've got Mark's anniversary, Willow's birthday. So I'm... Well, some person's going to win. I'm, I, would, I wouldn't miss my child's fifth birthday. F five years is a five big Five years ago. One. So I'm so yeah. sorry to be deserting you, but I know... Um, she's not getting a pony. She's absolutely <laughs> not, although she can keep asking. But I'm so sorry that I'm not going to be able to be with no, you. Be silly. But That'd I broke the news to Mark this yeah. morning. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, let's bring it closer. Yes. Let's talk about today because it's amazing. A lovely line. First thing that Liam said when I walked in the door this morning was, Have you seen the price of the kits? I know. Amazing, amazing, incredible, absolutely amazing, and beautiful yeah. as lovely. well. Those They're little lovely. rondelles, They're really nice, um, really nice. You've got your memory wire. You've got some lovely gemstones in there, and these beautiful little cubic zirconia rondelles. Before. They are just beautiful, stunning. Beautiful. Look at the jewelry yeah. that Mark's created. Mm. Now they're coming up at nine o'clock. I'm loving that beautiful waterfall necklace. They're coming up at nine o'clock. Some stunning creations, as per usual, Mark. Thank and you. as we have you on the show, one of your absolute favourite gemstones. Mm -hmm. is aquamarine we've yeah. got a little showcase of aquamarine some really yes. beautiful cuts and another of my favorites that we never see on the show and i am absolutely delighted yeah. that we've got it back in stock and it's the most beautiful hypersteen hypersteen yeah oh, amazing now they they are very, very limited because of the nature of the yes, gemstone. Yeah. Um, there are only four lines. Mm. And I have to tell you, I agree, Mark, this is uh, exceptional quality hypersteen. Yeah. Let's show everybody what I we're talking say, about. But, um, I'm a massive fan of, of if you splice two gemstones together and you get, I mean, we call them gemstone love children, mm. the love child of gemstones. And I always think that this is smoky quartz and labradorite yeah. spliced. It's, it's often just... referred to as velvet lab labradorite. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, I often didn't know referred that. to as that. It's not a labradorite, obviously, uh. but. Totally different gemstone, but it ha yeah, exactly what yes, you were saying. It's, it's got that beautiful, beautiful. Um, appearance. Yeah. So these are the four lines that we have in Hypersteen coming up at half past nine today, so just after the kits. Um, we've got less than 50 of each of those, by the way. We've also got the most amazing nucleated pearls. Let me just show you this beautiful strand that would go perfectly wow. with the Hypersteen. Look at how gorgeously spherical they yeah, are. Beautiful. Again, limited. I have to say, very, very limited. Um, so those are coming up. Nucleated pearls, high, high quality here. Um, you have also what else do we have including the show and um, we've got some amazing turquoise sorry what was that um we've got your tourmalines yes absolutely look at this lovely jewelry that liam has actually been setting um so natural tourmaline we've got the mounts so what we'll do is we'll bring you the gemstones and then we'll bring you the mounts thereafter um so you can make fine jewelry basically um with gem setting and liam's just saying very easy to actually achieve this fine jewelry as well so that's coming up as your deal of the day also i feel like i'm missing something and um, because aha 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 to your right mark we've got kits including gemstones this is something we discussed last yes, time we were absolutely. on air together yes. you can do the kiss cross with gemstones yes you can do the you can do with anything so what I'm really, really, really excited about is, can you see that middle necklace there? Yeah. We have got the most incredible bright red quartz. Lovely. Now, we always talk on the show how difficult it is to find <laughs> red gemstones. Yeah. We know that, um, that glass, red glass in seed bead world is the most expensive to produce. So I'm absolutely delighted to bring these red gemstones it, to air oh, today. They're amazing. Oh, that's so yeah. beautiful, Mark. 
absolutely it's beautiful um, well it's also your viewers choice this hour so it means we can get mm. very interactive anything that you want me to bring to air I will do um, just message in drop us a message should we get this show underway I think we're going to start with one of the uh, a gemstone that we actually don't get that frequently here at Jewelry Maker that is totally and utterly natural it's your early bird and it's rhodonite Are you ready? Beautiful road and I, a wonderful natural uh, fusion of colors from your chocolates to your sort of deep dark grays um, to this wonderful raspberry pink that's completely and utterly natural. Um, you're getting eight millimeter rounds. We used to see quite a lot of your road and I, the, um, in mm. the past, but these days we don't actually see no, it that frequently, no, no. which is a crying shame because it's such a beautiful gemstone. I mean, imagine this with maybe a few of your rose quartz actually dotted in between there. Um, certainly would complement Mark or one of Mark's nine o'clock kits. We're at 9.99 already, but is that your early bird? Is that your viewer's choice saving? Um, I'm going to say no. We're going to go even lower. We're going to give you an opportunity to get hold of natural, genuine gemstones out of viewer's choice saving. Look at those beautiful combinations of colours. I know, I knew it. <laughs> oh, my word. We've set him up already. How are we Just doing Just you that? wait, Liam says. 9 99 I thought was a bargain and a half. For Rodenite, yes. absolutely. Oh, that's crazy. Absolutely. absolutely. Look at those crazy. lovely colours and they're completely natural. You'd need so, three of those for your Marla. That would yeah. be the most amazing Marla necklace, you have You've just read my mind. That would yes. be perfect, yeah. yeah. Notting in between, but maybe I, I'd oh. go with the pink. Wow. Uh, colour and sort of create that lovely Marla style. But alongside, as I mentioned, yes. Mark's kits that are coming up in nine o'clock, there's some really beautiful rose quartz. So can you imagine that dotted in between as well, mixing up those lovely pinkish colours? That's going to work absolutely beautiful. You've got four strands and parve set rondelles in that kit. How are we doing that for the price it's going to? Um, I really Liam. don't quite understand at all. I think I would just, we'll just blame Liam. All right, okay. All Just right. blame Liam, he's totally all right <laughs> with that. Totally all right with that. Also, this will look perfect with your hypers theme that's coming up in the next hour. He's full of energy, he says. He's been doing a lot of doubles, mm. and, and he's not doing a double today, so he's going to be leaving the building in a normal hour. Do you know what we're hour. doing at one o'clock, Liam and I? One. We've got a massive planning meeting for the 24th show. <laughs> <laughs> I was meant to be there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I had that moment. I was sat on the sofa and you're just like, I I'm forgetting mm. everything at the moment. I've got so much going on. It's like chaos in my mind right now. <laughs> and top, my, my husband looked at me with disapproving. He was like, you forgot your daughter's birthday. I was like, no, I didn't no. forget. I just didn't connect the dots in ter terms of work and, and home life. So, yes, OK, I feel terrible. Texting topic, apparently, this morning. Um, what, <laughs> what, uh, what of significant importance have you forgotten? Just to make me feel all the, all the worse that I already mm. do. Yes. I think the worst thing I've ever done is I took my cat to the vet got in the vet and it was empty. The cat box was empty. I forgot to put the cat in the box. <laughs> It's such a trial taking my cats to the vets, and they know, 24 hours before, they know that they're going to the vets. <laughs> <laughs> and I really seriously, the cat. with all the stress, I thought that I put the cat in the box. I didn't even worry about the light, the lightness of the box, and got to the vets. No cat. No cat in I the box. I bet they were looking at you as if to say... <laughs> Yeah, I've only done that once. How ridiculous, <laughs> honestly. Dear me. Hello to you, sorry, goodness me. You're off to a five-star Tricky Dicky. Indeed. Tricky -dicky. That's what Brain uh, calls right, our Liam. Tricky right, Dicky. Right. Oh, dear. £3.49, it's flying out the door, and there are, I can see lots and lots of Marla necklaces already being created because yes, yeah. there's threes. Uh, there's combinations of twos. Um, I'll revisit that, by the way, keep you updated. Let me just show you this beautiful strand of emerald. Emerald, genuine natural emerald. And it's going where? It's on the website currently at £24.99, which sits about right for me because it's genuine emerald. Emerald is a considered gemstone, especially oh, in its natural man. form. Um, we're going to take the full 95 carats. I'll say this only once. Under... £10 today in your viewer's choice. There you go. You can pre-order. I'd start snapping that up ASAP. It'll also go beautifully with your hypers theme, by the way. Um, so there we go. Not £24.99. In your viewer's choice today, it's going under £10. So make That's sure you... That's 10 carrots. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. Um, 
Get those requests in as well. Mark's even put a request in this morning. I have. Yeah. yeah. We'll do Can yours I... next, shall we, Mark? Can we have many of them? Number 14. Right. Probably not, because it has been a very oh, wow. uh, collect, uh, very um, popular collection. Now, I'm about to bring you some really beautiful Mystic Coated Spinel. This would be amazing wow. with your road, uh, road and I. Yeah. It would be amazing also alongside Mark's kit. 349 that's for two strands. Now, Mark, we're going to talk about all things criss Kiss Cross, aren't we? These would be perfect. Perfect for the Kiss Absolutely Cross. Absolutely perfect, yeah. <sighs> alongside the gemstones, you've got that hot red. And what I'm going to demonstrate, if I bring this necklace over here, this is... Kiss cross. That's kiss cross. Yeah. Gosh, that's kiss cross with a difference, isn't it? Massive difference. I'm gonna I'm gonna be demoing that in, oh, the, in the eleven o'clock hour. Lovely. So these yeah. would work if you they wanted would. to substitute Absolutely. your your, you your eleven o's. You could take those eleven o's with these. They'd be amazing. <sighs> the sparkle would be. Because some people prefer your gemstones. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. if you do, then that's absolutely yeah. fine. You can use these. Hi, Sue. Nice to have your company. Saying I forgot the baby in her pram outside the supermarket. <sighs> she never. She's never forgiven me. <laughs> oh, Sue, do you know? Like, I don't think you're the only person to to, to say no. that. My mum. Back in the day, certainly when when my brother was born, he's older than me, and apparently you used to park your prams outside the supermarket. That was a thing, right? Um, and yeah, she went home without the baby. Oh no! <laughs> Left Richard outside. <laughs> but uh, yeah, back in the days when it was quite normal yeah. behaviour to actually yeah. do that. So I don't think you're alone in that. So don't think you're alone in that. Three forty nine only. Look at that beautiful paparazzi luster, and of course, wonderful colours. Um, okay, let's do this for uh, for our lovely Mark. This is gonna fly. It's, beautiful. it's last in stock. Very limited. Yeah, what yeah. is it about these that you love so much? I love coated gemstones. We've had such amazing coated gemstone shows recently and they've really captured the viewer's imagination and that is just stunning it's going to go with absolutely everything it's beautiful absolutely That's stunning so lovely eight pounds and 99 pence yeah with the, i mean with the spinel that you've just had with the hypers theme that we've got oh, coming up they are on reorder during may because i can confirm that however it's probably going to be more like a, a sort of october time yeah um, we've got them in, in all sorts of colors that's very much like your mystic topaz it color is. isn't it That's you get so that beautiful. really beautiful almost metallic um with wonderful iridescence last in stock wow. so you're gonna have to be quite quick on those I mean, you have gem quality quartz here. There'd be pointless actually coating a quartz mm. which is heavily included Absolutely. or yeah, yeah. opaque. You've got gem quality quartz that's then coated with this wonderful iridescence, perfect with things like labradorite, spinel, hypersthene, of course. Um, all of the kits that are coming up in the nine o'clock hour would be sensational with as well. Um, have I got my phone on me? No. No, I don't have my, my phone. I, when do I ever bring my phone in the studio? Oh, do you want me to get my phone? It's literally in the top of my bag. Funny enough, funny enough, um, I had friends over on Saturday and she was eyeing up this. She was like, oh, I love that. Where'd you get, can you get me one? So I don't know if I can, because I think they're last in stock. It's your pop socket. I have to tell you, Liam was the person that educated me in the wonderful world of pop sockets. This is my phone, there you go. Um, and yeah, I was like, okay, what do we use that for then? Uh, it's 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 so much easier when you're typing or you know you're um, you're flicking through. You can actually use it as a stand. Let me just make sure that there's nothing on my phone. Um, here we go. So, hang on, no, nothing naughty, of course. But I'm just trying to r get rid of everything. Clear, 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 clear. There you go. So if I want to watch something on my phone then you can actually do it like so. Oh, there we go. You can watch it on screen. Need to put another little face in there now, don't I? It's a bit outdated. <laughs> uh, 9.99 only for your uh, rose quartz pop socket. And they literally, they stick to the back of your phone. There's only 10 of these left. They are genius. If there are any of them left, I'll get my friend one of these because, yeah, she was actually fancying one. You can get a pop socket, by the way, a plastic mm. one for £10. Yes, that's right. This, yeah. is, a, this yeah. is genuine rose quartz. Um, which is like permanently, as you can see, then on the back of your phone. And when you're not using it, click it down and, you know, it's all fun. We've all got them, yeah, absolutely. Every single one of the crew members have actually got one of these. Have you got one, Mark? No, no, because I've got a flippy cover. A f oh, yes. Yeah. You can still use yeah, it on your flippy yeah, cover. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, you can still oh, use no. it on there. Yeah, they are. Really genius idea. Um, hello, Marilee. Hello to you, Ruby. Hello to you, Cumbria. Hello to you, London. Hello to you, new customer. Hello to you, Pat. Hello to you, Kath. They're the perfect gift, by the way. Um, perfect gift. You know, when you, there's always people that you don't know what to buy. You don't know what to get, quite get them. Pop socket is a great idea. And the kids love them. The kids love them. My niece was like, oh, that's cool, Auntie Elle. I, like, I know. 
I know I'm cool now just because of a <laughs> pop socket just purely because of that pop socket so yeah it actually stands up like so so if you're following recipes and things like that I know you can't really call me cool um, but if you're following recipes or, or, or anything like that or um, reading a book or you're following a demonstration of course on jewelry maker then you can have it like literally propped in front of you and you can be making it along otherwise it'd be flat and it's not as easy to read then is it um, so yeah oh, that's why you asked if I got my phone in the studio no I didn't I'm a good girl I am a good girl. Um, okay, only one of those left. Let's bring you the most amazing strand of tourmaline. Want this? So beautiful, the quality of this tourmaline. Um, you're gonna have to be quick though, because apparently it's quite limited as well. Again, perfect alongside your hypersthene and also your emerald. Should we put it with the emerald? Tourmaline and emerald. Imagine that as a combination in a piece of jewelry. Isn't that stunning? Wow. Uh, Jackie, I think you've missed off a number, my darling. Um, we can't see the number you're requesting, so send us another text. £6.99 for natural multicoloured tourmaline. Um, every single one of these beautiful rounds has got a different chemical composition, each and every single one of those lovely colours. Um, you've even got bicoloured tourmaline here, in here, which is super exciting. Some of the rarest colours, um, for sure. It's on the verge of selling out already. Well done. <clears throat> Let's bring one of... Oh, yeah, it's my... Oh, well, it's both of ours. Both of our favourite gemstone. You'll love this, there Mark. Is. Look at this. Look at the quality of that colour. Six millimetre natural Russian Amazonite. The reason why I emphasise the location is because it's no longer being mined in Russia, which is a real shame because it was this quality that made it quite lit literally legendary. 9.99 for 80 carats of vibrant natural amazonite. Amazonite, if you think about jadeite, it's a beautiful gemstone, color's really important, texture as well. It has quite similar texturing to that gemstone, almost like a, a really lovely mottled-like effect. Um, and many people believe that if you look at amazonite by sunset or sunrise, it will glow. It will literally have this radiance. 9.99 only. I mean, uh, Mark, we've got those mm. lovely rondelles coming up in your oh, kit. Amazing, Can you imagine? Right? The amethyst one in particular. Oh, just beautiful. So lovely. Yeah, those, should, I, should I give some people a sneaky peek at those rondelles? They're amazing. Coming up in the kit. That's the price of the kit, in my opinion, these, the pack of things. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. Yeah. So you can actually have those dotted in between your Amazonite and certainly yeah. complements the gemstones of those kits. Yeah, yeah we can't emphasise just how unbelievable the kit prices actually are. Um, number eight for Jackie. No problem, Jackie. Oh, it's lovely too. So you some of your Swarovski. How would you use this question coming from Jackie? Um, you can. Well, I'll let Mark answer, but I, I, um, Mark, you can macrame, can't you? Yeah, you can I, chop I, it I'm up. Yeah, I macrame around it. So if you place it on your macrame board and then just wrap around. So this is the lazy strand. This is the lazy strand, in effect. That's really nice as well. Lovely. Yeah. And you can, um, you can seed bead around it. You can do all sorts of bezeling around it. You can, um, you can take off one of the little ends. Yeah. And you're left with a little, little, I call it a little divot at the end, which you can do a, um, a wrap loop around if you want to make it into a, a straightforward bracelet. Uh, I think Gemma Crow's done a whole DVD on cup chain I think designs. she has. Yes. And, yes. and they do all cut off, by the way. So if yes. you actually look very closely underneath, mm. it's that they kind of concertina together. Can you see that? They all concertina together. Yes. But you can actually remove right. one, which means that you can actually thread things underneath. Um, so they almost become little solitaires then yeah. if you wanted to. But yeah, they're super, super versatile. Um, <clears throat> there's only four of these left. Um, and by the way, these were four, these are £24.99 actually, mm. even for the smaller yeah. sizes. Yeah. Um, yeah, £13 for the final four of these within the vault. Can't get them anymore. We're not getting mm. them anymore. It's such a shame. Such a shame. Mm. Is, it, is, it, is that a decision that Swarovski made? Yes. Yeah, yeah. okay, so yes. it was taken out of our hands. Um, yeah. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, grab hold of them because mm. that's the final four of those. Let's bring you now, oh, perfect addition to your kit, Mark. This is a beautiful little strand. Um, your four mil rounds. <coughs> I have this real fondness for four mils. I just think they're ever so sweet. Oh, look. <laughs> um, also, kiss cross. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Perfect with your kiss cross yeah. designs. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, look at that, five pounds and 99 pence for wonderful colored saturation of your amethyst. Look at that beautiful uniformity. I mean, you could literally just pop this onto elastic. It's that simple. Pop it into elastic, maybe a couple of little spacer beads dotted in between. Perfect fine jewelry. So much potential with a four mil. I've only got a limited quantity of these though. So again, you're gonna have to be quite quick. Um, have they sold out? Oh, they've sold out, they've sold out, they've sold out. Right, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you another beautiful strand that will complement it perfectly. Look at that. Oh. Pink sapphire. Sapphire? Oh. Amazing sapphire. Look at that gorgeous, vibrant pink. 15 carats of genuine sapphire for under <laughs> £30. <laughs> Where oh, in the madness, world is it? that possible? Where in the world is that a statement that's ever said? Oh, to my knowledge, only really here at the Gemporia Partnership. 15 carats that you're getting of beautiful clarity. Sapphire can be quite uh, opaque. Um, certainly not what you're getting here. You have beautiful brilliance in every single one of those lovely rondelles. I mean, Mark, you could take a couple mm. of inches and pop them onto a slider bracelet and you've Perfect. just made yourself yeah, fine jewellery. little earrings. With, again, with the rondelles we've got coming up. They, they, can you grab one of the amethyst ones nearest me if you can stretch across? The one of the amethyst strands? The little rondelles in the centre. Oh, these? Yeah. Oh, they're a different yeah, colour. Yeah, they're amazing. This would be beautiful with that sapphire. That would be amazing. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yes, you've got that really beautiful, vibrant red. That would be absolutely stunning. There's only a couple of the sapphire strands remaining, mm. though, jewelry makers. These, the, I think they are brand new. Yes, yeah. Um, they are. Oh, they are, Liam's actually confirming. And look at those earrings. I'm just going to show you, because if you mm. wanted to maybe alternate, put a few sapphires in between this lovely um, aquamarine opportunity, that would look pretty too, wow. wouldn't it? Um, there is only one of those left. OK, moving on to... Uh, okay. Rhodolite. Yeah, beautiful garnet. Amazing garnet. Again, with those, with those uh, aquamarines that we've got coming up. Two strands you're getting here for six ninety nine. That's bonkers. Um, but last in stock. That's, you know, to be honest, viewer's choice. Yeah. More often than not, in actual fact, we bring you opportunities that are even beyond what we can actually purchase them for. But last of stock, as you can see on your graphics, totally and utterly natural. Rhodonite, uh, Rhodolite, sorry, is a, um, is a variety of your garnet. You get this really beautiful kind of pomegranate red. Um, wonderful refraction from the uh, from the Garnet family. Good morning, Alan Mark. So looking forward to Mark's demos. As off to work this morning. Uh, yippee! Have I missed the Wall of Fame? Uh, no, lovely. In about oh. uh, it's about it's about quarter to ten to that we actually do the Wall of Fame usually in this hour. So no, you haven't missed it as of yet, darling. And you're in for a treat with Mark's demonstrations. There's some beautiful jewellery and absolutely unbelievable kits. Don't forget, we've got a text topic. What have you forgot? I seem to be forgetting absolutely everything at the moment it's like I've got delayed baby brain a delayed <laughs> baby brain because I forgot my nail appointment the other day and I never do that twice actually I did it twice yeah she was like have oh. you forgotten me again sorry I'm so sorry um I, and basically I didn't forget my daughter's birthday but I, I kind of forgot that it was I was work meant to be working on the same day so I've kind of let a couple of people down um but I do apologize I really apologize have you ever done that Make me feel a little bit better, possibly. £3.50 only for natural road delight. Again, I'm going to show this alongside some of the additional strands that we've got coming up. Look how perfectly marked that works. Oh, look at that. They're so round, aren't they, those pearls? Perfectly they're perfect, spherical aren't they? round. And they're limited. Uh, very much one of our finest quality pearls um, that we actually have in the vault. That's going to be up a little bit later on. Check out £3.50 only. Could I use these in your kiss cross? Absolutely. They'd be perfect. Perfect so, in as, your as kiss, kiss in the centre. Because we, we talked the other day about the, the kiss and the cross, so this would be perfect for the kiss. Ah, ah amazing. Two millimetre yeah. round, stay yeah. where you are. Um, okay, let's do some. <gasps> oh, Mark, you're going to love this one. Firstly, it's agate, secondly, it's brushed. Ah, uh -huh. let's have a look. One of your favourite strands, uh, or say, a favourite uh, yeah. uh, texture. Oh, look at this. Yes. Oh, That's look at beautiful, that. isn't it? Yeah. Like Lagoon Blues. Little it's easy to understand why Mark loves agate. Mm. Mark, it's got such a visual uh, sort of beauty, doesn't it? Look at that. You could watch that all day, couldn't you? Yeah. 
hypnotic. There's wow. wonderful bands. It's almost like how, how they play with light Ooh. as well. Um, and then instead of actually polishing these spheres, we've actually brought it to you in this really lovely matte texture. And when I say matte, they're still silky. Um, very nice and soft to actually touch. £3.99 only, jewelry makers, purely because it is in a viewer's choice hour. Um, grab them whilst you can. Perfect again inside things like your knotting, your malas, your stretchies, your macrame. Um, Liam's saying, wakey, wakey, jewelry makers. These are only available at these kind of prices for um, for the first hour. So um, until uh, nine o'clock and they'll all disappear. So good luck grabbing those. What number did you say? Let's stick with the agate, shall we? Oh, perfect combination. This is like what Larimar dreams of looking like. They're brand new. It's never even been on your screens before. Oh, look at those. Two pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Oh, gosh, they're lovely, aren't they? I mean, this is summertime jewellery. I know we've got rubbish weather this week, haven't we? Utterly <laughs> rubbish. What's that? What's that all about? But let's bring the summertime weather in your in a form of jewellery, shall we? Vibrancy, uplifting, cheerfulness. So much potential. I mean, an agate complements absolutely everything as well, doesn't it? All absolutely. your mediums, pretty yeah, yeah. much. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's never been on our screens before, Mark. And here we are bringing it to you mm. in the viewer's choice for two pounds yeah. ninety-nine. That's probably a scope because you've got all these different banding and colours. There's, there's scope here to ombre as well. Yeah. It'd be amazing. Two ninety-nine. Two ninety-nine. It's brand new. If we had a massive quantity, then they would they'd probably be something like a deal of the day, but yes, certainly a star yeah. buy. They'll work as well with your nine o'clock kits with Mark as well, those lovely little rondelles and the varieties of gemstones. Yeah. Hello, Nola. Wow. Hello to you, Cumbria, Maeve, Mary, Susan and Brian, Marilee. Hello to you, Julie, Constance, Amanda, Helen, Leslie, uh, new customers. Hi, Sophia. Hello to you, Wendy. Keep on dialing through. Cumbria, you're there as well. Nat oh. Oh, sorry, I was going to say natural. No, of course, it's not natural. Agate very rarely is. You've got this wonderful vibrant um, Larimar S Blue um, with these lovely multiple colours. Um, don't forget the emeralds are coming up. Jewelry makers should have been £24.99, pence, but we're taking them under £10 this morning. A bit naughty. Is this what I think it is? Yes, tiger's eye. Again, for those of you that are Kiss Cross obsessed, which I think we all absolutely are, thanks to Mark, this will be perfect alongside your Kiss Cross and perfect alongside your Hypersthene as well. Um, this wonderful Phenomena gemstone gives you beautiful chatoyancy. This is fine quality tiger's eye as well. Um, in its natural form, so these lovely colours is what, uh, uh, what tiger's eye occurs in. Um, and then, yes, you have this wonderful mirage of light almost. Um, it's not a mirage, it actually happens from the little platelets, but this beautiful uh, travel of light that uh, surrounds the gemstone, the little layers, the little platelets within the gem itself is what creates that phenomena. £6.99 for the two strands, not just the one, for the two strands. Um, perfect with your hypersthene because you actually do get flecks um, of lovely gold colour. Hello, Liz. I think the bad weather is my uh, husband's fault. He's gone on cricket tour for the week. That'll do it, Liz. For goodness sake. <laughs> yeah, that's the second person I've heard mention cricket actually this week. Um, one of the one of my mum, uh, mummy friends is actually, yeah, she went to take her son to cricket. He's into cricket. And she took a photograph of her sat, her sat in the car, oh, having no. just stood at the, at the pitch <laughs> watching for so many hours. Soaked, literally soaked through. That's what it is. It's the cricket. It's because the cricket's underway. <clears throat> Let's bring you now... Cricket. Oh, Mark. Kiss cross, kiss cross, kiss cross. If we had more of these, they'd probably be included in your um, in your yes, eleven o'clock yeah. kits, wouldn't they? Um, um, Liam's like that is absolute clearance. <laughs> yeah, again, we can't source the actual rose quartz wow. for what's on your screens right now. I mean, these beautiful little faceted three millimetre rounds, um, even though they have such a delicate and beautiful dainty colour, they still hold on to that mm. wonderful saturation, don't they? Great addition to the kit actually coming up. Yes, because we've got a rose quartz kit yeah. com coming your way. Because we've got two mils and six mils, so yeah. it's all sort of fall in between the two sizes. That'd be lovely. Uh, it, it, yeah, mm. it just complements different mm. sizes. Don't be afraid to use the sort, wow. sort of miniature because yeah. um, they really do add lovely textures. They're about to sell out. Move on to... Oh, oh. loving it. Oh, this is stunning. Ah, I have to show it on a black background. 
white topaz sh should mm. absolutely not be 4 yeah. If it was quartz, we'd possibly get away with it. And that's not me being derogatory to quartz. You can see immediately the difference, though. This has stunning brilliance. Uh, uh, topaz is a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. Did you know that you can actually facet, in miniature sizes like these, you can actually facet a topaz more times than you can a diamond. So you are often get more brilliance. Really? Yeah. Um, so wow. like your little single cut diamonds are oh, faceted. Yes. They're about two millimeters, about 17 times. A white topaz can still hold the 57 stroke 58 facet. So you get more brilliance uh, wow. within this gemstone. 4.99 only. Perfect. I know I keep saying it, but perfect with your kiss cross. You would have this beautiful, um, like diamond like sparkle this beautiful uh fire and dispersion from these natural gemstones hello june i bought white topaz last time it was on and it is so amazing lifts all the other stones i agree mm, yeah. and june i guess that's why they actually often choose your topaz and your diamonds um to complement other gemstones because they're quite happy to sort of be the um to be the sort of sideline if you like and complement the main feature stone um on the verge of selling out moving on to i think um Guest designer Haley used white topaz in her, she her did. settings last week, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did, yes, yeah. Yes. Stunning collection, yeah. wasn't it? Yes, yeah. Really lovely. Uh, okay. This. Three beautiful rose gold chains. Rose gold plated, right? All with your cable link, which means they're quite open. I'll lean it forward in a few seconds. It's a complete finished necklace or chain. Now, you can absolutely uh, do your wrap loops onto these. You can attach all your pendants onto these. You can wear, gift them as they are. Three ninety nine For three? For all, all three. three. That's £1.33 per That's chain. That's amazing, isn't it? That is amazing. You're right. I mean, you could just pop one of your gemstones. There is absolutely a place for your gold-plated jewellery. You know, especially if you're new wow. to jewellery making and maybe you want to keep the cost down while you sort of develop your confidence, etc. But, you know, you think how collection costume jewellery, uh, how, 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 how uh, sorry, popular costume jewellery is. Um, it makes maybe designs more affordable and wearable. Hey, listen, I wear costume jewellery all the time. Quite often actually buy costume jewellery from, uh, from some of my favourite clothing brands because I know that sometimes it's going to cost me a lot more money to actually mm. make it in... Uh, make it or buy it certainly um, in precious metal in, in your genuine gemstones. Three ninety nine is getting you all three of these. And again, can you see they're actually quite open linked? So even your, your feather featherweight head yeah, yeah. certainly will breeze through there. Ah, oh, they'd be perfect yeah. for the bubble style necklaces, which are hugely, hugely popular. And again, um, just looking up here at those Amazonite jewelry yeah. pieces yeah. Um, that were created. I've who made that? I can't remember. It's beautiful. Isn't it, it was with me as well. I've gone blank, I've gone blank. But yeah, you could absolutely create something like that. Uh, hang on. But something like that, just tessellate your gemstones. It's going to work perfectly. They're getting quite limited now. Well done, well done, well done. Um, we have five, ten minutes until I bring you that amazing emerald strand. Should have been £24.99, pence, but we're taking it under £10 today. Uh, what did you say, sorry? Uh... Incredible kind of here. This with your rose quartz. Oh, Mark. Natural blue. Very few, uh, especially the blue gemstones, are completely natural. Um, and that's okay. Oh, wow, that's okay. fine. This always is. Oh, look at that lovely cornflower colour. Oh, that's a stunning strand of kyanite. That's beautiful. It really holds its own colour, doesn't it? It's that cornflower blue. Yeah. It's just lovely. Yeah, I mean, you have some really wonderful, it's almost like a, I don't know about the location yet, I haven't actually seen that, I'm admiring the gemstone here, but this wonderful Nepalese blue, um, absolutely beautiful quality. I mean, if you had this alongside the rose court strand that we had earlier on, just literally alternating the two, think how heavenly that piece would be. There are only 20 of these left within the vault, and just to give you a heads up, if it's in your baskets, it's not going to stay there. Um, many items are already um, on the verge of actually selling out if they haven't already done so. I'd be using this again alongside your nucleated um, pearls that are coming up later on. Just dotting those between. Why are you looking all pensive? Oh, I, was, I don't know if it's going to be an awkward question or not. Shoot. <laughs> so if you've got something in your basket yeah. 
At nine o'clock, does it get taken out? Yep. Wow. Right. Ruthless we yes. are during the viewer's choice. Yeah, no, if it's the not The price list doesn't go back up, it actually... No, 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 they just wow. disappear. Then they're not available. So being quick. Then. Yeah, they're yeah. not actually right. available then. For right. how long is it, Liam? Is it a good month? Wow. Is it a month? Right. Okay, right. so it's not actually available at these viewers' choice. So check right. out your baskets for sure, for sure, wow. for sure. Um, okay, moving on to... Uh, oh, that's over here, I think. Um, I bought this very strand. I've had this delivered to my door. Weirdly, they sent it by post. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm in the building all the time. Um, yeah, it's like they wanted to tease me some more and just make me wait. But I've had this very strand delivered to my door only, um, only on Saturday. Now, we did a little oh, Rotocrosite no. showcase. This was one of, what, six... There was one of six lines in total. Rhodochrosite is incredibly rare. It forms in stalactites and stalagmites. Um, and oh. yeah, this, by the way, there was hundreds of this strand. They all sold. Um, we're down to the final nine. Oh. I, I bought this very strand myself. And all I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is pop rose, uh, rose gold plated sterling silver spaces in between and turn it into as many stretchy bracelets as I possibly can. That is a natural gemstone. If that's you think amazing. malachite with the concentric lines yes, and those lovely true. bands, yes. it's the pink version. Yeah, it is, yes. But yeah. very, very, very rare. Come, uh, I mean, uh, it only forms in a few locations and it is actually, they're very small uh, uh, deposits as well. Um, it's expensive. It's a very, very expensive gemstone. It won't, you won't have to search too hard to find rhodochrosite jewellery at astronomical prices. It's the wow. final nine. That's it. Sarah, you've done it. Margaret, you've done it. Oh, don't hesitate. Helen, Angela, Elaine, Gwen, Mary, Maeve, uh, Carol, uh, Margaret, Elaine, you've got yours. Pip in Derbyshire, you need to check them out. There's only nine of those left. And if there are any of them, I might get some more. For some reason, I only bought the one strand, which is a bit silly of me. OK, moving on to... And um, that as well would look lovely with your Amazonite, don't you think? Perfect, yeah. Perfect with that Russian yeah. Amazonite stand. Actually, you don't see it very often, do you? No, don't. Yeah, no. You saw a beautiful design, Liam said. Incorporating hearts on our... I saw it too on the Share Your Makes page. Um, I think you had Mukite, and forgive us for not remembering who actually made that piece of jewellery. But yes, um, here's a lovely alternative. This is obsidian. Oh, totally yes. natural. It's a, it's a type of uh, a volcanic glass, effectively. Very rare, very popular. Um, in medieval time, because of the high luster that you get within your obsidian, they actually used to polish it and use it as a form of mirror, mirror. Oh, because yes. it was so reflective. And um, the popularity of obsidian skyrocketed with Game of Thrones, because this is actually what they refer to as dragon's glass. Six ninety nine, in the wonderful romance, in that beautiful form that is your heart shape. I mean, they could be lots of little individual wish style bracelets, couldn't they? Um, which is so simple to create, and then so sentimental as a as a piece of jewellery. I mean, that is going to make a lot of pieces if you just use one. Um, but again, alongside the rose quartz that we've got coming up, that gemstone of unconditional love um, and affection, perfect addition to that too. It's completely and utterly natural. With rainbow obsidian, you get lovely little displays. Yes, they look black right now, but actually when you take this out into natural light, you have these really mm. beautiful, almost uh, um, galaxy-like yes, displays. Yes, it's beautiful. quite a magical gemstone. You get pinks get... and greens and blues you and do? all sorts of colours. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. you really do. It's so beautiful. Again, check out those baskets. It's quite limited. Um, let's move on, because this is absolutely, utterly bonkers. Emerald should have been 24.99 which let's be let's be truthful is unbelievable for natural brazilian emeralds but today it's viewers choice and i promise it's going under 10 pounds I think we all know that Emerald is a member of the Big Five, but it's also one of the gemstones that tends to command some of the highest price points, price per carat, especially when your Emerald has a vivacity, a vibrancy of green. Now, yes, you can get relatively, and I use that quite loosely, uh, relatively eye clean emeralds but they're almost seldom ever seen and if you do, they are incredibly considered. 
what we actually learn when, we, uh, when we're discovering this gemstone all the more is actually what they refer to as le jardin, that's the patterning within the gemstone, the garden that translates to, that the patterning within the uh, gemstone itself is actually equally as desirable and equally as beautiful as clarity is. As long as it doesn't prevent the glow, the presence, the vibrancy of green um, in your emerald. Now you can get emerald all around the world. You can get emerald in Ethiopia, you can get emerald in uh, Colombia, you can get Zambian, you can get Siberian, and you can get Brazilian. And once upon a time, Brazilian emerald was very much sort of sidelined because it had a darker green, a darker color. But then Colombian emerald and Zambian emerald colors started to intensify and the popularity of Brazilian emerald swiftly followed. This is utterly beautiful. You have vibrant, sizable individual solitaires in these top drilled drops. Look at those. I mean, that, by the way, that one alone, that one alone is worth considerably more, in my opinion. I'm not, I'm not qualified to value, but I would happily pay what is on your screens plus more for that one emerald on its own. Imagine that suspended from a precious metal chain. Imagine that with a little, I don't know, a little cluster of your white topaz that you had earlier on. Would you, would you, would you actually expect to pay that retail for, for what's on your screens? Absolutely not. This is natural emerald. O stands for oiling. It's not actually a treatment. It's basically like us moisturizing in the morning. Not $24.99. We are going to take it lower. Look at how perfect and sizable each and every single one of these are. Um, Liam's saying, no, it doesn't look like everybody actually believes us yet this morning. I tell you what we'll do. We're going to put a 60 second clock onto your screen. We're going to, I'm going to, we're going to wait for you in a sense. So in that 60 seconds, if you can actually um, join us on the phone lines, join us on the web. Um, Liam says, I need to see how many of you are actually watching this Monday morning, just to gauge the actual show uh, and the pace of the show. If there's enough of you there, we will do something extra, extra special. It already is at $24.99, and I've guaranteed that it is going to a single-figure price tag. Mark, for genuine emerald, you amazing, don't, you, you'll remember when we first launched emerald here at Jewelry Maker. Mm. Massively. We That's were all like, oh view. my goodness, we're bringing emerald to our jewellery maker viewers. Okay. So you've got the fact that it's birthstone, it's May's birthstone, straight yeah. through. That you, everyone knows it's one of the big four, big five. It's just, it's just amazing. I love it. And I think for me, a... that, that one on your left at the top, that really pale... That one there, that's yeah. just, I love that. That's just that's beautiful. Be it is yeah. beautiful. And yeah. that one there. Yeah. Yeah, love really, that. really pretty, aren't they? Look, look, see, it's the glow. Can you see yeah. that lovely glow? So every single like one of those one. Is, is a five pound pendant. At least. At least. Yeah, I think so. I like that really yeah. big dark green one yeah. just here. Are you ready? It's going lower. Jennifer, Sarah, Gavin, hello Norman, Richard, Kay, hello to you Ruby, Cumbria, Denise, hello to you Maeve, hello to you Surrey. <laughs> 899 clearly there was enough of you on the phone lines on the web to actually justify taking that to that ridiculous viewers choice how many do i have of these then liam Oh, we've got quantity of them, but I'm going to assume now, Mark, people are going to go, hang on a sec, that's natural Brazilian emerald. Mm. Maybe I should actually make the most of this viewer's choice Absolutely. opportunity and maybe uh, maybe get a couple of uh, opportunities. I'm imagining they make the most amazing dragonfly wings, wouldn't they? If you're doing wire oh, macrame beautiful. with the with, so rounds as the body and then the wings. I rescued a dragonfly yesterday. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Literally, one had got trapped between sort of my window and the blinds, oh. and I could literally see his little face. I was looking the other side of the window, <laughs> see his little face. He was just like, "I'm not happy. I'm really not oh. happy." Scooched him out, and off he went. Off he went. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Nature brings you so much inspiration. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Do check out your baskets, though, everybody. Barbara, hello to you. Nottinghamshire, Lorraine, Maureen, hi, Stuart, Ella, hello to you. Susan, Christine, Julie, uh, Kay, Beverly, hi, to you. Samuel, hello to you. Surrey, Eleanor, London, uh, Route 1, T. Nice to have your company this morning. Exactly. You, yeah, Liam's just made yeah. a really good point. Yeah. He's just said, you know, everybody knows emerald. Every, yeah. It's like diamonds. Everyone knows diamonds. You know, my four-year-old knows about the value of diamonds. You know, it's true. Mm. It is really true. Yeah. Clever marketing, but also uh, emerald is one of the more considered of your colored gemstones, especially when it has this wonderful vibrancy, this beautiful glow. Yes, it's got the Le Jardin. Yes, they have those beautiful patterns and markings, but that's also one of the reasons why we loved our, rod uh, our rhodonite earlier on. You know, we love it. We embrace it for those beautiful patterns in the same way that we should do with your turquoise um, and likewise with your emerald. $8.99, one time only. You're looking pensive again, Mark. I'm going to ask another awkward question. Go on. Well, is it the, 
in, unless you actually sit and listen, you don't quite understand the, the okay. viewer's choice hour because it's quite an important hour, isn't it? It is. So does a star by included in that viewer's choice get oiked out at nine o'clock? Absolutely. So that's even more as important to grab it. As soon as that big it. hand points vertically, yeah, yeah. anything that's not checked out of basket will out. disappear. Right. It will no wow. longer be available at that price point. Wow. So urgency is absolutely... Yeah, absolutely. Especially with this. Yeah, is ab yeah. Because <laughs> yes. next time you see this, you know, yeah. don't, uh, please don't be uh, cross if you actually see it on our screens at twenty four ninety nine again, because that will be the mm, case. Right. That will be the case. This is purely because it's included in your viewers' choice hour, and it's it's we've got a big quantity again. That's justifying yes. it. Yeah. Often we call these PR deals opportunities um, where we can actually sort of reward our existing customers, <laughs> but also hopefully invite more jewellery maker customers to the family um, well done and if you want to multiply you absolutely can as so many of you have done hiya Susan um, could drops be knotted as a bracelet with thread or would it have to be with wire depends on the drill hole let's have a look if it's got a large drill hole that you're able to get your cord through there's no reason why you can't knot it that'd be amazing like a pearl knot that'd be beautiful I think some of your silks will go through yeah, yeah your silks will go through easily there Even you your go. Your 0.4 might go through. Your 0.4 nylon cord might go through. Yeah. But you're not the silk, definitely. So you could. Oh, that would be beautiful. And the and think of the fluidity. Would, yeah, it'd just be lovely, wouldn't it? It would yeah. sit so perfectly. Because a beading wire or, uh, or, or a beading thread or a wire mm. it gives you more rigidity, yes, doesn't right. it? But yes. a silk will yeah. give you that lovely flow. Um, keep on dialing through for that one. Now, just before we delve into your wall of fame, let me just go a quick recap because we. It's this is so an elusive gemstone we don't actually get much rhodonite actually on our screens at the moment if you imagine um i was really craving a naughty dessert yesterday but i didn't i didn't do it i was like i want something like eat and mess with some mm. oh something chocolatey or sweet and delicious don't worry before any rumors start there is no baby <laughs> i saw your facial expression there is no baby on the way and no, and no not um but beautiful combinations of lovely colors but you see it's kind of Chocolate yeah, combination, yeah. totally natural. Three pounds forty nine. As soon as that price point appeared on your screens, it literally prompted Mark to laugh out loud, didn't it? Didn't mm. it? You laughed out loud. Yeah. It's really a bonkers price point, yeah. isn't it, for road tonight? Unbelievable. Keep on dialing through, everybody, uh, and check out those baskets. You have just over ten minutes to make those confirmations. But what what have you been up to? Yes, it's our favourite bit. It's the Wall of Fame. Sorry, I like to share the Wall of Fame with Mark. I know you like to read them, Mark, yes, don't you? Yes. Um, I'll probably have to pass one of these halfway through. Uh, 252 starting us off this morning is Julia Woods. Julia, oh, that's beautiful. Hi, all. Here is an anklet uh, I have put together using sterling silver chain from JM and charms collected over time from my stash. I hope you like it. Julia, that's beautiful. I love an anklet. Yeah, you own them. You wear them. I, uh, yeah. In the summer. If yeah, I, definitely yeah. if I go on holiday. Yeah. Uh, 253 is from Helen Hood. Oh. Oh, that. Helen, that's absolutely incredible. Wow. Uh, good morning, everybody at JM, uh, JM. Please may I enter this lapel brooch into the Wall of Fame drawer. Oh. I made this brooch with JM champagne gold-plated copper wire, uh, 0 0.8 millimeter, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. All the pearls and gemstones are from a JM bead scoop and pearl oh. scoop, which I absolutely love. Thank you for the fun and frolics and the amazing demos over the last 18 months, keeping us all going. Good luck, everybody, in Wednesday's draw. And that's from Helen. It's beautiful, Helen. Love that. Imagine one of those emeralds suspended at the bottom oh, there with, it, with amazing. that Amazing. That's so regal. Yeah, that's, that's the kind lovely. of piece that looks like it belongs on the antique yeah, roadshow, doesn't it? Lovely. Uh, 254 is from Alan Hopkins. Hi, Alan. That's amazing. Please find my entry to this week's WAF. It's a Burmese amber set into nine carat gold all from JM. Wow, what a stone, he says. Good luck to everybody entering this week. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to own a stone of this quality. Keep up the great shows and deals. Stay safe, everybody. And that's from Alan Hopkins. Thank you for sharing, Alan. That's beautiful. 255 is from Kirsty Wally. Ah, oh, oh, love it, Kirsty. And I know clearly that bracelet kit, that kit flew, almost sold out. I think it did sell out. 
Hi all, please find and close my Wall of Fame entry. It's Jade and Tiger's Eye on a snake chain. I know the strand as well, that's beautiful, Kirsty. 256 is from Julie Chadwick. Julie, they're stunning. Oh no. Uh, hi all, please find and close my entry to the Wall of Fame. All materials are from Jewelry Maker. It's been over two years since I made anything, so I thought it was about time I started making and not just buying. Uh, thank you to all the lovely designers for sharing their talents with us. Just from Julie, beautiful. 257 is from Sharon Curtis. Oh. That, wow, wow. So, oh my goodness me. Now you tell me that doesn't have like a, a triple wow. figure price tag attached to it. This is my second attempt at making jewellery with gems and mounts. The Peridot Brilliant Ovals, sly, uh, Silver Pendant, Earrings ring, and Ring, sorry, are all from Jewellery Maker. Worth every bit of money. This jewellery I am keeping for myself. I hope you like it. Wishing everyone best of luck who enters the Wall of Fame from Sharon. Sharon, it's beautiful. Last but by no means least, on my side, and then we bounce over to Mark, 258, love this, Sarah. Um, please see my first, first... Attempt at a Marla necklace using Susie's six millimeter rose quartz kit, uh, mixing up with some black tourmaline, lava rock, and rectangle rose quartz for the guru beads. All from Jewelry Maker. Loving the colors together and very pleased with the finished look. That's from Sarah. Loving those designs. Over to you, Mark. Okay. Number 259 is from Jilly. Wow. And Jilly says Hi, everyone at JM. Hope you're all well. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a moss agate and sterling silver stretchy bracelet. Good luck to everyone in this week's draw, and that's from Dilly, number 259. Love those colours. That's yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Number 260 is from Kay. And Kay says, hi, everyone. Please see my entry for this week. This is a suite of jewellery made from large, graduated nuggets of mystic-coated clear quartz with silver-plated copper findings, lever-back earring, toggle clasps, and twisted jump rings, all from Jewellery Maker. Thank you all for the inspiration and great deals. Stay safe. And that's from K number 260. And last entry from today is another Marla by another Love Sarah. It. This is Sarah Parker. And Sarah says, hi, everyone. Here's my entry. It was a labor of love. I struggled with it and dismantled it and started again four times, but I was determined it wasn't going to beat me. It's a silver obsidian Marla kit from Jewelry Maker, and I used some Whitby Jet Bees that I had in my stash for the wow. marker beads. I love the shimmer from the obsidian. It was my first ever attempt at knotting. I've always used beading wire and crimps, and that's from Sarah. Well done for your perseverance. That's incredible. I, I love it. I love Marla necklaces. Yeah, I'm absolutely amazing. obsessed with yes, them at the moment. Yeah. Um, well Liam everyone. said he particularly likes the, the choice of square. Yes, it's And Whitby Jet Hello. in a Marla necklace, <laughs> um, which you oh. massively championed, Mark, yes. didn't you? Yeah. But so I'd actually have you at Jewelry yes. Maker. Yeah. Well, talking of black gemstones, mm. this is too beautiful not to include. Absolutely stunning. I want this strand desperately because oh, yes. it's going to go perfectly with your kids. Mm -hmm. It's going to go amazingly with those beautiful oh, yes. nucleated pearls. It'll go fabulous with the turquoise. It'll go amazingly with your aquamarine. It'll go incredible with the emeralds that you've just had. This is natural black spinel in the most perfect, wow. the most extraordinary, the most light responsive luster a facet of natural eight millimeter gemstones you could possibly wish for. I mean, that is, when we say black spinel is that Hollywood gemstone, it's that oh, red that. carpet, um, or well, so frequently mm. actually chosen by celebrities on the red carpet. This is exactly why. 12 pounds 99 pence only for black spinel, exactly. Um, they are huge eight millimeter rounds. Again, let me just show you mm. alongside. Oh, I'm only reaching this one because that's the one that's closest to me. But alongside the lovely rose quartz that's coming up in Mark's kit. The, the price of these kits is bonkers, by the way. So, you know, just adding, creating mm. that beautiful yes. luster. I love black and pink together. That's amazing. $12.99. Uh, okay, we've got a couple of minutes. I'm stunned that that hasn't sold out as of yet. Okay, all the more for me. All the more for me, because I'll be snapping those up. Um, okay, we've got... Oh. Something that you've been after, Mark. <laughs> they're like gold dust at the moment, aren't they? They are indeed. You're 11 O's, but these are... Oh, they're matte, Montana. Look at these, I love them. I love all Picasso ranges, they're just beautiful. There's so much work goes involved when we're making these type of bead. Look That's at brilliant. That. With your kiss cross? Perfect. Yeah, we need 11 O's for your kiss cross. Yeah. 
It's a necessity. It is. It is. It yes. is a necessity. <laughs> Grab them whilst you get the chance, jewelry yeah. makers. Your Picasso, Montana, matte. So normally they're quite a high shine. They actually create lovely texture between the sort of the, the, the polish and the matte. Five ninety nine for one of your twenty three gram tubes. There are literally thousands in this tube, um, and. It, you, you have to be going some to actually come to come to the end of a tube I've of CVs. I've never come to an end yet. So really? Tube, even yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, even me. I've got lots of odds and ends in tubes. Don't, aren't you tempted to just yeah. chuck them all Make in one? soup. Yeah. We need another, we need another sea bead soup day. I sea think, bead soup. On memory wire, yeah. On your anniversary. Mm. <laughs> you should definitely do it on that day because you were, again, the pioneer behind mm. that. Um, okay, yeah, check that out, everybody. Um, okay, what's that? Uh, recapping the emerald, we've just got a few of these opportunities left, jewelry makers. It should have been, it should have been £24.99. And there's so much potential, Mark, with this cart. You know, this is your top drilled uh, drop. So all you need to do is a little, what, briolette wrap? Not even that. I mean, we've got, in the three kits we've got coming up at nine o'clock, we've got necklace memory wire mm. and just one on a necklace memory wire, nothing else at all, just so one. So as in the memory wire fed through the yeah, drill yeah. hole? Just, just one of the necklace memory wires. That's just genius. Just one drop, that's, all, that's it. How simple is that? And you could do that with earrings. Yeah, absolutely. So they could yes. turn into hoop yeah. earrings with yeah. an emerald yeah, yeah. on the bottom. Yeah. And that's really using, simple. what, just a few. And yeah. they're jam-packed on here. Natural, glowing Brazilian emeralds in these sizable, beautiful solitaires. They go right the way up to 11 by 9 millimetres. Any other time outside the, of this viewer's choice hour, you'll be talking about £24.99 pence at least. Um, that was even a star by deal. 8 99 for you today. So check out, check out, check out as soon as you can. Janet, hello to you. Sue, Geraldine, Ella, you've got yours. I've got you, uh, Josephine, Herefordshire, Eleanor, Barbara. Uh, Cornwall's joined us as well. Um, perfect, perfect for across me multiple medium uh, mediums. We've got those incredible pearls coming up after the break. We've got the most unbelievable kits. Brand new, um, beautiful cubic zirconia rondelles being launched today, and you will not believe the saving of it. Um, we've also got coming up your hypersthene showcase, so that's going to be absolutely massive. Nice. Stunning jewellery created by our fantastic Mark. I mean, these are utterly beautiful. Love them. Utterly, Love them. utterly Love beautiful. Them. And we've got pretty, you know, lovely mm. se selection of colourways mm. as well. We have, yes, yeah. Um, so demo heavy, deal heavy, more amazing uh, our gemstones to bring you as well. Those nucleated pearls, just to give you a heads up, very luxurious, um, and we're, uh, they're limited in their quantity. So don't hang around on those. Check out your baskets on your viewers' choice. We shall return after this. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Good morning, good morning, la 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 la. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. 
Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem market and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Here at Jewellery Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewellery making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewellerymaker.com. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewellery Makers. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Welcome back, Jewellery Makers. So lovely to be with you this Monday morning. My name's Eleanor, and I'm joined by the fantastic Mark Smith. And you have some utterly amazing, amazing kits and jewellery. Which I still can't believe what we're doing You've with them. You've not got over it, have you? No, no, no. This, as I said, this is, this is the price of the little part they set rondelles on their own. <laughs> I agree. Now, they are available on pre-order right now. Really? Yes. I kits think that's, that's quite daring because yeah. they, they are going to sell out for sure. Wow. Uh, for sure. But Liam says he's been rebellious. Let's see what happens. And then the price they're going to on pre-order. Yeah. Oh, at the moment, no. Oh, okay. So they're going lower than what you're seeing actually on the web for those amazing. A lot, a lot, a lot lower. Oh. Now, um, okay. <sighs> I need to emphasise, obviously, with all gemstones, I know most of you will know this, but anybody that's new to the to, 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 to gemstones and jewellery and certainly the pearl market, there are vast differences. You know, for example, there is a, a pedigree of, of, of cultured pearl. Um, and I'm going to say this is absolutely one of those. We can farm pearls. Um, freshwater pearls are farmed. They can Each mollusk can actually house lots and lots and lots of little pearls. It's still, it's still very much rare and they're still very much valuable, of course. However, there is different differences between your freshwater cultured pearls and your nucleated pearls. And it's a question I'm often asked, so I'm going to actually address that now. What's the difference between a cultured pearl and a nucleated pearl? Every pearl that you see on our shows is actually cultured, so that refers to the farming process. When you use the word nucleated, the difference basically is those little mollusks 
have had a much smaller nucleated bead actually inserted into them. So, heaven forbid, if you were to cut one of your pills in half, if you actually compared a nucleated pill with a, with a, a usual freshwater pill, the freshwater pill would actually have a hollow center. Your nucleator pill will have all of those, almost like a, if you were to cut wood in half, you see much more of the nacre um, coating. So they're far thicker. Now, the reason why they command a much higher premium, because as they take so much longer to actually uh, to actually produce and the more nucleus you actually have the more nacre sorry the more nacre surface that you actually have on your pearl um, the higher the luster basically is so they are far more expensive they are far more involved they take a lot longer to actually produce um, and they command a much much higher price tag ordinarily so this is really what I want to say is legacy pearl quality Add to the complexity, though, as well, if you will. If, if you think you're inserting a tiny, 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 uh, usually mother of pearl, uh, nucleated bead to start that progress. Now, we can't guarantee that they are going to be perfectly spherical. And yet, on this star by, you have uniformity, which is absolutely unprecedented. Think about, you know, what we discussed when we're talking about South Sea, Akoya, and your uh, Tahitian pearls. To have uniformity in a strand of necklace is absolutely a contributing valuing factor. Um, they See that luster that I was referring to? See how reflective the luster is? That's because you have multiple layers of nacre across each and every single one of these, uh, these genuine pearls. Now, also, I just want to quickly add before we introduce the graphics, the jewellery editor, which I highly would recommend you reading from time to time, wrote recently an article on pearls and the popularity of different shapes, etc., etc., and they referenced the color that you're looking at right now. They actually said pink pearls are some of the most sought after color of pearls in the industry. It's bringing a sort of uh, a, a contemporary twist to what is usually a, a very sort of traditional um, piece of jewelry. Look at that. Now I don't think in our graphics we've, we've actually labeled these as metallic pearls. Um, but yet I'm definitely seeing that presence of gold. Are you? Yeah. Now, again, I'm just going to drop this one into, into, the, into the exclusivity uh, and the pedigree of this star by. Um, this, this is uh, from a harvest of, of pearls. It's estimated, harvest 10,000, estimated less than 10 will have a natural metallic color. I'm seeing that beautiful gold. Now, this is limited edition. This is some of the finest quality um, of pearls that we have currently within our entire vault. Um, do you want to see sort of price comparisons of what you can expect of something of this grade, of this, of this supremacy elsewhere? Now, very similar. Don't you all agree? Very, very, very similar. Fine quality pearls. It is including an 18 karat gold clasp. £3,800. Um, do you think the value is in the gold or do you think it's in the pearls? It's in the, the majority of that price tag is in the actual pearls itself, with like, like what you're seeing right now. We've got another example. Um, okay, a bit more competitive. They are, they are, but also, can I also say, Liam, these are freshwater pearls. That's fine. That's fine. They're not nucleated mm -hmm. pearls, so there's a big difference there. £600, though, still, for that wonderful necklace. And it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This, however, is nucleated pearls, has got that presence of beautiful metallic luster, um, are sizable rounds, uniformity, and they are 10 to 11 millimeters in their size. Do you see those lovely textures that you see across the surface of each and every single one of the pills? That's because you have that wonderful thickness of, uh, uh, of nucleus on each and every single one of these um, incredible opportunities. Now, even if I was to bring these to air at 399 pounds, which would be absolutely unbelievable, it would be beating um, some com uh, competition elsewhere, and I think very similar, certainly the first necklace, very similar in terms of the actual quality of what you've got here on your screens. Yes, okay, we haven't got the 18 karat gold class, but there's nothing stopping you actually investing that if you wish. Now, we want to do something extra special. We want to bring you some of the finest pedigree nucleated pearls at the most unbelievable star by price. This is a significant saving. <laughs> 
please, please, please get oh. these valued and appraised. When you come to knot it, restrand it, whatever you wish. I had one nine nine in my head. <laughs> that would be amazing, wouldn't yeah, it? Incredible. Absolutely amazing. And, and I know that the, you know this. That's why so oh. many of you are in your basket already. If you had this complete as a, a, you know, as, as a stranded, nucleated pearl necklace with a fine quality clasp, you would absolutely be expecting it to be triple figures and then some. And then some. You can even get this home on your split page jewelry makers. We have less than 30 of these available in the entire vault. That's it. That's it. So it's limited. And we are going oh, no. What's lower. He doing? Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for me, knotting it, and I would even go as far as saying going onto your auction sites, get yourself, um, get yourself a, a, a sort of a vintage clasp if you like, precious metal of your choice. And at some point, I know it costs money to actually get things valued and appraised, but that is absolutely worthwhile for the supremacy, for the luxury of these pearls. Yes, you can get you can get cultured pearls, freshwater cultured pearls. Um, you can do that, but there's a difference between um, nucleated freshwater cultured pearls like these. It takes far far longer. It's far more uh, sort of involved, if you like, during the actual process. Um, they are literally nurtured and, uh, and loved and looked after for many many years before they're actually put onto this beautiful strand. We are going to take it in just about 10 seconds, even lower. There were just a limited quantity of these. Even if we actually had these, uh, um, are we over allocated? Okay. Even if we were to bring this to you at 199 or 399 pounds, I'm absolutely confident that you would get that valued con considerably more than that. I, listen, I'm not qualified to value jewellery, but I have sold pearl jewellery for many, many years, and I know that 79.99 is unbelievable. If there are any of them left, I'll be definitely adding it to my order. You can get it home on your split pay for 26 pounds and 66 pence only. I mean, we can see the quality there, can't we, Mark? Completely, necessary. And if that was in in a high street jewellery window you'd have to question that price you straight away you think well they can't be real yeah you think they were synthetic price, can you well, you know what? Um, I was waiting for this, actually. Anne, mm. our in-house designer, mm. very successful selling yeah, high-quality yeah. pearls. Hope you don't mind me saying that, Anne, um, has just bought some of these. And I can imagine... Um, uh, Liam's just messaged Anne on Facebook saying, Anne, how much would you actually sell these for? She said £250. That's very That's good. good. That's yeah. actually very, yeah. very good. Yeah. If you actually sold these at 600, 700 pounds, mm, again, yeah. I would still say that's an amazing price point for high quality pearls of this grade. 79.99 only. <laughs> Um, you know what, Liam has just said, I might buy some of these yeah. and actually start selling them. I had this conversation before my father passed away. We were talking about the quality of pearls that we have here at Jewelry Maker. He knew his jewelry and gemstones, and he actually said, why don't we do this? Why aren't we knotting them and actually selling them online, like Etsy and all those things? Mm. Hello, Lorna saying, I have these pearls. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. There is one left, and there are 20 of you who have it in your basket. Uh, thank you, Jackie and Sterling saying I have these. They are stunning. They are oh, absolutely well beautiful. Congratulations to every single one of you that is the custodian of those beautiful pills. Now, guess what, Mark? You know your kits? Mm -hmm. They're flying out the door. <laughs> are we surprised? At the original price. At the original price. Okay. Um, which, by the way, is showing at £40 on, online, and we're no. not even stopping there. Not even stopping there. Now, um, shall we start... Should we start with a hot pink? Okay. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I agree, Liam. I think they are going to be sellouts. And I think it's going to be these little guys are so that are the beautiful. stars of the show. Brand new. I've never seen these before. I've not seen no, them. Especially beautiful. in these lovely colours. So can you see you've got a really lovely deep emerald green in these uh, cubic zirconia. Uh, channel set, the little princess cup cubic, uh, cubic zirconias in there. Uh, brand new, never been on your screens. They look black there, don't they? So maybe if I actually pick them up, um, and you'll actually see the actual colour uh, combination or that colour contrast. It's actually a really beautiful, deep and vibrant green. Can you see how it flashes oh, when yes. it flashes and captures the light? Wow. Um, get these home. You, we've teamed it alongside some really beautiful terra jasper in your fuchsia red. Um, so you get 10 of your lovely rondelles, the brand new rondelles. You're getting the two strands of your terra jasper, which, by the way, um, are 8 millimeter and 6 millimeter. Plus, you're also getting your memory wire. So, Mark, do these all fit on? to the memory they wire. They do, absolutely, even the little rondelles. Even easily, easily, yeah, yeah. Wow, 
Um, amazing. So 10 of those beautiful, beautiful cubic zirconia rondelles. I agree with you, Mark. Now, you know what Liam's taking these to. And you're flabbergasted, aren't Completely you? Completely and utterly. As I said, this is the price of the little rondelles, in my opinion. You know. Shall we oh, no. give the phone lines a chance? And it's just a tiny little thing, but this is silver memory wire, which, which is Good really point. Like, which is like gold dust at the moment. It is like gold dust. <laughs> yeah. I know, actually. It's because only available in kits. We're not, we're not selling it separately at the moment. I know. Mm. Yeah, we can't do bundles of, no. of memory wire, or no. certainly silver, not colour. Um, no. Okay, let's do... Let's take it, to, take it to an already amazing price tag. For the consideration, you've got two strands of beautiful terra jasper, Perfect. plus your memory wire, plus the beautiful cubic zirconia emerald green rondelles. $24.99 for 10 of those lovely rondelles. Can we take it even lower? Yes, we definitely can. In 60 seconds, we're going to... The only reason we're doing the countdown now, by the way, is basically to stagger the phone line so we don't cause a meltdown to our lovely call centre. And also that we don't, which is a very real uh, issue, uh, that we also don't uh, uh, sort of crash uh, the website, which is something that Mark's kits often do, in actual yeah. fact. Often, <laughs> um, because loads of people are already there. Now, imagine I'm brand new to jewellery making, Mark. Is this yes. a perfect kit for me to get involved perfect. with? Perfect. You've got really good sized drill holes. You've got really nice sized rounds. You've got memory wire, which is one of the sim most simple mediums that you can actually use. And, and anything that I've made along here, you can make with this kit. Absolutely. Yeah. So all I've, all I've done, all I've added is a bit of wire and a few 11 seed beads just to act as a little spaces. I'm but absolutely can, loving it. But all of that you can make. Mark, them. those earrings, too. these earrings here are just mm. stunning where you've actually got the road. I know they're different gemstones, but just imagine those now with the terra jasper yeah. and with that lovely yeah. green running through the centre. I mean, they'd be so opulent, wouldn't they? Are you ready? Because this is going so low, jewelry makers. I hope we've got enough of these to go around. This is bonkers, I agree. It's the price of your cubic zirconia rondelles, in my opinion. You're getting everything else actually for free with the actual silver uh, memory wire, which is like gold dust because of its versatility, because there's so much that you can actually do with your, um, with your memory wire also. Every single one of your beautiful gemstones and rondelles will breeze onto that too. Make sure you check out. We actually only have three kits in this hour, which is quite limited edition, and we've got them in different colours, and they will mix and match perfectly, well, they won't they? All three of them. Them. Well, absolutely, because they're all the same sort of colours, aren't they? The, the yeah, pinks, pinks and purples. purples. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you could put the rose quartz in with a terra absolutely. jasper or the amethyst in with a terra yeah, jasper if yeah. you wanted to. Um, but yeah, super, super versatile. They are flying, mm. flying, flying out the door and you fully expected that to be uh, that to actually be the case. Oh, let me just pick one of those up again. I want to give you that flash of emerald green. Look at that, such decadence. I mean, if you saw, hang on a minute, I've just had a little uh, little light bulb moment. If you were to see the one I'm holding in my tweezers in that charm shop, you know the one I'm referencing, oh, yeah, yeah. would that be 14 99 No. No. Of course it wouldn't. It'd be more like forty-four pound ninety-nine for the single yes, for the yeah. single charm. It'd be classed as a charm rather than a rondelle. Um, you're actually getting ten of those, so that's working out one pound fifty per rondelle. But actually, you're getting everything else as well, and that's you're amazing. beautiful, um, beautiful wow. memory ma uh, memory maniac. Are you a memory maniac? I what? am lately. <laughs> <laughs> What's my name? Where do I live? Honestly, I don't know what is with me. It's like I've got a delayed baby brain. Liam, you didn't. Liam, wow. you didn't know. You didn't notice I had baby brain, did you? Did you, Adam? Did you realise I bit? Did I have baby brain when I was pregnant? Yeah. You can. You can say. Speak the truth. Yeah, you, maybe a little. A little. Okay, maybe. fair enough. But it's got worse since actually having having Tiggy. I seem to be even more forgetful, as if I forgot that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> As if I forgot about the 24th. I'm so sorry, Mark. I'm so, so sorry. Don't even say it. Don't even hint it. Let me just quash any rumours. I am not pregnant. Not pregnant. No more babies. No more babies. Stop it now in there. Stop it, stop it, stop it. They were like, you said that last time. I didn't. I didn't. Right, which one next? This one. I have to say, this strand of amethyst, the, the, the paler of the two strands, is the most kunzite coloured amethyst oh, I've beautiful. ever seen. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not surprised we've not called it Rose de France. It's just exquisite. It's true. Yeah. It is true. And what a gorgeous combination with the rondelles. Now, this has got my favourite mm. colour of the memory wire. I love yeah. the gold, because it really is like a, an 18 karat gold colour. 
This is the strand that Mark is actually referencing. It's utterly oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Utterly beautiful. With those pearls that we've just had, oh. I think this would be beautiful with those. It would be absolutely yeah. amazing. And then, yeah, look at those. There is your gorgeous rondelle that actually has this really mm. deep, vibrant, like a, well, it's a deep amethyst, mm. isn't it? Yes, yeah. So just dotting those in between in your cubic zirconia. They are princess cut. So, yeah, get these home because it's almost the colour. It looks black almost here in the studio, mm. but actually it's almost like a, um, like a, like a deep kunzite. Yes, that's a good point. Liam says, "Al, oh, you've got your phone in the studio." Look how now, beautiful that looks on screen. <laughs> let me just mention that if my bosses are watching, the only reason I've got my phone in the studio right now is because we were showing the pop socket. In fact, in fact, I don't know where it's gone. I don't know where it's gone. Who's who's nabbed my phone? It yes. was in there. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Bit further past the banana. Oh, there it is. <laughs> past my little mid morning <laughs> snack. Here we go. Yes, here we go. Can you see that beautiful vibrancy of purple? Ah, oh. yeah, there we are. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. In natural sunlight, you see yeah, this glowing yeah. purple colour. And you're getting 10 of those, plus those lovely amethyst, um, plus, of course, that very Rose de France-esque colour, um, and a mixture of your polishes as well, between your matte yeah. and your high polish. Don't forget also including your memory wire, which uh, is in the lovely sort of 18 karat gold um, pink, uh, sorry, yellow, which I absolutely adore. Okay, now I know for sure that this is going to be a sellout kit. How many do we have of these available then, Liam? There's only 100. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. Already, immediately, loads of you have this in your basket. Super simple makes to make high-end luxury jewellery for £14.99. That's unbelievable. Oh, Mark, it's that technique. Yes, so if you look back on last Wednesday's yeah. morning show on YouTube, you'll see this technique in action. I just had to do it with this. And with those little rondelles in between, yeah. it just looks... I mean, that, that's a 75, 80 pound necklace any uh, day of the week. Oh, and, and worth every single yeah, penny of yeah, it. That, yeah. The genuine amethyst, beautiful, uh, different shades. Often you can get your pinks, you can get your yeah. lovely lavenders, you can get these really beautiful rose de France, and you can get that lovely, deep, opulent purple as well. Um, if you want that technique, look back on Wednesday's show on our YouTube channel, and you'll see Mark actually doing it. £14.99. pounds. And 99 pence. For, that, for that, the pale of the two amethysts, I, I agree. that price. For that one strand. It's so beautiful. And the Memory wire packs were about six pounds, weren't they? Uh, four pounds, three ninety-five for the memory wire. Three ninety-five. Yeah. So, so that's, that's not bad. That means everything else is un yeah. is approximately what ten, eleven pounds. Yeah. That's Mad, unbelievable. Yeah. So ten, eleven pounds for those beautiful gold-plated rondelles, um, and the sort of rose de France lavender shade, plus also that lovely deep Zambian amethyst shade. Down to the final thirty-nine of these incredibly popular kit. Please don't leave it in your baskets. Um, hello to you. Um, uh, sorry, uh, wait until the menopause. You stand up to do something and forget what you're supposed to be doing literally two seconds later. Uh, pff, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe that's it. Honestly, I do it. I go, I go into, I go into the kitchen think, and I'm stood in the centre. My husband laughs at me all the time. I'm stood in this middle of the room like this. And he's like, you've forgotten what you were doing, haven't you? I'm like, yeah, totally forgotten what I was doing. Totally forgotten what I was doing. Liam's saying he does that at the age of 26. I think life is just so chaotic, isn't it? It's very well, I can't easy to forget. Being 26. No, nor me. I think I was quite wild at 26. Right. Yeah, yeah. Liam's wow. not. He's quite. He's quite. He's very sensible for a 26-year-old. I feel. He's got his head screwed on. Well, I went to bed on. The, I've said this before. I went to bed on the eve of my 13th birthday and woke up a 40-year-old. That's what you think. Have you mm. always been quite a sensible, mature yeah, person? Yeah. Yeah. I've never been. That's not a bad thing, wild though. Or, That's no, not a bad thing. No. Liam says he's had, he's got tweed slippers. What's wrong with that? Nothing mm. wrong with that. I love a pair of slippers. Anyway, this kit's on the verge of selling out. If I might That's actually amazing. have done that. Um, no, you I don't talk... quite understand this next kit. How quickly do you think this is going to sell out? <laughs> Just don't understand it at all. For the same price, we are going. Oh, hang on, we are going to the same price, aren't we? Before I, ah, oh, right. So for the same price, you don't get two strands that we've had in the other kits. <laughs> you get four. Mm. And one of those is actually the diamond cut. Yeah, I know. There's something wrong seriously with this one. And. <laughs> 
it's there. actually got the clear cubic zirconia. Which is so beautiful. Has, has there been a bit of a mix up mm. during this kit construction? I'm going to start by showing you these. Um, how many do we have, Liam? I mean, look at that, Mark. They're, they're this... stunning. They're so beautiful. I love the gold with the clear. They're just, look at that. It complements <laughs> your memory wire absolutely perfectly, doesn't yeah, it? Spot on. Okay, do you want to see what's causing Mark the confusion? Because we're going to do a 60 second clock, by the way, and that's to the graphics. Because whilst we do have the biggest quantity, how many do you say? 150, mm. still not going to be enough. Because look, beautiful rose quartz, 10 millimeter rounds. Stunning. All completely natural, by the way. Really deep then pink you as have, well, aren't they? They're really deep. Pink. Yeah, really perfect lovely. rose quartz yeah, colour. Yeah, then yeah. you have your six mil, perfectly complementary. Then you have your lovely two millimeter, and then you actually have the lovely star cut. Four <laughs> strands of rose quartz with your gold plate even Liam's questioning himself now yeah. hang on a minute I've got to check this it's got to be wrong and your gold plated cubic zirconia rondelles so that wonderful it, the princess cut princess channel set Mark that is absolutely exquisite is that on memory wire that's on point four a rosary link rosary I can link. see now yes. can yeah. we also yes. show those amazing earrings in front because they are utterly beautiful utterly utterly beautiful and the hoops Go, 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 go. This is an absolute bonkers giveaway deal. I mean, the earrings alone, I would absolutely, mm. if you doubled the price of those on, uh, on what, when you used to be sell your jewellery market, I would mm. absolutely pay that. Um, so you've combined it with just a few of your Mayuki gold yeah. um, on your memory wire. That's the bracelet in a hoop earring. We're going to go straight down to it. There are over 70 of you who've got this in your baskets already with your gold-plated, beautiful cubic zirconia princess channel set rondelles and the memory wire, four strands of rose quartz, <laughs> plus also your star cut. It's a bonkers deal, isn't it? Absolutely wow. bonkers. Who made this kit? Lovely Hannah. Hannah, yes, gorgeous yes. kits. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Loving, loving, loving these. A third of the stock has been snapped up already. We're at £14.99. That, I mean, that looks like it belongs in the V&A, Mark. That's just beautiful. So all, I, all I've done is I've used 0 0.6, bit of 0 0.6 wire and a few jump rings to separate the, the rosary links. But it's so lovely. And um, by the way, we can bring you those jump rings. We've got oh, a little, uh, little uh, sort of add-on little collection yeah. as well. So if you want the, if you want the shepherd looks, Mark, that's that's beautiful. If I turn that, so all I've done is I've found some jump rings in my stash. You can also use 0.8 wire on your mandrels and make your own jump rings if you want to. Yeah. So all I've done, if I just turn that round, is I've just popped that on one piece of memory wire. And I just found some findings in my stash there. But you could continue. That's 100 jump rings on that. Um, it's like the sweetie inspiration, like isn't it? Sweetie, the sweetie bracelet yeah. inspiration. That's so, so again, beautiful. That's a, one piece of your bracelet memory wire. Gorgeous designs, Mark. Morning to you, Elizabeth, oh, in time you, Elizabeth. Yeah, Really thank gorgeous. You. And gorgeous kits as well. Amazing. I bet, again, you have to say to yourself, right, stop now. Yes. Stop now because you can just make yeah. and make and make and make and make with this kit. <laughs> Over 70 of you have actually got this in your basket with how many on the phone lines? That looks so beautiful. Oh, it's about the five minutes been, queue. It's been photographed as well. It's yeah, isn't really it? lovely. Uh, well, you know, we always have this. Immediately, you've got this affiliation with Rose Quartz, this gemstone of love and unconditional love. We've got the sentiments that attached behind it that has been around, by the way, for centuries. It's right, it dates right back to the Egyptians using this gemstone as a gemstone of uh, emotion. If you don't check out in the next 30 seconds, this kit is going to be a sellout. Um, if you've got a phone in your hands, all I can do is keep everything crossed because there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. It was always going to be one of the most popular kits. Um, and we have got people multi-buying on it. So good luck to each and every single one of you that being said um adeline i've seen you've just been answered susan you've just been answered whilst you keep dialing through we'll leave the final 18 there um i'm going to bring you the findings um and then of course we've got the lovely demonstrations as well thanks adam thank you knew that was going to be a a, a busy busy kit uh kit one of my responsibilities is if i use anything else with the kits yep. we have to inform the producers and they try 
to put the items alongside to, to enable the, the viewers to make mm -hmm. the jewellery that the guest designers bring to air. Now, we're not, but I always try my luck, we're not to ask for findings packs. But I always, I always chance my arm, especially with Liam. Yeah, because he will, Because be he's done it. <laughs> yeah, he will. If, you, if you're going to twist yeah. anybody's arm, no. <laughs> I feel like Liam's is the, is the arm that you want to try and twist. Yeah. Liam, Liam, yeah. can you put some findings in? OK. <laughs> yeah, OK. He would do it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, look at how beautiful. Again, it's, it's the perfect yeah. colour match to um, the memory wire as well. It's the perfect, perfect colour mat. You're getting two of your gold-plated tog uh, toggles, uh, two pairs of your shepherd hooks. You've got your jump rings. You've got your length of chain there if you wanted to create like a bubble style um, or uh, lots of other alternatives. You've got your head pins and also your crimps. Yes. Um, and if you're thinking, will they match the gold colours um, in your memory wire? They match absolutely perfectly. perfectly. And that's something we're really sticklers mm. of here yeah, at JM absolutely. is making yeah. sure that all of our plating complements uh, uh, each other. <laughs> it's also um, coming your way. Essentials. So this is the pack that I've used on the jewellery. £3.99 yeah. only. They're absolute essentials. Liam says he'd be quite happy if you bought that super quick because it's that yeah the team are actually coming into the studio now they're yeah, actually they're on their yeah, way into the offices yeah, so they yeah. and the team there is a, there is jewelry jewelry maker is up in each and every single one of the rooms so they can they watch us yeah. they do know what's going on right now but Liam Liam don't pretend like you you yeah you're not bothered no nah, he ain't bothered he's not gonna do it so it's done now isn't it. He says, I just no. mute the office. <laughs> OK, fair <laughs> enough. Um, but they're essentials, aren't they, Mark? All Completely joking aside. Really. I mean, the, the earrings on the end that you like. So, oh, I they're mean, lovely. That, that's from this findings pack. I've used the toggle class from the findings pack. I've used the jump rings from... I mean, that's just, just a head pin and your shepherd's hooks. And That's simple. Them. Yeah, yeah. That simple. So, I mean, it's just using, um, yeah, your head pin, two head pins, your, two of your shepherd hooks, obviously, uh, and all of your gemstones from the actual kits. But it will work with all of the kits, too, if you wanted to do it with the amethyst, also the terra jasper as well. It will also work perfectly with your hypersthene and certainly your aquamarine showcase that we've got um, that we actually bring you in a, a little bit later on in the show. OK, uh, because Mark actually... Oh, uh, made that lovely sweetie style bracelet. Now, if you want to make that, which is basically Mark said about the gizmo, yeah, gizmo you tool. Gizmo, you can use a, I use a crochet hook as well if I need to make, make oh, a lot and, it, and then cut them. Um, so this is the exactly the same 0.8 wire that we featured on the show on Wednesday, which is really soft. Soft. It's really nice. So we've put it in today, so you can rosary link with this. It is so soft you can rosary link. And also for doing the wrapping around the amethyst that we did on the show on Wednesday as well. Oh, the little, so the, literally the, yeah. every single one yeah. of these. Yeah. So, all of, so this necklace here, uh, all of the jump rings can be used from this wire. And the rosary link, you can use the 0.8. £3.99 only for 10 metres. You can make your own yeah. jump rings. You can do this technique, which Mark featured on Wednesday show. Wednesday just gone. I'm mm. looking at the stretchy bracelet, the jump rings that are in between the stretchy yeah, bracelet that, would have absolutely. used this wire as well. Yeah, yeah. so as I said, you can, use your, you can use your gizmo coil mandrills or I've got a, a two and a half and a four millimetre crochet hook, which yep. is just perfect for doing... Yeah. You're, you're wrapping so you don't even need rings, the tool for yeah. the job as such mm. um, okay limited though in their quantity and always very very popular and um, this is your gold color and again if I just show you alongside the memory wire you can see how perfectly they actually match one another it's perfect, look. yeah perfectly yeah. matching so you're not gonna have it's, it's it's funny isn't it there's the slightest difference in shade mm. of gold plating makes such uh, to, with the with the end result mm. yeah, makes absolutely. all the difference yeah. so perfectly matches actually your memory wire color as well uh, Three ninety nine only for this jewelry makers. Make sure you snap those up extra quickly. And yeah, it's this that Mark used to create the sweetie style bracelet, um, the jump rings, the jump rings in between the stretchy, and also of course to cage those lovely uh, those lovely beads in that fabulous necklace that and he demonstrated. Because it is a soft, it is a softer wire. You can hammer this as well. You can texture all your jump rings, all your all your, your findings and things. It's lovely. Why, why does uh, so the fluidity of the wire yeah, yeah. matter? Yeah. 
Uh, because it, it's just, just it's some, sometimes when you take the wire off the reel, it whizzes round and round and round and round. This doesn't, it comes off really smooth and it's really soft. So for me, you've got the strength of the 0.8, but the fluidity and the ease of use of a 0.6. Wow, that's good. Yeah, so that's it's good. really nice. Right, just really one nice. more before we... Oh, I actually don't have it here, but we'll bring the ah. gizmo tool. Um, so, yeah, what a gizmo tool creates the most perfect little little coils. You use them to create your own jump rings if you ever run mm -hmm. out. That's but right. also, they create nice little features, don't like they? Little tubes, and you can gizmo your gizmo to make flowers. And and I think um, guest designer Claire uses it to make her a lot. Um, with her. Um, French wire to do her little chicks and her animals oh, and yeah. things like that as well. But I love it. And this one, you get five mandrels and you also get the clamp to attach the mandrels to. So you get the whole thing. Yeah. It's brilliant. I love this tool. Yeah, so you do, you'd this. really struggle, actually, unless you've got crochet hooks at home, then, yeah, yeah. Uh, to create your gizmo coils. Mm. Um, so, Mark, mm. oh, which of these fantastic designs well, I'm are you show going you to... Two really simple earrings using the ring memory wire and the bracelet which are really, really, really simple. So first of all, I'm going to show you, um, I've made... I love those earrings. These are really simple as well. It's a nice way of using your, your memory wire as, as, um, as shepherd's hooks in effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one piece of our bracelet memory wire, mm -hmm. and it's the, okay, and you get 14 coils on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my memory wire pliers. I'm going to cut one, one complete round off of that and then what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to find roughly the central part on the other side and I'm just going to start squidging so that the harder you squidge the smaller your earring will be so I'm going to stop at that sort of size and then what I'm going to do I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to cut either side so I've got that little oval shape like so Okay, and that's your, your first part of your earring. And you want this at this top part, this top part here to be nice and curved because that's actually going to go and sit in your ear lobe. So you want it to be nice and so you don't want a, you don't want a sharp point. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to finish off our, our actual earring part. So we're going to choose one of your beads and we're just gonna simply choose one side to place that on. And then we're going to, using our round nose pliers, we're just going to make a simple loop. Now, when I'm doing memory wire bracelets, I tend to bend it in and curl out. So have the loop on the outside, but we want the loop to be on the inside. So I'm just going to go right to the tip of my round nose pliers and the tip of the memory wire, and I'm going to just going to curl in and make a tiniest little loop. And this is more of a feature to stop your bead from falling off in the room. Okay, so we've got a little eye pin loop on the end. We're going to let the bead sit down and then what we're going to do at the end here is we're just going to flick like you would your shepherd's hook. We're going to flick away and that is your earring. How gorgeous. quick was that? Yeah, it's so <laughs> gorgeous though. So, and if you wanted to, because you've got a loop there, you can, you can hang a little dangle if you wanted to. You can add a, an extra bead, which I've done on the pair that I've made. If I just turn those round, you can see I've made a little Look loop and I've just added... So I've used the dark one in place of the pale I've just shown you, and then I just add a little dongle on the end. But that, that's a root. So you could probably make um, about 20 pairs of those from your bracelet memory wire. Just that's really, unbelievable. Just really, really simple. And then the next one I'll show you, I wanted to use these little rondelles. So I've gone in my stash, and we've got this. this is, these are from the findings packs that we just had. So I'm just going to cut the end. I'm just going to make an eye pin loop. If you have any eye pins in your stash, you can use those as well if you want to. Okay, so we've just got an eye pin loop, like so. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to decorate that using some of the amethyst and some of the... Um, I've, got, I've got some 11.0 gold seed bees that, that I've also used as well. So I'm just going to add some little spaces. Ah, I think Liam's just put on some... 11.0 light bronze up on the screen for you there. Then to separate the two amethyst, I'm just going to pop one of these amazing rondelles. They're just beautiful. I love these. We must get some more of these. Yeah, we'll have to report that back to yeah, the team. Yeah, and then another amethyst and then another bead at the top. And then we're going to cut that off to about a centimetre. And then using our round nose pliers, we're just going to make a simple eye pin loop to finish the top off like 
So if you wanted to, that could be your earring, but I wanted to incorporate the ring memory wire because we don't, we don't tend to use it very often. So this is, again, is a really simple way of making simple earrings. I'm going to open out the coils and I'm going to cut exactly a coil. I'm just going to go in with my pliers. So you can see, if I just take that off, you can see that there's about a millimetre gap in between mm -hmm. the two sides. And I'm going to take another one. Let's find the end. So this is a sort of similar way that you'd make your, your wine glass charms. How decadent. Yeah. Well, Gemstone the, wine um, glass charms. I use them at the ring memory wire for plant supports in the garden. For, wow, for, for, that's a good idea. Yeah, because they, they're, they're galvanised, you see, so they won't rust or... So they're do you know what? It's probably outside. way cheaper than if you were to it's buy the equivalent cheaper, in the garden a centre. Cheaper, a lot cheaper. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of my amethyst. Again, we'll stick with the... With the um, pale and I'm just going to pop one side in one side of the bead and the other in the other and then you just give a little and then you just give a little push and that keeps it all together and we'll do the same with the other side now most gemstones you can do this technique with because the, the drill holes are really nice you're just going to position so the two cut ends are in the middle of that gemstone inside and I'm going to take my jump ring going to open that up and then I'm just going to pick those two up. So I've got the same colour here but in the other earrings I've made I've chosen two different colours and then we're going to place that in the bottom like so. So you've got those hanging like so and then we just use our shepherd's hook that you had in your findings pack and just place that on like so. And that's your completed. I mean, look how simple that was. You get that really nice beautiful. movement. You haven't had to do anything faffy with the with no. the memory wire to pop that on. If Adam can just look down here, there's a bracelet that I've made. And I, I've, if I bring that, sorry, I'll bring that out of. So this is the um, this is a bracelet I've made. So contemporary. So it's, it's exactly what I've just shown you with the earrings. So each of those are single memory wire. And before I've closed the closed it up around the bead, I've just interlocked it in between. The, the previous ring on here, and then I've just popped a toggle clasp on the end. Mark, beautiful. And it's really simple. It's a really nice way of using up your, your, your ring memory wire that we don't tend to use very often. Yeah, because it's labelled as ring, bracelet, necklaces, but there's nothing saying that you can't actually no, sort of mix no, them up, particularly not. sort of your bracelets with your earrings and your, That's right. uh, and your rings as, as individual links yeah. as well. But I think, I think using your bracelet as, the, as these shepherd hooks here as you said they're really contemporary yeah you can add little dangles if you wanted to on the end because you're making a loop so that's really nice really nice oh, i'm loving it. it i'm absolutely loving it these mm. kits by the way um well firstly they're either pretty much sold sold out the rose quartz oh, no. i'll tell you there's eight left eight left of the rows oh. uh, of the rose quartz and the other ones again very very limited so um make sure you check them out there's still 38 of you actually who have it in your basket so good luck to each and every single one of you um thank you mark Pleasure. beautiful jewelry Pleasure. and if you're inspired by mark's incredible talents like we all are um then make sure you're with us from 11 o'clock because we've got some amazing jewelry in your master class that is your kiss cross um liam's been hinting to me saying oh, i might put those on but he ordered have you done it Okay, that's brave. Oh, I do. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, and the reason why I say it's brave is because many, uh, particularly with Mark, lots of his kits sell out way, way, way in advance. Um, so that's coming up at eleven o'clock. But right now, jewelry makers, I'm bringing you a showcase of a gemstone that I could most definitely count on one hand mm -hmm. the amount of times I've ever brought to air. Absolutely. Not just here at jewelry maker, no. at Gemporia also. I've only a couple probably off the top of my head. We are talking about a gemstone that is completely and utterly natural. And actually, if I was to say, name your black gemstones, most of us, myself included, would completely forget about. Mm. And that is, by the way, an indication of its rarity. Hypersthene is incredibly beautiful often referred to as your velvet labradorite, although it's not mm. the same gemstone. You have beautiful visions of pearly luster coming your way in a showcase of just four strands. Be prepared, because these are utterly divine.
Hypersthene is a gemstone consisting uh, of manganese and iron silicate. It is completely natural. And the name actually uh, refers to, it's the Greek word uh, for overstrength. Uh, and the reason you might think, okay, why is, why, what's that, why is it referred to as that? Bear with me. Actually, it could be an indication towards the gemstone's hardness, because this is actually much more durable than many other minerals. But actually, when I think about, uh, so it's, a, it's the words origination, I actually think a lot about, si, um, about the crystal healing aspect because many gemstones, and I'm not saying this is scientifically true, but many gemstones have sort of beliefs um, associated to them. Hypersthene is definitely one of those. In fact, it's particularly poignant in your crystal healing um, and your sort of chakra jewelry, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm not gonna talk about that too much just yet. It's a gemstone that comes from the same uh, gemstone family as your bronzite. And when, I, when you think about bronzite, you think about metallic beauty, don't you? That really beautiful, quite, mm -hmm. uh, quite strong gemstone that has uh, a really incredible metallic luster. But gold, I, I normally think about with bronzite. With hypersthene, it's much more of a sort of a, a, a silver uh, pearlescence that occurs completely naturally. As I said a few moments ago, it is often referred to actually as your velvet labradorite, although it is not a feldspar, it's not the same gemstone. Um, that don't let that terminology mislead you. It's at its reference is actually referring to its actual energy. Um, many crystal healers believe that hypersthene has an ability to shield you. It's a, a calming gemstone apparently. Um, and shield you in this almost like velvety cocoon. That's the way I would actually term it. But what, what I would absolutely emphasize in this black gemstone, because you can get black onyx, you can get black spinel, you can get black diamonds, you can get uh, um, quartz, uh, sort of, uh, and your agates, of course, lots of different varieties of your black gemstones. With hypersthene, it's this magical natural gemstone that has almost a pearle pearlescence that has not been coated, has not been layered on top of the gemstone, is actually down, is down to its original formation. The entire showcase today consists of four strands. Wow. That's it. Yeah. And, and, and from scouring the, the actual vault, we believe that's pretty much it. That's all mm. we actually have. I've got two strands at home that I probably bought seven or eight years ago. Really? One is a round and one is a little, a little square, flat square. And I've not seen it since. And that, that, was, that was eight, it must be eight years ago, it must be. I think I mm. have actually brought it mm. to air, and I'm only mm. I can only talk about myself here. Mm. I think I have only ever actually brought it to air, and I'm not even just talking about jewelry maker. I'm talking about when I worked under Gemporia as well, once, twice, right, okay. ever. So we are talking about a gemstone of extreme rarity, but absolute beauty. Mm. So make the most of this showcase opportunity. It's definitely one for the gents as well. For Definitely. sure. Yeah. In fact, when yeah. I was reading about it on a website last night, that's one of the things that they really emphasise, the fact it's oh, really? perfect for gents' jewellery. Yeah, yeah. um, it's actual formation, and I don't want to get too much into that, it's actually quite rugged. It can be quite rugged, it can actually be quite a textured gemstone as well. So oh. they were saying, oh, perfect for your gents' yes, jewellery. Yeah. However, this is the opposite of that. These are just perfectly polished, so you get this ultimate pearlescence. Now, I'm going to show you the entire showcase opportunity. This is what the, I homed in on. This morning. It's I've never stunning. Seen it. I've never seen it in a rondelle before. Absolutely oh, stunning. Yeah. And and I'm going to be brave enough to suggest that this surpasses the luster that you would find in black spinel, doesn't it? Yeah. Completely. Because of yeah, that yeah. lovely, yeah. silky. They call it like shimmers of magic within this gemstone that is totally natural. It's like a black moonstone, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, because so, let's get close. Yeah. Let's get up close and personal with your hypersthene. Now you'll see it. There we go. There we are. Oh, These beautiful yeah. shimmers yeah. of black. That's, That's natural hypersthene. It's amazing quality, absolutely. Yeah, um, so yeah, can you see why people often refer to it as um, as your velvet labradite? I've never heard it called that before, but it's yeah. perfectly apt, It is, isn't it? I, I, or yeah. even pearlescent labradite you yeah, could refer to yeah. it as. Not the same gemstone, but definitely referring to the beauty and the magic within. Now, there's your drops. You get, you've got drops, we've got your rondelles. We've also got these fantastic, look at this for a cut. Amazing, look at the body language as well of oh, me. I'm hunched right over. Yeah. Look how beautiful 
beautiful these are. They're so striking in that metallic beauty, aren't they? Um, it's almost like they could be actually a, um, a precious metal. They're not, oh, they're look. actually a natural, genuine gemstone. Can you see that pearlescence across those uh, wonderful flat planes? This is actually what we're gonna start the showcase with, but not before I show you each and every single one of these strands. We've also got these lovely cubes. Um, okay, so there we are. Amazing cubes. Look at that Look at pearlescence that. just there. Totally natural. Now, there oh, are nice. less than 50 of each hypersthene opportunity. Um, it is limited, limited quantity. And again, use that as an indication of the rarity of the gemstone. Stunning pearl uh, uh, luster across them. Completely natural. Very limited. And genuinely, uh, once or twice, I think, I've actually brought mm. hypersthene to actually air. Um, not just here at Jewelry Maker, ever across all of the actual channels. Let's start with these wonderful statement stones. Now, as I said earlier on, hypersthene is particularly poignant in th those of you that love your crystal healing. I'm not saying they're scientifically tr proven or anything like that. If you love the idea of your chakra or your mala jewelry, a hypersthene would be perfect for that. So when I saw this strand, I was like, uh, marker beads. Yeah, absolutely. They would be the most amazing marker beads. And yeah. I actually discussed this with one of your guest designers last night. I uh, uh, thought, okay, if they don't sell out, and it is a big if, by the way, um, then they need to be included in one of their shows. Look at that beautiful pearlescent luster. Hello to you, Liz. Hypersthenes mesmerizes me. I could look at it for hours. Absolutely. It is completely and utterly mesmeric, isn't it? You have these really beautiful these absolutely beautiful statement facets, these incredible metallic uh, shimmers of luster across the surface of the gemstone. Depending on the direction that you look at hypersthene, it may show in different colors as well. Only a few seconds less, there are less than 50, less than 50 of these available. Um, and these, by the way, are the biggest of your individual sizes, these big statement carat weights. 94 carats you're getting in total. Um, oh. 94, sorry, 94 carats you're getting in total of these big, beautiful, irregular cuts showcasing the quality, that most desired phenomena with these natural gemstones. Limited, arguably one of the most limited gemstones in terms of appearances here on your Jewelry Maker channel. And truly mesmeric. I totally agree with what Liz was saying. You could stare at it for hours and hours and hours, and there's not a single ounce not a minuscule of treatment to actually produce this beautiful gemstone. They are utterly amazing, I agree. Where are they from? Uh, USA. Oh, wow. USA. It's found, they're found in a few locations, but very, very, very small deposits. Mm. Um, and when you look at this, you, you, normally they refer to the fact that its crystal formation can be quite rugged, can be quite rough, actually. Um, there's challenges there with the cutting and the polishing, of course. Because these are so perfectly faceted and polished, you have the most beautiful pearlescence. And that's an indication of the, cut, the quality of cutting houses that we get. Every wow. single one. $24.99. Look at this. Ready? Oh, isn't that amazing? That's like a gold. It is. It is. I think it. Yeah. I think it puts black diamonds in the, in the shadows really for for that metallic luster that you're seeing here. And I don't just have to show you one. I can show you them all like so. Flashes of beautiful, almost metallic-like luster within every single one of these. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence only for the largest individual solitaire stones, but we are gonna take it even lower. There was just 50 of these opportunities, jewelry makers, and they are getting snapped up. If you want to get hold of each and every single one of these cuts, we're gonna take it to as competitive price tag as we possibly can. It's natural, it's incredibly rare. I've brought you more, let's see, I've brought you more paparazzi sapphire than I have a hypersthene. Yes, I yes, have brought you yes. more ruby than I have uh, Burmese ruby in particular than I have hypersthene. I've brought you more, let's see, Paraba, yeah, Alexandrite, absolutely. Grandidurite, absolutely. I've brought you more of those opportunities than I actually have your hypersthene. Have I brought more Moldavite? Mm, yeah, Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this would look lovely with yeah. Moldavite. Perfect. Look how it captures the light, that wonderful velvety cocoon, um, and particularly poignant if you are into your crystal healing, um, your chakra, your mala style jewelry, uh, because it's believed to actually shield uh, the, the individual to protect you. 
in a wonderful velvety cocoon. Down to the final 12. Goodness me, they're getting snapped up. Please do not leave them in your baskets. Otherwise, unfortunately, you're possibly going to be told that you've missed out. If that is the case, then you can always add them to your wish list, of course. Um, however, I, yeah, I, I can't remember. I genuinely cannot remember the last time I've seen Hikers theme. I genuinely cannot remember. Now, one thing, what, sorry? One thing to know, Liam says. The next three strands <laughs> we're actually taking lower than what's on your screens already. I know which one Mark loves the most. Mm. I can't choose. They're all incredible, Look aren't at they? Those drops. They're incredible. We're going to bring you the faceted wheels next. Yeah, they're incredible, aren't they? I can't choose because those drops are incredible mm. as well. And I love the cubes too. If you just bought those, um, the kits with the rondelles, with the parve set, having a group of maybe four of the hypersteam rondelles and then a, a, then a parve, then group a parve. That look amazing. Oh, and this strand, by the way, someone please make it into a Marla necklace. And if you do sell your jewellery, give me a shout because I would definitely buy that. Oh, my goodness me. Look at this. this. I mean, you don't imagine your rondelles or wheels, no, whichever, no. to be able to produce oh, such no. luster. There are less than 50 of these available. Can you see that pearlescence? Can you see that beautiful shimmer of magic they refer to it as? Um, yeah, depending on the direction that you look at your hypersthene, it may show flashes of different metallic colours. Um, most desirably, they've referred to it as shimmers of magic. It's natural. It's totally natural. We're going lower than under £20 jewellery makers for natural hypersthene. <laughs> £18.99. If you were actually to turn these on their sides, again, you're going to see that shimmer of magic across the surface of the gemstone as well. Um, it's not a variety of feldspar. It's not a type of labradorite. It's a completely different gemstone, completely different hardnesses as well, so, um, com completely different chemical composition. But what I can say is it is also completely and utterly natural. Again, you're sourcing from the USA, regarded as one of the most supreme locations of this gemstone. Um, yeah. It, 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 it has got, we talk about uh, uh, its, its protective beliefs, you know, many gemstones, whether you're into your, your crystal healing, and I don't want to dwell on this too much, but um, whether you're into crystal healing or um, uh, uh, chakra and all of those things, g many gemstones have, uh, have beliefs associated to them. We mentioned it with your rose quartz, we mentioned it with, with rubies, certainly, emeralds, all of those ones. See, I'm quite sceptical about it, but there must be something in it because these these stones are millions of years old yeah and they've soaked up all the magnetic from the earth and you know all the minerals and, and it, there must be must be something i, I agree i totally yeah. agree i'm probably the one of the most pessimist uh, mm. pessimistic people mm. ever on things like that you know uh, however yeah. I, yeah, I totally agree be. and i really like the story yeah. behind it all but, but this, this, every time i hold jadeite for example i get I get a shiver. Yeah. It's the only stone that's ever, ever done it. Gemstones but, but do induce mul uh, emotions, yeah. don't they? They yeah. induce mul emotions, which I think is absolutely what jewellery is about and gemstones yeah. is about. Yeah. £18.99. pence. So again, we only had, how many did you say? Less than 50. Less than 50. We're down to the final 20 of these remaining. Wendy, Sheila, hello to you, Maeve, Sarah, G uh, Jenny, Essex, Rubwanti, hello to you, Suzanne, Ruby, Antoinette. You've got yours. It's utterly beautiful. I mean, let's just talk, let's focus solely on beauty shall we you know we can talk about rarity we can talk about location crystal formation um, the discovery all of those things very exciting to know as well um, of course crystal healing as we just mentioned let's be driven solely by the beauty of this look at how they utterly capture the light look at how every single one of those facets is giving you optimum amounts of luster and then even beyond that you get this shimmer of pearl essence the final few of those i'm going to bring you the pears next which i know are probably going to be one of the fastest yeah, selling yeah. oh really sadly however it is the lowest quantity of them all there oh, are no. 39 of these oh my goodness me 80 carats that you're getting. Should we, go, should we work our way across the strand? Just because you can see the consistency of quality. Graphics are in. Go, 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 go. I've already said that these are guaranteed under £20. Look at that pearlescence. 
look at that pearlescent. It's like a sort of a, a coppery purple, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's quite, yeah, it's quite difficult to... Um... And that's natural. That's oh, that. totally and utterly natural. I'd have to put this with my, with my Amazon Ice, I think. Oh, yeah. I think it would be so beautiful together. Look at that. That's the quality we aspire to in high pristine. That's, oh. I mean, that's gem <laughs> quality, isn't it? You're going to need to be quick on this, jewellery makers, because already we are down to the final 30, did you say? Every single one. What? 17 pounds and 99 pence for 80 carats of natural, high quality, high pristine. Don't, Wayne would have, of course, bought more of these if he got the chance. If he had the chance, that's every single one on the strand that I've actually shown you there. The quality uh, in them as individual solitaires. Um, top drilled, but because of course they're a gemson of opa opacity, you don't have to use that drill hole if you don't want to. It can maybe be as little treated as little cabochons as well. Hypersthene is a natural gemstone. Hypersthene comes from the Greek word overstrength, and that's alluding to the hardness in comparison to other minerals, of course. It is a, a gemstone uh, consisting of manganese and iron silicates. So there's actually a water presence, which is pop, uh, you know possibly, oh, like um, yeah, yeah, which is possibly yeah. what's giving you that sort of inner magic, those shimmer of magics across mm. the soft, uh, uh, surface of the gemstone. And yeah, I mean, we talk about different angles and things like that with your triacrosum and your pleochrosum. Obviously, you're not getting that because they're gemstones of opacity. However, but you are getting different flashes of colour um, with uh, the surface luster. The final 18 of these remaining: Maeve, Kent, Lynn, Route One T. Maureen, Patricia, Essex, Sarah, Alison, Sandra, Jenny, Antoinette, Suzanne, Merseyside, Judith, Mary, you're there as well. Keep on dialing through. I had less, this is the most limited edition actual quantity. And we're down to the final four of these. Um, okay, I'm going to leave those last three there because I've got one final strand. Now, I think possibly one of the most yeah. versatile, <laughs> contemporary. Mm. Should we get a 60 second clock onto your screen? Because again, how many, Liam? 52, I mean, look at that as a piece of jewelry. If I made that for my husband. Yeah, absolutely. I know for sure that yeah. he would wear it. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? They'd be perfect cufflinks. They would, got the small size and the large in the center. Amazing for gents jewelry. Look at those. But why don't we see the likes of like Thomas Sabo, mm. Gucci? Mm. Why don't we see those jewellers actually use hypersteam? I'll tell you why. There won't be enough of it to actually be able to support their collection quantities. That's why. They would absolutely move towards this gemstone, I should imagine, because look at how striking it is. Individual ones on little wish style bracelets, using them maybe with your um, with your cords. Just tuned in and besotted with high pristine. <laughs> love, love, love the cubes, Davinia. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, you're the second person to have said you're just completely obsessed with this gorgeous gemstone. It is considered to be a very protective stone. It's thought to create a calmness with the wearer, but also enable you to hear your inner voice. Um, it's meant to help soothe us, um, shield us in a velvety cocoon. You know, a couple of a couple of shows that I've been on in the afternoons, we've had we've had um, something called an avalanche. Yeah. You, you've heard what? I've, so the first one we bought to air was nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. We've had an eighteen ninety nine. Yeah. The previous one, the pairs were seventeen ninety nine. So I think it's only fitting. <gasps> that, <laughs> Are you producing from the floor, think, Mr. So, Smith? So in effect, we could this could be a hypersteine avalanche, don't you think? I mean, Liam. Well, it's going in that trajectory. That's a good it word, is. isn't it? It's going in that It is. That is a good word, by the way. I can't say it now. Liam, oh, do it. You have been told by me. It was just a thought. <laughs> do it. Do it, Liam. For the beautiful cubes. <laughs> Look at that wonderful magic, that beautiful pearlescence, as oh. we refer to. An incredible uh, oh, shimmering... You, uh, pearly luster, <laughs> there we go. It's a hypersteen avalanche for yeah. you. Limited quantity. <laughs> and there's so much that I could do with this strand. I'm, and I'm, I think if there's any of them left, it's going to be added to my order. Look how they capture the light. And because you have got those lovely sort of flat uh, surfaces, the light, that wonderful, mm. uh, that wonderful visual 
of luster, of pearlescence, of metallic beauty, has got just room to move about. Down to the final yeah. 16 of these. Um, if this is your first ever hypersthene, you've heard words, messages coming into the studio live saying hypersthene is mesmeric. It's a gemstone you can't put down. It's one of those gemstone that um, it does, it peels all the senses, I suppose, because That's you get enchanted good. and captivated mm. by that light performance. Yeah. Yeah. The final 11 of these left, massive congratulations. We're down to the single figures of immediately good luck patricia good luck to you sheila good luck to you new customers good luck to you valerie mave uh, kent you're there as well people are multi-buying that's it by the way uh, oh, we haven't God. found any other hypersthene in our in, in the vault not that we can get our hands on anyway um and here we are bringing it to you at 16 pounds and 99 pence that, i mean yeah i've brought you've said it earlier mm. on moldavite more times to yes, air i've brought yeah. it paparaccia sapphire more times than i have hypersthene i've brought more grandidurite to air than i have hypersthene and I've brought more Alexandrite, um, your Mogok Ruby. Not That's not me belittling those, those, those gemstones, of course. I'm just saying that this is, but what, this is incredibly elusive on our screens. One of them wow, left within the actual them. vault. Congratulations to you all. And one also that mm. is going to complement everything. I mean, yes, imagine yes. that with those pearls. How amazing that mm. would be. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness me. Still so much to bring you, Jewelry Makers. Your deal of the day is some absolutely beautiful um, calibrated and faceted natural tourmaline um, so if you've never done gemstone setting please don't think it's something that only the professionals can do because actually um, it's a very simple technique that just you just need a little bit of a, a tender hand and a bit of patience now if you want to get ahead I think Liam is actually putting is that what you said Okay, the graphics for your deal of the day are here. Exquisite, five by three, natural, brilliant oval tourmalines, and we have the perfect mounts to follow. That's coming your way. You can also pre-order your masterclass kits with a fantastic mark. We'll be back after this. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Good morning, good morning, la 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 la. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. 
Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. Lovely to be with you this morning. I hope you're all well. My name's Eleanor. Um, now, the deal of the day, it has to live up to that status. And this is something, by the way, that the team behind the scenes plan way, 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 way in advance. And Liam's like, don't get me started on deal of the days. Because they have to, like I said, live up to that status. It has to be one of the biggest auctions, um, if not the, as the name suggests, biggest auction of the day. Now, um, and we have to think of something new every single day, basically. Um, so how have we achieved that today? Now, if you were to walk your walk along most high streets, certainly in sort of your high end locations that you know would have the big design designer brands, you would see the beautiful gemstone that is your tourmaline, and you would probably see it in beautiful sort of mounts, uh, sort of Tiffany S four prong mounts, those kind of things. Quite simple designs, aren't they? Because actually, the most uh, um, Mainstream jewellery will be sort of single pol uh, solitaire pendants or maybe uh, little stud earrings or maybe uh, stud or cluster rings, all of those things. Is that something that you can make here at Jewellery Maker? Obviously you can, because we can give you the techniques, we can give you the tools to actually transform you into not something that, uh, not somebody that, you know, does jewellery making just as, as merely a hobby, um, that actually creates pieces of jewellery that rival with the big brands. Because what you do to set them, what Liam did this morning, and we watched him do it, didn't we, Mark? We did, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. What Liam did this morning to create this pendant is no different to what any uh, uh, sort of gemstone setter in Boucheron, in Chopard, in Cartier, exact, no different in terms of the actual technique. If you want those techniques, then they are available on our YouTube channel, but also on our website. But let's give you the ingredients to create that fine jewellery. Let's bring you the calibrated, high-quality tourmaline in these exceptional 5 by 3 loose stones. And then let's bring you the mounts that have been custom-made to accommodate your deal of the day. So if you're thinking, OK, I'll get hold of these, L. When do I actually get hold of the mounts? We will bring them literally straight after. This is a parcel of fine quality tourmaline. The one that I have here in the studio and it's been sent over completely by random is actually two pairs oh, of no. the rarest colors. Now, I, I know we've referred to this as tourmaline, but they are rubellite in my eyes because they have hot pink and reddish colors. And you also have perfectly paired chrome tourmaline now tourmaline is actually a gemstone uh, which is type 3 it's expected to have internal inclusions like the like the uh, emeralds that we had earlier on and yet here we are looking at beautiful clarity exceptional brilliance and they're perfectly perfectly paired you're guaranteed four exceptional 
brilliant cut ovals. You might get two pairs of blue, you might get two pairs of orange, you might get two pairs of pinks or greens. But to tell you what we're, do, we're planning, jury makers, how about if we promise that we'll take it to a multi buyable opportunity so you can get perhaps the different shades? Um, here's a couple of other examples. So just here, look. You have your oranges and pinks. Oh. Again. I love that. Orange. Perfectly paired. Yeah. Wow. Now, in the ones that Liam has set for you, he had pink and this really beautiful green. So I want to, I took the earrings out because I actually wanted to show you them on the hand like I would do if I was on our sister channel. Just because you can really see the quality of the gemstones when they're sort of out of that stand. So um, these, again, beautiful quality, perfectly paired and matched. Look at the earrings that Liam has actually set, Liam set these for you. Wow. That's canary yellow tourmaline, and that's also completely and utterly natural. Now, again, let's take ourselves back to that, uh, the location. You must have a jeweler in your mind that you know sells high quality, premium, natural gemstones, um, uh, finished pieces uh, uh, you know, of luxury essence like this. Imagine the price tag that they would actually command. If you want the mounts, then definitely we'll be bringing them to you immediately after. These earrings, and we've also got the pendant that's in front of me. But let's concentrate on actually acquiring and sourcing the gemstones. And like I said earlier on, to actually be able to offer you this quality, it has to be at a deal of the day status. We're not even stopping there. We want to take this to, um, we want to take this to a multi-buyable purchase. We want you to be able to get fine quality tourmaline. I can't emphasize that enough jewelry makers. It comes in a huge variety of colours, tourmaline. Tourmaline is used by big designers like, uh, as I said, Boucheron, Chopard, Bulgari, Van Cleef and Arpels. You know, they all command thousands of pounds actually for, uh, for their tourmaline pieces of jewellery. What qualities does it have? Colour. Firstly, colour is the most important thing. And if you can team that with the wonderful clarity that you're seeing, then you really do have something for, uh, super exciting. This gemstone is, more often than not hundreds of dollars or pounds per carat um, rather than the 19.99 that you're seeing on your screens we're not even stopping there I mean you would uh, to be truthful I bought tourmaline way before jewelry makers existence I bought it in as individual loose stones um, I paid and I'm going back to when I was in my 20s now I paid uh, I think it was 150 pound for a, a, a tourmaline it's rubelite ish um, in its color <laughs> yeah like I said that's for one individual stone if you've never Never actually given gemstone setting a try, then I think today is perfect. Is the perfect opportunity to actually, uh, you know, to, 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 to give it a go, build that confidence. You can make this pendant, the three stone pendant, for less than twenty pounds. Imagine being able to gift this, Mark, and say, I, know, I made that me. for you. A couple of weeks ago, and I might be completely wrong about the sizing, but we had. I think Jake bought it to wear. It was a tennis bracelet yeah. with with the mounts to put your random stones. Was that five by three? I can't uh, remember. Or was it, that slightly larger? We'll double check. We'll do I would have thought so because five by three yeah. would be the perfect. So if you've got that empty bracelet sat there waiting for your stones and you get mixed packs like this, mm. having a tourmaline bracelet. Oh, right, that would okay. be amazing. Right, yeah. That would be absolutely... And by the way, yeah. at five by three is a calibrated size, so that yes. is something that we will repeat yeah. Yeah. Um, and bring you mounts for most definitely. But we're bringing you this mm. mount immediately after and likewise oh. with the actual stud earrings too. <clears throat> you need to be checking out ASAP, eight pounds. <clears throat> And 99 pence, not for per single individual natural multicolored tourmaline. We're actually talking about a pack of four of them. A pack of four, which, I mean, you tell me, jewelry makers, would you say they're rubelite colors? You tell me, would you say they're beautiful chrome tourmalines? Would you say they're wonderful matching pairs of your um, almost Madeira-esque? Colors, yes, yes. Um, and they're all completely natural so if you want to grab hold of those um, they're getting quite limited now there's a lot of you getting packs of threes fours and fives that don't blame I mean what an acquisition we talk about legacy gemstones and, uh, and aspiring to the finest stone, quality yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. is yes yeah. 8 yeah. I've got to keep move on because we've got a lot to bring you in your deal of the day. Um, okay, let's bring you that pendant. So this is how it will arrive to you. It comes with the bale as well. 
We actually do have it in the gold, but we're going to start with the silver. So if you want to uh, recreate exactly what oh. Liam has done, look at the investment of your precious sterling silver in oh, that. Lovely. That's 1.2 grams. And, and you cradle over the prongs. If you've never done gem setting, um, then look on our website. Uh, look on our website. Do look on our, uh, our YouTube channel. There's lots of tutorials there of how to do it. But basically, you just push over those prongs. Gently does it. Make sure the table facet remains perfectly flat. Um, and you've just created professional jewellery. Now, this is for the trilogy pendant that we have here. So you can make that entire necklace, not just less than 20 pounds, significantly yeah, less than 20 yeah, pounds. Six pounds and 99 pence only. For your beautiful mount. The perfect mount that is just waiting for those amazing uh, tourmaline. So the stones are eight pound 99, plus 6.99, and you only actually need three yeah, of them. Yeah. So, the, so it's only six pounds 75 for the actual stones. 13 pounds and 74 pence to actually create that 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 beautiful natural genuine tourmaline sterling silver pendant that's that's amazing yeah. absolutely amazing i i mean yeah I, I took willow to wilkinson's the other day yesterday we, we had planned on going to the cinema she got bored halfway through so we had to go out anyway <laughs> Bored halfway through. I was like, I was going to be getting into this film. Anyway, went to Wilco's. She's like, Mummy, please, can I have a toy? Please, 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 can I have a toy? She's like, You can, but you're only having a little one because you've just wasted my money. Mm. She did. It was still more than that. <laughs> still it was was still more than that. Peter Rabbit, it was really good. Oh. Really good. I was gutted. I had to leave halfway through. <laughs> Six ninety nine only to get hold of that. That's a film. I, I can tell you, I definitely paid more than that to actually go to the cinema. Mm. It's so expensive, yeah, isn't yeah. it, these days? Um, okay, let's do the gold colour because I'm a gold wearer. Some people are silver. Some people are rose. Some people are yellow gold. So all down to your personal preference. Um, so and actually, tourmaline really complements any all of those colours. I love it in gold. Me too. Yeah. This is what I would be. Oh. This is what I'd be joining you on. That's super. Look how beautiful that quality is. Absolutely stunning quality. That perfect amount of plating to create that complementary sort of 18 karat yellow gold color. Uh, yeah, you can see the little prongs that are just waiting to be cradled over the top of your tourmaline um, 5x3 calibrated gemstones, which we brought you a few moments ago, those of you that have just tuned in. You're making fine jewellery. Mm. Nobody can deny That's that. Beautiful. You are making fine jewellery, fine quality jewellery. Isn't the silver one six ninety nine? Yes, so we should oh, be. Right. It should be more mm. yeah. because actually it's gold plate onto your onto your sterling yeah. silver. We're not though. We're bringing it. It's the deal of the day, I suppose. Uh, gives us license to actually get away with a little bit extra. Um, grab it whilst you can. So to make this as a finished pendant, we've worked out that it's just under fourteen pounds to make genuine wow. natural tourmaline in gold plated nine two five sterling silver. Again, moving on, congratulations. Let's bring you the actual earring mounts now. So if you look just before me, there's the actual mounted earrings. Liam, you were doing this literally prior to the show, weren't you? So it didn't take long. So here we go. This is what you're actually getting. That's the empty mounts. That's and that's amazing. what they can be. Wow. Look how beautiful they are. Six pounds ninety nine pence. I love tourmaline. Me too. I absolutely love it. I've never <laughs> seen it on any of our jewellers in Whitney. Really? Yeah, well, it's expensive. Yeah, That's why. Do you know tourmaline no. in the USA is one of the most desired coloured gemstones out there? Is it? Um, I'm going to be completely honest, and it's something that certainly I've heard in the background here. Tourmaline is not one of our uh, some of our jewellery makers. Mm. It's not our top selling colour gemstone, right, and yet it right. should be. Really, I mean, especially yeah. of this quality, because you've got amazing clarity and you've got pretty much every single colour mm. that you could possibly wish for. Mm. If you go to the USA market, if we were broadcasting to the USA, um, then it would have sold out already by now because they expect wow. prices like 350 uh, US dollars per carat. We brought it to you at £8.99. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> uh, but for the mounted earrings, so you've
you've got this really lovely wow. six prong mount. If I actually hold one upwards, can you see? You have this really beautiful, again, very Tiffany-esque. I know I keep saying that, but that, those sort of pronounced elevated uh, mounts really lifts the gemstone away from the actual ear, allows the light underneath. Oh, yeah. um, keep on dialing through for those. Let's bring you now. I've not seen a mount with six prongs before. No, it's, yeah. it, uh, they do it in solitaire rings as well. Right, it's believed right. to make the gemstone look bigger because it kind of fans out yeah, okay. as well. Right. Um, okay. Let's do... Oh, these are pretty. Earrings and also the pendant. Oh. So let's hold up the pendant for you and you can see that the earrings will match. And again, will be perfect alongside your deal of the day. Oh, they're sweet, aren't they? You've got for your little set. Pico for the set. Wow. Gosh. So again, waiting for you to uh, for you to include your deal of the day jewellery. That's beautiful, isn't it? £8.99 for the pendant and also the actual earrings. I have wow. some other little sizes and calibrations to bring you in a few moments' time. Stay where you are, stay where you are. Uh, let's move on to... How about, oh, this is unbelievable. You are guaranteed, say that again, an eight by four marquise, a five millimeter trillion, and a four millimeter pair. O, M, G. It is a bit like a heart cut, absolutely. Now, you are looking at, some of the most complex shapes of any gemstone. Oh, Your marquise is renowned to be the most expensive. That's almost got, that's got a presence of indicolite colour. Might be in different colours, but you are guaranteed these shapes. Look how beautiful that pair is. The brilliance is drawing you down to the coulee. You have an exceptional trillion cut, and I've got another example that I can show you here as well. Okay. Look at that quality. You would be forgiven for thinking that can't possibly be tourmaline because that I couldn't see a single blemish or a single imperfection in that recording. Look at that. Oh, I'm obsessed with that trillion. That trillion is absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Um, so this is obviously a few of our studio samples, just a couple of your studio samples. You are guaranteed these calibrations. That smaller stone in the, in the right-hand pack there, um, that's how I envisage a pink diamond to look. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, a yeah. like a powder pink, isn't it's it? Lovely. Really beautiful. Yeah. Look at the clarity in, in tourmaline. Tourmaline isn't an eye clean gemstone, generally speaking. And yet here you have beautiful clarity. It's almost impossible to find actually imperfections. Um, okay, loving, loving that <laughs> hot pink trillion cart. Loving the Marquise. I'm absolutely adding these to my order um, because you're guaranteed those carts. $8.99. I mean, each, maybe, and that's still ridiculous. $8.99 for all three of your cuts and calibrations. That will absolutely fit within the mounts. Will absolutely fit there. You have one carat. One carat of your beautiful, natural, multicolored tourmalines here. If you do silversmithing, if you do silver clay, argentium, all of those things, this is a gemstone that will work perfect. Gem setting, obviously. Um, you can include them into, I don't know, you might have existing jewelry that maybe uh, you've lost the stone. Eight pounds and 99 pence. Wow, wow. Okay, leaving it with you. Stay where you are. Now, okay. Okay, I'm about to bring you something super exciting. If you're you're going to dash off and make a cup of tea, or you're, you know, you've got your head down in your jewellery making, I'm going to ask you to stop right there, because <laughs> this, yeah, could have broken into a bit of uh, Spice Girls then. Um, but I love that Paul broke into Spice Girls. Twenty five years this week. Is since it? Since Wannabe was released. Oh, no, no. my goodness. 1996. It never was. I feel old yeah. now. Stop right there, because these are oh, remarkable. Look. I'm just separating them so you can see. Oh, my word. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, I want these. Now, we don't grade our tans night here. But that's not to say that they are not graded, because they clearly are. Oh, my word. Because 
I'll tell you why we don't grade our tans at night. That adds to the cost. Often oh. we do it on strands, so that means we'd have to grade each and every single one of those gemstones. It's just not possible. Lean on your own knowledge is what I always reference. Because for, for me, oh, I'm going to suggest that that's a triple A grade. Mm. You have the presence of those beautiful violet blues. You have exceptional clarity. You have exceptional facets. You have triacrosum because as the gemstone sort of disappears, you see from this angle, to see the additional secondary blues and a blush warmth coming through within this, this uh, triacroic gem, times two. To be offering you that grade of tanzanite in two seven by five millimeter stones. You'll forgive me, I'm sure, for saying, stop what you're doing. Take a look at this opportunity. Because this is something that we will we fast forward just a couple of months, maybe years, of course. We will look back and go, did I purchase these for as little as? And you'll give yourself a gigantic pat, pat on the back. After you've made your confirmation, because Liam, these are limited, right? 60 in the vault, okay. I'm duty bound to buy these for my girls because I know that they're probably not gonna be able to afford it when they're old enough. The gemstone's probably gonna have run out. I feel like I'm, you know, as somebody that works with gemstones, it's my responsibility to make sure that they're custodians of Tanzanite. We know it's one locational. We know that mining is limited. We know that this is a gemstone that can and does fetch thousands of pounds per carat. And yet I'm bringing it to you, I don't wanna say yet, at the most bonkers, most unbelievable saving. I'm gonna ask you this again. Do you think that's graded tanzanite? Me too. Because, let's go, let's be conservative, shall we? And just say this is double A graded tanzanite. Ring, let's see in a ring. And by the way, that is very much a universal grading system. Just click on a few images. Here we go. This is a two carat, double A grade, tanzanite and diamond ring. I wanna just show you that one, one gem, it's lovely. It is absolutely lovely. Yeah, would we all agree? Double A grade, that's what they're saying. Yeah, now have a look at ours. I actually think there's Even more vanadium. Yeah, yeah, it's more vanadium in ours yeah. um, because you've got more of that deep, deep uh, purpley blue. Okay, there are 60 of these available in the world. We're going to go straight down to it. It doesn't make any sense, Liam says. I don't know how. Let's not dwell on it. Let's just make sure that you, uh, you own these. Make sure you check out, and I, I don't mind saying this, goodness me, that's £15 per, per yeah. tanzanite. That's absolutely unbelievable. The gemstone, which they estimate has got less than 15 years of mining, less than 15 years as a prediction. And that doesn't, I mean, we, we know the popularity of Tanzanite as a gemstone. It's the only gem really um, that actually has had such a, a magnitude of a sort of introduction to the world. It's only discovered in the late 1960s. And yet we know it's, it's made its way into the big five. I know that lots of our lovely viewers will say, I've got Tanzanite L, I own Tanzanite already. They might have purchased it from us or maybe our sister channel. But is it a negative if we own a few pieces of tanzanite? I don't think so. I think it's one of those gemstones that we'll look back on and think, thank goodness we purchased it when we did. Already, I have to say, the price per carat is ludicrously high. No, it's not ludicrous. Let's correct that. Sorry, Elle. Sorry, everybody. That was, the, that was really poor English, poor, uh, poor terminology. It deserves those prices per carat. It's us that's ludicrous. We've just found a graded tanzanite ring Lovely, wow. 908 pounds. Look at the color. And I know this jewelers, by the way. Look at that lovely color, beautiful piece. Would we agree that's less, there's less vanadium in that piece than what you're seeing in your pair? Yes, yes, 
Yes, yes. The final 39 of these, Jeff, Carolyn, Shan, Sue, Louise, Trisha, Michelle, uh, Zoe, Amy, Carol, Maureen, Jeanette, Yorkshire Sport 3, Savvy, hello to you, Sharon, Jenny, Elaine, Maria, Maeve, Sue, Morag, Janice, congratulations to you. I'm just going to quickly uh, sort of take you back. When I started my jewellery making, uh, when I started, not my jewellery making, sorry, my gemstone and jewellery career, I started in a jewellers. I was, I was 20, about 20. 20 years old and there was one tanzanite ring that I saw so it's still a very new gemstone to the market then it had it was set in 18 karat white gold it had a few VSI diamonds either side it was three and a half thousand pounds I'm going back over 22 years ago 22 years ago it's three and a half thousand pounds it was less a carat weight than what's on your screens right now three and a half thousand pounds um when you actually get this get this home when you possibly go and get it valued even in their loose form um, you will be absolutely staggered by the actual price valuation that comes back to you certainly not 29.99 down to the final 10 of these i'm going to leave the final few if there are any of them no. left then i'm definitely definitely joining you on it because look at that the amount of uh, pinks that's coming through are amazing mark they're beautiful I would you them. some absolutely of the finest stunning. that we've had in the vault beautiful i yeah, think so beautiful. as well okay so from one amazing yeah. deal of the day to another incredible strand. I love this cut. We're going back to tourmaline, but not like your deal of the day in something completely different. Loving this strand, Mark. It's lovely cut, isn't it? No, it's lovely. That, a faceted coin. <laughs> I love, I love wrong, a faceted yeah. coin. I think because they just sit beautifully, mm. don't they, wherever you're wearing yeah, them, yeah. in the ear, on the decolletage, yeah. on the wrist. I mean, you're very much uh, somebody that does, you can do bead bezeling, you can frame your gemstones with your sea beads, you can do things like macrame. This is perfect, perfect. then. I treat them as rivelies and do the most amazing Ooh. rivelies. Yeah, it'd be incredible. Being That's really a particular nice. shape, by the way, of yeah. your uh, of your preciosa. Is that right? Uh, well, originally it would be Swarovski, but um, we are trying oh, to source course. other suppliers. Yeah. Look at that light performance. They're now. amazing. That's natural black tourmaline. Natural. We call this faceting checkerboard. And if you focus on one individual gemstone, as I move my hand, do you notice how you get that? Luster, wow. luster, luster. It dances, doesn't it, from facet to facet. And that is double-sided. Natural black tourmaline. And whilst black is actually the most, uh, um, the most frequent colour of tourmaline, it is still tourmaline. We need to appreciate the fact that to produce tourmaline of any colour variety, it needs a cocktail of chemicals to produce that gemstone at that one specific location, at the perfect heats, the perfect pressures, the perfect geological occurrences to form this gemstone. And we're bringing you an entire strand of 120 carats. I've, I've shown these pieces before, <clears throat> and I know it's a different gemstone, but treat black tourmaline like you would do your black spinel because it has got surface luster. The layers, it looks absolutely incredible with pearls. There's ivory pearls pink pearls that you had just previously but there's some stunning designs that i've shown before the likes of michelle obama um where, uh, wearing some i don't even know the design it was just the photograph really that is most important to be in the piece of jewelry um but yeah these lovely multi-layered monochrome inspirations this beautiful design of jewelry um with i think rosary linking a couple of your pearls be them faux be them cultured i don't know it's the design you could absolutely create that piece for those of you that have also seen the Angelina Jolie, the hottie that she is, <laughs> the hottie that Angelina Jolie. Now, this piece of jewellery that I'm about to show you is from her own personal collection. She designed a piece of jewellery that included, now not tourmaline, but it was spinel. They look exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. If you can't find it, I can do it. Um, basically, and she sold it for charity. Angelina Jolie, it's okay, I can do it. Spinel. 
jewellery. And it was basically this cut, jewellery makers, it was basically this cut in a halo, in a halo of rose gold. Angelina you knows Spinel. Well, I can't find it now either. Hang on a second. We're having a mare, aren't we? This is good TV. What I love about this is particular cut, you've got the facets on the top and the bottom, but that amazing, beautiful curve on the outside edge is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah. You, I mean, yeah. you could you could absolutely... Angelina. There we are, Jolie. Um, we could absolutely almost frame that mm. in that technique yeah. that you demonstrated. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Um, the oh, other day. That amazing, actually. It would. Wow. Now, this necklace... I'm really hoping it shows up now. Yes, got it. It's almost <laughs> identical to the actual cut. To the actual cut that you're about to see. Um, now, she sold this, by the way. Not, a, uh, not one of your typical celebrity... Here, I'll turn it towards you so you can actually see. She designs beautiful jewellery and she sells it. She's very much an ambassador. But you see where I'm coming from? Whilst this is Spinel, it could so easily be recreated in this beautiful strand. She wore that to the premiere of Salt, um, as you can see just here. Looking absolutely, absolutely beautiful. A different gemstone that's, uh, that's surrounded in what we call a rubbed over setting in your rose gold plated. Sorry, no, it's not. It was 18 karat rose gold. That's sold, by the way, for charity for tens of thousands of pounds. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful faceting, just like what you're seeing right now. The only reason I've wanted to show you this, jewelry makers, is because it is similar to the actual cut that you saw on that design. Are you ready for something extra special? Natural black tourmaline. It, you, could, you could absolutely macrame around it and create okay, something actually. super that simil uh, similar similar yeah, yeah. okay let's do something extra special for you jewelry makers to get genuine tourmaline completely alternative to your deal of the day um, just <laughs> showing you how goodness me um i'm gonna be multi-buying wow. on this one mark because yeah, layers completely. black tourmaline in amongst Imagine. pearls and rosary linking what are you thinking I right just, now I, I love the the, the macrame side the wire macrame look amazing and again it work with every single color of wire that you have and they've got I generous love, drill I holes as well, have, haven't they? Yeah. I just have to actually do the checkable fastening exactly the same on every single stone. But I think for me, it's that it's the side profile, that yeah. smooth curve. They do. They almost so hug, don't clever. they? They're going to sit perfectly along yeah. the decolletage. Nine ninety nine. Just to give you a heads up, it should be double what's on your screens right now. I've got 49 of these within the actual vault. Uh, Debbie, Yorkshire, Maeve, hello to you, Christine, Carol, Susan, hello Essex, hello Ruby, hi Linda, hello to you, Derbyshire, hello to Yorkshire, Helen, Susan, Jill, you need to check out. If you've got a phone in your hand, stay where you are. Our call centre are currently speaking to you. And it's also the, also the perfect combination alongside some absolutely exquisite aquamarine bringing up um at bringing as a showcase a little bit Not later on <laughs> imagine those dotted in between or maybe you wanted something like your star cuts or maybe you wanted something like your four mil all of these would complement your black tourmaline also on my tea bar let's bring you i love this next strand absolutely love it oh Oh, look. <laughs> these are some of the most micro sources I've ever seen. Mark, could I do the kiss cross in the these? Tiny. Um, depending on the drill hole, because you need to get two, two threads through. Yes. But, um, yeah, I shouldn't see why not. Look at how beautiful that oh, is. Oh, look. <laughs> how nah. do they even start making something like I this? I don't know, because you've just got some angles there which yeah. are almost, uh, almost unfathomable to actually oh, achieve. Look. Now, jewellery makers, we want to bring you something that's going to sort of shake, rattle and roll you. We're going to bring it to you, an unbelievable, unmissable opportunity. Five carats of exquisite definition, beautiful, natural beauty. High luster, look, as I turn my hand, <laughs> that's crazy. Liam, oh just one of those dotted in between your aquamarines, one of those maybe with your jadeite or your yeah. kunzite or your rose quartz that we saw previously. That's utterly bonkers to get wow. hold of that definition and precision. And Mark's right to answer the question, how on earth do yeah. you achieve it at that, sort of, that, that, that petite size? It's incredible, isn't it? The artistry is just phenomenal.
It is, and that's exactly the word to use. Precision artistry. Yes, yeah. I mean, you have angles there, which which are, what, 45-degree mm. angles, I think, on the crown facets. Yeah, yeah. We're at £4.99 <laughs> for a genuine natural gemstone, a natural tourmaline, one of the rarest and most complex gemstones in the entire world. Uh, in fact, probably the most complex chemical composition in the entire world. Um, one of the gemstones that certainly is featured in the biggest and most established jewellery designers for thousands upon thousands of years, £4.99. That's crazy. Check out Liam is saying, otherwise you're going to miss out on this opportunity. Um, Four ninety nine. Yeah, listen, and this is not me being derogatory at all. I can bring you agates. I can bring you certain quartzites. I can bring you certain gems at under five pounds. Nugget strands, potentially. Not faceted black <laughs> tourmaline in saucers. Oh, no. That definitely shouldn't be happening. Okay. Uh, Liam says, should we do a close-out deal? Oh. I love this. Look how beautiful that is, Mark. No okay, way. right, listen. I've had conversations recently about tourmaline, and, so, and one of my friends was saying to me, yeah, you could just tell she wasn't overwhelmed by tourmaline. So I was like, what is it? This is a gemstone, which... If you ask any gemologist what, 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 what's one of their favourite gemstones, mm. I'm fairly sure... Most will mention tourmaline because it is gemology really personified. The complexities, the rarity, the diversity, it's all in one gemstone. Do you always end up talking about gemstones when you have people around to visit? Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Um, yeah. My husband, uh, Tom, does, does tell me to stop. <laughs> does he? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Al. Yeah, only if they bring it up there. Do they ask you to evaluate the jewellery they wear? Oh, I, I try and avoid that. Do, yeah. Because I'm not qualified to. Mm. But yes, I do get it sometimes. <laughs> um, wow. Let's this. talk about that diversity, that rarity, mm. in one strand. Look at that beautiful green, natural. You have hot, rubelite pinks. You've got some of your more delicate pinks. You have your chrome tourmaline. This is a close. Look at this. Look at that quality. This is why so many collectors, so many gemologists, so many jewellery and gemstone connoisseurs love tourmaline because it is probably one of the most varied and beautiful gemstones. But with each and every single one of those incredible colours, they have a different chemical composition and it is natural. Grouped up, yeah, I agree. You've got little suites of jewellery, haven't you, in clusters. Now, this is a close-out deal opportunity. If it wasn't, then this would be your oh. saving, which is incredible, by the way. Absolutely incredible for fine quality, natural, genuine tourmaline. Again, Liam is saying, I want to see how many of you are there. You've got your black tourmaline. You've got green tourmaline. You've got uh, oh, a sphene s green. You've got your pinks and your rubelite shades. You've got your, your delicate greens to your chrome greens. Uh, even, I saw one which around here, was it more, more like a sort of Paraba-esque? I'm not saying it is for sure because it has to have the copper presence. Uh, but you have that sort of Paraba-like green. We're going to take it to a, to a close-out deal opportunity. Cluster earrings. I mean, you could rosary link these in beautiful waterfall cascade earrings. Do you think the likes of, in fact, do you remember that pendant, Liam, that I showed you that was sort of interchangeable in your tourmaline? It featured one sort of halo of parve gemstones, and then you have this cascade of tourmaline in this exact same cut. That was thousands of pounds as a piece of jewellery. We're not even going to be stopping at $29.99. It's a closeout deal. Is there enough of you there to justify this? <laughs> oh gosh, it's <sighs> not one of those I should just be that. Two. <laughs> yeah, there's not one of those individual stones marks no, should be fourteen ninety nine. No, no. Let alone the entire parcel that you're getting. I here. like that little group. Um looking at it on the right hand side, the second one down. Um so if you keep going I see that there. That sort of rusts and yeah. yellows. And that, that one that. there is amazing. amazing. Look at that orange. Wow. Look at that beautiful orangey red. And that's natural. There are, yeah, absolutely some 
some ultimate gems. Don't forget you can pre-order your Kiss Cross kits, by the way, coming your way um, in the 11 o'clock hour. We've also got, um, what's that, sorry? In Coming the next out. hour, yeah, absolutely. We've got kits going so, so, so low. We've got your Aquamarine Showcase. We've got Turquoise going astonishingly low. We've got amazing Amethyst still to bring you and so, so much more. Um, keep on dialing through. Okay, let's do the Turquoise right now, shall we? Now, this is unbelievable. It's a gemstone which is very, very shallow forming and the history, I always say, changes quite frequently because find out and then we'll find it maybe somewhere else um so it, it, the history changes frequently one thing that has always been consistent is the price point the price per carat of uh, of turquoise has been very high please be mindful of where you source your turquoise from there are there is much imitations out there in synthetics you know with us you'll get guaranteed the real deal because we laboratory test everything you can get your certificate of authenticity if you wish and even for us, this next star buy is unbelievable. For some 6,000 years, turquoise has been used in adornment and celebrated for its precious beauty all around the world. Its original name is derived from the terminology Turkish stone. And it was Egypt who were first to actually sort of behold and capture the beauty of this gemstone. And how, if you think back 6,000 years, the gemstone actually made its way from Europe, where it was first discovered, to the lights of Egypt, that is not actually that well known. But when you have something as beautiful, I can understand their efforts. Turquoise is a copper-bearing gemstone that comes in different colours. I'm just going to use the USA location just for an example for one second. If you go to the Kingman mine in the USA, on one side of the mountain you get the blue variety. On the other side of the mountain you get the, uh, the green variety of your turquoise. Both of which, by the way, have the lovely matrix patterns that we love and adore. Um, and this strand, you've got matrix and you've also got some which are completely clean. This should not be going any lower than it already has done. And it's probably one of the most unique strands that we have here in our, in our vault. Because it's not a cut that we bring that often. They are individually very large sizes. That's natural green turquoise. Fifty-two carats of beautiful colour. That wonderful vibrancy of colour is down to Mother Nature. It's not dyed in any way, shape, or form. That's the colour of your turquoise. And then we protect your turquoise with a wonderful coating to allow us to appreciate this gemstone's beauty for years to come. Many of the mines run out very quickly, certainly if I look to locations like the USA, which this is from. <laughs> whilst we haven't said this is Kingman turquoise, it may well be, I don't know, I don't know. But the USA is renowned for producing very fine quality, uh, very fine quality uh, turquoise from the Cochise mine, from the Kingman mine, from the Sleeping Beauty mine, um, you have your robin egg blues and you have these really wonderful, quite vibrant uh, greens, which are quite unique and very seldom seen. Now, we are taking this to a crazy, crazy low, really exciting cut and something which is quite quirky and original, Mark. Would you agree? I think it's a beautiful colour. I've never seen it before. No, it's no, quite an it's, unusual. It's so and I, that's why I mentioned Kingman, because yeah. actually you think green, I think green turquoise, I think about... Mm. Because it's different to Tibetan, which often has a green presence, because it's quite heavily matrix patterned. Yes, um, yes. The reason why I think Kingman is because look at these colours here. That beautiful colour is often found in that location. I'm not, I'm not saying that's the case, but it may well be. Now, Liam has been given an opportunity to take this to an extra uh -huh. special deal. We have personally brought this very strand to air at what for one of the rarer colors to actually yes. get in turquoise that surprised me think about that location wow again the same copper presence 
chrome, iron and copper, intensifying those natural colours. When we're talking about turquoise, we talk about intensity of colour, the evenness of colour and the quality of the polish. Whether it's blue or green, let's just focus on those three things. You know, we have the, we have the, big, we have the four C's of diamonds. With turquoise, intensity of colour, evenness of colour and quality of polish is the criteria. Would you agree it ticks all of those boxes? Now we have a one-time opportunity. This turquoise, are you really? <laughs> is going, ah, oh, Liam. This is a one-time opportunity. The quantity we have jewelry makers, whilst there were a hundred already getting snapped up. Oh my God. A giveaway deal. An absolute giveaway deal. Hello to you, Davinia. Wow. Love the green yes. turquoise. I haven't seen this before. I want it. It's really exciting. Yes, you can get turquoise in obviously that robin egg blue. Um, if you look at places like Mexico and Tibet, that tends to have much more of a prominent prominence of the greens. We cannot repeat what's on your screens, by the way. We are get do you know what do you want to know how much we're making on this opportunity? Right now, us as a business, zip. We are making <laughs> zip on this opportunity. Um, however, well, let's put it down as a PR deal opportunity. I mean, we've not had A, the green colour that frequently, and B, this cut mark. It's no, such a no, unique it cut. Is. I was thinking we're, we're, you know, we're, everyone's go, going mad on the malas at the moment. This would be amazing for your... Lovely. For your, for your um, guru beads. Perfect, be because, perfect, again, it's, so, yeah. it's, got, it's got a lot of uh, beliefs attached to the mm. gemstone. It's believed to be a holy stone. It's believed to, uh, to actually bring the wearer good luck and all of those things and good fortune. Loving the combination. I love that wonderful colour, particularly this one. I'm really drawn to this one here. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Um, and this beautiful cut. Let me just double it over as well, so you can actually see. Really generous drill holes. So even some of your cords or leathers might actually breeze through there. Um, now look at that one there. That one's sterling silver. Fourteen ninety-nine. Goodness me. I know for sure that the likes of your Tiffany's and Co would be commanding significantly more than that. Um, okay, do check out those baskets. Still to come, jewelry makers, you have your amazing uh, masterclass, which is all about the kiss cross. And few people will know that you can actually do the kiss cross with gemstones. You can. Absolutely. These are beautiful <laughs> and they look so different, Mark. Mm, no, they're um, really, to really the cool. sort of seed bead designs yeah. that you I'm do. I'm so looking forward to seeing this red. I think the, the red is just Me kind too. of fly. We, don't, we never see red gemstones. No, so. very rare. No. Oh, gosh, honestly, don't I know it. Uh, I'll talk some mm. more about mm. that during the next hour. Mm. But this next hour is going to be crazy busy. Everything is available on pre order right now. Don't go anywhere. Your masterclass is after this. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelry.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Thank you. 
Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Did you know that we are live every day from 8am through to 5pm? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8am to 1pm and Freeview HD from 1pm to 5pm. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Good morning, good morning, la 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 la. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Oh, I'm loving this next hour. There's a feast of beautiful bundles all around. It's all about the Kiss Cross, which has completely and utterly taken us all by storm, hasn't it, here at Jewelry Makers? And it is down to the fantastic Mark Smith. Now, Kiss Cross, Mark, yes. if you could patent this design, you absolutely well, it, should. It's, I could probably patent the name, but not the technique, because the te technique is fundamentally um, a seed beading technique that's been around for, for years. And it's known as tubular netting. Right. But tubular netting sounds... Meh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it doesn't sound anywhere near as beautiful no. as Kiss Cross. So when, um, not long after um, we were taken over, those of you have been watching for a while by immediate media, um, we ceased becoming part, being part of the gemstone, the genuine gemstone company, so yeah. we could start elaborating in the mediums. Mm -hmm. And one of the first mediums that we took on, and I was absolutely thrilled about, was Swarovski Crystal. Um, I love Swarovski and the fact yeah. that, that we were able to, to actually provide it for our mm -hmm. viewers. And so the first thing I did when I knew that Swarovski was coming was to produce a DVD all about Swarovski projects. Now, one of the, the projects was tubular netting. And um, this is the piece of jewellery. So this is the very first. This is, this is the piece that featured right from the beginning. So this was just a project. It was project five on a six project DVD. And because of the crosses, and when um, lots of us, we, we finish our, our text messages or our letters and Christmas cards with a couple of crosses. And, and then I thought, well, it looks like a kiss, maybe the kiss cross. So the kiss cross was born. So as I said, this just was just one project on a six project DVD. And it was so popular that we then made a DVD all about the Kiss Cross. And yep. then we did another DVD all about the Kiss Cross. But this is the piece of jewellery where it all started. This features on the front cover. This is, this is just... Uh, well, uh, Mark, do you know what? Yeah. Of all the designs that I can actually think of, mm -hmm. without, without doubt, 
every time I go onto Facebook or onto our Share Your Makes, <laughs> there will be a Kiss Cross on there. It's mm. probably one of those, because, you know, I, I, designs, they come and they go, you know, like uh, in terms of popularity, yeah. at least one a week. I agree on the Wall of Fame. The Kiss Cross is still, how many years on? Gosh, it must be four, five years Four, five now. years on. Yes, it's yes. still one of the most commented and created mm. pieces of jewellery. And that is a, a real credit to you, Mark, because, like I said, you have... But it's just it's just the, one of the most simple techniques. I think this is what this is what's made it so popular. Is it's incredibly simple, and just the way you 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 use it. I mean, this these are just some of my Swarovski pieces um, that I've got that I've, I've I just just adore them. So this is this is where it all started. Okay, and then no. you, then you put the Swarovski to one side be, be, because um, obviously we're not going to be doing Swarovski anymore. Unfortunately, I'm really sad about it. Nobody in the world is going to be doing Swarovski anymore. So it is when you start incorporating your gemstones. Tell you what, then, then the value ones. of those. You need to maybe think I about know, that. Because obviously but not, yeah. It, yeah, it's not down right. to us, by the way. That's Swarovski's decision. That's Swarovski's but, decision. But, but then, I mean, the, then we, could, the, the gems, we start doing it with gemstones. Oh, my so, goodness. So these are shell pearls. And this is the, the terra jasper that we had on, on shows recently. So again, exactly the same technique, but using, using pearls and gemstones. <laughs> then we've got, what else have we got? So that's your, your basic tubular netting. And then you can do what's called your station necklaces, where you make little individual sections. So this is a really nice way of the same technique, but just eking your pieces out and making it yeah. go a lot further. Again, we've got the Swarovski version as well, but you can do this with all your bicones. So these, these are Swarovski bicones, but you can do it with your four mil gemstone bicones. Exactly, and this just and then you can you can make little ropes. This, again, this is shell pearl, and then pop it onto Look your memory at those. wire. So there's, there's that's all on sorts memory of, wire. That's on memory wire. This one here is on memory wire. So you can do all, all but it's all themed around the same, exactly the same technique. But it just depends on the size of beads you use, the size of seed beads, incorporating your gemstones. There's nothing you cannot do with any of our stock that you can't do a kiss cross with. See, that's it's just exciting. Amazing. So yeah. what do I need? Yep. To make a kiss cross. So you will need a gemstone. Um, I, the smallest that I've made a kiss cross with is three millimeter. So that right. was a grand digerite of all things. Wow. So I know. <laughs> okay. And the largest that I've gone up to is an eight mil. Okay. And you probably can't get any bigger than that because it becomes really heavy. Round. It becomes really weighty. You can do round. You can do bicones. You can do um, star, star cut. cut. You can do star cut. Actually, that's a nice uh -huh. one. Also, on faceted hexagon cubes, you can do it with. You can do it with so everything. Pretty, yeah. You need you need a strand of consistent measurements. Yes. Then what yeah. do I need to create the actual kiss cross? So you need at least one size of seed bead. Right. So I tend to use two sizes. So I tend to use either if you, if you, what's called micro. So if you use a four millimeter gemstone or less, it becomes micro, mm -hmm. and you need an eleven o and a fifteen o. They're your two sizes. That's then, unbelievable. Yeah. That's from the Kiss Cross. That's I mean, what we're looking at oh, yeah, right yeah. now. It looks yeah. so different. So this is this is something that I'm experimenting with for another DVD we've got coming up. Exciting. And it's all about different shapes and mandalas using the Kiss Cross formula. But you said, Mark, that this is actually something that's actually simple techniques. So easy. Well, we've got a lot of kits to get through. Get your kits yes. and you'll be getting the demonstrations. There are countless DVDs as well. Now, um, we're going to start with the reds. You, your, why is this your favourite, Mark? We never, ever, ever see... I've never seen a red gemstone like this before. And, you know, just a pillar box red oh, gemstone. Oh, my goodness me, and I we always talk so about concur. You and I especially, we always talk about monochrome with red. Yes, how, we do. How, how amazingly vampish it is, and it just holds a completely new technique it's just lovely and this is this is red agate do you know it's what mark you and amazing. i i i i've yeah. been trying to get hold of a single strand of red gemstones to yeah. go into a bundle that i've been trying to push for the show right and i can't get hold of it i no, can't get hold no. of it at all this is no. a beautiful kit this is your paradise which features two strands of that wonderful 
It's called Red Lightning Agate. Mm -hmm. um, in the four mil and also in, uh, um, in your coral red quartzite. You then also have your Chinese multicolored agate there. So really beautiful variations yeah. Yeah. Um, in both your four mil and also your six mil. Then you have your feature, Mayuki, in your 11 O's, and this is the galvanized muscat, which is a lovely rose gold-like color. Yeah, really, lovely. really works. How much, I mean, could this, is this enough for me to make that full Kiss Cross necklace? So this necklace is made from the kit and both of the necklaces on the memory wire are from this kit. Well, everything's from that kit and I had leftovers as well. And so it goes I've still way. got all of those seed bees left as well. So what's that? Inch and a half of seed bees left as yeah. well. So yeah, it goes a long, long, long way. Wow, you, I yeah. mean, this this kit will bring you a lot of jewelry, a lot of jewelry. If you're not a seed beader, you don't have to be because this is working with your gemstones right now yes. and you're using yes, your 11 right. O's as the actual sort of accent. That's mm. a lot of jewelry that you can make from this one kit. It's Mark's favorite, the graphics are live and already we have uh, lots of confirmations being made. Now, we did say that this hour is oh, gonna no. be completely <laughs> crazy, not just in your amazing talent and inspiration, from Mark, but also in the savings. Four strands plus your tube of seed beads. Are you ready? How many, Liam? There's oh. 120, it's not enough. And, and Mark's so right, there are very few pure <laughs> red uh, uh, gemstone opportunities oh. that we actually have, that pillar box red. 14 oh. pounds and 99 pence. For it, I mean, you wouldn't pay that for any oh, one of those Kiss mad, Cross pieces of jewellery. I mean, the station necklace I would probably sell for sixty, seventy pounds. Yeah, just yeah. A, just just a, that station necklace. I, I can't stress how popular yeah. the Kiss Cross is. Um, if we were to do an award on most frequently uh, sort of redesigned or created mm. pieces of jewellery, the Kiss Cross would absolutely be up there, wouldn't it? The popularity of it, yeah. not just yeah. for seed beaters, and that's why I think this masterclass is so so exciting, is because hopefully we are actually sort of bringing the two worlds together mm. um, as they should be. You know, your Kiss Cross and your, uh, sorry, your seed beater and also your gemstones. Uh, if you are all about the gemstones, and this is absolutely prime for you I mean look at that Mark that's beautiful and that's all around the kiss cross that's design kiss but cross, yeah. a different technique yeah. that Mark's going to be yeah. showing you straight away we are down to your double figure quantity um, do check out those of you that have it in your baskets over 70 of you have it in your baskets and we've got people on the phone lines as well lots of new customers fantastic because I don't want you to be thinking like I would really be looking at Mark's jewelry and thinking I can't do that because with Mark's know-how with Mark's uh, demonstration that you'll see in your masterclass it is absolutely possible Ayrshire, Marion, Christopher, Doreen, Julie, du uh, Lorna, Hazel, Margaret, um, Harp, I can't keep up with you every time I try and read a name it bounces, Christine, Ruby, Lynn, Pip, Donna, uh, Lucy Lucinda, sorry, uh, Sarah's there, oh, Christine, Sandra, Josephine, hello to you, Anne, new customers, Alison, new customer, Susan, uh, Joan, you've got yours, Bridgend, West Midlands, hello to you, Cheshire, multi buying Devon, Christine, multi buying I can't keep up. There was 120 mm. opportunities. We're immediately down to the final 55 what, um, of these. What I would do is I would probably buy three or four of these kits and I would keep the red for November and December. Because ah. you, you always want red for Christmas. We can't and we we often never, really I mean, we, struggle. We always stress how difficult it is. And especially now that Swarovski aren't, aren't selling loose stones, there's even less red stones now. So That's true. It makes it yeah. even more so difficult that, then. I would be putting those red to one side. Honestly, yeah. I'm, yeah. I've been trying. And Halloween. You know. uh, yeah, ha yes, yeah. all of those yeah. things. Poinsettia reds for your festivity yeah. as well. Yeah. Keep on dialing yeah. through. Um, we're going to move on just because I've got a lot of kits. Um, can I pick a favourite? Is that all right? Ooh, where do I go? Where do I go? I'm going to go with the pinks. I think <laughs> I'm going to go with the pink colours. I love this. Uh -huh. This is really pretty. So, yes. You've got some uh, purple pansy. Look at these lovely colours. Look mm. how complimentary they are. Now this, so you have amethyst, yeah. quartzite, two different strands of amethyst as well. So I'm looking at three strands of your four mils, one strand of your six mil quartzite in that lovely pink. And then for just an injection of summertime, I mean, you've got this color. gorgeous yellow. It's amazing, isn't it? Silver lined eight O's. 
What colour have they put in the description? So, uh, Humayuki, yeah. uh, silver lined yellow sea beads. Very simple, which oh, is unusual I thought, I thought actually for Mayuki. They're more lime green, they're real they zesty got... lime green, aren't they? They're lovely. Yeah, and I if you look it. into a pansy, that sort of centre, it is. but is this glowing it is. yellow, isn't it? Is. it? So, perfectly yeah. named kit. Yes. I love this colour way. I just think it's really cheerful, it's vibrant, perfect for the summertime months. Um, I heard in my ears as, as I was bringing these to Jura Makers, Leah went, gosh, the price of these kits are bonkers. Mm, yeah. Four strands of beautiful, genuine gemstones. This is amethyst, Zambian. This is amethyst, you're multicoloured. This is your beautiful pink quartzite, and then you also have your lovely uh, purple quartzite four millimetre rounds. Four strands of genuine gemstones, plus your Mayuki <laughs> beads as well. For the tube of sea beads on its own are normally around, say, six yeah. ninety nine. Yeah. That's that's eight pounds for the four strands isn't of genuine little, gemstones. That, the four mil matte amethyst, just yeah. so beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Really gorgeous. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. There's a lot of potential mark in this in these kits. I mean, we look at it on the back of my hand right now and think, oh yeah, yeah, they're nice. But when you actually see the finished pieces, well, I, the made the, I made the station here using the. Um, That's beautiful. Use, see how lime green it looks against that purple. I just I absolutely oh. love that. And then with the um, with the two pinks, I just had some left some bracelet memory wire from the first kits, and I just I just made a really simple. I mean, Willow could make that easily because you've got really good seed. You've got really big seed beads being the 8 so yeah. they're really easy to thread on. Jump on, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. She could make this something like this so easily. Oh, she'd be in an absolute yeah. element. That yeah. necklace, I have to say, yeah. you wouldn't think that it was from this kit. That yeah, that no, sort of no, lime green. No. Gorgeous kits, silly price. Woohoo! Exactly, Liz. Ah, oh, Mark. That's a bit something a bit different as well. That's beautiful. <laughs> Little daisy bracelets. Yeah. That's really beautiful. You can, can you see a swirl? Can you see a sort of an yes. undulating? It's really clever, actually. Oh, that's absolutely yeah. stunning. These kits are flying out the door. Mm. They're absolutely flying, and I think some of them are becoming uh, limited already. Um, did I have did I have a triple figure quantity of this opportunity? We do, however. Yeah, there's a ton of names there. Angus Anne, Elizabeth Donna, Wendy Sue, uh, Sussex, Maria, Joyce, Zoe, Essex, Sarah, Susan and Kent. Hello to you, Pauline, Carol, Angela, Marion, new customer, Susan, Karen, Cheshire, Cornwall, Evelyn, uh, Devon. Uh, keep uh, people multi-buying on this. I love that colour of sea beads. Mm. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've not seen it before. No, nor me. Um, OK, should we do the, the sort of pearlescent like my Yuki colour? OK. Oh, no, uh, is that what I think it is? Is that blue lace agate? Really? Chalcedony. Uh, I've seen Chalcedony for ages. Ages. Uh... Oh yeah, where do I start oh, with this no. kit? This is yeah. beautiful. We got some very high-end gemstones. That I thought was iolite. Because it's got that indigo-like colour. Beautiful, color. isn't it? Oh, look at this. Look this at this one. This is my favourite tiger's eye, this one. This is the multicoloured, isn't it? That's beautiful. The yellow and blue. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm, I'm sold straight away. That shouldn't be in a kit. That should be a standalone strand, I think. I agree. Yeah. And then you have yeah. this really lovely, vibrant, almost lapis-like blue. That's a gorgeous colourway. Uh, I said earlier on that one previously was my favourite. I think it's hard to choose, isn't it? Liam says I think this one's going to yeah. be the fastest, most fa the fastest selling of all the kits. The red was pretty fast, mind. Mm. Um, but I agree that tiger's eyes is a standalone oh, strand. Yeah, right I think there. that chalcedony certainly is. That I would have thought was iolite. It's actually quartzite, but it has that really beautiful uh, sort of indigo-like colour. Plus, then you're getting as well uh, your gilt-lined opal, which is wow. so difficult to get hold of. The opal, uh, Mayuki. Um, okay, so with your beautiful blue quartzite, with the tiger's eye, Look which I think is that is is the star of the show. Do you know how much that tiger's eye strand should no, be? No. Fifteen pounds. On its own. On its own. On its own, but you're also getting chalcedony in here too. That lovely four uh, four millimeter faceted rounds. Now, if this were not in a masterclass, we would absolutely be holding this kit at nineteen ninety nine. But Liam has said, "Ella, I want these all to sell out." 
start checking out there is a triple figure quantity we're going to put a 60 second clock to get um you know to, to, to make sure we don't sort of melt down the website and uh, sort of crash the phone lines it's entirely possible when you've got such such desirable gemstones as well and they look how perfectly they complement one another they're perfectly combined that aren't they that is outstanding it is well that's a 15 so pound strand on its own <laughs> On its own. So why is the clock in then at 19.99? Because it's a masterclass and we've, we're busy already and there's people who've already pre-ordered this beautiful oh. kit. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Look at that, that tiger's eye is just... Oh, Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. I'm draw I look at the tiger's eye, yeah. then I look at that lovely uh, it's chalcedony. I keep wanting to say blue lace because you've almost got the cloud-like yes, formations. Yeah. Then I'm drawn to this lovely iolite like blue quartzite. Then let's not forget about this wonderful vibrancy. I mean, that's perfectly nautical. You see your nautical inspirations. Mm, yes. Could you possibly mix those that. up? <laughs> yes! Yeah. Mix them up with the, with the red that we saw previously. Not 19.99, purely because it is a masterclass. All about the kiss cross. If you've never done a kiss cross uh, that design, it's all down to our fantastic mark. I think this is the perfect masterclass for you to start that journey um, because you'll be hooked. And you only have to look on our Share Your Makes page, our Facebook page, and you will see, you will see kiss cross, kiss cross, kiss cross. They are so popular and um, quite uh, therapeutic to create Very. as well. It's, as I said, there are only two moves. Two I, moves. I, I can teach you how to kiss cross in five minutes. That's a statement, that is. <laughs> Less than that, I expect. Really? I'm still even struggling with the rap loop. Right. But you think I, you can teach me to kiss grass? I mean, challenge accepted, because I do definitely want to be able to make all of these mm. creations. Well. They're absolutely beautiful. But not working with your Swarovski, not working no. with your uh, solely your sea beads, Ooh. working with genuine gemstones, um, and then, of course, accented with that lovely uh, um, uh, gilt-lined Opal Mayuki 11 O's. Um, Oh, a few people are messaging, Liam's just telling me, a few people are messaging in about um, the free strands with your kit. I think it was until while stocks last, and we've just been confirming that, they have all sold out, um, oh. unfortunately. So, yeah, but yeah, I think you're getting more, you're getting more than one free strand, I think, with this kit opportunity. The Tiger's Eye alone mm. should have been £15. You've also got the Chalcedony. You've also got the beautiful blue uh, quartzite in your four mils and those lovely six mil sizes, plus also your gilt-lined opal Mayuki 11 O's for £14.99. Again, the strand of, of Mayuki should be about, what, six, seven pounds um, if you were to buy them yes, individually. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, this is why you love your kits and this is why they absolutely fly out. Leslie, Christine, Cornwall, Florence, Derbyshire, Lorna, hello to you, Angela, Lucinda, hello to you, Isabel, Pam, Essex, Kirsty. very popular kit. I've got two more kits and then we're going to bring you a bundle and then we're going to delve into the wonderful oh, Kiss Cross uh, demonstrations. Now, you know when you said L choose your favourite? <laughs> Is he going to choose the same one? Uh, oh, but both of these got coated. I love this red coated. Let's do it. Oh my goodness me. You'd be forgiven for thinking that this was a chrome diopside, wouldn't you? They're not chrome diopside. Or Zavarite. Yeah, absolutely. It's got a very similar colour. This is beautiful green quartzite. In... In your... 10 mil and also your eight millimeters plus then you've also got your coated uh for your coated quartz as well in this lovely sort of uh champagne gold 150 carats there plus then you actually have your uh your what size are these the champagne galvanized eight o's now this is maybe a little bit of a sidestep from your kiss cross well, what, what did we put these kits together with the larger stones because you've heard me mention this so many times before this is what's called your station necklace and i, I, I if i don't use um shell pearl i use gemstones so what you'd have you'd have your little stations mm -hmm. and then in the center to separate them you have what's called your substations and these are always an accent bead a larger stone just beautiful. just to make them go even further so we've put these kits together to go alongside the kits that you've just to be purchased your substations. to be your substations lovely absolutely really yeah. lovely yeah. and really complimentary colors as well Amazing. wouldn't they yeah yeah. Um, I want to buy this kit. Oh, Plus, that. it's the coated agate, which, by the way, are on the verge of selling out. Um, oh. it's, it's not. Once they're gone, by the way, 
it's going to be more like October, that it is October, okay, yeah. uh, that they actually land again. I want to buy it for this beautiful green quartzite. I love that. Imagine those Imala necklaces. Amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I'm loving yeah. that green. This kit, I'm buying this kit for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, for the coated agate, absolutely. But I really love this almost zavarite green quartzite that you're color, getting there. It? It's stunning. Yeah. I've not seen it in a quartzite previously. Plus your Atos too, which are great as spacer alternatives for fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Yes, you can use them as your substations. You can also use them in your stretchies. You can use them on your memory wire. You can use them with Mark's first kits. Um, you can absolutely use them to do that uh, that halo wow. design that, yeah, you, that yeah. you demonstrated on Wednesday. Um, you can knot them, absolutely. Look at those lovely, decadent, rich, vibrant colours. The green I'm mm, loving too. Yeah, really and this is a prime example of why quartzite, yes, okay, it's not as rare as some gemstones. Okay, it's not, but it is still a gemstone. Mm, yeah. It has such a rough, beautiful crystal structure, holds on to color magnificently. Um, here's the prime example. I love it. I absolutely love this. $14.99 <laughs> only sold this this kit is on its way mm. to me if uh, if I get the chance. Very popular, and I've got less than how many? Less than 50, 50 of these within the vault as well. Um, I can't remember the last time I saw that colour of green. No, no, no. It's amazing. You said earlier on about saving your gemstones for actually for, for the festivities. Yeah, perfect. That would be perfect. That's your holly green, isn't it? Yeah, and a little, like a little sneaky peek. Look at that one. Yeah. Look at that lovely red. That's a Christmas kit, isn't it? The whole, the whole bundle like that yes. is just Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can get both kits, I'm going to tell you, for under £30. There we go. <laughs> both that, kits. That coated strand, is, I've never seen anything like it. I'm going to start with the pink. Oh, look. Beautiful fuchsia pink. That's amazing. Then oh, you have no. this amazing, look at vibrant... That. You can't get more red than that. No, nope. fire engine red. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's what, by the way, I've been trying to find. Yeah. This exact strand. Right. Georgia, <laughs> if you're watching right now, this strand is what I've been talking about. That is beautiful. Liam, but, this strand. Yeah. Look at that. There is the beautiful mm. mystic colour. That is so amazing. Oh, That's what it's all about. Still not done. That's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. You're going to have to be <gasps> super quick on this what? one. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> the tube on its own, Mark? Eight pound. Eight pound for mm, galvanised. Galvanised, yeah. For the strand on its own? <laughs> $12.99. For, I mean... That is so wrong. The reds, the fuchsia pinks... The coated agates for the Mayuki. How many did we have? A hundred exactly. And yeah, there is a, a slight cue on the phone lines. As, as, as a member of staff, Mark, for Jewelry mm. Maker, you mm. would imagine that we could get our hands on most <laughs> colours, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most gemstones and most beads. Mm -hmm. and all. It's not the case, no, is it? No, no. Red in particular. Red. We say it about gemstones, sea beads, all of that. Yeah. Red, Red is the hardest colour to get hold of. It's expensive to produce as well. Oh, yep. That's unbelievable. How, Liam, uh, Liam's just brought wow. it to you at £12.99. Yeah. It's going to sell out... Loads of you have it in your baskets already. Judith, Denise, Christine, hello to you. Yeah. Marilyn, Joyce, Cornwall, Elaine, hello to you. Ruby, Ruby, this is perfect for you. Uh, Elaine, Anne, you've got yours as well. Cumbria, uh, Lynn, Zoe, Patricia, Pauline, Karen, Wendy, Lynn, uh, Cheshire, you've got yours. Donna, you've got yours. Um, I'm running, I can't, I can't keep up with the volumes of names. Pauline, Angela, you've got yours. Angela, Karen, Lancashire. New customers, you've got to check out your baskets. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Do do not abandon those calls. Our call centre are doing an amazingly at keeping up with the sheer, uh, sheer, sheer... Well, we're very busy in this hour. It was always going to be the case. I mean, this is going to appeal to not wow. just your beaders. This is going to appeal to sea beaders, those who want to try the Kiss yeah, Cross. absolutely. Because this works with the red kit that you had earlier on as well. Gonna, I mean, kids break up for a half term, don't they? Yes. No, summer. Not summer gonna holiday. Not going to lie. Slightly anxious about it. Right. Oh, God. I'm, I... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you've got a little willow in the studio at some point. Oh. Because, yeah, um, she'd, have, she'd have just sit there and give her some beads in the yeah, corner, bless yeah. her heart. Yeah, it, yeah, and you have to keep them busy and entertained, yeah. don't you? 
Um, like I took Willow to the cinema yeah. yesterday. By the time you get the popcorn and the pick and mix and everything, you're mm. talking best part of 40 quid, and that's for yeah. two of us. Goodness me. Goodness mm. me. And then right, she got um, bored halfway through. And she got bored halfway through. It was really good, too. Anyway. Oh, Ooh, bundle. Should we do uh -huh. a couple of bundles? <gasps> there are 17 bundles available, all available on pre order, all perfect for your kiss cross. Now, four millimeters, perfect size. Perfect. This is for your micro. So you so can you, create. So if you've got 15 O's and 11 O's in your stash, this will make your micros. Uh, you will get three, apparently. I've only got I've only got two here in the studio, but you are getting a triple trouble. You definitely get the three of them. So, Mark, they're, oh, they're, they're onyx as well. You know those Kiss Cross earrings that you made me? Well, these, they... these are, these are um, Swarovski, but they're exactly, the, these are four mil. Oh, they're um, exactly the same as mine. Yeah. Yep. So these are these, so uh, the... So these are the so you get that same sort of look. As I said, these are faceted bicones, but you've I mean you look exactly the same as those. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty one, twenty three on each earring. Twenty three, goodness yeah, me, those are beautiful. Earring, yeah. Mark, you made yeah. those for me a couple yeah. of Valentine's days ago and mm. I wore them out on our date night. On your date night. I still yes, wear them yeah. all the time. They're so beautiful. <laughs> they're, they're just gorgeous. I love them. Absolutely, Absolutely them. stunning. Now, if you want to make those, you do get three strands. It's a triple trouble. Um, again, beautiful onyx in your four millimeter rounds. The, again, stretchy bracelets, stacker style bracelets. Three strands for what? Oh, my word. I was going to say, I want to buy some of these, but so I think they're going to sell out. So you've got over the head 360. You could do if you wanted what, to. What, kiss cross? Mm, with three strands. A full 360 kiss, kiss cross. Mm. £6.99. That's crazy. <laughs> and you need a tube of Mayuki. Yeah, ideally a tube of 11s and a tube of 15s. You can just do it with 11s if you don't have the 15s or if you don't like using anything so small, you can do it with just 11 O's. That's amazing. Yeah. If you want this one, you're going to have to be really quick because there's only oh. 68, 67, 66, you can see. Pat, Cheshire, Cumbria, Yorkshire, Christine, Pam, Elaine, Derbyshire, Wendy, Jacqueline, Jeff, I can't keep up with you. Um, yeah, wow flying out the door you do get three strands of your lovely black onyx it's, it's just a gorgeous gemstone isn't it yeah, a wonderful absolutely. high luster yeah. you get all three strands it would just to give you a little teaser as well look amazing alongside the aquamarine that we've got coming up as well <laughs> don't you think yeah. i do have the cubes do you want me to flush the cubes oh look at those amazing alongside the cubes yeah just separate wow. the two also can i just show you coming up in the next hour yeah, they'd be perfect alongside all of those. Uh, triple treble for six ninety nine. Keep dialing through. That's mad. Oh, now you mentioned about so Swarovski. Mm. It's all about that wonderful brilliance and that beautiful fire and the mm. mystic coating, Mark. Mm -hmm. Bit of oh, mystic this coating. Look <gasps> um, Janice, we will show the smoky quartz, but it'll probably be after the demonstration if that's all right. <laughs> this oh. will look just like your. Um... The one I just showed you, those earrings. Oh my word. What size are these? Four <sighs> millimeters. I've got this necklace here. The, these are all, these are hematite. Um, these, are, these are four mil. If I just, if I just move it around. Oh my there. goodness me. Look at this, look. So the, these are four mil and 15 O's. So imagine that in your hand with this version. Well, yours is hematite. Yeah. This is spinel. Oh my word. Yeah. Natural, well, spinel, natural gemstone, and then you've got that beautiful cost, uh, coating, that mystic coating. So the colours are your uh, blue, uh, wow. pink, and gunmetal, and oh. your faceted four millimetre rounds. This kit, this bundle rather, is absolutely going to sell out. It's the only alternative we can actually bring you potentially of a Swarovski. I'm not mm. saying they are Swarovskis, but in terms of their visual similarity. Um, because Swarovski are no longer making beads anymore, they're are not, they? They're not. They're for anyone, not for just anyone, us. Not for not just anyone, not just us. No. Yeah, well, that was a decision that was taken completely out of yeah. our hands. Yeah. So this would be perfect to make that alternative. But this time it's in a genuine gemstone, not a crystal. This is a genuine gemstone. We are under £30 only. Liam, mm. it is outrageous. I totally yeah. agree. You've got Thai spinel, um, the rarity of Thai spinel. Use it with your, what, 11 O's or 15 O's, did you say? Both. Both. You do, so you do the micros. Can you yes. imagine that in a kiss yeah. cross? 
Like, that's your, your Christmas outfit, you know, your little ah. back dress necklace when we all go out again, isn't it? I'm so glad you said Christmas because yeah. I was looking at I these love thinking. Christmas. I'm yeah. buying presents already. Me too. Yeah. Me yeah. too. Yeah. I always start in the summer for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Paul's saying, no, 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 no. Hey, listen, mm. spread the cost. And if you're That's making jewellery mm. as well, yeah. that takes time. It does, absolutely. That takes time. Can you, who's this going to be? Somebody very, very near and dear. I wouldn't know whether to use, whether to use silver or gold. I think gold would be such a statement, wouldn't it? Very regal. Or Montana. Mm. Yeah, yeah. How many do you think you could actually create out of this? Well, you need nine for a station. Okay, for so a, be... for a basic station, you if need you multi box, need... let's be honest, twelve ninety nine. No, nine beads for a station. Oh, yeah. Okay, shall I count one strand for you? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So we can actually get get yeah, okay. get some perspective right. here. So hang on, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 81. 81 on one strand. Nine, so 27. That's 27 um, stations. 27 stations on one strand. Out of the three, out of the three strands. 27 on the three, yeah, out of the three. Yeah. There you go. Mark's good at maths, I'm That's not. That's amazing. So what you could That's do... That's amazing. Because what you could do is you could make little stations as your guru beads <gasps> and incorporate Kiss Cross with your mala. Oh, you someone needs do. to make that piece of jewellery. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please make that piece of jewellery. Yeah. Keep dialing through. Of course, they've flown out the door. That's amazing. That's amazing. Right, um, let's bring you. Um, I've got loads of bundles, but obviously time is of the essence. Um, oh, my. What have okay. Got here? Okay, what we're doing, jewellery makers, we've ju I've just, is this something that you've just discussed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, you... you what well, are we going to do? I just, I'm desperate to bring all these to air, so what we'll do, we'll bring all these and then we'll do the demo in the 12 o'clock. Perfect. So I don't have to rush it, because I want to see all these gemstones. Yeah. I've not seen the bundles, I've only seen the kits. Okay, let's so, do that um, then. Let's yeah. do the bundles. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, you will absolutely yeah. be getting a demonstration, absolutely, in the masterclass. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll bring the actual uh, bundles together. Oh, look at this, you've got the variations. Um, multiple gemstones, so I can obviously see here your lovely Amazonite. I can see some beautiful garnets. I can see pre night. Um, you can see uh, uh, peridot. Now, they are two millimeters, which is an alternative for your Mayuki. So, if you wanted to cre create solely a, gem uh, a genuine gemstone at Kiss Cross, this is how you do it. So, if you look at this one here, uh, this, this is shell pearl and Swarovski. So you, you can see the round shell pearls. So they're the four, they're the six mils. Can you see this little silver Swarovski is blinking away? Yeah. Well, you, the gemstones that you've got in front of you, you would use those instead of wow. that. Um, so that would be, so that's your, what's known as your kiss. And the surrounding seed bees are what's known as the cross. So the kiss is in the centre and the cross is on the outside. So your cross will always be your seed bees, but there's nothing stopping you using what you've got there as your kiss. Oh, yes, of course. Because it's only slightly larger than, than an 8-0. Or it might be the same size as an 8-0, actually, the 3 Wow. Millimeter. So there's nothing stopping you replacing your kiss with the gemstones so you've got on here. I love the combination yeah. of pearls and yeah. amazonite. Yeah. So imagine amazonite yeah. as that little yeah, kiss absolutely. in the centre. You can ombre with this. Well, as it, as it, so use them as they're on the strand. Oh, that's beautiful. All three strands in your two millimetre micro faceted to be used in your kiss cross or not. <laughs> it's up to you. For £12.99. I think that's, that's buy incredible. one and get two free. Yeah, absolutely. And we've had to travel to different locations around the world to actually make one course, strand, yeah. and you're actually getting three of them. That's crazy. That's amazing. That's £4 per strand. <laughs> £4 for Amazonite, for Garnet, for Peridot, for, um, for that beautiful, almost pre night like colour. Diana, West Midlands, oh. Kirsty, Cheshire, Margaret, Lorraine, Josephine, Janice, hello to you, uh, Alicia, hello to you, London, Pam, Barbara, West Midlands, new customers getting through. Um, Janice is asking for 21. Oh. We'll do that for you now, Janice. 
Um, it would be lovely, actually. I think, that, yeah, we definitely do need to do that because smoky quartz and a kiss cross is just beautiful. Keep dialing through. In fact, Janice, this will look lovely alongside these, I think. I love smoky quartz. We Me don't too. See it very often. No. I love it. Now, I've got a double trouble opportunity. Is that right? A double trouble? So, uh, I've oh. only got two strands here, but you do get triple. Wow. Let's just double check that. You do get three. Wow. You are guaranteed three strands. Okay, <laughs> Janice, not just the two, and everybody else that's fancy in their smoky quartz, that lovely rich espresso colour. It is, it is, we don't get smoky quartz very often. Goodness me, that's 3.33 per strand. So this is obviously your, these are your six millimetre yeah, rounds. Yeah, so this, this, is, this is six mil in, uh, this is Terra Jasper. So like there, these are your six mils. I imagine that lovely yeah. uh, smoky quartz colour yeah. then with the oh, gold. incredible, wouldn't it? And six mil is the size that I started with. So, that, so if you're new to, to, um, to Kiss Cross, six mil is the perfect size wow. to get used to. Um, technique just i mean that is so beautiful and yet you have such fluidity as well don't it do, you it's just beautiful the way it undulates and no it's just lovely it's amazing just beautiful. if you are brand new to the kiss cross if you've never never sort of tried or uh or thought oh gosh i have, maybe you haven't got the courage to do it as of yet perfect perfect master class for you to give it a go it can include your gemstones as well as your Swarovskis and right. of course um, in fact more often than not actually Mark I see you using the Swarovskis mm -hmm. as the sort of feature stone right. in the centre yeah, yeah. 9 time for a three uh, three strands on the verge of selling out right. uh, not two okay moving on to love this colour combination so these wow. are your four mil wow. I'm getting this now so that's your micro <laughs> yeah. Now you've got a lovely combination here, beautiful earthy colours. You mentioned mm. about using Kiss Cross in Marla. I think that's a fab idea, Mark. We need to do a joint something, me and, me and um, Susie Menon, Susie, don't we? A, a we need collab. to do a joint collab. A yeah. collab. A collab. That would be cool. <laughs> a collaboration between Mark and Susie. Bags, so these are, um, Bagsy, that show. So this is from the kit that we bought earlier, and they're, they're using, that's four millimetres, so you could replicate this so many times. And that's just using one strand of that whole necklace. So you could replicate those little... So this is what I'm going to demo in the 12 o'clock. They're quite... Do you know what they remind me of? The solar system. Oh, yes. Yes. A little bit... I've uh, got quite sort of Elizabethan... Quite yes. Uh, yeah, they are. ...looker to it as well. But so, again, it's all, it's all based on the, on the Kiss Cross technique. That's amazing. Looks so different yeah, to the actual yeah. te uh, Kiss Cross mm -hmm. as we know it. Yeah. Now, four millimetre rounds in this oh. triple trouble opportunity. Um, all completely mm. and utterly natural gemstones. So you actually have your rhyolite, your rhodonite, which is that pink, and then you have the lava kite. So rhyolite's the green, that lovely sort of quintessential English wow. country card and green. Then you have your uh, uh, rhodonite in the pinks, and then you have this beautiful sort of kind of stormy grey with your lava kite. Now, that, Nine with the red. that lava kite with the red. Yes. We love that colour combination, yeah, don't we? Always have done. Love it. It's a little bit naughty. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit naughty. A bit, a bit uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A bit saucy as a yeah. combination. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Three pound thirty-three pence only for the triple uh, for That's each amazing. of the strands within this triple treble opportunity. Again, stacker styles, channel setting, rosary linking, kiss cross. Absolutely, of course, this would make your micro designs. So especially if you want to go uh, and make those lovely uh, um, stations or uh, or marks kiss cross earrings because mm. they're perfect mm. for the earrings, yeah, yeah, aren't absolutely. they? Absolutely. I wear yeah. those earrings all the time, by the way. And they don't weigh very much, though, the four mil. No. They're quite lightweight as well. So yeah. you can go really heavy, heavy gemstone, but the weight isn't... Yeah, isn't they, 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 they are very comfortable mm. earrings to wear. And that's using, what, just a handful of each uh, of the gemstones in there. Yeah. So you'd have, you'd have 11 in an earring. 11? Just 11. So you can make those earrings <laughs> quite, quite a few, few times, times yeah. over. 9.99 only, I'll move on to... Now, ooh, oh. who wants to create high-end Kiss Cross? <gasps> Oh, gosh. OMG. Oh, look. Aquamarine, a four mil. Oh, my word. Kunzite, four mil. So I would go for black 11 O's. Yeah. 
I think where this really, really make the pot colour pop. And would you mix them incredible. up or would you do kunzite mix and them then I'd just do room. row, I'd just alternate the rows. Oh. That look amazing. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Natural kunzite is beautiful. Uh, so it's not a pink as such, it's more of a very delicate lavender colour. And then you have the wonderful aquamarine azure blues. Neither of these have undergone any treatment process. They're both in your four millimetre rounds. I want to get these. They're amazing. Yeah, I mean, mm. for the strand of your aquamarine or the strand of your kunzite, they are high-end gemstones, and that's why we're saying this is, you know, quite a, a luxury uh, double treble bundle. Twenty-nine pounds oh, wow. and ninety-nine pence. I still think though that you are buying one and you're well, getting absolutely. one for free. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, I agree with black. That would be just beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Look how they capture the light, and even was when they're actually complete and in the actual. Uh, um, and when they're actually complete and actually in the kiss cross mark, you'll still see mm. that surface luster, yeah, won't you? Absolutely, absolutely. We just have that nice framing of each individual stone. Love it, love it. Flying out the door, well done. Um, okay, this next one. If you're going on holiday, maybe you've booked your holiday and you're. I, I, we've booked ours. It's a long way off yet, but it's something to look forward to, and maybe you're creating for um, for your holiday um, celebrations. You'll love this next kit because it includes oh, some all-time favourites here. Firstly, amethyst, oh, brilliant. citrine, and your appetite. Love this kit. I need to go buy this. Is there quantity, Liam? Oh, oh. 60 is not enough. I mean, they are going to absolutely mm. glow with colours. They are, absolutely. I love Four them. millimetres is so. This is enough to make a, what a station necklace. This would be enough to do a three sixty over the head. That's amazing yeah. that you can create a full three sixty yeah. kiss cross out of this tri uh, yeah. this triple trouble amazing. opportunity. Oh no, Liam. There's appetite in here. There's citrine <laughs> and amethyst. I can't do the maths of that. that. What's that? What's that each? What five pounds fifty just something? Under, just under six pounds. Yeah. Five ninety nine. Yeah. Five ninety nine per strand. You wouldn't get appetite at five ninety nine. No. You wouldn't get a strand of that quality of amethyst for five pound ninety nine. Well, you might do here at Jewelry Maker, I suppose, because we're we're a little bit crazy. But in a triple trouble, you've got optimum savings there. Look at that wonderful quality. Loving the color combinations, and again, yeah, very yeah. very popular. What colors would you choose with this then in your Mayuki? Well, what I would do is I probably wouldn't mix all three together. I would do the the purple and the yellow together, or the yellow and the blue together. Nice. And I would go for I'd go for gold, nice. with both with both of them I think, because mm. that citrine will hold itself against against gold, and obviously you've got the purple and the, the appetite blues. You know your substations mm. that you were talking mm. about. Yeah, Imagine yes. all of these on like because I, I I would go all of the colours, mm. but I'm not okay. the designer here. I'm not the designer, but I like that colour mm. combination and a lovely yeah. long line oh, yeah. necklace. Mm -hmm. oh. I love. Because that. you know what else we've got coming up, Mark, this strand. Oh, gosh. That could be, could that be the substations? That could be, that'd be perfect. Oh, beautiful. You want, something, you want something quite sparkly as your substation, just yeah. to highlight the stations in between. Ah, well, as you mentioned sparkly. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You have your two millimeter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I picked up the wrong one. Here we go. As you mentioned, oh, sparkle and luster. Oh my! So these would be your kisses. Oh. So these, the, the mm. sort of, the bit in the centre. Where the where the two seed bead crosses meet, the the bead in the centre is called the kiss. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Wow. You have faceted. Two millimetre rounds in your blue lace agate. Natural. My word. In your faceted appetite. And your faceted lapis lazuli. Ooh. Yeah, that's a luxurious trilogy, yes. isn't it? 
That's a luxurious trio of beautiful gemstones. So I would use, I'd use the lapis alongside the um, appetite and citrine Ooh, we just yes, had. yes, that would be that, lovely. Oh, now that's, yes, totally, because yeah. you were saying the blues and the yellows together, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that would be an incredible piece of jewellery. And let's oh. not forget, if you're working with gemstones, and of course, you've got to remember the, the intrinsic value mm, of that piece of jewellery. make sure you, you, you put that forward when you're selling. Definitely. So I'm selling glass, you know, check glass or Mayuki, but if you, as soon as you start adding gemstones to that, you need to, to bring that across to your to the paying public. And, and the time doubt. that it takes yeah. to actually create the crisscross, whilst it's yeah. enjoyable time, it's it's your skill and your yeah. talent. Twelve ninety nine only to get hold of this beautiful, very high end trio, blue lace, the queen of your agates. You have you beautiful sky blue appetite, and look at that wonderful Arabian blue in. Uh, your lapis lazuli wow. very very popular these um again limited now in their quantity so this would be the kiss in your cross um now we're going to start the demonstrations but don't you worry if we run over then we will still allow we're not going to rush mark at all um if you do have any questions during uh mark's demonstrations then do feel free uh to message us now just before we start we do have a question actually from oh. one of our viewers mark um sorry Okay, we're just bringing that to air. Um, but really simple for you to message us because we are live in the studio. 78070, make sure you start your text with JM Studio. Hello to you, Christine in South Yorkshire saying, hello, L, Mark and team. Hello, lovely. Mark, how much tension do you use when doing the kiss cross, please? I really struggle mm. with tension. Is that a question you get a lot? Yeah, it depends. I think it comes with... with um not with age, but, but the more that you, you seed bead, you'll find that you're, you, you'll come to a tension, then it'll be, it'll be muscle memory and, and you won't even need to think about tension. Mm -hmm. But um, because you're doing, with the kiss cross, because you're doing a rope generally, you get that fluidity, however, ten, however tense your, your threading is. But yeah. I tend to be quite, quite forceful with my tension on whatever seed bead I'm doing. But, but with kiss cross, it doesn't really matter. The only thing you've got to be careful is that you use the right amount of beads around your gemstones, which I'm going to show you next. Okay. Um, so would you say, though, uh, um, you know, uh, with lots of jewellery making, mm, relax, I suppose, yeah, as absolutely. well. Because, yeah. you know... But you, after, as I said, after a while, your, your body will get used to the tension and it will just become a... So just practice. Yeah, it'll become Keep on a, practicing. Yeah, yeah. Experience, yes, that's the word yeah. that we're looking for. But it's, I bet it's a question you get quite a lot, yeah. actually, in your jewellery. Um, and, and I mm. suppose after you've created, maybe do a, a sort of a station... You know, if it's really tense, then maybe, yeah. maybe you know you need to just lose... Just too much and then um, just let the hell back a bit. But it's just something you'll pick up over time. OK, fabulous. Which of these incredible designs, Mark? So I'm going to show you how to do these little Elizabethan little uh, so baby mandalas, I think you call them, don't yeah, you? Yeah, and you wouldn't great. imagine that that was even related no. closely to the kiss cross, but it no. is, right? Yeah. OK, take it away. Well, I, just, I just wanted to do something a bit different. Now, with all of my... Um, if I bring a couple of pieces over. With all of my Kiss Cross designs, I've always in the past used three gemstones, but for this one, I'm going to use four. Okay, so if you look on the top, I've got three, one, two. So ignore the one in the center, but I've got three. So I've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, all of my, whenever I'm doing a rope or station, I always have three, but I wanted to do something different for this demo. So I've gone for four this time. So it completely gives a different look straight away. So I'm going to use the, these are the four mil. And I'm only going to use 15 O's. And these are from the kit that we bought to you a bit earlier. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, I've alternated four of my, my, um, there were agates, weren't they, with four 11 O's in between. And I've tied a single knot followed by a double knot. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, which I always do, is I'm going to sew away from the knot. So I'm just going to sew through the 11 and the next agate, and you need to exit through an 11 O, like so. So in Kiss Cross, there are two stages you have your seed bead row and you have your gemstone row now you never add both in the same row apart from your first initial row so as you can see we've incorporated seed beads 
and our gemstones. Now from now on, you, will, you won't add the two together. You'll be adding the seed bead, then gemstone, seed bead, gemstone. So it's a really nice way if you, if you put your work down and you come back to it, you'll know exactly where you are because there are only two rows that you add. So that's our initial start. Now, whatever size, um, whether you're doing a station or you're doing a rope, you always start with this fashion. And as I said, I tend to only use three in my ropes or stations, but I'm going to use four for this little motif. So the first thing we need to do is we need to decide of a combination of seed beads that sit perfectly around the outside of our first gemstone. So for a four millimeter, if you're only using your 11 O's, you will need to pick up five. So I'm going to pick up five 11s, and I'm going to go around the outside of the agate into the next 11. Okay, and as you can see, I, pull, I do pull quite tight. If you do get slight gapping, don't be worried about that because once you do your next row, it'll all bring it together. So that's first, and then we'll do it again. So again, this is exactly what you would do with your basic kiss cross. So I've got my five 11s. I'm going to go round the agate into the next 11. Pulling nice and tight, because I'm, I'm, I do pull quite tight with my tension. And then I'm going to do the next. And you'll see just how simple this technique is. And I think this is why it's caught on so much, because it is so simple, but it produces the most beautiful jewelry. And then we're going to sew into the next 11. Pull that through. So this is the 11 over that had the knot, so you just might need to pull that through with your pliers. And then you've got your last group of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's never going to change. It's always going to be five from now on. And I'm going to sew into the 11. Okay, so if I lay that down nice and flat, I'm going to cut off that tail because it's getting in the way. Let's cut that off. Okay, so that's your seed bead round. So already that's quite a nice little motif that you could join together to make a bracelet if you wanted to. So as I mentioned earlier, you just added your seed bead round, and now we're going to add our gemstones. So the first thing we need to do, and this is really important, is we need to do what's called a step up. Because at the moment, we're in between the gemstones, and I need to be on the outer edge. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of your 11 O's. You've got the two from the initial start, plus the group of five that you've added. So what you need to do is you need to sew up through to come in and exit through bead four, which is the middle of your group of seven. So I'm just going to step up through and exit through one of the corners. Okay, so we're going to add our gemstones next to have those ready. So I'm going to pick up my next four millimeter and I'm going to jump the gap all the way over to the middle bead of the next group of seven. So I'm going to jump all the way across and sew into bead number four. And don't, don't pull too tight at this point. So we're going to do the next one. So we're going to jump the gap to the middle of that group of seven. So again, seed bead number four. I'm going to do this with the third section. So I'm going to jump the gap into bead number four. And I'm going to do it for the last time. So if you were doing three Bs for a rope, it's exactly the same technique. So I'm going to jump across the gap into bead number four. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull and cinch it all together. And you get your first initial half, half of, your, of your kiss cross in effect. So that's just brought them all together. So we've just added our gemstones. Now we're back to seed beads again. So one, two, three, four, five, because we already know the combination. We're going to go round the bead into the 11 O that's in between. Pull that through. Then we're going to do the next group of five. One, two, three, four, five. Go round the bead into the 11 O. One, two, three, four, five. So it's very repetitive, as you can see. Go round the back into the next 11 O. And we're going to go round. We're going to add our group of five. And 
and then we're going to go around into that 11 and then we're going to step up because we need to get up to that corner to add our next row of gemstones. So go through the first, second, third, exit through the fourth. So I'm going to come up through that bead number four. So that's our next seed bead round. So we know straight away that we're back to our next row of gemstones. So we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to jump from corner to corner to corner to corner in bead number four of the group of seven. So I'm going to pick up our gemstone. Let's try this one. I'm going to jump over into the next corner into bead number four. We do the same into the next corner. So pick up your gemstone. C bead number four. Once you've done a couple of rows of this, the middle bead, because of the tension, will actually be quite prominent. You can see there it's standing out quite centrally, so you can, you can go straight in. Jumping the gap into bead number four. And then we're going to do the same one last time. Picking up bead number four. And then we'll pull nice and tight again. And this will form your very first station. So that's where your kiss cross starts. So and then you, you know now at this point, generally, if you're doing if you were continuing, you would then add your seed bead rows, then your gemstone rows. So if you look back up at that, this little demo and just repeat what I've shown you that will become your, your kiss cross rope or your kiss cross station. Is that tube? That, that tube, the, tube. The, the tube, yeah. But what we want to do for here is we want to, is we want to make this, this little motif. So what I'm going to do is, can you see we've got this middle bead where the two rows cross? So I'm going to take my needle and I'm just going to sew down and exit through that central bead. So what I'm going to do now is I've, I've beaded around the beads and now what I'm going to do is just pull nice and tight is I'm turning my bead away from me and I'm going to sew from middle kiss to kiss to kiss all the way around and that gap I'm going to fill and I use a slightly different colour so you can see so I'm going to go for one of these whites. So I'm going to pick up an 11, a gemstone, an 11 and I'm just going to jump the bead in that centre and enter through that middle, the kiss bead in effect. So then when you pull, that sits nice and flat on the outside. I'm going to do the same again. Have I got any more pale colours? Let's have a look. So I'm going to go for an 11, a gemstone and an 11. I'm going to jump the gap horizontally this time, go through the next kiss. So that's number two. And I'm going to do number three. Let's go for a pale colour again. It's quite nice having these mixed colours on the strand because yeah. you can really play with, with the colours. And then we're just going to sew through. And there's plenty of space in the 11 O's to get three or four passes with your needle and thread, so you don't, don't worry about that. So I'll do my last little... Let's find the drill hole. Oh, he's being stubborn. There we go. So I'm going to jump through and into that first 11 0 again. So then you can pull nice and tight. And then if I lay that down flat, you can see then that we've got the start wow. of, our, of our cube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, at this point you can start just adding levels. So I'm going to sew through the next 11, the agate, and the 11. And then what I'm going to do is, can you see now we've got a gap in between those two 11s? Just here. If you pick up three of your little 11 O's, so one, two, three, and I'm going to sew across the gap into the next 11, and then the agate. So then when I pull, I get this really cute little sort of frame in between the two gemstones. So through the 11, and I'm going to pick up one, two, three. One, two, three, and then out. And then we're going to go one, two, three. I'm going to jump the gap into the 11, into the agate, and then through. 
and then I'm going to do the last little section. So group of three, jump the gap into the 11, and I'm going to go through, there we go, through the 11, and I'm going to go through that corner like so. Okay, so that's your initial motif finished. So once you get to this point, if I show you the side as well, so you've got this quite nice three-dimensional look. And you get the four beads at the top, four beads at the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring the necklace across and I'll show you what I've done. So this is the completed necklace. So all I've done is I've managed to, there's still space in your 11O to sew through. So we've got a group of five on this outside edge. There's enough space in that middle, that number three 11O to pop your memory wire through, which is what I've done here and here. Now the central one, what I've done is I've joined two together with a simple little pico on the bottom. You can carry on, you continue, you can, you can add if you want to. So what you could do is you can have lots of these and make sort of a little bracelet if you wanted to, just from adding a little pico along the way. And then the other necklace, which I'll just bring across, is I've done exactly the same, but I've used your six millimetres so they're your four mils, these are your six millimetre, and then again, I've elaborated all the way around the outside. And at this point, there's plenty of scope to, to add and add and add. But the demo I wanted to show you, which is this little motif here, that's just something different to elaborate onto your basic kiss cross, which is on the inside here. So as I mentioned, if you start at the beginning of the demo, and before I then add the outer sections, you just continue with that rope. That would be your, your kiss cross station or your kiss cross rope. But as you said, that I, I did teach you, Elle, in five minutes how to do your kiss cross. So it's really quick. Yeah. And, it, and uh, it's just a different way. This is a really nice different way of using. And you can your see totally technique. why. Uh, it, you know, it, it is. <laughs> <laughs> You can see why <laughs> it becomes behind the scenes there at Joy yeah. Maker. You can see why it becomes so yeah. addictive as well. It's really I, I, well, one of the things I was watching you then, mm. Mark, is that mm. that is, you said uh, a little bit Elizabethan. Yes. That's yeah. the kind of piece of jewelry that I can actually imagine being in the VA Museum. Mm. You know, yes. like a, yeah. you know, some steeped in history piece of jewelry, especially with those lovely yeah. colours. Yes. Well, I've been asked to do another DVD about the Kiss Cross, but but do something completely different with it. Yeah. So I think. I think we're going to sort of go down the, the, the motif of mandala route, but using the basic kiss cross. I don't know, it's quite interesting. I'm quite excited it. to see what we can do with it. You're so clever, isn't mm. he? So, so, mm. so clever. Thank you, Mark, Pleasure. so much. Pleasure. Do make sure you, t if you've just joined us, have a little look back, look back in the previous hour because we had some amazing mm. kits, um, including vibrant red gemstones, but also um, we've got some lovely little bundles included in that hour as well. So make sure you take a little look back at those and do check out your basket. Now, most people that uh, know and love our look, fabulous Mark <laughs> will know that he has got a huge emotional attachment to Aquamarine, have, haven't you? Yeah, well, it's, it been, has... it's been my number one for two and a bit years now. Yeah. And it's just, so, this year actually, it's just been pipped by the Amazonites, but I'm, I'm sure that it will it will come back and take the number one spot again. For, for sure, Aquamarine. especially when, yes. if you could see what I can see in these boxes, it might well do that today. Okay. Well, I've, I've, seen got... that, I've seen that, those rondelles on the, on the, on the tea, but oh my Lord. Oh my word, I, I want know. that so much. I know, I know, I know. Look how amazing those are. I've also got them in, in rounds. I've got bundles oh. of rounds. Um, now, what is aquamarine? I mean, Gosh. I know most of you know it as a gemstone. It's a beautiful variety of your beryl family. It's coloured uh, by the presence of iron within this gemstone. Now, the more iron, the deeper the actual blue is. Now, fine quality aquamarine, which teams clarity with saturation, is often referred to as Santa Maria. And that is exactly what you are gonna get in this first opportunity. So it is creme de la creme. So much so, it had to be a star buy.
I reference, uh, I reference quite frequently a paragraph that is written within uh, by the GIA. These are not my words. This is the Gemological Institute of America that say this. Named after seawater, aquamarine, obviously, aquamarine beholds fresh, watery hues and a, uh, like a cool plunge into a refreshing pool. The deeper the colour, the finer the quality of aquamarine. When you team that alongside clarity, then you truly have something exceptional. This is Santa Maria, oh. and it does not get much finer than this. That's absolutely stunning, isn't it? That is exquisite. These are Santa Maria earrings made by our in-house designers. They are just exceptional. I gravitated towards these. Oh. Now, this is the only strand of Santa Maria that we have within the entire business. Historically, aquamarine has been celebrated and adorned right the way back as 300 to 480 BC, and almost every single culture hails it as one of the most luxurious of gemstones. The deeper the blue, as I said, the more highly regarded and often referred to as what's on your screens right now, Santa Maria. However, um, you can get beautiful examples of aquamarine in opacity as well, which I can bring you that too. When you have clarity, when you have saturation as a combination within most of your colour gemstones, you can expect quite an elevated price per carat. And yet I don't mind suggesting to you that when you have this level of clarity, and I've just seen, sorry, I'm going to tell you what's going on in my, in my peripheral sorry. vision. Don't apologize. I'm so glad. I love doing this. Gauging Mark's response to what we're actually taking it to. So you've just signaled to Liam saying, Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what I asked. Go on. Is that, it must be about two years ago now. Yeah. Um, presenter Carol and I launched. I remember. The I was first on holiday. ever Santa Maria strand of aquamarine. And it was slightly longer, only about yeah. an inch longer. So I think it was about eight or nine inch in, in length. And we sold it on the show. We had 30. We were only able to get 30. And this is where our, buy, this is where our buying power is. We only able to have 30. And it came to air and sold out on that show for £299. Mm -hmm. So yes. why were you surprised? <laughs> because I've just been told what this strand is going to. Yes. Be, which is as good a quality. Yes. It's so beautiful. It's very rare, Santa Maria. We don't have it on the show very often. And yeah. I cannot believe... So let's scrutinise, are... Mark. Let's yes, try. Let's yes. try. Let's try oh. and be. Let's be really, 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 almost. Ooh, unfair to this strand for one mm. second. Mm -hmm. Clarity. Do you find any imperfections? No. Do you find? Yeah. Because often, actually, what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a couple there in that one rondelle that's about to disappear. That's about it, really. Because often, what you're seeing is actually the strand in the centre. Yes, that's right. So let's not forget that this is no. actually drilled. Yep. Colour, the number one most important thing about aquamarine. Colour. Does it have, let's reference it, watery hues? Yes. Refreshing pool blues? Definitely. Yeah, exactly. That is everything that we aspire to. The finer <laughs> the quality, it, I mean, it has to be that quality to deserve the Santa Maria reference. This is amazing. Not £299, like that strand of Santa Maria aquamarine that you launched uh, those, those years ago. I remember it clearly, Mark. Yeah, it was a beautiful, beautiful strand. Yeah. And by the way, those of you that purchased it, you got an incredible deal. Yeah, yeah. But we are a different company now. We're under the Gemporia partnership. We weren't able to buy a huge quantity. We were of this. Let's do something extra special because already we have collectors and connoisseurs getting involved. Look at that beautiful clarity. Mark's already been flabbergasted once. Let's do it again, shall we? Oh, I mean, those earrings alone, those earrings alone, Mark, if, you, if they were in a high-end jewellers, you would be talking, at, well, above what's on your yeah, screen straight without away. Doubt, without a doubt. Look at that oh, quality. That's already... <laughs> and it's using just a handful of your Santa Maria strand. We have 52 of these available, and in a minute's time... I don't, I really don't understand this. We're going to go, to go, Mark, to the price that you've just heard that made you 
take a sudden intake of breath. That's Look at that quality. The graduation, separation with just a few of your spacer beads included onto your beautiful gold-plated 925 sterling silver earrings. That, I mean, that's fine jewellery, isn't it? Those are exquisite, aren't they? And yes, you can probably make a matching necklace to go alongside it or a bracelet, whichever you wish. Brilliance. Santa Maria blues. This is like four A's to a tanzanite. This is like D to a diamond. Mm, mm. It's the best that you can possibly... Stop, stop, stop. Stop. No, 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 there's not enough people there, Liam, for that. You can't take it to that price tag if there's just a handful of people there. Oh. Defiant today, he is, jewellery makers. I mean, look at that. If you know somebody mm. that's getting married, is a, is, is a March baby, maybe it's a gemstone that has is particularly uh, poignant in uh, sort of... I don't know, it's, it's, quite, it's, it's quite a significant gemstone to me. It's my sister's birthstone, so I absolutely love this gemstone. Mm. Immediately have this emotional attachment. We only had 52 of these available. Oopsie, uh, of these available. Look how perfect that would be as a tennis star bracelet. £34.99. <laughs> pence. Yes, it's marginally smaller than mm. the Santa Maria that you launched. I remember. Carol took it on holiday she initially, did, didn't she? Did, she? That's right. And she yeah. took photographs when she was away. Yeah. Um, then I was on holiday when you actually brought the mm. strand to air. I remember it clear as day. £299 it was once then. £34.99 today. You have the clarity, crystal blues, ice like clarity, <laughs> teamed alongside that presence of, uh, of iron that produces the perfect, perfect Santa Maria colour. This is the only what? Oh, gosh. It's the only Santa Maria aquamarine strand that we have of any quantity, and we use that loosely mm. because there's only 52 of them within the vault. That's absolutely unbelievable, don't you think? They're amazing. There were 52. You can't get better than Santa Maria, can you? No. It's that perfect summer's day sky blue. How can we do that? I don't that? know. <laughs> I don't oh, know. I don't understand. I don't With the understand. pearls that we had earlier on, know, rubbing those imagine. dotted in between. Mm -hmm. But to be truthful, I'm loving these earrings. So yeah, I'm actually thinking recreating yeah. those earrings. Oh, my goodness. You can do that and make multiple pieces, actually. You can actually make a matching tennis bracelet or maybe a, a, a beautiful aquamarine, Santa Maria yeah. aquamarine necklace, all for less than £35. Again, I took Willow to the cinema yesterday. It cost me more than that. And that's, that was, I was in there for about an hour. No, by the time you get your popcorn and everything, didn't watch the film for that length of time. No. Lots of trailers, aren't there? Didn't watch. I was there for an hour, and it, oh, goodness me, you can get Santa Maria, the finest quality. I'm not taking Willow to the cinema anytime soon. No, let's just put it that way. Antoinette, hello to you, Lorraine, Pauline, Stephanie, Patricia, Maeve, Angela, <laughs> Gillian, Gloucestershire, Lynn. Well done to you, London, new buyers, customers, uh, multi buying. Congratulations. Keep on dialing through. Yeah. Unbelievable. Shall we do? <sighs> I love the. I've got to have these. <laughs> Me too, Liam. How many? Mm. Oh. That's not enough. I want these as well. They're amazing. For all your Marlers, these are, this is just going to be the, the finest gemstone you can have, isn't the it? Perfect. In your Marlers. I'm just imagining an amethyst Marler, six mil, with these as your... As your markers. Gurus, or your markers, yeah. Oh, that would be unbelievable, wouldn't oh, it? It's got to go up to the neckline. Look at this. These are the, some of the biggest aquamarines I think I've ever brought to air. 14 millimetre rounds. Oh, my word. Oh, they're stunning. And that, this is my favourite variety of aquamarine. I love, you know, clear, crystal clear clarity, don't get me wrong. But I absolutely adore mm. aquamarine, which has yeah. a level of opacity, because it holds that colour, it gives you a really beautiful dream-like uh, appearance. One of my most treasured possessions, and I'm very privileged to own, a Sarah Bennett piece of jewellery, and it's a, a necklace and it's alternating 14 mil aquamarine with 14 mil morganite. Wow. Full, full necklace. And um, it cost me a lot of money. I hadn't, been, I hadn't been a viewer very long. It was a lot of money. And, then, and I, I treasure it. I absolutely treasure it. It's She's beautiful. amazing, isn't she? Beautiful. I've been chatting to Sarah Have recently. You? Right. Mm. 
funny enough, about strands similar to this. Ah, Sounds similar right. to this. Because okay. I agree with you. Yes. Very similar. Yeah. The, quali the quality of aquamarine that you're mm. looking on your screen yeah. is very similar to the sort of quality that you see in her lovely collections. Yeah. Yeah. I love her collection as well. Mm. Really beautiful. Where am I expecting this to be? £60, £70? Because mm. yeah. they're, they're 14 millimetres. 66 of these available. Mark, I've got a funny feeling that we're going to miss out on this opportunity. Twenty-four ninety-nine. <laughs> oh my goodness! Susie created oh, a pearl marla necklace the other day, which yeah. is just gorgeous. Mm, Can you imagine yeah. these with the pearls? That'd be lovely too, wouldn't it? I think we're going to miss out, Mark. I, I know, me too. What would you do with yours if you nothing, were? If, absolutely if, nothing. You'd just keep the strand. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, and I just look at it all the time. And you could do something amazing there, couldn't you? Just the you? weight, it feels good as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're the gorgeous. Weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I've got fifteen on my strand. Uh, Valerie, Julie, Claire, Patricia, inch, Molly. Yeah, per aquamarine yeah. stone. And they are, these are natural, right? That's a 19 carat solitaire stone, each and every single one of them. Oh, they are, as your gurus. As your marker yeah. necklaces, one on a long line chain would be absolutely exquisite. They'd be perfect to use alongside your, your Mayuki because you could actually frame them, couldn't you? You could actually you can bezel them. Or that lovely technique that Claire does with the gallery wire on yes, the rounds. Yes, frames it all the way around. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. we're at twenty four ninety nine. I was expecting it to be three, four times that price tag. Mandy, wow. Pauline, Lulu, hello to you, Janice, new customer, Antoinette, Suzanne, uh, Julia, Claire, Kent, London. Oh, we had 66 of these available. Um, stay where you are. The only aquamarine strand wow. that we have anywhere near that size, by the way. Um, Liam says, can we do, can we do my favourite? Yes, mm -hmm. which one's your favourite? The f what? Oh, oh, yes. This is brand new. It's never been on air before. So, cubes you can use in a kiss cross. Mm, exactly the same, exactly the same technique. Yeah, exactly the same way. Oh, this is pretty. I'm just going to roll this towards you so you can see that beautiful surface luster. Look at how amazing. Faceted cubes in genuine aquamarine. Perfect azure blue. If you wanted to include them in your kiss cross, they would be perfect. They'd be absolutely perfect. But also little rosary links. Oh, yeah, yeah. As a little accent yeah. and a drop style down the bit, sort of decolletage, if you like, yeah. for bridal creations. Your bead embroidery. I mean, the, the, the opportunities are completely and utterly endless. It's, a cube for me is no, not that much different in terms of how we treat it, Mark, to a round no, no, or a right. faceted no, round. Absolutely not, no. Has this been one of the only cube strands that we've actually brought this morning? So actually, if you wanted to use it with those, uh, those opal oh, yes, colored yeah. Mayuki, what is that? Right, okay. Liam says, that's because it's oh, my favourite, and also our jury maker viewers need a bit of a wakey-wakey. OK, 40 minutes before uh, your mid-show, I've got a 100 of these available. This is beautiful aquamarine, and we're at £6.99. Can we just take a moment to say that out loud? This is aquamarine, and we're at £6.99. <laughs> I can bring you certain gemstones at that price tag. I can. I can bring you certain quartzites, I can bring you certain agates, I can bring you uh, certainly synthetic stones. Aquamarine is one of the most desirable gemstones out there. In fact, we gave, we, prior to De Beers running that hugely successful marketing campaign that diamonds are forever, um, it was, it was aquamarine, which was the gemstone that we used to give um, for a proposal. It's also still the gemstone that you give on, uh, uh, on your 19th wedding anniversary. It's said that this gemstone will enhance a couple's love for one another um, throughout their marriage. But that being said, you know what? It's stunning. It's absolutely mm. stunning. You have these wonderful summer's day azure sky blues. There's a crazy amount of you with it in your baskets that haven't yet checked out. 
Um, half the stock has already gone. Liam, just, I know you've given it, you've done it at 6 99 because it's your favorite strand and also it was like, okay, people are getting tired. We often see this in the 12 o'clock hour. People are getting hungry. They might be filtering off to go and have something to munch. Fair enough, I'm not saying don't do that. However, 6 99 for aquamarine. That's unbelievable. What should it have been? Twelve ninety nine, and even that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. In fact, that is what it says on my sheet. Twelve ninety nine. I should have known that. Should have known that. Shall we do the four millimeter faceted ones in a second? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's do those in a second. I've got two hundred of these available. They're really pretty, really, really pretty. I'm gonna leave those final cubes with you. It's a full strand, 38 centimetre strand. So I'd get, I'd get three of the, whatever the, whatever the cost, I'd get three of these and do a necklace. A you kiss have to, cross? I think. Yeah, you have to. That's what colour gold. Mayuki would go gold. for? Gold. And I might like go 15s in there's something really delicate. I think it'd be beautiful. I, I can't wait to see that piece mm. of jewellery. There are 200, so we, mm. you have okay. a chance of getting right. hold of it. Mm -hmm. And because there's 200, <laughs> Liam says. Oh, dear. On my sheet, it does say, what, twelve ninety nine? yes. It does say that. Look how oh, beautiful. No, Look how it matches that. against the skin tone. If you love your rose, it's going <laughs> to add warmth. That was the, a real dick dastardly laugh then, wasn't it? Who, Liam? Mm. Go on. Who's, what, what did you, I didn't hear you. Did he do a little chuckle? Mm. A little naughty chuckle? Grab three, grab three, honestly. You can make a ki a, an aquamarine, yeah. a natural aquamarine yeah. kiss cross necklace. A full necklace, right? Mm. For what's that? Seven forty for twenty one pounds yeah. plus your Mayuki. Plus your CBs for a tenner, yeah. That's absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah. You might have tubes at home already mm. in your stash. You can make a full natural aquamarine wow. kiss cross necklace. Look at the quality of those lovely blues. Amazing, amazing blue shades coming through. Now, every single one of the 200 need to be a sellout, Liam is saying. Um, and if you are making the kiss cross in your aquamarine, we need to see it. Send it into the photo, uh, to the Wall of Fame. That also enters you into our uh, Wall of Fame draw. Um, send, please share it on the uh, on the jewelry maker share your makes page so we can all admire it. Look at the quality of that aquamarine. I can't believe we're at a single figure price tag, and not by a little bit. What are you smirking about <laughs> now? You're well, smirking I'm just thinking as whether if... I should say something or not. Go on, I'm do just... it. Well, no, I don't. Um... Oh, are you about to give away a secret? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So one of the things that we're going to be discussing in our meeting in half an hour mm -hmm. on the 24th, because it's my 10th anniversary, we're going to be running, details are to follow, a special Mark Smith themed Wall of Fame with a £100 winner and oh, a yes. £50 runner up. But all of the pieces of jewellery have to be either macrame or rosary linking, or kiss cross, or seed beading, or bobby bees, dark bead, anything that, that I'm well known for. Okay. And it's going to be a one-off Saturday Wall of Fame. But de details we follow, and we're just going to finalise the details in the meeting. That's a fab afternoon. idea. So you want these on that Wall of Fame? Well, that's what I'm thinking. That would be perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, get this home, start making your kiss cross, or macrame, mm -hmm. or whatever yeah. you wish. Yeah. Mark Smith themed mm -hmm. paracord, paracord, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Anything that, that I'm known for. Kumihimo. Kumihimo, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. There's probably nothing I haven't. Yeah, to be fair, you cover a lot of mediums, <laughs> don't you? You're yeah. a busy person. Yeah. Six ninety nine, and make sure you send in your mm. entries to uh, Mark's anniversary show. That's yeah. going to be absolutely incredible, isn't it? Mm. Um, it's it's going to be big. It is going to be big. <laughs> I was meant to be and there. And, you, I don't know if you know this or not, this is another one, but Gem Poria are going to be featuring in this um, show I know as well. this, I know oh, this. You know this, do you? It's going to be the biggest show. <laughs> I know this, I know this. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And I won't be here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. First thing I did this morning is I, I, I heard Mark in the corridor. I was like that. 
Mark, <laughs> I've got an apology to make. Mm. It's my daughter's birthday, and I literally didn't realise that they collided one another. That's a biggie as well. It's the fifth. It's the fifth big, birthday, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but you are guaranteed to have an amazing mm. show. But that's mm. the perfect opportunity it to is, actually, uh, yeah, send yeah. those, yeah. Uh, send those creations in. That with the black tourmaline that we had earlier on. Incredible. Yes, yes. Keep dialing through. Let's now bring you, oh, because this would go with the four mils. So these are your smooth six mils. Yeah, you can graduate sizing as well. And ombre, yeah. Mark. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that one right there. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's a mirror image. The hey. work's done for you. Yeah. It's I a mirror that image. Dark blue. That dark blue is beautiful. Oh, look at that. That's incredible. Wow. Shaded aquamarine, six millimetre rounds, perfect with your kiss cross design. Oh, I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> They are, um, they are bonkers. For, for aquamarine, which let's be honest, is an expensive gemstone, mm, isn't yeah. it? It is, it's generally speaking, quite an expensive gemstone. Um, it is incredibly popular and it has been for probably throughout, as we said earlier on, pretty much every single culture has hailed this gemstone in association with the sea, with love, um, with protection, of course, as well, and safety. Um, it's got one of the most uplifting and cheerful colours because it, by my definition, it's that gorgeous summer's day sky blue. Eight pounds and 99 pence. It would work perfectly in your kiss cross. I mean, but we are talking absolute luxury kiss cross jewellery if we're working with wow. genuine an aquamarine. Yeah. Have you made an aquamarine kiss cross? I have. I haven't got it with me today, but I have made one. But um, just, this is the nearest I've got, which I showed you briefly earlier. And this is this is Swarovski pearls. This one here. These, these are your six mils. So again, I would I would go with the gold. So it would look very similar oh. to that. It would look similar to that. That would. I mean, that yeah. if that were in aquamarine, it would mm. literally look like yeah. a four-figured piece of jewellery, yeah. yeah. and probably it would be elsewhere. Yeah. Um, okay. Not only is aquamarine one of your favourite gemstones, but I so love. yeah, I've got this thing about frosted. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's more. It's more advanced to actually mm. frost a gemstone than it is to polish a gemstone. I'd love to do a frosted theme show, but I don't think we've, we've got enough in stock at the moment. Not to do currently. That. No. Maybe in October we might be able mm. to do it. So you have your graduation here as well. Do you know why I like frost so much? Is because now gents, just from adding that simple frosting, can wear every single gemstone that we have. It just takes that, really it takes that femininity off it. I agree. Yeah, completely. That's a really good point. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, aren't they gorgeous? So you've got wow. the three strands, your, f uh, your eight, your six, and also your four millimetres. So you could create that graduated style yep. uh, sort of bib necklace that mm. I know Hannah Osborne showed you some time ago. Um, again, it's going to work with all your stretchies and macrames, all your kiss cross, all of the above, and your frosted coloured aquamarine. Now, we often refer to aquamarine in terms of its water uh, um, similarity, but this is almost glacial, isn't it? You've got that glow from each of the, the frosted gemstones. £19.99 for all three. That's six pounds, 66 pence oh per word. strand. And they are natural. They are totally and utterly natural. That's incredible. That's for me the price of the eight mil strand. Yeah, so, yeah, and then you're about. getting the other two for free. We had rose quartz earlier on. They'd be beautiful with your rose so quartz So I would use kit. these as your marla. Because you don't have to, you can grab, you can um, alternate the sizes, and then those big 14 mils we had as your markers Lovely. and your guru. That I think that would just be the most amazing. And I would go for Shanghai red. Oh, nice. Do the with a red tassel. That'd be beautiful. Mm, yeah. um, our lovely Sue, our in-house designer Sue, made me an aquamarine marla necklace. I love wow. it. And she's actually graduated it from large to smaller oh, yes. at the front. Yeah. And it's really pretty. I wear it all the time. Mm. I think I've uploaded a photograph on my Facebook page, on my presenter's page. Wear it all the time. Tiggy, Diggy loves it too. She's mm. always sort of playing with it. But yeah, it actually graduates. So it's these kind of sizes, from the eight, the six, to the four, uh, to that really lovely tassel. Mine's not in the matte polish, but I can, again, imagine it, 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 wearing it with, uh, against the high polish yes, of your aquamarine yes. would be really pretty. $19.99 only. Keep on dialing through um, because we have to, have to, have to include this next opportunity. 
A date for your diary. October. That's when... <laughs> the whole of October, I can't, I can't specifically tell you, just October. That is when you will see the next delivery of satellite. Now, the ones that you're seeing currently on air are extremely limited, and they are on the verge of running out. This is the final oh, look. aquamarine satellite strand. It's been on air before, and we have the final few, yeah? They're now very, oh, very, gosh. very limited. Uh, the satellite bead is pro arguably, I think most of us uh, are saying, probably mm. the cut of 2021. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Liam says, if it doesn't win, <laughs> it's been robbed. It was absolutely robbed, I agree. You've got almost like a round, brilliant cut sort of angles in here. I'm not saying it's exactly the same shape, but definition. We've launched it in lots of different gemstones. Your Jaspers, your Botswanas, your Kunzites. We've had it in, let me see, Spinel, we had it in, Jadeite, we had it in, Pretty Tiger's Eye, absolutely, Amethyst, Amazonite, we've had it in all of the gemstones, Serpentine, yes, we've had it in Serpentine, Citrine, we've had it in, Peridot, we've had it in, I said Kunzite, uh, pretty, like a huge selection, and every single one of them has flown out the door, all down to this cut. It's really captured our jury maker audience uh, um, imagination. Imagination. Now, sometimes they're actually referred to as your fancy fasted beads. They're not, they're the satellite, basically, or your lanterns. Um, same cut, same supplier. Okay, do you know, the other reason why these have been so incredibly popular, we're covering some of the finest quality gemstones with fine faceting, and yet they're still super, super, super affordable. But they're limited now. I have just under 50 of these available. And I don't mind telling you that when we first launched each and every single one of the gemstones in this lovely cup, we had over 300. Is that about right? Um, over 300 of them. We're down to the final few. Patricia, Zoe, Marilyn, Cece, Isle of Man, new customer, Karen, Angela, Helen, new buyer. Um, keep on dialing through. They're great for all of your knotted styles. But one thing I think that we actually mentioned when this was actually brought to air is just doing what they've done on the strand mark is, you Absolutely. know, just dotting it with Mayuki Absolutely, in between. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really, very really quite elegant, isn't it? It's super elegant. Super, super elegant. Just popping one of your spacer beads your, or your Mayukis or um, a little pop of maybe a... You could put a two millimetre gemstone in there if you wanted to. How about contrasting it with some lovely black tourmaline that we had earlier on? You know, that is a combination. It works, doesn't it? It really works. Um, collector in Surrey's asking what, Surrey? The, the Rose Quartz and Onyx Bundle. We'll play it in a second for you. Yes, no problem. We'll bring that to air in a few moments' time. Um, if you wanted the Black Spinel sources, we brought those two earlier on. They really do complement your lovely satellite beads as well. Hi, Sheila. Hello to you, Helen, Patricia. Hello to you, Norfolk. Hello to you, uh, Darlene and Paul. Anne, Olwen, Karen, Midlands. Hello to you, Sussex. Hello to you, Patricia. Uh, hi, Karen. Mark, could you kiss cross with lanterns you probably if we had a smaller one you probably could if we do there uh, are yeah, smaller sizes oh, are they? yeah you can do them with the smaller size but i'll use these larger ones as your substations substations in yeah that'd be amazing that's a nice absolutely. idea absolutely yeah because you wouldn't yeah. want to cover the, the shape anyway no, would you no no that'd be lovely though the smaller version so you, you i probably wouldn't go any bigger than sort of six or eight mil okay but i think we've done six mil versions haven't we I so think. use these as the substations yeah, in, in between, between your kiss cross yes. great idea yeah. Yep. Great idea. Okay. Um, a rose quartz bundle. I've got two beautiful strands. You do get three, though. I'm just being told. That looks like Kunzite, doesn't it? It does. In fact, oh. yeah. I think that's... Uh, yeah. Wow. You do get three. I know I've mm. only got two here, but you are guaranteed the three. I mean, that is going to gorgeously complement those mm. 14 mils. Yeah. 
We're not sure about the onyx that you're actually talking about. If you've got a code, text it to Liam and he'll bring it to air. Yeah, it goes perfect alongside the 14 mils, doesn't it? Or maybe alongside some beautiful aquamarine. This is what my Marla necklace mm, is made well. out of. Oh. Faceted rounds, look how perfect that combi uh, is a combination. Three strands of your beautiful rose quartz, yes, alongside that beautiful tri uh, trio of aquamarine you have just there. £14.99, that's less than £5 per strand. Uh, I mean, we've got, you said, mentioned earlier on, kids are breaking up from school. Um, you know, we're starting to actually think about teacher gifts. That's a mm, thing now, yeah, Mark. Yeah, you have to, yeah, and it's not just teachers, it's teachers' assistants. <laughs> And then, oh, you know, it, 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 yeah, where does it end? Where mm. does it end? Uh, I mean, this would be really lovely, wouldn't it? It'd be really lovely to actually create, I don't know, a simple uh, uh, stretchy bracelet. Yeah, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? I mean, if you could go all out and create Kiss Cross, that would be so, quite mm. something. The final few of these, Monica, Diana, Ruby, hello to you, Isle of Man, Jill, Sheila, you're there as well. The romance, the femininity that is attached to your rose quartz. But again, I need to emphasize, you don't get two, you get three. Three of them. Wow. Three of them in total. Not just the two, 14 pounds and 99 pence only. It's been busy today. Um, congratulations, and items are selling out. Right then, moving on to. Oh, now, now you are talking. You had Santa Maria earlier on, right? So we need something to maybe suspend your, your Santa Maria from. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sterling silver, Santa Maria, lever back earrings. 925 sterling silver, and you have a round, brilliant cut. Santa Maria, Aquamarine, just here. Turn it round so you can see the lever back and obviously where you suspend your jewellery from. I mean, this is luxury. Lever backs yeah. are... Uh, it's like your screw studs, aren't they? Mm. They're that much more secure and you tend to see them with your much finer quality gemstones. Um, but yeah, including your, uh, your Aquamarine round brilliant cuts in the centre there, which with that, what we call a rubbed over setting, actually looks far, far larger in its carat weight. It's perfect for suspending it at, at this, you know, this, show, this gemstone collection uh, from. I'd even go as far as saying that you could possibly really invest in um, sort of big carat weights, really big carat weights in, in, in lever backs because you've got that peace of mind. Mm, yeah. Let me just quickly show you how it actually opens. So a bit like a door basically, you open and close it like so, snap shut and then that's obviously firmly positioned within your ear um, and it's less likely to actually sort of slip out than maybe a standard shepherd hook. Um, just the final few of those remaining Okay, I've got a couple more requests coming through. Uh, one of which was for a gemstone, which I love and haven't seen in ages. I love green onyx. It used to be one of the gemstones that I used to bring in showcases, but unfortunately we don't have that much at the moment. Um, okay, again, I've only got two. Warehouse clearly didn't want to part with these today, did they? You do get three though. I love wow. green onyx, look at that color. Gives off an aura, doesn't it? This, this yeah. This, this Have you seen? Um, oh, what's the film? Leonardo DiCaprio. No, not the Titanic. Have you seen the film uh, where he, where he, he's, no, he's he's in love with that woman. Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby. There we go. Uh, it's, it's one of my favourite films, actually. Um, the 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 whole symbol of the green lantern at the end of her dock is, and if you actually see the film, it's this beautiful colour, isn't it? It's that wonderful green, that sort of secondary hue of blue. I don't know. It's almost like they saw green onyx and said that's the colour that needs to uh, sort of symbolise his long uh, longing love for her. Um, I, I've adored green onyx for so many years. It's so beautiful, and yes, okay, it's treated. It's a treated gem stone but look at how vibrant it is and like you said mark it's a whole aura it is it just yeah it gives off oh, i don't know it's a glow a, mm, a glow that's the word it does glow you are getting all three of them i'm joining you on this one that's such a beautiful triple treble opportunity i also have a pyrite bundle so now 
pyrite, we've had more frequently in the larger sizes, the larger carrot yes, weights. I've not seen them in a dinky size before. Oh, look at this. Two millimeter plain rounds. I've got three. They go perfect with your green onyx, don't they? But to be truthful, they're going to complement everything. Natural pyrite, a genuine gemstone, previously referred to as your fool's gold. You get this lovely uh, sort of antique shade, don't you? For three. For three? £6.99? Not each. Oh, my word. £6.99. Mark, could I use these in the Kiss Cross? You could. You could use this as your seed beads, couldn't you? As your 11 O's, if you wanted to. Have the whole thing pyrite. Pyrite and aquamarine. That'd be amazing. £6.99. Pyrite, aqua... Oh, it'd be lovely with the aquamarine. Those, those three strands aren't the same price as the tube of seed beads, aren't yes. they? Gosh. And that's a genuine gemstone that's yeah. formed within the earth. That's absolutely amazing. Those diamond cut aquamarines are, are coming your way before the top of the hour or so, jewelry makers. Should we do them wow. now? Should we do them now? Now, there's a big difference between your diamond cut. In fact, I can actually, on this occasion, hold the two together. Your diamond cut um, and also your uh, lantern cut, because there is a difference in terms of their shape. So the, the lantern cut is a little bit more hmm, rounded. Yes, I agree. That's a good way to... Curved, almost curved and very, very, very geometrically precise. Your diamond cut is more <laughs> geometric, more sort of quirky, quite angular, amazing precision. The facets are actually triangular as opposed to sort of your trapezoid light shapes. This piece of jewelry has been created by our wonderful in-house designers. Look at that. And you have, and she's put some of the cubes dotted in between. I think that was um, Anne that created this. She was very busy last Friday. Um, so yeah, really, really perfect actually using it alongside uh, your cubes. So do you see where I'm coming from? It's, a, it's mm, much more yeah. geometric than um, potentially we would see uh, the satellite bead for. 210 carats of your diamond cut rounds. Now, as the name indicates, you actually have these really beautiful diamond-like facets that bring you incredible amounts of luster. Here's the strand that you're actually getting. I'm going to sort of just drape it over the top of the actual bust for you. Um, again, Mark, you were saying earlier on about possibly a bit big to be the core of a kiss cross, but mm. there's nothing saying these couldn't be maybe the substations. No, absolutely not. They that would amazing, be lovely. Yeah. Really beautiful. I love them. 210 carats that you're getting here, jewellery makers. A big, big carat weight. For all your marlers, for all your stretchies, for all of your macrames, don't forget about that amazing competition that Mark's told you about. <laughs> Get yourself prepared ahead of, ahead of the 24th, Mark's 10-year anniversary. Giveaways galore. Giveaways galore. He's rubbing it in, isn't he? <laughs> it's going to be an amazing show. You've got so much planned. I, I know about mm. it. And I'm, I'm actually gutted that I'm not going to be with you on that show, Mark. I genuinely, genuinely am. You know that, don't you? You do know that. That's all right, then. Twelve ninety nine only. <laughs> Twelve ninety. Oh, do you know what, Mark? They're being, being cruel now, aren't they? They're saying now oh, we're going to get your favourite food just because Maybe you're not Willow here. Maybe Willow should have her birthday party in the studio at the same time. Can you imagine? You just see her face yeah. coming out around the camera. Like that. <laughs> Just this little face appearing. <laughs> She's ever so cheeky. And she totally would, she, like, she would be trying to sabotage mm. it. So let us mm, not that, do that. that she would right. try and steal your limelight, Mark, and it should be all about you. <laughs> $12.99 only to get hold of it. It's going to be amazing. It really is. Notting, macrame, kiss cross substations, all of the above, that's going to work with, but getting very, very, very limited. Now, we have had oh. another request coming through. So um, I'm imagining lots of you are actually getting well stocked up to do your kiss cross. Can't wait to see those pieces. This is going to look incredible. Incredible, Mark. Um, do, I'm trying to remember if you actually showed us a kiss cross. I did. I've had it in my back here. Uh, now, you could yes. ombre this, Mark, couldn't you? 
all six millimetre rounds. Oh, so we have your deep, rich purple amethyst. You have your dog tooth amethyst or banded amethyst, same thing. And you also have this really beautiful lavender. I thought so. Mark has used these six millimeter, mm. uh, this, well, a very similar bundle to create this very exquisite bundle. piece. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Mark, that is something else. Does it, is it, is it tricky to, to position them so they're so uniformed? No, no, so all I've done is I've, do, where, do you remember when I showed you the demo earlier, yeah. I told you that it was seed beads, gemstones, seed bead, gemstones. Yeah. So what I've done, when I've done the gemstones is I've alternated the rows. So I've done three of the pale, three of the dark, three of the pale, three of the dark. And then I've just used golden gun metal seed beads to highlight the, is, the cross. Uh, Liam has just said that looks so expensive. And it would be, if you were to buy that from a retailer, mm. it would be very expensive because it's amethyst and it's exquisite skill in actually creating that beautiful design. Uh, the Kiss Cross, you've, you've, you've filmed DVDs, there's another one on the horizon as mm. well, mm. all things Kiss Cross. Amethyst is, 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 a, is a fantastic, because I actually think it's quite a, quite a decadent piece of jewellery, a Kiss Cross. It is. Um, yeah. I think it's the perfect gemstone to include mm. in that. Mm. No, I love I love amethyst. Is that on memory wire? It is, is the question? yes. Yep. So it's on it's on the necklace memory wire and I've popped on a magnetic clasp on the back. Beautiful, isn't it, CC? Mm. Absolutely beautiful. With the different shades of your amethyst, with the deep purples to your banded amethyst, that lovely lavender pink also. Loving that combination. I hope you managed to get hold of that. Um, okay, we are nearing the end, uh, nearing the end of the show, incredibly. I don't know where this morning has gone. Um, but we want to make sure that we vacate with a bang. Um, and we're gonna do that with some of the finest quality of amethyst, certainly a supreme location of source, one that gem uh, that Gemporia, uh, absolutely, uh, as a partnership, uh, but also uh, Gem Fields, um, as one of the most reputable uh, colour gemstone specialists in the world, do favour. I'm talking Zambian amethyst, and it's up next. So, without doubt, one of the world's most popular gemstones. I think we can all agree to that. With, with little to no gem knowledge, uh, we appreciate that amethyst is a gemstone which commands very, very high figures. And I've shown you slides before, pieces of jewellery that um, I knew. And I didn't go for pieces that maybe are set or mounted or anything like that. I actually went for designs that I know that you could be inspired by um, and actually potentially recreate. So, if you can cast your mind back to those fabulous amethyst necklaces that I actually brought to air once upon a time. They were all four-figured pieces, weren't they, Liam? We were talking about, what, £1,700 um, on... There's one on eBay, I think it was, or around about that price tag. Then we had some which were tens of thousands of pounds. £17,600. So, have a little look at these. Now, they are antique. That's an antique Victorian amethyst teamed with a few of your little uh, delicate freshwater pearls in a beautiful sort of garland necklace um, set in 18 karat gold, £7,600. But look at the colour. Absorb that beautiful colour of amethyst because that's what's most important. Remember that colour. Then this, again, I thought, okay, something our jewellery maker customers can recreate. Those are little oval, bri uh, round, uh, oval uh, brilliant cuts, suspended from uh, what I can imagine is, yeah, 18 karat, you can see just there. Little pearl at the top there. Uh, we can be inspired by that and maybe do the recreation, but £1,900, so 1950 this, uh, uh, £1,500, that's the one I was actually thinking of, on sterling silver, which is what you work with, mm. £1,500, and that's not even inclusive of your postage. But I bet you, I bet you, this was, I took these pictures, by the way, about a couple of months ago, maybe. Um, I bet you if I went on to eBay, that necklace would no longer be available. I'm, I'm sure of it. Then, look at this. Beautiful, stretchy bracelet. It's not even the quality that you're about to get in this star buy. From Wolf and Badger, which is very well known, 
256 pounds for an amethyst stretchy bracelet. It's not even living up to the standard and quality of color that you're seeing um, in this star buy. Do you want to see that standard and quality of color? When we said we want to vacate with a bang, this is how we do it. As I said, Zambia Gemfields, who are a name uh, which is in incredibly significant in the color gemstone world. They are also the name behind Fabergé. Uh, they invest in the communities local to the mines. Uh, they invest in the environment that unearths the gemstone as well. So you know that when you're buying quality uh, from, uh, from sort of Zambia locations, then you can also uh, uh, have the peace of mind that it has been sourced ethically as well. This is the quality that we would expect and see in your Fabergé, those deep, beautiful, opulent purples. 90 carats of natural Zambian amethyst in these absolutely exquisite faceted rounds. Cast your mind back to the color that I showed you in those necklaces. The deeper the purple, the more uh, sort of opulent that beautiful colour, whilst maintaining as well brilliance. You don't want to be to, it to be so saturated that you actually lose the brilliance of the gemstone. That, that combination, that's what we aspire to. We are going to exit with a bang today. Beautiful quality of amethyst, perfect with your kiss cross. Um, teamed alongside your gold, Mayuki Mark? Without a doubt. I think gold. Lovely. Yeah. And I have to tell you, this. your kiss cross in this would absolutely mm. obliterate yeah. all of those other designs. We're not even stopping at 9.99, though, jewelry makers, because we're thinking, okay, you might need to get a couple of these if you want to, um, if you wanted to go all out and create a full 360 kiss cross. Shall we give? Shall we give a multi viable price point? I have Jenny Cleary's voice in my head, and that's probably the maddest thing ever. She's producing me. She's taken over. Are you sat on Liam's lap? Sat on <laughs> Liam's lap and producing the show. Jenny Cleary says, I want, to, I want this to be extra special ahead of the morning, uh, the, the mid-show. Okay, what are we doing then, Cleary? In 10 seconds only... <laughs> An illegally low price tag. She says, what are they going to do? <laughs> Jenny Cleary. <laughs> Can you imagine our Cleary producing oh, Mark? Oh, my word. Look, look, look. She's in the hot seat. She's in the hot seat, Jenny Cleary. Oh, Jenny. <laughs> Liam, you just could just go home. <laughs> you just could just go home, darling. She's kicked you out. £4.99. Wow. 80 of you have put this into your baskets immediately. Cleary. Wow. 80 in unchecked out baskets. We had 120. <laughs> How many amethysts are on the strand? Please, Sarah, I'll count that for you now, darling. No problem. Let me try and double it up so I can actually do it in twos. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight, fifty, fifty-two, fifty-four, fifty-six, fifty-eight, sixty, sixty-three. 63 on a strand. We're over allocated, <laughs> says our Jenny Cleary. What on earth is going on? What is going on? All of a sudden, I start hearing Jenny Cleary's voice in my head. This is Cleary, and I'm producing you now, Elle. I'm taking it to an illegal price point for natural amethyst. Everything that you just said about Fabergé and Gemfields, let's just push that to one side. There are 10 of these left. Oh my word. Clearly, clearly, our Cleary needs yeah. to produce. Let's do what? You're going to press end. OK, you press end. <laughs> so, there we go. <laughs> Aquamarine tumble stones. Uh, where? We do have aquamarine tumble stones. Ah, oh, 
It's this R uh, behind you, Mark. Can you imagine that in aquamarine? This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I use tumbles in the Kiss Cross? I've not tried tumbles. I shouldn't see why not. Ooh. It'll look quite um, asymmetric, I would imagine. It'd be quite it's organic. Is undulate, the word. Yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look at how beautiful these are. Again, beautiful, cool blues that you're seeing here. 11 by 5 millimetres. Oh, they're rich, uh, it, aren't they? They're gorgeous. The colour, colour is, yeah. is, by definition, everything that we actually aspire to, isn't it? <laughs> Jenny says, I'm going to do something else that's naughty. You, if we were to look in a dictionary, in a dictionary, under naughty, your face would be there, Jenny. She said, especially now, watch this. Oh, my goodness me, Jenny, what are you up to? 80 carats, a beautiful aquamarine, under five pounds. <laughs> Listen, don't thank me or Liam. It's that one in there. It's that one. Mark, have you ever known Jenny Cleary produced <laughs> Never, before? Never, ever, ever. She should do it more often. Yeah. <laughs> She's loving it right now. She's... <laughs> you were definitely not like the fat controller, little skinny mini. Definitely not. There's only a limited quantity of these, though. Um, a lot of you need to, to check wow. out because we only had 60 of them as well. I want to see a Kiss Cross in tumbles. I think that might be something it? that yeah. would work. Really organic looking, wouldn't it? Give it a go. Is there such a thing as a Mayuki 11-0? Um, Is there... Oh, sorry. A... <laughs> 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 you think about that, El. Yes, there definitely is. Is there, su <laughs> is there such a thing as a pearl Mayuki yes. 11 0? Yeah. Yes. Can you imagine it? Mm, oh, that'd yes. be lovely. We're running out of time. Mark, when Thank you back? You. I'm not back now until the 21st. On the 21st, you've got to yeah. make sure you're with yeah. Mark that week because it is an yeah. extra special week. Mm. Extra special week. I'm sorry once again. <laughs> I'll be back with you in the morning, but don't go anywhere. Clear is up next. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Busy, very busy, which is nice to have an events company that's busy coming out the other side of a pandemic. Just, th mm. just thinking about, well, mm. you might, what I don't, was that? Might, no, you might be, you might not be. Just well, thinking, next Wednesday, what are you up to? Next Wednesday. Let me look at the calendar. Oracle. Oh, I'm very grown up these days. I have to have a calendar Go to on, keep what track. Are what are you doing? What am I doing? Meeting, going off I coffee? Reckon, no, I reckon. Or what? 
Can you come in to work, to jewellery maker? What, for a cup of tea? To do the show with me. <laughs> Should we eat some cake? Oh my God, we'll have to eat cake. I can't eat any more cake, but yeah, we'll eat cake. We'll Should eat we do cake. it? Next Wednesday? Well, will I be allowed? Yes! Yes! Should we do it? On Wednesday? Wednesday. You're on? Let's do it. We're on. Ah! Jewelry makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Makers. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. A massive good afternoon to each and every one of you and a huge thank you to the wonderful Elle and Mark for this morning's show. You're watching Jewelry Maker. My name's Jenny Cleary and have we got an afternoon for you. At three o'clock, the wonderful Toby Cavill is joining us and he's going to, via Skype and he's going to be bringing us the most amazing Grand Didierite strands and one of which we're going to take, or Toby's going to take, to an all-time brand new low. We've put the Grand Didierites on uh, pre-order for you, so if you'd like to visit our website, www.jurymaker.com, uh, you can have a look at what's on pre-order there. Now, our masterclass is all about an ancient technique that has been used throughout the ages, developed over a very long period of time, used in armour and all sorts of things. It is, of course, chain mail, but we've got a very special guest to lead you into the chain mail this afternoon. Please welcome Laura Binding, everybody. Lady BB. Hey. How go they on this fine yeah, morning? I'm good, thanks. I don't know why I went Tudor then, uh, but <laughs> this is actually, a, a, well, it was around in the Tudor period, but it was before that. This is uh, pre-medieval, well, isn't it? goes back it? so far, doesn't it? And it had so many, it's like you say, it started off as um, armour, Mm -hmm. um, and it's still used within shark suits as well because yeah. of the way that links are formed. Shark suits? Mm. Like an underlayer. <laughs> they obviously have them. Surely yeah. that's going to sink me right to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> no. No? no. Make man of rubber or something? Well, I know, because you've, you've got your air bubble thing on, haven't you? Oh, OK. Yeah, I've had a bad experience, as you know, with, with scuba diving. Have you? So. Well, yeah. you have to tell me in the break. Yeah, it was uh, quite an embarrassing story. But <laughs> yes, so we are, so this is an ancient technique. Of course, mm -hmm. all of these weaves have been developed over a very long period of time and have been um, lent upon by, by our ancient people. Yeah. And these are techniques that are globally oh, yeah. used. And uh, it, it really is a wonderful thing to add to your collection because, uh, add to your, 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 your bow your string, add another string to your bow is what I meant. There you go. Um, words fail me there, which is uh, not good because uh, I rely on them to make a living. Now, we have got for you a really traditional look. And the first thing you look when you see this kind of technique is that it is traditional, it is used in jewelers, so it's wonderful. We've got some of Laura's past kits as well with the booklets. This is your second chance to buy that, probably your last chance uh, too. So we're going to put them on pre-order if you want to grab those ahead of us. Uh, as well as the Grand Didier, right, you can go ahead and do so. You can utilise that one PMP that stretches all day long by ticking the box at the bottom of your order that says combine order. That will put everything into one parcel and you pay just 3 95 
no matter how much is in that parcel. There's three ways you can come shopping with us here today. You can get yourself on the phone lines. It's 0800 644 655 in the corner of your screen just there. www.jewelrymaker.com if you want to get involved on the web Latte. But Ben, in the style of, and I don't know if you can do this because this is a Groove Rider thing, in the style of Kate Bush, what's the quickest way to shop? Tapia. Tapia, I'm so cold. Uh, yes, you can download it in all the usual ways. He did it. He did it. What can I say? Are you ready to shop? Girls behind me. Ready. They're ready. You can pay with PayPal, debit card, and credit card. Guys in the gallery, are you ready? Kate Bush, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You sound more like Scooby-Doo then. Okay, let's go shopping. You're ready, Lawsy, yeah? I am, yes. Should we start with the amethyst? I think it's rude not to, don't you? Let's start with the amethyst kit. Uh, you're getting the most beautiful jump rings. If I'm not mistaken, these do look like solid sterling silver, the real rose gold overlay. They're just beautiful, aren't they? Buttery soft. Rose gold on sterling silver indeed. Seven millimetres, your inner diameter, and you get 30 of these. So enough to make a little pair of earrings or make a, a, a certain knot. What's the little knot you've done here, Laura? So that's not, beautiful. That's actually, it's actually Mobius. Is and it Mobius? Yeah. There's a full pack it's a Mobius. Full pack yeah. Mobius. Um, and Gosh, again, I love it. Well, I, thought, I figured, you know, we've got the, work, the, the booklet which shows you how to make a Mobius Ooh. and it just shows you how you keep going. Yeah. The look you can create. And when you've got a kit like this, you're able to keep it simple and classic as well. It, it looks phenomenal and I love the, the, the wonderful amethyst. They're really deep colors. So let's go through mm. those amethyst. Uh, strands for you get two strands of amethyst remember these are sterling silver with real rose gold and then you've got a real luxe of a brazilian amethyst now these amethyst are rondelles as you can see and they're three by four and they're spread across a 38 centimeter strand uh, rondelles are so easy to use but you'll you'll see these are quite a plump rondelle they could be mistaken for a round off first uh of first inspection i've got to let you know we have also got a kit with jadeite in it and i just think these go really well so mm, mix and match your kits i would that's coming up later then we've got the drops for you and again this is probably one of the most uh, popular gemstones amethyst because i think and these are azambian amethyst look at the depth these are leggy in their depth aren't they this is some uh, the gemstone is of valentine off the back of that probably it's why it's the, the birth gemstone for those that are born in february it's a gemstone heavily associated with catholicism it's worn by catholic priests catholic bishops um the bishop wears these uh, these rings is it the bishop yes uh, the, you, you, it's the ring that you kiss of the bishop in order to cleanse yourself. GQXC53 is your item code. Amethyst and rose gold. It's really luxurious. And a super price at £24.99. Make sure you get yours. You've got all that sterling silver. Now, let's just be, let's be real about this. Mm -hmm. Two strands of amethyst. Let's just take those out of the equation at the moment because one of those strands, if you're buying them outside of jewellery makeup, would be that price. But let's just look at the fact that you have got not a pack of 10 here, but a pack of 30 rose gold, real rose gold, 24 karat rose gold on sterling silver. Now, it, at our competitors, you wouldn't get those anyway because you'd get either solid rose gold or silver or you'd get rose gold on base metal. They don't tend to do. And the thing is, we love giving you rose gold on base metal because it keeps the integrity of your piece so that it's all a, a real precious metal without you having to compromise on the fact that you're using, you know, you're not going to be using anything like a base metal. $24.99, uh, GQXC53. Now, we have got another kit with... Um, with some garnet coming up That's for you, but have a look at your, <laughs> which one are you doing for demo? Let me, um, hang on, sorry, I just need to turn that one around. Oh, you are using that, maybe we ought to do it, I'm because gonna, yeah, Laura's using, using that, that yeah. kit for the demo. Sorry. We're not gonna, you don't wanna but do I'm it right now? I'm just gonna show how to do, so you can see there that I've done some briolette wraps, and I've used the jump rings as a decoration, because I think it's important to know that even though you think of jump rings, you think of chain mail, mm. they're also a decorative feature as well, and they can just be used just as connecting links. So um, I'm actually gonna show how you can do a nice little briolette wrap. Okay, this. brilliant. Oh, so really quicky. Yes, but well, we, what the aim is for this is we're gonna do a couple of little mini yeah. demos, so brilliant. we can get a few things, okay? Because <clears throat> we've got a lot of kits today. We've got a lot of kits to come. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use the garnet, which is the um, alternate kit that we've got here. Now these are a little bit smaller, so I think it's quite nice for me to show you that um, even with a smaller gemstone, that is still as easy to wrap it. 
So I'm going to give you a couple of top tips. Now, when you're sort of um, looking at a strand like this, the first thing that I would do is I would choose any that for me would be a pair. So, for example, this pair here would be a pair of earrings. And I would separate any that would be a potential pair of earrings or if I want a drop for one thing or if there's a certain feature drop. I think there was one on in this kit with the amethyst that was... Um, was really on standalone on its own. So I just made that a very simple drop. You know, that's very easy to do. Um, so that sort of um, is something that I would advise when you're approaching this, just to have a little plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this. And I'm just going to take this to one side. So as I said, I'd separate them if I was intending to do earrings. Now what I want to do is kind of show you a three-way stage. How to pre-elect wrap, how you can then take it down a little bit and create a bead cap and then how if you wanted to again create a decoration on the stone as I did on the one you just saw. So obviously when you're using a smaller stone I probably wouldn't decorate it but it's nice to know how you would approach it. So a point four should generally go through these top drilled gemstones. So you can see there that this is a point four. It's going through nicely and I've got movement so that's what I want. So I'm going to cut, again, depending, I, I can not sort of say you would need X amount of wire every time because it would depend on the size of the stone you were using and on how much you intended to decorate down, okay? But what I would say is if you're making a pair of earrings, I would cut both those lengths of wire at the same time um, and then if I only used half of that, I would cut the other length down to match and then that way you're going to get a consistent pair of earrings. The other little thing I'm just going to very quickly mention is when you have a top drill gemstone, they, you know, the, where the placement of the drill hole is. So again, this goes to if you were making a pair of earrings. Now, these are nice and consistently drilled, but sometimes you might get them where one might be a bit higher and the other one a bit lower. And that will affect your design when you're wrapping it if you're intending, oops, <laughs> if you're intending to kind of make a matching pair, just, just factor that in when you're doing that. Okay, so just little tips to kind of look out for when you're approaching. So I'm just going to cut a length, and I'm going to cut a slightly longer length because I'm going to show you a couple of the variation, as I said. So I'm going to take my stone, and also these have these little sort of like, um, almost like little glass bead bit sections here. These are always handy to keep because they're great for sort of um, spacers and also for earrings. So I'm going to feed my gemstone on, and I'm going to just drop it down probably about sort of five or six inches so it's probably too much but what I'm then going to do is bring the wire together and I'm going to I like to just sort of pinch it at the top here and this is another thing about both the amethyst and the garnet is that these are flat so they're really easy to briolette wrap because they're you're not dealing with like the curve of a, of a sort of a rounded briolette so I'm going to bring them like this and you can see I've got that pinched together then what I'm going to do is take my round nose pliers Oh, Jenny, you know when you said, are you ready, Laura? I clearly forgot my round-nose pliers. And that's okay. What I'm going to do is use these. They're not round-nose, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so I'm just going to use these pliers. I'm going to bring that wire back. Now, what I'm doing, if you can see, is I'm bringing both the wires back together. And there's a tiny little gap there. And that's the gap I'm going to use to wrap. So that's why I want that gap. Then I'm going to place my pliers. Yours would be round-nose. Over. Now you notice I'm working with two as one. Now this is optional, but the reason I like to work with two wires as one is because it is a 0.4 wire. It just gives it a little bit of extra thickness so that when you put it onto a jump ring or if you put it onto a shepherd hook, it's less likely to slip through a little gap. And it gives it a bit more uh, strength. So now I'm just taking both those and I'm just going to wrap. So you see that I'm keeping my pliers in that loop and I'm using those to sort of take the pressure and then control this wire around okay so bringing that around like this now if I was going to just keep this as a drop like plane I can cut my both my wires here and that's it nice wrap loop easily done okay so that's stage one so to do stage two um, what I'm going to do is cut that shorter wire the one that's a little bit shorter I'm just going to come in and I'm going to cut that one you can also twist them, by the way, as well. So if you did this halfway and had equal lengths here, you can twist them. Um, like if, I've done that on one of the designs as well. So now I've got one wire, and I want to take this wire down around and create a bead cap. So the trickiest part of this is your tension. What you don't want is your, your stone to move. 
and what you don't want is your wire to bunch up. So I'm going to keep this nice and relaxed and what I tend to do, I don't know if you can see, so I'm actually rotating the stone and then that's given me more control because I can place that wire. So I'm actually rotating that stone for the wire to then go around and once you've kind of got that over that top part of the um, the top of the stone it's going to be a lot easier but you'll see I'm not putting a lot of pressure onto this I'm literally just making sure it just pushes against that gemstone Now, my general rule is I like to sort of just go down far enough that it covers where the wire has gone across the top of the stone so if you looked at this now all you can see is this little wire bead cap you can't see any of the sort of workings underneath um, so obviously if I was to cut this wire now I'm going to be left with an edge that's going to be tricky to get rid of um, and obviously I don't want to go too far down so what I'm going to do is I like to make a deliberate feature so I'm going to turn this and what I'm going to do is just bring that wire straight up at an angle so it's almost like a deliberate splash it takes it back to the top and then I can wrap once or twice just around that very top part where I've got more um, it's more sort of wrapped come in with your cutters make sure you just finish that with your pliers your chain those pliers and just make sure there's no sharp edge I always recommend sort of like you know having a little um, make sure and then there is your wrapped briolette so if I just show you that up close you can see that that's ready to then just have your anything that you want added to it and these are great on drops of chain and you can see you still have I can look at the beauty of that garnet there beautiful so yeah there you go I love garnet so much it's so especially beautiful especially in this drop form yeah. so let's give you the kit a couple of you have asked for it so let's give it to you so we have got here such a pretty strand isn't it look and I always think it looks like that sort of strawberry jam kind of clarity that beautiful color deep intense beautiful and it's totally and utterly natural i love isn't it gorgeous so i'm just going to bring this forward into the white background i'm just going to hop forward because i just want to show you that clarity and ordinarily you wouldn't want to put an, a gemstone next to a white background because it's not going to do any favors but i wanted to bring it down to that white background to show you that strawberry jam that beautiful color now in ancient times we used to regard the garnet it, higher than, than t in today's times we regard the diamond. And in ancient times, garnet would be used to trade things such as treasure, you know, houses, property, ships, all sorts of, you know, really important things. This is a gemstone that, according to the Bible, was the only light in Noah's Ark. That's how important this gemstone was to our ancient people and I feel like garnet has lost its way and its importance in its connection with us and I think that this is definitely something we can bring back and the reason I think that is because high street garnet from the 80s and up has been very lackluster it hasn't had any clarity and it's been incredibly dark almost black in some cases like like a rouge noir and I think it's sort of it made us lose our adoration for the gemstone but that's not the kind of quality we want to bring you we want to bring you a big reminder of why this gemstone has been celebrated throughout the ages there's loads of myth and legend behind this it's january's birth gemstone there's absolutely so much to adore about garnet and i really think you know I, i'm going to be i'm guilty of it when i first started working for gemporia i didn't like garnet i thought oh that sort of black red gemstone it doesn't have any clarity no i don't want that and then I see this beautiful gemstone that gives me sometimes more of a performance than a ruby, something deeper, something more sensual, something that has that wonderful, passionate, deep red, but the most incredible glow, the most beautiful clarity. And it's not the only strand that you get because you're then gonna get some rondelles. And I feel like these rondelles could be either masculine or feminine, but they still boast that strawberry jam color. Then you're getting rose gold, Jump rings, nice big jump rings there. They're under 20 pounds for it, 19.99. You have got 30 seven millimeter on the inner diameter jump rings, and you've got your garnet, two strands of beautiful garnet. I absolutely love this kit. I love garnet. We've also got some uh, jadeite and aquamarine coming up for you. Those will go really well with this. But I think, you know, garnet in its own right, it just looks so beautiful, doesn't it? And I think I like garnet with uh, traditional colored gold, 
but I really like it as well with rose gold. I think it, I, I don't love it with silver because I feel like the tones are too, uh, Toby Cavill will tell you differently. He's like, no, 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 red and silver, great. For me, I like to keep it warm. I like keeping it warm now. <laughs> We're gonna give you another kit. Where are we going next, Ross? We're gonna give you, Aquamarine Jade Act coming up. We're gonna give you Hematite. This one's the most limited of the kits, the Jade Act, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna give you Hematite and it is fabulous. So this time I'm gonna give you base metal um, findings. So if that's what you're in for today, maybe you've never tried uh, using this technique before and you wanna give it a go with base metal first. These are a little bit snaz, aren't they? Look at the sparkle. If you love gemstones that sparkle, you're gonna absolutely love this hematite coated to give you that extra metallic pizzazz and still not compromise on the sparkle. Hematite's gonna give you weight, so it instantly feels expensive. And I think when you've got something metallic in your hand that's weighty, it feels expensive, doesn't it? It, it automatically sparks a little thing in your mind that, oh, expensive, because it's weighty. Because I think when we feel gold, and we feel silver when it's weighty, we know that, that there's an expense behind it. You're gonna get the look of silver, you're gonna get the look of rose gold, you're gonna get the weight, but you're not gonna get the price tag. You're also gonna get your jump rings. Now I've got the copper open jump rings, those are seven millimeters, you get 200 of those. But look, you've got antique bronze. These we really struggle to keep in stock. Seven millimeter again, you've got 200 of those. The same with the silver, seven millimeters, 200 of those. You've got 600 jump rings all together. You are gonna make so much. In fact, Laura, did you make that big bib style out of this? Yes. Look so, at this, <laughs> that is phenomenal. Look at this. So I made that. Fabulous. But it's got the hematites in it. And mm -hmm. this is, I was, I was so chuffed when I saw that because the hematite go on these jump rings. So you can see the drop earrings. Ah, I've added yes. the, um, the, the hematite onto that because they've got such lovely drill holes. They go onto mm -hmm. your, your jump rings. And because you've got the seven mil um, jump rings, you've got that, you, you, you can open them enough to be able to put them on. So yeah. it gives you so much potential and you can create statement or simple. It looks amazing, Laura. Ooh, sparkle. That was from our Liz <laughs> in Kent. Sparkalicious. Uh, thanks, Liz. FAXC71. Let's give you a fantastic price. So this is saying Amazonite from Russia. Where does, why did it say Amazonite? I don't have Amazonite here. <laughs> that shouldn't be there. We don't know why it says that. 1999 Chainmail with gemstone links. Uh, here we go, metallic sensation. When it stops and says Amazonite, that's not a thing. So don't worry about that. 1999 FAXC 71. Uh, we are though, Ross just said, Jenny, I think I can do a little bit better than that actually. Okay, all right. Well, I shall accept your price drop. One minute on the clock. We're going to go lower than the price on your screen. 600 jump rings and not one, but four strands of hematite. Four, four, four. Are you ready? We want your text messages in. 45 seconds. What's your favourite medium and why? What would you mix with chainmail? Have you ever done it before? Text us in. I want to know. Maybe you've got a favourite medium that you don't see very often here on Jewelry Maker. I want to hear about it. Text us in. Half a minute remains. Four strands of hematite, 600 jump rings, loads and loads of inspiration from Laura Binding. And you can use all of these elements separately. You can use all of them together. You've got that gunmetal, you've got the rose gold, you've got the silver, and you've got that beautiful royal blue in the uh, hematite there. Uh, just approaching five seconds, and then we're taking the price down. 19.99 is not your price today. Great to see you lighting up my screens. Marilee in Arizona, you are there. Hi to you. Uh, Christina, Allison, hi to you. Everybody pays the same low price. Now, can I just say, for the gemstones alone, that is a very low price. £3.74 a strand and everything else for free. Liz and Kate, you've got yours. Alison in Warwickshire, June, Mary, Isle of Man, you're there. Pauline in Cambridgeshire, Eunice takes three. Uh, I've got lo loads of you there. Um, absolutely, it's really sparkly, so much yeah. luster. £14.99 and with 600 jump rings, you're definitely, you're laughing. There's so much you can do with them. And even if you want to just do the simplest of chain mail, 
we've got you with this. Two ninety nine per component if you add the chain mail, which is so super. Don't forget you've got two hundred in each packet of your jump rings. Jump rings can be used to finish and start your project, so you know you do need them outside of this medium. They're always going to be relevant to your jewelry making. Ros, you've got yours. Mary joins us. Mandy in Hertfordshire. Elizabeth joins from County Durham. Carol is in Carmarthenshire. What a super prize! And here's an example of what you can do with chain mail. This kit, the kit that created that, is actually coming up next. A beautiful example. It looks a bit kiss crossy, doesn't it? And we have just had some Marky McBark Smith uh, on the show with Elle this morning. If you want to catch up with anything you might have missed this morning, head to the web. It's jewelrymaker.com. Have a little peruse. Click on Watch Us Live. And underneath Watch Us Live, you'll see all the products that you may have missed out on. You have got one PMP that takes you all the way from midnight until midnight. So load up those baskets get shopping and make sure you're checking out your baskets each time don't worry about that pmp adding up it won't we always work it out after midnight for you now next kit is coming up and i'm guessing it's this one isn't it with the tiger's eye the one that's really far away from me yeah <laughs> oh drat and blast thank you darling at least it wasn't the jump rings, Ben. Yes, yeah, sm small mercies. Now, we've got lapis lazuli in this kit, and we've got a bit of a lapis lazuli showdown later on. It's two o'clock. I love these. They're smooth rondelles, and I just think, what a colour. Very Egyptian, especially when we do this. Carnelian and lapis lazuli were in ancient Egypt a winning combination. If you have a look at the Tutankhamun um, exhibition, if you look in the book, it, you'll see a lot of carnelian and lapis lazuli jewellery together. Have a look. It's a lovely colour combination, isn't it? It's that blue and so that orange. Lovely, yeah. They really work well together. I really love that. I think it's fabulous. Then you've got the most amazing strand of tigers. I eat, again, equally, these strands will all work on their own. <coughs> Hang on a minute, I forgot to mention to you. It's July. Every kit comes with a free strand. We need the debris. It's big news. If you've bought any of these kits so far today... You get a free strand with every kit in July while stocks last. EXXC37, we have got an amazing amount again of jump rings for you. So here you've got 200 jump rings. We're going lower than the hematite kit I'm just hearing in my ear. It's lunacy. <laughs> Well done if you've already checked out your basket, you're about to get a super price and you're gonna get lots of lots of gemstones and a free strand. What if your free strand's worth more than that? We've seen in those free strands, we've got, um, there were some diamonds, there were some opals, there are all sorts of things. 12 99 worth the risk, isn't it? Your, effect, your, your normal rights are not affected, you've still got a 30 day money back guarantee, EXXC37 at £12.99 pence for Chainmail. With Gemstone Links, uh, this is for your masterclass here today with Laura. Don't forget Laura's um, Mobius Link and Byzantine Star Pendant booklet is on the website for pre-order. £3.24 a component here. Donna in Carmarthenshire, Lynn you've got yours, Sharon and Mandy and uh, Donna in Hertfordshire, Christina in the Channel Isles, Marilee in Arizona, Maker in Tyrone, you've got yours. So Laura did you use all of the jump rings on this I one did. piece? I did, I've got a confession to be honest. I had to kind of um, <laughs> sort of oh, yeah, design like it that. up around here because that is literally 200 jump rings. But you know, with the amount of, of deals that we've got going on today with these jump rings, mm. if you've got that first kit, you know, you could multicolour this. Mm -hmm. This would look amazing with all three colours or just buy two of the kits. I mean, Perfect. at that price. Definitely. It makes sense, doesn't it? Really it really does. Most definitely. And again, you can see I've just done simple jewellery with the sort of the leftovers because you don't have, again, you don't have to do complex. Mm. Just a nice bracelet, a nice stretchy bracelet, earrings. It's very easy to work with. Now, Ross, did I just hear right? What did you just say to Ben? Yeah, I... So take that clock out for the next kit. Okay, right. You've got 30 seconds. Sorry, I got confused. No, it was both of us. We both... Oh, no, Ben, you cursed me. <laughs> I, I draft the jump rings like, so... I'm bringing you. You'll get more. You'll get 200. You'll get 200. 
jump rings. You will. Okay. So, in this kit, you get jadeite. Of course, that's got to come first. Have a look. Jadeite, 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 jadeite. Have in your head how much you would pay. I always wear it every single day because I don't like to tempt fate. How much would you pay for that strand alone? Just have that in your head. Then I'm going to give you aquamarine. Beautiful. Then I'm going to give you appetite. As soon as that clock has finished ticking, we are going to give you your details. This kit will sell out first. Have a look. It is an absolutely beautiful limited edition kit. The, uh, I'm just hearing in my ear, the only way that you can get these strands is by purchasing this kit. They're not available separately. So in five seconds time, this could be yours. So we're going to give you a price that is lower than the earmarked price for the jadeite strand on its own. You're not going to pay that price today. Base metal, sterling silver. Ready to shop? Let's go. You're not going to believe this chain mail with gemstone links for the masterclass with jadeite, aquamarine, and beautiful appetite. Have you ever paid five pounds for a strand of jadeite? Genuine jadeite. Because you're about to. Very exclusive kit, $14.99. Remember <laughs> that these gemstones are not available outside of this kit. You've got 200 jump rings to boot. You'd pay $14.99 at one of our competitors, wouldn't you, for 200 jump rings. This is a colossal, fabulous deal. Make sure you're checking out baskets. I want to make sure that you are. I can't see this not going to you if you're a big fan like I am of Jadeite. Elizabeth was straight in. Mandy saw Jadeite and was in. Anthony, Claire, Sharon, Angela, Jeanette, Darlene and Paul, Sharni Glamorgan, Jane in Staffordshire. Emma in Cornwall takes two. Pauline, you've got yours. Maker in the Isle of Man, Maker in Bristol. Paula in Leicestershire. I've got Jill in Manchester. I've got Anna in Derbyshire. Margaret in Wrexham. John in Yorkshire is uh, shopping. Emma takes two. Oh my gosh, there's absolutely loads of you. Maker in Conway, you've got yours. Uh, I've got Eleanor in Yorkshire. I have got another maker on the phones. There's about 10 of you on the phones right now. Hit your number one button if you can. We don't want anybody missing out on this deal okay that kit is approaching limited stock that means that we've got less than 10 percent of the stock available so we're going to leave the graphics on the screen for you we're going to enjoy another bit of laura time <laughs> okay so i'm going to show you again keeping it nice and simple i think for today so i wanted to show you how we do these earrings here um, and also then how we can kind of just switch it over to make like the bracelet, which is, is just a beaded one and one And I said this to Elle the other day, Jenny, I, I saw yours and Elle's first um, craft off, off against each oh, other. Oh yeah, and we both did and you some chain mail. And you, both, and you said, oh, I can't do chain mail, it's, it's so difficult. Was it you? Yeah, I actually, no, I liked it. I thought it was pretty easy. Was it Elle? Not easy, but yeah. I found it relaxing. But Does that make sense? Like yeah. I was just following it, a pattern. Yeah, you just literally. I wasn't stressed about it at all. No, it can be very relaxing. I think so. Um, but this is just, you know, this is very easy, simple to make jewelry that anybody of any, if you're just starting, could make. It's not sort of um, mm. anything complex. So I'm going to show you, just as I said, how we kind of approach the orbital and also the be sort of beaded one in one. Um, and this is where I was really chuffed to sort of see these hematites. So I'm using the hematites for this particular um, one. Obviously, if you don't have to put the gemstones on it, that's just an option. I just think when you've got gemstones that are going to go on these, um, these jump rings, take advantage. So just to show you how easy these are to go onto a jump ring, I've got an open jump ring here, and these are just the little silver ones. And to see how easy they go on. So you can put as many as you want on. So one, two, and three. Every now and again, I think I maybe hit one that just wasn't going to play the game. That was it. So there you go. And then you can simply close your jump ring using your pliers. So there you have your sort of, and again, that just on an earring finding is really pretty. So if you wanted to do something like your one in one links, you simply load up your um, jump rings. And as you go, you will literally just add them together. So they're really easy to simply, literally, I wouldn't even close them. So when I've added my gemstones on, I would have them 
Oops, again, it's about planning the tumour. And that's one thing I'd say, is you do need to kind of prepare for it. So if you have it all prepared, when it comes to putting it all together, it becomes much more, it's very, it's, you know, it's going to be easier to sort of compile. So if I had these, I would literally do a load of these ready to go open. And then when I'm ready to connect it all, you can simply take your jump ring and attach it and then close it. Although I do recommend using your pliers and not your fingers to close these jump rings um, because it, we've all done it. Um, and then just continue that way. I mean, just there you can see you've got a very pretty simple three and three. And I made a bracelet with it and I also made the drop earrings with it as well. So I want to show you how we can vary this up a little bit just to create um, the orbit style, okay, which are nice and easy to sort of change. We can see them just there. So these are done. I did this in multicolor. So I'm going to take some jump rings. So again, having your jump rings prepared. So for this, I'm going to have three of my copper jump rings. So with the... Um, Oops, hematite on it. So I've got those there. And then I'm going to take some silver jump rings. Okay, so these don't take many, just literally six. So I'm gonna open my silver jump ring. In fact, I'm gonna use the antique bronze just for you to see a bit better on the light. Okay, so again, you can see every time I'm opening these, I am using my pliers to open and close them. And so what I'm going to do is, and these, this size, that this will work, the bigger the jump ring, or the bigger the inner diameter of jump ring, the better this will work. It, I wouldn't do this with a smaller than a seven mil um, jump ring, and you'll see why in a moment, okay? So I've popped that straight onto my jump ring, and then I'm going to take a closed, um, in this case, antique bronze. So if you were alternating color, you would, the, these ones would all be the same color, the ones that are beaded would be the other color. So close and add that on. Now you may need to come in with a different camera on this just to catch the angle. So what I'm going to do is lift the beaded jump ring. Okay. And then what I need to do is just angle this slightly. I'll probably make this look trickier than it actually is. It's not as tricky as I'm going to make it look. But basically you want to, it wants to come up it's going to go over this closed one and over the edge of the jump ring. So, you just have to get the angle right. I know you're probably not going to be able to see it, so I'm going to try to use my pliers. I've just made like a whole clip section here, so it's not actually as difficult as I'm making it look. It's because it's a bit camera shy. It jumped. <laughs> that is why they're called jump rings. You're absolutely right. So, it's just about a little bit of a twist with the your pliers and basically there we go can you see that angle so I don't know if you can see it up close but can you see so that opened jump ring has now gone up through mm -hmm. and that closed one is the one with the gemstones on is now sat around between the two antique bronze ones okay it's not as tricky as I make it look. It's just because you've got to get that angle right. So then I would now, if I want to do another section, pop on another beaded um, jump ring and then another closed. Pop that on and then again, I'm just going to pop this on, gently push and then again, as I said, it just rotates. See, just like that. And it, it's just a matter of pushing that one up and over. <laughs> there you go, Ben saying, oh, it looks like, it looks a, bicycle, like a bike. It yeah. actually does, doesn't it? So you can see that just there, there's your open jump ring. And then you just, and again, you can see I'm controlling this by holding these nice and steady with my pliers. I can close that jump ring. And then we do that. And you can see that orbiting jump ring. So these ones with the beads on are, just, are literally sat around the other two, okay? And then just to add that final drop, simply open your jump ring, add that jump ring on. I mean, you could do a whole chain of them beaded if you wanted. By doing this and then turning it around this way, it gives you that bead at the drop at the bottom. And then you can simply pop on your shepherd hook or do this for however long you want this to do. I just thought it was quite fun and it gives it movement. 
So like if you were wearing these, in, and I know that you love your sort of like your statement earrings, don't yeah. you, Jenny? So imagine this on a longer style, maybe with um, an amethyst at the bottom of it as that final, as that drop or the grand yeah. right? Garnet. Uh, garnet, anything. And then it's just that statement drop. But again, easy to wear, but statement. Beautiful. Laura, thank you so much. If you've got any questions for Laura whatsoever, please get them through to us in all the usual ways. 78070. If you'd like to text us, it's JM Studio. You need to start your text message with followed by your message. Now, I've got some four millimeter lapis lazuli here that are brand new. And at two o'clock, we're going to be giving you a bit of a, an aquamarine showcase. This is going, I, I don't know why I said aquamarine, lapis lazuli showcase. So this strand is coming up in the two o'clock hour and it's going under five pounds so watch out for that make sure you're with us we've got loads of lapis we've got the grand didierite that's on pre-order we've got it all going on today toby campbell joins us at three o'clock and he's going to be giving us two really fantastic deals for grand didierite now i'm going to give you a pendant the booklet kit i've got it i've got it i've got it so we're going to give you hang on a minute So we have got for you the second time you're ever seeing this kit. So I've got two kits here, Ross. Is it ADX C06 or is it TUX? Okay. So I've got here for you the jump rings that you need. And I've got the gemstones, the round gemstones. And th that will create this piece here. So Jenny, that piece is behind you. That's why I couldn't find it. There it is. Aha! <laughs> I was like, maybe it's on display. Oh, there we are. <laughs> there it is. There is Laura's wonderful uh, pendant. So that's the Mobius link pendant. No, that's, that's the, the Byzantine, Byzantine, Byzantine star. Byzantine star. So your Byzantine star, TUXC86. Now, you are getting the booklet that goes with it. Now, this little book of zine has been created by Laura, and it's step by step. I won't show you in the middle, but you've got alternatives of how to use your jump rings in here as well. So, Laura, talk to me about mm -hmm. your objective with this. What did you want to get across to our jewellery makers? So, this is brilliant for complete novices to, um, you know, chainmail. So, this is, you know, if you've never done chainmail before, you've wanted to do it, and you've been a bit, you know, unsure. What I've tried to do, there's actually three techniques in this booklet. So, you've got two that are very simple, straight for beginners. You've got a one-in-one, -one, but it just talks through the basis of how, why it's a one-in-one you know, um, how you could how you could change that. Um, and again, that's been done using the oval and the round be, uh, jump rings. Um, shows you some alternatives, how you could hammer them, how you could texture them, how you could put them into earrings, braces, you know, how, so you don't have to just use that one idea. So it's also a bit of a inspiration mm -hmm. kind of idea booklet as well. How to do a Mobius, how to do um, a full-on Mobius. And again, you can see the example that I've, of the one that I've done with the Amethyst in this kit here. That's how you just continue going. You're gonna get that kind of look. But again, how you can keep it simple and classic with just putting it on a chain. Um, and then if, if you want something a little bit more challenging or you know you think I'm, I'm good for that but I want to have a go at doing something a little bit more challenging, we've got the Byzantine star which is a variation of the Byzantine link and again using some jump rings and it just creates that really cool sort of like pendant. Yeah. You can make that into sort of um, gents jewellery if you use black jump rings and put it onto a key, chart, key ring if you want. So it's really versatile as well. There we go, TUXC83 is your item code. We have got for you your amethyst plain round, your citrine plain round, your red garnet, your rose quartz. You've also got jump rings in five, four, and three outer di uh, inner diameter, and they are all. It, I'm just getting plain jump rings. Can you tell me if they're sterling or if they're? They're all. They are they sterling. They are sterling, silver. aren't they? And then you're getting 107. Yes, it says here. <laughs> right. Okay, I've got it. Uh, so you've got 117 pieces all together uh, with your with your kit. So this is an absolute treasure trove of a kit. All sterling silver. Yeah, it is a brilliant price at $39.99 with the book of zine as well. Uh, so you've got that education in there. You've got your gemstones too. All those sterling silvers, if you're selling your pieces on, you're going to be able to fetch a better price for them because they're solid sterling silver. Under £40 will change. TUXC83. Make sure you're grabbing yours fast. I've got an alternative kit for you. And this is brilliant. So I love this. Mm. You've got the most amazing chain with this. 
Look how thick this chain is. This is lovely. What is this chain? Is it 18 or 20 inch? You'd wear that on its own. It's really thick. It's lovely. It's heavy. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's weighty, that. I really like it a lot. Then you get, look at these lovely twists. Now, these are always going to be really popular because look at the jump rings that you get. So these are saw cut open jump rings and you're getting three in the silver. Look at them. Three in the gold. It's an 18 inch chain. Um, and you're getting three in the rosa, in the rose gold. Then you're getting two of the little jump rings. No, you're getting three of the little jump rings, I think. <laughs> and then you're getting your earring findings. I love that chain. I love this kit. I love these jump rings. These jump rings, by the way, are exclusive to the kit. You can't get them outside. Um, Laura, would you say that this kit in particular is quite an easy starter? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's you know, it's your classic, very recognised Mobius ring mm -hmm. or Russian link, if you want to call it that, because of the, the tricolour. Um, and again, I, because when I get these kits, you know, I get sort of a second. I actually used my second kit yeah. to make that state that that pendant Beautiful. where I put all nine rings on that. Because Lovely. these are also, I don't know if you mentioned it, sorry if you have, these are nine mil in a diameters. So they are bigger than the standard jump rings that we have had before. So the biggest jump rings we have? Yes. Um, nine and again, millimeter jump rings. Uh, you can see the two ways I've set them. So you can either have them in a pair of earrings and um, a necklace, or you can put them all into one piece and then yeah. have that um, going straight through. So, you know, it's just to show those options. I'm going to turn it around and show you what they look like all together as well. This yeah. is just beautiful and such simple. It's such a simple way to make jewellery. Right, okay, let's get to it. You're on the phone lines for this one, ADX C06. You're popping it in baskets already. Of course, it comes with the step-by-step -step instructions by Laura Binding. And we're going to match the launch price. Here we go. Under £20 and you've got those sterling silver. The biggest jump rings that we do. £19.99. And quite a new bigger jump ring. Yeah, you know? we, we actually got them in specifically for, for this, this project. Brilliant. Yeah, so, I bet you were well chuffed, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, it was great. And again, like, you know, to have the, the tricolour of the, um, of the um, twisted jump rings and larger diameter as well, it just gives a different look and it just shows you what you can do. Um, I just think it's really pretty um you would charge that for that one necklace wouldn't you if you Absolutely. put all nine of those jump rings mm -hmm. on straight and all i did was put it straight through the chain as you, again you can see it's very simple yeah but i think we kind of dismiss simple classic jewelry i agree because i think there's you know there's a market for that out there absolutely if you there is absolutely the sort of jewelry you buy from a jeweler's mm -hmm. and i think it, it gives off an air of, it's classic, uh, of isn't professionalism it? it's definitely classic I think, and, it, and it's something you can wear every single day. Yes. It's the sort of pendant you wear every day, isn't it? I mean, love I, the mix. I yeah. also show you as well, very, very, I won't obviously go into it, but I actually show you how sometimes, and maybe this is very simple, and I do um, workshops as well, um, and we do a beginner's intro to beginner's chainmail workshop. Um, and even on now, I've had people say, I just couldn't get my head around Mobius. I think because you do something, you just think, oh, it's easy. Yeah. And it is, in theory, it is. Yeah. But sometimes somebody just needs you to go, this is how you do it. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. And, you yeah. don't, and so I've actually had that quite a lot when I've done this workshop. But I also show you, if it goes wrong, I can actually, there's a picture of, this is how it shouldn't look. Yeah. This is how it should look. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it does happen. Definitely. 1999 ADXC06 is your item to go. Diane, Margaret, Doreen, Mary and Jerry, Maker in Yorkshire, Margaret, Bernadette and Carlo. Helen, you've got yours. Elizabeth and Susan. I have got Margaret in Dorset. Loads of you there. £19 and 99 pence. ADXC06. Uh, get this while you can. We don't know if we're going to have it again. This is your last uh, chance. The launch show demonstration was on the 27th of June. Get to our YouTube. Hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's Jewelry Maker UK at one o'clock on the 26th of June. Laura uh, takes you through, 27th, sorry. Laura takes you through, it was a Sunday. <laughs> the, uh, the techniques uh, to, to create these gorgeous pieces. So go and have a look. Make sure you've already clicked and uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel where you will be, um, at, you, you will have at your fingertips a back catalogue of all of our masterclasses for going back years. Now, let me give you a rendezvous of the four millimetre lapis lazuli that we have got coming up for you in the next hour, going under five pounds. Ah! 
It's not the only lapis strand I've got. So I've got Grandidia right coming up for you in the three o'clock hour. Toby Cavill joins us via the power of Skype. We've got more kits. We've got absolutely loads going on for you. But before that, we're going to give you... Yes, so we've got an endless strand here. We had this the other day and everyone went bananas. So these are brilliant for... <laughs> <laughs> Shouting at me in my ear. Stop moving! Oh, I can't not move. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm sorry I did that by accident. You won't do that at home. She's huffing and puffing back there, let me tell you. You won't do that at home. What it is is there's one on the floor. Just one. <laughs> I think there's more than one on the floor because there's, there's probably like a thousand beads on here. This is definitely perfect for your Marla uh, necklaces. Luce, don't do nothing to me because it's all right. I, she's got an edge to her, Lucy. You have to watch her. She's street. You wouldn't, she's the sort of person you ring when you're in trouble. Be like, get down the pub, I need you for backup. Should be a good fighter. KDP 039 is your item code. <laughs> Mahogany obsidian rounds. These are six millimeters. This is gorgeous. And let me just tell you something. The rounds are um, have really great drill holes in them because they were actually on. I obviously spilt it on purpose to show you that they were on a double strand. You know, because I'm good like that to you. Um, <laughs> to show how durable they yeah, are as course, well. Of course, they so just durable. bounce on back. <laughs> I think this is great for rosary linking. I think it's really great for Marlin necklaces because you've got so many on there. And of yes. course, it's a big trend, Marlin necklaces. What I was doing <coughs> was I was going to go, oh, you could play Cat's Cradle with these. And then they just went, nah. <laughs> They were like, we don't want to play Cat's like, Cradle. Um, <laughs> I'm such a ham-fisted person, aren't I? Like, Is that what they say when people, someone's like... <laughs> Like, what's it called? All fingers and thumbs? Yeah. 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 All thumbs. Ham fisted, no? Um, KDP 039 is your item code for this. Gary in the Shire, you've got yours. Donna in Hertfordshire takes three. Uh, Maker in Suffolk, Fiona in the Highlands. Pauline, you've got yours. Catherine in Fife. Doreen in Norfolk. Olivia in Cavan. Hi, Olivia in Cavan. I'm always in Cavan. How are you? There's lots of horse shows in Cavan. Uh, Joanna uh, in, P in Greater London, you're there. Uh, my daughter was there a couple of two weeks ago. She jumped a horse there a couple of weeks ago. It's in Ireland, yeah. Literally came home to see me and then she flew her, flew back and then went straight to Cavan. Now, <laughs> let's give you. I'm so sorry about what I just did there. <laughs> Now, I have got something exciting to tell you. The last few remaining spots of the eight-week course, I know it's short notice, but we just had a few slots, so we thought, <laughs> well, it starts tomorrow. So if you're, maybe, you've got to self-isolate, and you're like, what am I going to do with my life for 10 days? We have got space for you on Laura's workshop. Now, can you just explain the concept of this, Laura? Because I didn't launch this yes, with you, okay. Aldi. So I'll, I'll run through it very, very quickly. So obviously with Chainmail, there, as you said earlier, there are so many weaves. So generally, there's such a, a variety. Um, and what we've tried to do is when I do workshops, you know, we try to get all these techniques in. But sometimes it's nice to just focus on one weave or one yeah. technique because then you can retain it, you get better muscle memory, you know. Sure. And also if you're making a complete piece, if you come across any hiccups, with I'm there, you know, so we can help. So the, the premise for this workshop is that it's going to be a series. It's a two hour workshop. So effectively it's like a mini workshop. It's gonna be every Tuesday. It's gonna run 10 till 12 via Zoom. Um, as always, I have an overhead camera at home. So I'm able to go in nice and close, give you good details um, and demonstration. I will tell you, um, it is gonna supply your own, use your stash. Um, and I will tell you um, what size will Sarah and I will get that information to you um, and so basically uh, it's just going to run as of tomorrow and it's just going to be a different one every single week it's every eight week? weeks every okay. week 
but it's only two hours. Okay. So we kind of thought, you know, I know it's eight weeks, but also you do not have to so do every single... So two hours each time or two hours over the eight weeks? No, two hours every every Tuesday. Okay. It's two hours. Wow. But you don't have it's to like do... It's like going to a night class, but not having to <laughs> leave you... your house. Yes. Yeah. But you don't have to do every one because if you think I'm quite confident with that weave, I don't feel I need to do that one. You don't have to do that. You could do four out of the eight, or you could do one Brilliant. out of the eight. You know, or you could do all eight. So it's I wanted you to be able to have that option, and it's something we're intending to run again, like on a loop, yeah. and maybe add more. So if you can't make any of these dates, don't worry, we'll be running it again. It's ninety nine ninety nine for the eight week course. So that gets you a discount. That gets you a discount. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that. So basically. We've kind of worked it out. So we wanted to do you a deal. Like if you wanted to do all eight weeks that, um, I, I don't know, Ross, can I say what? Can I pick and choose weeks yes. or what? Uh, okay. Yes, so I buy if you do any eight week one, yeah. then it's for all eight. Yeah. But to be honest with you, even if you can't make one, you're still saving because it still works out cheaper. Get that then. If you do, if you do in that bundle, can I say what the um, price per workshop is? So it's £12.49 per workshop it works out as. But, in, but if you were to buy, if you were to come to a workshop independently, yeah. they're fourteen ninety nine. Right, so you're saving massively then by getting all eight. So this is an eight week course for ninety nine ninety nine extra. Did we not put that on split pay? Okay, X J X C eighty four ninety nine ninety nine for the eight week course. I thought it was supposed to be on split pay, but obviously that. Didn't. And then we're starting tomorrow very quickly with yeah. the sweet pea, which is just this one here. There are images on my guest designer page of all of the weaves that we'll be doing. So that's, Love that. That's the sweet pea. Um, and it just rotates. We've got sweet pea. We've got um, a couple that are doubled up, like your it's Byzantine. great, isn't it? Yeah, your Byzantine and your box weave will be done under one workshop because it's a very slight mm -hmm. variant. You know, so, you know, we've got lots like that. So any questions, just message me or Sarah. Thank you. What a great thing to be able to do an eight-week course. Now, let's give you a bit of a Von Cleef, a Gucci of a gemstone. It is, of course, a Malachite. Von Cleef have the most amazing collection at the moment. It's like these little clovers and it's got and it's made up of malachite. I love it, but I haven't got five grand to just go splashing around because that would be a once in a lifetime trip to Barbados and I'm not prepared to pay that kind of money for one piece of jewellery. But I would love to have it in my collection and this is the way of doing it. Mm. Stacker bracelets, definitely anklets with this, going around a cabochon with it. What a rich colour this is that's being used by most of the great designers of our time right now. 15 carats of malachite, the gemstone that is in the World Cup, not the Gold Cup, I always say the Gold Cup, I said the World Cup this time, so it's also in the World Cup and it's also used in interior design, massively replicated into wallpapers, there is a palace, I think a Russian palace where there is a whole room of malachite where things like chairs and there is a bath with um, 18 karat gold taps, a framed mirror and a whole fireplace made of malachite, that is the, maybe the bougiest room in the world, I don't know next to one of the rooms in Ben's house. HAG P73, 15 carats of Malachi, £8.40. So, uh, there was, um, oh, I can't remember, there was a website someone used to show um, pieces on where they combined Malachi with lapis lazuli, mm -hmm. and it's not something that we would have naturally thought to put together, but it's put together into jewellery, it looks amazing, and I know we've got some amazing lapis coming up in a moment. We have. After the break, so again, if you've got that and that, it's gonna be a oh, really yes. cool combination. It's not something, but it has been done by a designer, a lot of designers at the moment. It, and you can see why, because of the richness. Yes. This baby coming up for you in a moment's time, under five pounds straight after the break. Do not miss it. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Here at 
jewellery maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewellery making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewellerymaker.com. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Jewellery Makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source so your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Okay, so you already know this gemstone is going to a pocket money price, but let's talk about the history of lapis lazuli. We've loved and adored this gemstone since ancient times. The ancient Egyptians used it crushed down um, and in makeup together with turquoise. Cleopatra used this for her makeup, but it's a gemstone that was in Tutankhamun's sarcophagus. If you think about Tutankhamun's sarcophagus, you think of the of the gold and the blue, don't you? The blue, the blue striping was created by this gemstone, crushing it down, using it uh, to pigment and using it to, to paint with. It was a gemstone that was placed into Tutankhamun's, a, a ring that belonged to Tutankhamun, and it was within his treasures that were inside the mummy. Um, and it was a scarab beetle ring. Loads of ancient artifacts of this uh, gemstone have been unearthed. And then taking it more towards the, the more modern era it was used well actually before that it was used by, by the uh, Mesopotamians by the Aztecs and then in a more modern time it was used it was crushed down by Michelangelo and used to paint the Sistine Chapel it was the sky the sky blue in the Sistine Chapel so this gemstone has made a, a massive name for itself throughout history. But it's a gemstone that uh, in, a, in a really modern day is also mentioned in Minecraft. It's called Lapis Lazuli there. Um, uh, that's the American pronunciation of this gemstone, Lapis Lazuli. So you might have heard of that if you haven't heard of Lapis Lazuli. Now Lapis Lazuli is a very difficult gemstone to actually get hold of. And the reason for that is because it's mined in Afghanistan. And, it, it, and it's not just the current climate in Afghanistan. 
Afghanistan that makes it um, not the most desirable location to go trotting around on a horse to find. And, and I, I don't say that just for nothing. You can only get to the mines via horseback. You can't take a wheeled vehicle of any kind, a cart, a car, nothing down the that track because the terrain is absolutely not for a wheel or you know it, it can be it can be made and reached by by horseback so we're very limited in what can come out of the mine because you've got to yes yeah, it was mined exactly how it was mined back in traditional times uh, and that's never changed because of the terrain uh, you know in the area of where the mines are located so you can only bring back what you and your horse or horses can carry so we're not we're not carting trucks and trucks and truckloads of lapis lazuli out of the mines any one time it's all done by horseback so to think about the ancient history of this gemstone to also think about the process that is in place just to get this gemstone out of Afghanistan and you know it's going to five pounds. All of these facts seem to not add up, do they? It's brand new today. This is not a clearance price. This is perhaps our way of introducing you to our company. Maybe this is the first time you're shopping with us. We'd like to give you a fabulous deal. Lapis lazuli in your collection plain rounds they could be masculine or feminine they could go in anklets they could go in stacker bracelets they could go in earrings the four millimeter round is probably one of the most easy to use you can put them together and make beady, beady beads you can use them as spacer beads you can make chandelier style earrings and put lots of these you can use them as bubbles in your bubble technique you can rosary link them there's so much you can do with this gemstone 60 chances available, UZP081. We're going to give you one price and we're going to give you one chance to scoop this up. The only time you've ever seen this strand is here. It's now. It's brand new today. Lapis Lazuli from Afghanistan. If you've already paid your PMP today, it makes sense to pop this one in, doesn't it? I'd say so. And not $4.99, $3.99. It is a pocket money price. Every pound we could take down, we have done it for you. Remember, your rights are not affected, even though this does appear to be a clearance price. Marie takes two, Elspeth takes hers. Pam in Merseyside, Verna in Bristol with two. Maker in Kent, Pauline, Linda, Pam, you've got two. I have got uh, another Marie, this time in Yorkshire. I've got Emma in Joy in Warwickshire. Catherine's got two. Louise is in Suffolk. Command is in Hertfordshire. I've got Elaine, Hazel, Susan, you're there. Well done to Wendy. Uh, I got Jean on the lines as well. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you on the phone lines. Please make sure you're hitting your number one button. Suffolk, you've got yours. Kent and Cambridgeshire are also shopping. I have got another maker on the phones, making it, uh, I think, about 10 or 11 now on the phones. Uh, well done to each. Zoe joins us from Bristol. Each of you grabbing this incredibly low price deal. Don't forget to text us in today. We love hearing from you. It is multi buyer galore here. Is this a profit maker for you? Do you shop with us to make to sell? I want to know. Trevor joins from Leicestershire. Jerry joins us too. There is a queue on the phone lines. Now we've got Tutankhamun sarcophagus. So this is what I was referring to in the eyes. The beard, I think, is turquoise, isn't it? But the but the um, the stripes are actually 18 karat gold and lapis lazuli. That that is some craftsmanship, isn't it? When you think they never had any machines or anything like that, to, I mean that's craftsmanship, isn't it? And they also say, don't they? I mean, I, I think lapis is actually becoming a very recognised shade of blue, because I've yeah. seen <laughs> a bit random. I'm aware. Yeah. I've seen mascaras, blue mascaras called lapis blue. Lapis blue. So, you know, yeah. it, and if you see any kind of makeup palettes and they're doing like they, a, a very right. big thing at the moment is to name colours after gemstones. So I agree. Purple they, yes. will be amethyst yeah. and lapis will be in there and for a And candles, I've noticed. Yeah. That. And like scents. Yeah. I bought some amethyst scented wax melts <laughs> and they're my favourite. Exactly. So it's uh, what... It's becoming very recognised. And even, like I said, my son's 11 now. Mm. That's a bit scary. Um, oh, I know. I left two weeks left of, big school, of, of small school. Oh, it's so scary. I'm not going to talk about so it. Um, but he knows lapis lazuli. So for him, I could make him a little stretchy bracelet out of that because it, it's got, for me, a bigger um, appeal as well. It's mm. going to cover sort of gents, ladies mm. and kids. Do you know, we're going to give you some more lapis. We've got lots more for you. Uh, we'll have a look at the next size up, which is the six millimetre. 
and we got rounds. These are going under five pounds as well. So if you've just bought these and you want, the thing is about uh, the different sizes is that one takes you to the next. Mm. You can do graduations. You can drop from large to small. Or you can do versa. adult, child, you know, you could do sort of his and hers. Yeah, absolutely. Brand new faceted cubes coming up as well, which I love. They might be my favourite. I love cubes. Me too, and I think these make great charms. Look how sparkly oh, wow. they are. Grand Diddy, right, coming up in the next hour. So these are coming up in a minute. We're not doing them just now. I'm going to give you uh, some multi faceted rounds, and these are 10 millimetres. Now, we don't get a lot of faceted uh, lapis lazuli, and the reason is it's, it's, a, it's a softer gemstone. So they tend not to come in. Uh, overly faceted sizes you've got the faceted in the cubes though today and you've got them in this and i think that that's our, oh no, and then you've got the little saucers and i think that's about it when it comes to facets we don't have loads more we've got some lantern beads and that's about it mainly you will see plain or smooth lapis lazuli uh, for the aforementioned reason. 270 carats of, of some really large 10 millimeter rounds here. And I think these are gonna be that added sparkle in a necklace piece, or I think these are probably for earrings. One in a wish bracelet as well. GHP 027 is your item code lapis lazuli. And again, this is from Afghanistan. Uh, and we're gonna continue as we mean to go on another rock bottom price for you. Maybe these are stretchy bracelets to give you that sparkle. I love wearing that color blue. I think everybody does, don't they? $6.99, show me a skin colour, a hair colour that doesn't suit blue. I think everybody can wear it and it is statistically the world's favourite colour. £6.99, 270 carats of lapis lazuli. These are 10 millimetre rounds, so spread across a 38 centimetre strand. You're on the phone lines, 0800 644 It is a free phone number, so please don't worry if you get caught in a queue. Mandy in Hertfordshire, Marie in Yorkshire, Catherine in Berkshire, Linda in Staffordshire, Diane in Kent you're all shopping Catherine's taken two in Berkshire don't blame me Catherine what project are you using these for text us in we're nosy 699 is your price GHP 27 is your item code you've got that wonderful addition of the inclusions of pyrite that naturally occur in this gemstone and they just give you even more interest don't they Jenny do you know the ancient Mayan people prized the obsidian gem? It is a beautiful gem that I first found it through Jamaica. I love that. Do you know, I have heard, I think I have heard that actually. I love the history of gemstones though, do you? Thank you for that, Sally, my darling in East Sussex. And I love obsidian. Lily's up to something. He's bought a white shirt and he's, is he, are you going to court, Liam? Is he in court today? It's dressed for court, that one. GHP 027. <laughs> 699, 270 carats of lapis lazuli. Patricia, Merrill. Oh, I love the name Merrill. Diane, Morag, Cherie, you've got yours. Now, let's go to the satellites, which are on this side of me. And you have got, these are lovely. Are we calling them lanterns or satellites? They're kind of one and the same, aren't they? Were they in Oh, I've got the wrong ones, that's why the big... Oh, yeah, these have got, like, azurite in them as well, haven't they? Yeah, they're lovely. I've seen this strand before. I really like the colours of it. They remind me of tie-dye. Have you ever... Do you remember doing tie-dye when you are like... My mum was I've mad got, into yeah, that. I haven't actually had... Oh, it's fun. I haven't actually done it yet, but, um, yeah, I love tie-dye. I think so much tie -dye's fun. Tie-dye's cool, isn't it? It yeah. really is. Um, yeah, really you were cool. all decked out in tie-dye as a kid, were you, Ben? Yeah, my mum was a hippie as well. She still is, actually. It's quite frustrating when you get raised by hippies because they go into trances all the time. Does your <laughs> mum go into a trance all the time, Ben? My mum goes into hippie trances and there's nothing more annoying. Look at this. My mum, my mum literally would just be looking at you one minute, having a perfect conversation, and then she'll do this. So she'll be talking away. Colour, 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 colour. I'll be like, Mum... Sorry, I was in a trance. She literally looks like all life has left her. <laughs> like, is that... She's done it since I was tiny. Right, is it normal? I don't think it is. It's not something it's normal. I'm aware of, but... I worry, cos she drives. Why... Uh, sorry, VYP31 is your... VYGP31. Under £10 for these. These are great for cufflinks. They're wonderful for pendants. They'll be super in bracelets. They're very, very sparkly. Lapis lazuli. Only, uh, and you've got that sort of azurite colour in here. They've multi, they've, there's a little bit of dye in this, which is just, uh, as you can see, gives you that added point of interest. This will go really nicely with the malachite that we had earlier, which is funny because I kept the malachite. 
So I thought, yeah. And I, I didn't know I needed it, but it was there for me. Very organic look, yeah. Naturey, says Ross. Very naturey. Uh, 999, 230 carats dye green and blue lapis lazuli. Fancy beads. Let's give you the lanterns I had earlier. Satellite. Satellites and lanterns are very, very similar. There's not much in it, to be fair. They're very similar, so. I really love these. I think earrings. They're so sparkly. Aren't they lovely? Look at this colour. Right, these, this is the first of all the strands I've given you that are completely natural. So if you're into healing, you've got to grab these. We've only got single figures of this, so very limited amount available. So if you love them and you think, oh gosh, they're natural, I've got to have them, you're going to have to be really quick. You're going to have to beat the others to it. Yeah, they've got little glass spaces in between them, so you can utilise them. YAG B07. Let's look at this blue. Look at this sparkle. Loads of you there already. These will sell out today. Seven by eight millimeters. We're over allocated. Be quicker. I don't want you to miss out. Are you ready? 12.99. There it goes. Sorry, I'm hurrying you. It drives my kids mad because I'm like, quickly, come on. Are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? Oh, I'm coming. Uh, Marie, Louise, Sheila, Verna. Ashi, you've got yours, 12 pounds, 99 pence. Sue in Bristol, you've got yours. I am absolutely chuffed to bits that you're grabbing these as fast as possible because these will sell out any moment now. Very over allocated. Few of you are gonna miss out at this point. Uh, v Why, sorry, AG P07. Looks like they've sold out and gone. Is that pigeon all right? Yeah. Is it? What's it doing? Oh, it's an owl. All right. Now. Which one now? The owl is a little bit topsy-turvy. Now, eight to nine. These are totally natural as well. So again, for those healers out there, this one's definitely for you. Limited stock. These have only been on once before. Oh, I really love these. I would do wish bracelets with them. You know me, I'm boring like that. Yeah, but and this is going back to what I said earlier as well, isn't it? That it's not boring. It's classic and simple, and it's got such an appeal to everybody as well. I think because yeah, I think they're very. Um, I know it's a superstition, a wish bracelet, and like making wish wishes all together is, isn't it? Yeah, but, but I like it. I think it's everybody each to their own, isn't it? Each their own Laura binding. That's what I say. RAG P25 is your item code. We're going to give you a very special price on these natural lapis lazuli plain rounds. They're between eight and nine millimeters. Um, and they really are about 80% of our strands are dyed, in fact, probably the world's strands uh, of, of lapis. Lapis lazuli in general is dyed. These aren't, they're totally natural. And there's a lot of pyrite in mine. I mean, look at this piece. Beautiful, that's what you want, isn't it? Look, can you see the pyrite? $8.99, another pocket money price for you. 200 carats, natural lapis lazuli. Uh, don't forget Toby Carroll coming up in the next hour with a grand diddy right deal via the power of Skype. He'll be Skyping us in and giving us his knowledge. Uh, if you've got any questions for Toby whatsoever, now's the time to get them over so that I can relay them to him during our little Skype call. Uh, he's avoiding me, that's why he's not coming in. Uh, Louise in London, Mandy in Hertfordshire, Juliana, Jane in Worcestershire takes two, Diane and Catherine. Uh, you're on the phone for these and Sandra is online. Well done for multi-buying uh, to those that have. Cherie, you've got yours. Yeah, you've got a real... Aren't the gold flecks lovely? They're beautiful. Lots of you multi-buying. Laura, what would you do with these? Um, again, like you say, for sort of that size, I think it would be a necklace piece for me. Mm. Maybe putting just reversing what we've um, the classic kind of a pearl necklace and actually just having a pearl in the centre of the lapis because yeah. I think Lovely. that contrast would be really beautiful. Do you know, I just, I agree. I just, I love putting it with strong colours. I love putting mm. it, would it with gold or silver? Um, or rose gold. Rose gold for me every time. Yeah. Be copper? Uh, copper um, and again, warm like a champagne mm. gold, I mm. think would be lovely because it ties, it brings out the colour of that pyrite from within, doesn't it? It does, it does. Now, we've got more for you. We're going to give you that, which one? Do you want the squares or do you want the, the six mil? Giving you all the millimetres today, aren't we? Six millimetre, brand new strand, not seen before, never been on air. We don't get very many. This is perfect for the Kiss Cross if you're watching Mark Smith's and Marky McBark earlier on. Uh, then it's absolutely perfect for that. You're still coming through for the last one. There are still some available. But 
stay on the line if you want. Another strand for under five pounds. WLP 041, brand new, first in today, first on screen now, and a really easy to use size, Laura, six millimeters. Oh, Any yeah. kind of technique goes, doesn't it? Yeah, for me, this is my ideal Rosary Lincoln. Desert Island size. Desert Island size, yeah, definitely. And what's great about these is that, again, if you were using wire or cord, you can put mm. quite a heavy gauge through, sort of about a 0.8, sometimes a one. Um, you know, don't want to say that for sure. Um, but Rosary Lincoln, lovely, perfect size pearl knotting. Because yeah. whenever you think of pearl knotting, you think of it's pearls, but yeah. it applies to anything. You know, a lovely navy cord going through that and knotted, I think would be beautiful. Um, again, stretchy bracelets um, and keeping it sort of something that you could even just go as simple as having like a key ring charm or something, or bookmark, something like that. So again, that size is going to be very unintrusive. It is. I mean, you can use it with Viking knit as oh, well, yeah. can't you? And you've got, got, you could cage it within your jump rings or in your, your Viking like knit as well. Definitely like you've done with that one. Yeah. Four ninety nine is your price at under £5 with a penny change. Six millimetre rounds, 38 centimetre strand. Uh, WLP 041 is your item code. Marie, you're there. Diane's got two. Perth and Kimross has two. Uh, makers on the phone, you're there. It's lovely to see your gorgeous names. Brighten up my screen. Four pounds and 99 pence. It's such a super deal. Remember, all the things I said about lapis lazuli still stand. Tutankhamun sarcophagus, thinking about Cleopatra's makeup, thinking about these going, to, you know, lots of different types, the Mesopotamias, the Aztecs, this being in the Sistine, uh, the Sistine Chapel, 4 99 Incredible value. Marie takes two, Sue takes two, Eleanor, Anne uh, in Kent, and a different Anne. Susan in Hampshire, you've got yours. Uh, Catherine in Berkshire has two in a basket too. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence. We love hearing from you. Here's a message. Oh, Jenny, I absolutely love it when you're. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. I really, really wish you would consider reconsider leaving us. Oh, Jeannie, thank you so much. It's um, definitely not an easy choice, but it's definitely the right one. Um, but I am still going to be on your screens, but I'll be somewhere else. If you go on my presenter page, so it's Jenny Cleary Presenter on Facebook, I'll be updating you on there. Uh, avoiding you, Jenny. I have to isolate. Oh, no. uh, oh, Tobes, are you isolating? He's not avoiding me, are you, Tobes? Uh, are you isolating? You better be in your onesie or you're letting down the whole of the isolation crew. If, we don't, if you don't tune in, Toby Cavill, in a onesie... I don't know for you. I don't know for you. Are you in your new gaff or are you uh, with the family? Tell us that. We'll ask him everything. We'll ask him everything. We might get a guided tour of the manor, of the Cavill Manor, with all the Monets and the pre-Raphaelites <laughs> hanging from the walls, you know? Uh, we, we might have a, have a peer out into the window into the turning circle <laughs> with the Venus statue mm. that's got all the water coming out of her. Is that right, Tobes? <laughs> Mr. Cavill, Lord Cavill, as you're also known at home by the butler. Now, <laughs> I can't wait to look at Toby's house. I'm well excited for that. I'm so nosy. What do you think Toby's house is like, everybody? I think it's like a big manor. Do you reckon? And it's got a gravel drive with a turning circle, a couple of wings. Yeah, it's probably got a yoga. It's probably got a yoga room. Yeah, it's like cribs. It's like Gemporia cribs. We need to play Jamboria Cribs. How cool will that be? Yeah, he's got... You can't just turn up at Toby's house because he'll release the hounds. Now, here we go. <laughs> release the hounds. Here we go. Look at these. You've got three lovely strands of rounds, all tasseled. And... They're all natural. I love this. You know me. I love a natural gemstone because I love the healing of them. And the more natural they are, the more I believe in it. And that's the way it goes. Here we go. If you would like a deal that is hotter than Toby's crib, then make sure you are getting involved because for 80 for under the listen anywhere else globally one strand of natural lapis lazuli is going to set you back more than that we're giving you three strands of lapis lazuli for 18.99 which is what four pound thirty four pound six pound 33 each that's how bad my math my maths is yes three strands i'm no good at maths we know this 
uh, lapis lazuli from Afghanistan. Uh, and don't forget, we got Grand Diddy Wright coming up with Lord Cavill very, very soon. He is watching right now. So if you've got any questions for Lord Cavill, uh, where's me drops there in the air? Then get them in. Toby has dropped the drop price like it's hot. I'll work on that. Isn't it beautiful? Grand Didier right? according to the Forbes list, is the third or the fourth most expensive? Yes, uh, so it's tar fight then red diamond before us. Is that, that's correct, isn't it? Uh, according to the Forbes list. You've got Rondell's. Laura Binding is making a way, and anybody who purchases the Grand Didier right today will be in with a chance of winning Laura Binding's jewelry that she is making right now as we speak. But there she is, beavering away. <laughs> What, beavering away? That is a normal... I know it is. Well, why did they all laugh? Get your minds out of the gutter. This is what happens when, you're, when you work with boys. Now, come on. Guffawing in my ear. <laughs> OK, I should have just let it go. Now, now our teachers of teenage boys feel. My son got kicked out of, um, out of uh, life education, should we call it? Sex education, he got kicked out, right? <laughs> he got kicked out and I got a phone call saying, could you please have a word with your son for shouting out alternative words to body parts when I'm trying to... And I said, look, I'm not being funny, he's 14. And, and those words that you just said are quite funny. And the teacher went, I see I'm not going to get anywhere here, am I? And I went, no, unless you want to relate to some 14-year-old boys and actually have some fun. Then I started... Then she said, well, I'm not sure if I can teach him. So I text my son saying, do you want me to teach you this bleep education? We can start with body parts. And I sent him a picture and he was like, stop now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, OK. Oh, well. Did he go back and behave then? Oh, but it is funny, <laughs> isn't it? You've got to find humour in it. You can't make it like a taboo subject. You've got to remember the poor boy's been brought up by me and his sister. Yeah, bless him. He's seen enough of it. He's seen enough of it. Now, poor lad. I think he's the only 15-year-old boy with a cleansing routine. <laughs> <laughs> and his mates are like, what are you doing? He's like, cleansing, toning and moisturising. Yeah, he does get... He gets absolutely gets it taken out of him, but he doesn't care. Because he's got brilliant skin. I love that. And it's, not, it's nice, isn't it, that he doesn't care? He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's like... He's his mother's son. Care. He whitens his teeth. He has fresh-looking skin. He gets all the ladies. <laughs> Very handsome. Uh, do, do all mums think that about their boys? I think they probably yeah. do, don't they? X, uh, WP051. Now, these are frosted, which adds to a definite, uh, a, a definite splice of interest because they're going to work really well in chaps pieces. So if you wanted to make, you know, uh, not a Father's Day piece now because obviously it does come every year, or a father, you know, a birthday present for your dad or your, your brother or your son, anyone, anyone that's male, I think these have that sort of masculine edge on them, don't they? Not just some random male you've just yeah. met. Yeah, because <laughs> anyone that's male, Lucy was like, oh. 9.99 three strands. That's £3.33 each. I knew I'd do a maths today, and that was it, because I can do that one. Uh, lapis lazuli, uh, with that wonderful effect on them, I think works really well with cord. I like that sort of rustic vibe that you get from them. Do you? Uh, there we have it. I've accidentally landed myself a radio show, by the way, with no radio experience. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it was, I'm just doing it voluntary. And I, he was like, do you know what you're doing? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, we well, can have your own show. And I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Help! Um, so you're all there, Marie. You've got yours. Maybe I'll interview Lord Cavill at his mansion. And we'll talk about the Monets. Yeah? Yeah? Well, what do you want to do, Ross? Let's look at these little cube vus Cube baby. Wait there. Cubes are always super popular. And these ones are super sparkly. I love a little bit of sparkle. Just a little bit of pizzazz, isn't it? Brand new, coming up soon. Now. I'm going to give you... Oh, right in me, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> we got some bicones. <laughs> Bico 
cones. Do you know something, Laura? We, where have bicon cones as a shape been? <laughs> we haven't been, had many yeah, of them, have we? They've been bygone. They've been bygone. <laughs> Binding. Mm. Who needs Peter Kay when you've got Laura <laughs> binding? Here we go. Look at that sparkle. Isn't it lovely though? Also, they would work great for sort of doing your simple beading like your right angle weave, because they would lock together perfectly. And your beady bead, anything like that, because of the angles on the bicone, that's, um, if you think of like when we had Swarovski, it was the same yeah, thing because yeah. of the cut and shape of it, they would lock in. Well, they do. They knit in together, don't they? If you've yeah. got a, if you've got a um, bead loom, if you're a lunatic, <laughs> all these jokes are going to be taken with me, and you'll miss them when they're gone. I know I'd do your head in with everyone from Bedfordshire and all of these nuts as a squirrel's tummy and all that lot. And as mad as a dog out the bath, you were supposed to say bath. Oh bath. <laughs> oh bath. <laughs> <laughs> Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, uh, under ten pounds for you for these beautiful bicones. They work very, very well in earring findings to give you that chandelier effect. Uh, Marie, you've got yours. Maker in Yorkshire shopping. Kent takes three. It's lovely to see you. Get those messages in. I want to hear Cavill questions. Maybe you've got. Have you got a question for Cavill? Uh, there, our Lucy. What would you like to know? Anything. It doesn't have to even be about gemstones. I'm really curious about when he lived in Thailand, so just ask him about that. Anything about when he lived in Thailand. Yeah. I want to know, I wonder what his favourite dinner was in Thailand, because yeah. the food is the one in Thailand. Or like, what food did he miss most? Or what mood, yeah. Like, I mean, it's got to be a roast dinner, hasn't it? Yeah, what's the cinema like? Just stuff like that. <laughs> what's like, the cinema Have like? you <laughs> never, you never been to Thailand? Yeah, but I've never been to the cinema. You can go to the cinema. Yeah, because you wouldn't, because it's boiling not. You don't want to sit in the cinema. <laughs> Got time for that? I was too busy partying. Now, where did you go then, Luce, when you went to? Uh, Koh Samui and Bangkok. Isn't Bangkok mad? I went to Bangkok, so when I went, it was 1997, 98. It was mad. There was tigers for sale. Like, someone like me should not be able to buy a tiger. I'm sure they don't do that now, but like it was the madness back in the day. Now, we have got for you a strand. We've seen similar, but not this particular one. I want to do this, but you know what happened earlier? I just hit myself in the face. What happened to Jenny? Well, she got a black eye. Oh, she hit herself in the face with a lapis lazuli. 100 inches now, as far as inches are concerned, that is colossal. Look at all of this, lapis lazuli. So we're talking your tree of life designs. We're talking stretchy bracelets. We're talking profit maker, aren't we? Uh, do, chips and nuggets, Laurie, you just can't go wrong, can you? Oh, you definitely can. And again, you just simple design, putting it onto memory wire. Mm. Because again, it's that kind of chunkier chip, isn't it? So it's not like the really fine slices. These also look great as well, if you want to do like a charm style ring. Yeah. And you get yes, they're looks, really in at the moment, aren't really they? They're really cool and you get the movement then. But also if you want to, I've also done like a cluster style ring as well, yeah. where you kind of do like a spiral base and then stitch the gemstones onto it. So it'd be mm -hmm. great for something like that. Just, again, I know we say it, but stretchy bracelets. Absolutely. Just because it's chips doesn't mean that you can't add it into a, a nice, simple, stretchy bracelet. I agree with you. I think it would look fabulous. FHP069 is your item code. Over a 1,000 carats here. Let's take a 1,000 carats under £10, which seems utter lunacy, but you know what? If the boot fits, wear it. Here we go. £7.99. Hence, hooray for that price. 0800 655 is the number to be uh, dialing. Make sure you're checking out baskets on this one. It's brand new today. You've seen similar, but this is a, we, we've ordered these fresh in for you. 1,060 carats are going to work their way in macrame. You can do, you can do this with macrame, absolutely. Mark Smith's done many, many a DVD mm. on macrame using chips and nuggets. They work really well with memory wire also. Um, we got memory wire on the website. We've had lots of fabulous deals. Uh, so please make sure. Oh, that's a new little text JM Studio plus your message on the bottom of my screen. Where did that come from? Oh, I like that. Another really nice design that I like to do. I mean, obviously, we always go back to Katie Parker's lovely seafoam necklace, yeah, which, which is, is behind crocheted you. Crocheted on. Um, <laughs> 
the monofilament. But also what looks great is when you get some 0.4 wire um, and then you do a load of little tiara twists and you basically fold it and fold it and fold it and mm. twist it all together. You get a really cool twisted bracelet or yeah. necklace or however you want it to be. So it's great for anything like that. And even for hair fascinators, hair pieces, you know, hopefully... <laughs> starting to sort of go to events again soon yeah and if you want that special occasion and you're not like a bride or anything like that it could be great as you're sort of as a guest definitely uh, and i think you know that navy color is something that we do wear mm. a lot isn't it i certainly do it's very classic very uh, yes and it just goes with everything doesn't mm -hmm. it it's easy now my darlings I'm going to give you, so I was talking about these earlier because I was talking about what we had that was faceted these are saucy little saucers I just love these for anklets. I think they work really well and they sit really comfortably. And look at that colour, it's so strong. Oh, so oh is this not graded then? I'll tell you what, this is natural. The colour is striking. So if you wanted a healing bracelet, how many of these do we have, Rosha? Let me talk to you about the lapis properties then, if that's okay. Let me just uh, um, consult my oracle. You know I like to do this. And again, apologies to those that don't believe, but some people do. And I just think we, you know, in terms of inspiration, these are going to work really well around those big hoop earrings. These are going to work really well as stackers. But if you do want to sell your jewelry with a meaning, even if you don't believe it, other people are superstitious and other people buy for the superstition of the piece. This is, these are, sorry, the reasons you might want to include this gemstone in your healing collection. So, lapis lazuli is one of the most sought-after stones in use since uh, man's history began. Its deep celestial blue remains the symbol of royalty and honour, gods and power, spirit and vision. In ancient times, lapis lazuli was most highly regarded because of its beautiful colour and with the value, um, ultra, valuable ultramarine dye derived from it. Its name comes from the Latin lapis, which means stone, and the Persian lazuard, uh, which means blue. It's, rock, it's a rock formed by multiple minerals, may, mainly uh, lazurite, um, and lapis lazuli was among the most highly prized tributes paid to Egypt, obtained from the oldest mines in the world, worked from around 4,000 BC. Referenced in the Old Testament as sapphire, unknown in that part of the ancient world, and lapis lazuli is more likely the fifth stone in the original breastplate of the high priest. Now, let's talk about the myth and legend. So, lapis is an excellent stone for executives. Uh, it, it's a gemstone said to stimulate wisdom and good judgment in the practical world. It aids intellectual analysis and archaeologists and historians problem solving for lawyers and creates new ideas for inventors and writers. Lapis lazuli is a powerful crystal for activating the higher mind and enhancing intellectual ability. It stimulates the desire for knowledge, truth, understanding and aids the process of learning. It is excellent for enhancing memory. It's a stone of truth. Lapis lazuli encourages honesty, honesty of the spirit and in the spoken and written word. Fear it for all forms of deep communication. Wear it, not fear it. It is also a stone of friendship and brings harmony to relationships. It's under £10. It's £9.99 for this beautiful sparkly stone. Uh, so, for fame in a creative or public performance related area, wear or carry lapis lazuli. $9.99, particularly to auditions. In the workplace, it attracts promotion, success and lasting recognition in your field. So that's how half of the people have got where they have in this company. $9.99, it's the lapis lazuli. There we go. It's not. It's the pure talent. L O N V ninety seven. Well done uh, to those that have added it to their collection. I do think these nestled in between pearls would be beautiful as well. Now, Definitely. darlings, let's go to wheels. I love a wheel. So these are these you haven't seen before. We've seen wheels before, but we haven't seen them in their lapis lazuli variety. 
and uh, they're giving you some lustre. Look at those. I love a wheel, Laura. Would you put these either end of a chainmail bracelet? Oh, definitely, or in the middle. They'd be great to oh, yeah. break it up. You could use little Byzantine links if you wanted to and actually have it in sections or like a, a long star necklace, mm -hmm. I think would look lovely. Um, and, it, and again, it makes me, th it does make me think of that chunkier style. So like with this necklace here, um, and I'll go back to it, but obviously um, I ran out of jump rings, but that would be a lovely finish up around the side here. Mm. So it would kind of bring, because of the shape and size of it, it would almost follow that shape. Um, but also in Viking knit, would look lovely in the middle of a Viking knit bracelet or necklace. So it's, it's something for me that would look really great broken in amongst other things. I agree. Uh, it, it's, it's got that perfect sort of in between where it's, it's not too plump and round. It's got some lovely edges either side of it and you're getting the interest from around yeah. those facets, aren't you? Yeah. There's a lot to love about this strand and I think they look great when they're sort of just moving about. <laughs> that was me moving off my chair and a load of beads. Well, I've got a, so look, clearer. I've got a bead in a funny place <laughs> and I need to get it out because I, it's like Princess and the P. WUG P93 is your item code. Here we go. I'm all sorted now. I've done it. I'm all right. These are brand new. I want you to imagine these in cufflinks because I think they look mm. really great. Use these with your, but use these either side of the, do you know what I mean? So you've yeah. got. Well, actually, you could use one of them and then use the top, the T from the you top of the glass. You have double-sided. Um, exactly, what that's saying. what I was thinking. Yeah, because yeah, you know you get those double knots when you yeah. go to the shirt shops. I think that would look. That would look really good, wouldn't uh -huh. it? Definitely. Two hundred and thirty carats. Great for tassels. Nine by as six. Well. Minutes. Perfect for tassels. Tassel you know, jewelry. You. What? Sorry, jewelry. Tassel jewelry. Castle jewelry. Tassel oh, tassel jewelry. jewelry. <laughs> I thought you said castle. <laughs> Tarsal? For my word. Oh, somebody's, somebody's been at the castle, castle Manor, haven't they? <laughs> Do I have a tea? WUG B93, 230 counts of lapis lazuli. Let's go shopping. £12.99. I'm going to give them a count for you. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 59 on my strand you should have there, all thereabouts. That's many pairs of, of whatever you want to create and 22 pence per gemstone at 12.99 WGP93. Now, let's give you a little perusal of the Grand Didierite that Lord Cavill shall be bringing us soon. Brand spanking new. Shop ahead, guarantee your place. They're on pre-order. Uh, you do that by visiting our website, www.jewelrymaker.com. Click on Watch Us Live and then just scroll underneath and you'll see the uh, pre-order button. Now, it's not at the price we're going to finish at. We are indeed going nowhere near that price. doesn't matter what time you secure yours, you'll all pay the same low price. Now, let's go to... Which one, Ross? We have got some rectangles or oblongs a very little used word these days is the oblong isn't it what happened to the word oblong we just we just don't use it do you think oblong was because it was easier to say than rectangle as a child i don't know why is it oblong is where it's rounded i don't know i don't know what the there rules is a difference are. between them isn't there i've got i don't think there is but you think there is i you could feel probably right i don't know just yeah <laughs> What's the difference, jewellery makers, between an oblong and a, and a rectangle, rectangle, please? Messages in. We need to know. Educate <laughs> us. Now I'm just hopping back on my, uh, my chair. So, here we have. Doesn't this look lovely with my jadeite, actually? Mm. I like those together, I do. Do you know, green and blue looks great together, but jadeite is a, is a unique colour all mm. of its own. So you sort of don't think to put it with lapis, but it works. I mean, yeah. that is very good quality jadeite, mind. Yeah. I mean, there's some colour in that. I love that. I'll give it a little rub for some good fortune. This is, Lucy says, this is how come I got my chandelier, because I had my jadeite on. I, got, I wear jade every day. I've not got a chandelier. Mine's only little, though. No, you just got to keep rubbing it. You're not rubbing it enough and asking it. You've got to ask it. It doesn't just do its thing with not. <laughs> it's like the genie. You need to rub it. Four ninety nine at TKG P eighty nine. Rub it to get the benefit. 
210 carats, brand new. They're 14 by 10. These, again, could be cufflinks. They could go in rings, couldn't they? They could definitely be uh, stretchy bracelets. Absolutely. Decent drill holes in these two. Yes, you have. Uh, you've got it all going on. 14 by 10 millimetres, 38 centimetre strand. Make sure you are checking out baskets. This is Lapis Lazuli. Remember, renowned throughout the ages for being fabulous. Let's have another little bit of uh, Lapis Lazuli um, blurb. So it's beneficial. So this is for the physical healing energy, if you believe in that kind of thing. Beneficial for the throat, the larynx, and the vocal cords and helps regulate the en endocrine and thyroid glands. There you go. Enhances circulation, if you believe in that kind of thing. It activates the psychic centers of the third eye and balances the energies of the throat chakra. It is a chakra color as well, but chakra beads are generally uh, round, aren't they? Eleanor, you've got yours. Carolyn, Devon, Judith in Bedfordshire. At this time. Wendy and Kent, Irene in Bristol. Catherine in Berkshire, Louise in Suffolk. Diana, Patricia uh, in Greater London. And then Patricia in Staffordshire. They both came through on the phone to Patricia's. What's the odds of that? Uh, Pauline, Hilma, you've got yours. Donna in Carmarthenshire. Jean in Bridgend takes two. There's loads of you there. How are you? Are you okay? Uh, message just in from Amanda. I always thought oblongs were longer and narrower than a... Well, so, than a square, yeah. But what we're saying is oblong versus rectangle. Yeah. What's the difference? What's the difference between an oblong and a rectangle? Amanda, um, you're with us. We don't clear, know. We don't know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a quest answer. like a prize. You're going to win a cup. Like we genuinely, we, we, we don't, don't know. know. We we genuinely have no idea. So we want to know the answer. <laughs> The fact you made yeah, that just fact to be very... clear, it's not a competition. I, I you want made that to know the answer. Much like, so what is the difference? As if you knew, we don't know. <laughs> well, I shall tell you. Take a step back in time with me, Jenny Cleary, while we go tr into the 80s and, and ask, where is the oblong gone? <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm going to give you... Oh, these are... Oh, Alice and Terry, these got written all over for the Swords and Daggers DVD. These are fabulous, very medieval. So these are gonna go really well with your chainmail, oh, Laura. Wow. Yeah, most definitely. Lovely shield shape, oh, aren't they? Them. Upside down, but they're not pears. I've never eaten a pear that shape. They're it's more like a spearhead. Unless there's a, you know, a, a lesser known spearheaded pear tree that I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> aren't they lovely? I love them, and I love the way that they're cut as well. It's lovely to have something different, but the way that they kind of taper at the top but still have that sort mm. of point at the bottom as well, they're going to sit perfectly, again, with those saucer-style um, lapis that you had earlier yeah. because of the shape of them. But, again, you could almost have them like a little fan kind of shape, couldn't you? you could bring them together. I, that yes. middle one, for me, is just incredible. It's massive. Look how thick it is, Law. That is beautiful. And the thing is, you know... It's very easy for me to say, do you know what, I put that into wire work, but I actually don't think I would. I think I would have that maybe with like a, a chainmail chain, maybe like a nice Byzantine chain, so a nice chunky sort of looking chain and have that as the drop. I think that would look beautiful. I agree with you. And just have that as a standalone. Yeah, definitely. I love that idea. Okay, FLSF93 is your item code. Lapis Lazuli from Afghanistan. 75 carats. Let's shop. We're going under £10 for seven of them. That's brilliant, especially the cat. I mean, look at that. It's colossal. They're not skinny. Yeah, and they're all natural, by the way. Oh, yeah, I like this one. £9.99 pence is your price. Text us in. Tell us what you would do with yours. It's lovely to bounce ideas around, isn't it? Totally and utterly natural from Afghanistan, of course. And you've got 75 carats. I think there are other places you can source lapis lazuli than Afghanistan, aren't there? But it is the, the main source. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it is the main source, is Afghanistan. Um, I did think that there was another place you could get it, but I might have that wrong. Maybe we'll ask Lord Cavill. <laughs> we shall ask him. Ten minutes and Lord Cavill will have been... He, he will have finished with his caviar, wouldn't he? He'd have taken the corgis out and he'd be with us. <laughs> he'd have, is it... There's no croquet on his lawn today, is there? Because of the rain yesterday. Not with the divots. Now, it's time for the star bite.
We have got those sparkly cubes for you. And I think, Laura, when you've got a sparkly cube, it's nice to sort of dangle them like, um, kind of like the bubble technique from chain in a nice long pair of earrings. Like that, kind of. Kind of exactly <laughs> like that, yes. <laughs> like my mind was tuned in. Let's have a look at what Laura's it? done with the Grand Idea. Right? Exactly like that, <laughs> yes. How yeah. lovely. Yeah, absolutely. And they're going to cluster together beautifully, aren't they, if yeah. they're in that kind of cube shape as well. And again, when we've had the... Um, all of the lovely variety of lapis mm. that we've had today, then you've got a lovely sort of mixture there. Yeah. We had those round, large, faceted um, lapis, didn't we? They were the, yes, they those massive as the, Yeah, as the, as yes, the, and as the that. drop, yes. And, and maybe in a necklace style. But you know what? It also looked lovely as well in a... Um, illusion style necklace so by illusion yes. style just to clarify for those who don't know you know using your monofilament yes. and just re multi-stranding that in in sort of a random kind of placement and, and it, it looks like it's floating it looks like it? it's floating and that would be all across your neckline i think that would look beautiful here we have it for you lapis lazuli that is brand new today and you've got all those sparkles they're just fabulous 25 carats rkk why 73 aren't they beautiful is this natural ross little splash of dye that's normal you know i've, I've told you 80 percent of our strands have uh, been dyed isn't there some gold in there yes mm. there we have it look at that sparkle i think rosa linking these would be lovely in a necklace definitely and look like a nice cross at the front of it as well that would be beautiful. And again, um, sort of macrame, and I know this is weird coming from me, but macrame. Micro macrame. Because yes, it, would, it would really hold that beautifully. Yeah. And channel setting. Channel because set of that be great. square profile, it's going to be perfect. I think so. It will, won't it? Okay, so the price that's coming up on your screens is what we've been recommended to sell this strand for. $9.99 is a, beyond a globally competitive price. I think it's very difficult actually to compare us globally because there aren't very many places that give you what we give you. Now, we've got a big quantity. It's the first time you're seeing this. So we're going to take them as low as we possibly can. Lapis Lazuli 4mm cubes. These are a very unique strand. And of course, cubes are always super popular, aren't they? Especially when they're faceted, especially when they're this kind of size and they're four millimeters bkk y73 let's drop the price this is a star buy you're already in for this i've already got yorkshire and judith and june and nikki and Catherine in but that's not going to be your final low price today it doesn't matter what point you check out your basket we're going to give everybody the lowest price uh, that's ever on your screen which is 7.99 in this instance rkk y73 seven pounds and 99 pence for the cubes these are going to go with so so much that's already in your stash here comes sally in sussex penny and ronda uh, susan in hertfordshire is in so's eunice in surrey lots we'll of you on the phone lines it's lovely to have your company hope you're having a fantastic day today what day is it monday yeah it's monday and yeah. just another manic monday it is isn't it had 25 cats hmm? i had to think then what day is it i know because my son's not at school anymore oh. it kind of messes you up day wise you don't know i can't believe he's not at school you just don't anymore. know football season's over for him and uh there's no school so i don't know where i am from one day to the next 7.99 Check out baskets. I don't want anyone missing out on these deals. Let's give you one more. And let's give it you in the form of rondelles. Grandidi Wright and Lord Cavill joining us after the break from Cavill Towers. Lapis Lazuli. Smooth rondelle, seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Another one last cheeky deal for you before the break. NLRU 35, 38 carats here. Lots of you there. And these could be unisex, couldn't they? These could go into a chap's piece. These could go into these could go around a cabochon. These could go into an anklet. They could go in so many different ways. These are gonna work for you. They're gonna work in your stash. 38 carats. Now, after the break, Toby Cavill joins us and he's going to be bringing us a fabulous lowest ever price for a strand of Grand Didierite that's not to be missed.
Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Good morning, good morning, la 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 la. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source so your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Test, test, test. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence.
Welcome back. You're watching Jewelry Maker. We are just having a little technical thing with Toby Cavill. We're waiting to see whether he can hear us or not. He can't at the moment. But we have got some Grand Didierite coming up for you. Now, Laura, you've made some gorgeous jewellery mm -hmm. uh, with the Grand Didierite. Could we have a little look at that? Uh, you can. I've just... <laughs> I just switched them. I'll show you this. It will be an earring, but again, it's something that can be like an e e uh, earrings or a necklace. It's like I switched the um, centre part. Yeah, so mm. it could be a pendant. Um, and this is something I was thinking if it was a necklace, what I would do is add chain and then break it up with a couple of sections of the Grand Idiorite rondelles as well, like in, in the actual chain as well. Oh, lovely. Um, and how did you feel about the Grand Idiorite? How were the drill holes and uh, etc.? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Um, it's my first time of actually working with it. I keep seeing it, but obviously it's on and gone. Yeah. Um, and it's got such a lovely sort of feel to it. It's got a very lovely, smooth sort of um, polished feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, drill hole, nice and easy to work with. You can see that I'm able to do, do a drip, uh, brillette wrap like I showed earlier on. Um, and keeping it very simple and just wrapping and adding these little drops here, I just think they cluster together beautifully. Yeah, but it do, really is they? a beautiful gemstone. It is, isn't it? It really is. It, it's got so much about it. It is uh, a gemstone that is, of course, uh, one of the most expensive gemstones in the world. It is third on the Forbes list. Uh, second is Tarfite. First is uh, the Red Diamond for expense. It's 20, it can fetch $25,000 per carat. And it's a gemstone that the world didn't know about for a long time. We're going to hear more on that from Toby very shortly. He'll be coming up soon. But for now, let's go and have a look at our website, www jewellerymaker.com where you can shop for all of the goodies that we've had today if you missed out on the lapis lazuli uh, it's on it's on the website for you let's have a look at that so here's the website click on watch us live have a little peruse downwards and you'll see all of the things that you've missed today so l had mark smith earlier on uh, you can go and check out that show and you can go and check out all of the good goodies that they had on that are still available all of the goodies that laura and i have had from one o'clock onwards the master class uh, all of that is up there uh, all of all of the goodies now if you'd like to see previous um if you'd like to see previous shows then all you've got to do is click and subscribe on our youtube channel now we have got for you rondelles two lots of rondelles have a look at what you've got there isn't it beautiful we are having a little technical issue we will uh, be catching up with toby very very shortly There we go. So these are coming up for you soon. Now, what do you want to do then, Ross? Because, right, let's go. We're going to go to a quick break. Uh, we are, we're going to go to a quick break. Go and check out our YouTube channel as well. We're going to sort out this little technical issue and then we will be back. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Good morning, good morning, la 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 la. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker.
the best part about having a technical difficulty is we get to do crafty business. <laughs> so, Laura, we're going to get crafty. Yeah. We're going to make a stretchy bracelet out of a really beautiful jade-like strand. We could make a we could make a friendship thing. Would you we like to make one? one, Jenny? I'll make one too. Would you yes, like to make absolutely, one? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So, what I'm going to we'll do, do it together. We'll do it together, just because you know. Might a little make well. off. Let's have a make off. Laura. Make off. Oh, that's not fair. Um, okay, so I've got some elastic here, so I'm going to just cut this off for you, a nice long length, okay, Jenny? Okay, thank you. Okay, so... And we've got a strand of jadeite there, haven't and we? And I'll cut this in half and pass this over to you as well. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Now, shall we give it a bit of a... Oh, I'm going to wait for you. You're going to talk us through it, aren't you? Yeah, and what I'm going to get is you to not drop these on the floor, You've got... I love Jenny. these little bougie... I will try not to. Please try not to drop. Okay. They're in a little pot, it's cut. Okay, so we're okay. going to just do a little, um, a little fun stretchy bracelet, which are really great. We've got this beautiful jadeite, which is absolutely perfect. Perfect size. Look mm. at this colour. This is incredible. Is this coming These up? These have got big drill holes on yeah. them, Laura. It's They're coming great. up, this jadeite. What time's the jadeite coming up, Ross? The jadeite rounds. He'll have a look in a minute. He'll have a look in a minute. He's like, Jenny, I'm dealing with stuff here. <laughs> with the objective was to give Ross some breathing time to sort it out. It's coming up in the next hour. Sorry, Ross. Okay. No, it's my fault. I was doing this to... So, what we're going to do is... First of all, I'm going to start off by just sort of pulling a bit of the stretch out of the elastic, okay? Now, what I like to do is I like to keep my elastic um, on the reel. Now, I know, Jenny, I've given it to you off the reel. Can I advise you put a knot in the bottom? Sure. Or, if you want to, create a stopper bead. Oh, yeah. So, do you know how to create a stopper bead? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, you may or may not be able to do this. So, basically, creating a stopper bead... You've got to be able to go through the hole twice, You've got to though. go through twice, yeah. So, what you would need to be able to do is feed that elastic back around and up. No, you're not going to be able to. So, just create a knot at the end of yours to make sure... Or put a crimp on. Something just to stop mm -hmm. it from sort of falling off the elastic. But what I like to do is keep it on the actual reel. Just stretch it a little bit to get some of that stretch out. And then I'm going to just literally pop on my gemstones. Now, what's great is you can pattern this out. So if I had a beading board and say I had some different coloured beads, or different gemstones or some spacer beads, what I would actually do is um, spacer this out and plan it and plot it almost on a beading tray. I don't have one to hand. Jenny, have you got any spacer beads or anything, do you know? I will have a look. I've got anything I'll coming up. Uh, bum, 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 I'm just bum. trying to, we're just trying to use resources. And this is what you would do if you were at home, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going on the hunt for some... So Jenny's just on the hunt for some spacer beads. But if not, I mean, okay. So I'm looking here, I've got a focal what you would do if you gold sort of daisy spacer bead. Don't worry, Jenny, it's fine. Don't worry. Nothing going on now. No, it's fine, don't worry. Oh, yeah, Jenny, it's fine. Um, I was just saying if you wanted to break it up a little bit, I often wear my um, black jadeite bracelet that's got a, a sterling silver little butter head in it. Um, right. So, you know, if you oh, want to add a focal and also a great, again, sorry, um, just here. Um, I, what I would do is pop on another space, uh, little crimp cover here. Um, this would be great to hide the knot if you wanted to. And what I'm going to do is just I've add probably got on. some spacer beads in here if you need them. Mm. Why don't you have a look? There might be something for you. I'll okay. use this one. It's just an option. Sometimes if you don't want to put, if you don't want to put all of your um, gemstones into the bracelet, to space it out and to sort of preserve your beads a little bit, you can, of course, put spacer beads. You could put um, crimp beads if you wanted to. That would work as well um, to break it up a little bit. Oh, I just found a couple in here. Bear with me one second. Oh, I've got a little... Here are, Jenny. If you want a little... Ah, she's found some. I'm grand. I'm, You're I'm good, all, are you? I'm all good. So you can see I've got a couple of different ones there if you wanted to. Um, or you can just string it on as you go along. Jump rings, again, are great to put into the middle, but the reason I'm not adding any is because I've only got the larger jump rings and I would probably want to go down to about a uh, five or six mil in a diameter jump ring if I was to add that to these. These would just be too big and I will show you how and why that Hello. happens. So if I was to put this on and bring this around and then add this in, you'll see. Yeah, sure there it's just too big and it's just not going to work 
just Nada. sort of jump over them all. So that's why we're not adding that size, but you could add any size that you want. And we're just gonna add all of these on. And at any point, if you're only adding one focal, you can add mm -hmm. this at any point. So I could add this now. I'm gonna add this one just because it's got a large drill hole to it. Which and what means... sort of size are you aiming to finish at, Laura? So we were gonna talk, I was gonna mention this. Um, when you're measuring a um, stretchy bracelet, you often think it might be sort of like, I don't know, it, it, standardly you'd say seven and a half inches. Yeah. But obviously because it's continuous, you actually have to go a little bit bigger because it is a bit oh. like a jump ring. If you think of a jump ring, you've an inside and an outside diameter. Yeah. So the moment you close that up into a solid circle, the inside diameter of this will be smaller no, nothing. than the outside. No audio. So you do tend to have to slightly oversize it just to allow for that. But of course, I just tend to use my wrist as measurement. Um, but yeah, I probably add about one or two uh, gemstones on more than you actually need. Okay, now um, I've added that on there, which is probably the wrong place to add that on because I want to use it to hide the bead. So that's fine. I'm just very quickly going to do this. We're going to bring you this jadeite strand just now. We're going to pop, Ross is going to pop the graphics on. We've only got 40 chances. Both Laura and I are using it. They're Burmese jade, mm. they're totally natural. I've got some white jade in mine, which yeah, gives you a different I have myth and too. legend, which I'm loving. The and colours I are so strange. accidentally dropped that one. <laughs> GXP069, we're both using this. Burmese jade is the most sought after, um, certainly uh, the most lusted after because mm. it, it is the optimum location. Burma, of course, houses some of the best gemstones in the world, and this is no exception. This is a gemstone that's said to be uh, the luckiest it's a gemstone that's said to bless whomever it touches and it's certainly one of my favorites and one that I don't I don't go at the house without le no, without you wearing my jade, jade I'm very superstitious as you know um, I've got a nephrite strand that I keep in my car you know next to my holy water and I keep my Burmese jade on me at all times 1999 is our supposed, we've got an apology to make though, Ross. We're gonna take that price down for you. So, because we've, should, we shouldn't be doing this. Wayne has advised this uh, price on the strand. And actually, to be fair, we know we're not really supposed to drop prices on Burmese Jade unless, you know, Jake or Toby Cavill or Dave Trough are in. Now, we should have ended this at 19.99, but it doesn't sit right with us, not with the glitch, not with the with the lack of cavil time. <laughs> We're going to give you a 30 second clock to get yourself ready. We're going to give you a... Ross is just saying he's going to really, he's going to really apologise. Ross, don't be coming at me with some Bacchus the Wine God style apology. Don't be pouring the juice of your grapes over this deal. I want a really, really strong sorry. Yeah? Is it going to be a strong sorry, Ross? It is. He says he's really sorry, everyone. You're about to see just how sorry Ross is. We're going lower than launch, where they sold 300 of this strand. It's utter lunacy. It's absolutely brilliant. I've made my stretchy bracelet too big. There's only 29 left. Let's go shopping. 12.99. He really is sorry. He's very sorry. Wow. Well done. Wow. Ross, that was amazing. How have you managed that? Because Big Boss Chloe was in. 27 chances. GXP 069. Be making sure, be making sure you're checking out baskets. Otherwise, you definitely... This, okay. 300 of you bought this at launch. And this is a brand new lowest ever price. <laughs> this is it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Lisa in Surrey. Sheila in Suffolk. Elaine. Davina. You've got yours. Marie's got two. But multiply these. You, you're not going to yeah. get the certificate of authenticity, please. I have got a maker in Kentucky. Wow. I mean, can you imagine? Um, you've got, obviously, the new school year is going to start in September. Mm. You've got new, you know, going to uni, going mm -hmm. to college, and so on. Imagine being able to give somebody, um, you know, a close friend or someone you love, a, a jade-like bracelet to say, look, you know, good luck in good your fortune. new venture, good fortune. Yeah. Um, and at that price, well, we've made two bracelets out of this, haven't we? Yeah. So, you know, that's making it effectively, what, £6.50? Exactly. Um, for a bracelet, you wouldn't be able to go and buy that in a shop, would not you? Not a chance, not a chance. So if I want to show you, I've loaded mine up. I'm going to show you now how I would actually finish this bracelet off very quickly. 
Have you got a dab of glue there? No, because you're not going to put glue on it, Kelly. Oh, what am I going to do? But I have got clear nail polish, so you can put some clear nail polish on it. Oh, yes, please. It. We try to avoid glue, just because, especially a, a glue that is super, um, because it can go brittle. Oh, I don't touch that stuff, And then I? that can obviously then cause your elastic to mm. go brittle and break. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've just got this here, I'm going to, now I'm right-handed, so I tend to bring it across, and I'm just going to bring it into a simple knot, okay? And I'm just going to pull that and get a bit of the stretch out. And then I'm going to, so if you watch how I'm doing this, um, and I'll be honest, I learned this, I finally got this technique from the back of the um, elasticity, Elasticity. The, the one that we do because yeah. it has a diagram on it. Because the amount of times I sometimes I'd get it, sometimes I wouldn't, and I couldn't work out why. Go on. So you go across. So I'm going to do this knot. So what I'm going to do is so you can see I'm holding this open like a nice gap here. Yeah. So I'm going to bring that across if I was just going to do one knot, and then I'm just going to grab it and bring it back around again. So it's like a surgeon's knot. Yeah. And then you pull, and that's nice and tight. And then Toby I'm Cavill's not happy about this price, look. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do the same again. So, because I, I like to be double, double sure. So I've got that again. I've just holding that here. So you can see I like to make sure I've got lots of elastic. Um, I'm not fighting then. So again, I'm just going to bring that through the loop once and bring it through the loop again. So it's like a double knot. And then bring that down. Now I'm going to give you a little tip that I've learnt. Because again, when you get to this stage... This is, for me, that moment. And as a guest designer, the amount of times that we make stretchy bracelets... And it goes and the to the chin. Well, the presenter will take it and they go, oh, let me put that on. And my heart is like, oh, is it going to break? So what I do is if I show you up close, um, I haven't cut it yet, but the way I know that I've got that right, can you see I'm pulling that elastic? Yeah. But that knot is not moving. Now, if I pulled that elastic and I hadn't done that correctly, that knot would come undone. So that is my way of knowing that that knot isn't moving. So I have locked that knot in nice and properly. Then what I like to do is take my cutters and I cut it with still a little tiny tail of um, elastic, just a little bit. And then I would put a dab of, of well, you don't have to, but you could put a dab of clear nail polish on. I have a non-branded one here. Oh, you are a love. She's a right sort, this one, isn't she? <laughs> so... <laughs> It's our um, own jewellery maker, but it's not. Um, and then I'm going to put a dab on there. And can you see how I'm holding it open? And then what I would do is I would just wait a little bit for that to dry. Once that's dried, I would just trim down those little ends. Um, and if you've... A, so um, what's good is um, a crimp bead, a crimp cover would go over that. So you could trim that. But hopefully, because I've got this larger sort of spac spacer bead here, I should be able... Do you see how that just disappeared? Obviously, I haven't cut it. And then that would go inside there, and that's completely gone. But if you had a design like this, you can put a uh, crimp bead over the two sides and then obviously over the knot as well. Would you like to borrow my Please, uh, yeah. stuff? I've tucked my tails in my hole. Yeah. Is what I've done. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's it. And that's how quick and easy it is. There you go. You've got a nice, ready to go, pop it straight Love on, it. stretchy bracelet. And I... I'm delighted Easy. I am. I'm just going to cut my tail off now because that tail's come out. I am delighted with the fact that we're both wearing one of the most we're, beautiful yeah. gemstones. I've got mine next to... There you go, Lawsy. I've done Thank one. You. Laura's done one. We're both absolutely delighted. Yep. A gemstone said to give you blessings and good fortune wherever you may go. And it's ready to be in your stash. Ah! Isn't it great to be able to do a stretchy bracelet? We have got the only black Burmese jade in the business in cabochons. Not one, not two, but four of them. Okay, these are super shiny. Now these are the only black Burmese jade that we have and they are ready for rings, I think. Now, black jade, there are different myths and legends behind um, different colors of jade. So I'm gonna talk to you about why you would want black jade in your stash. Black jade here uh, gives you such a huge depth, doesn't it? 
I wonder what happens when we put it on the torch. Can I put it on the torch? Because I feel like Toby Cavill is trying to communicate with me through the power of uh, telepathy and tell me to put it on the torch. Oh, look. I hear you, Toby Cavill. I can hear you trying to get into my mind. Look at that. Isn't it fab? Look at that colour. So if I take it away, it looks totally black. Into the light, you've got that fabulous green. Look at that. Wonderful. So with that said, would you alleviate, would you, would you sort of make sure you're bringing it up so that you can see all of that colour? Would you sort of frame it and lift it upwards? I mean, for me, there's a lot of options, isn't there? You could have it so that, I mean, you've got gallery wire. That's going to keep the back nice and open. You've got sort of, you can create your prong settings. I know that Hayley and both Claire have shown amazing prong setting techniques. Again, keeping that back sort of nice and open. So yeah, definitely. But again, I think if you're going to be wearing it as say a ring, you're going to, it's not going to have that, air, that light coming through it anyway. So I think being set into a ring is going to be a different look, isn't it? But I definitely think there's options to set it any way you want to. Look. All four. Black Jade emanates strong protective energies to ward off negative assault, physical or psychological, including self-limitation, uh, according to the myth and legend behind it. Uh, definitely in rings, and I love, you know, yeah, absolutely, with Hayley Kruger's setting, you could put these, the smaller one in the tube setting for absolute sure. Bezel wire. Uh, this is a, a real collector's opportunity here. If you love your jade, then Burmese jadeite in... Black is at the top of your list of something to own, isn't it? YOP 0912 carats in total, totally natural. Set of four. Here they are. You saw them against that light. So you've got a 1.5 carat, which is seven millimeters. Your eight millimeters is two and a half carats. Nine millimeters, three and a half. So we're jumping up a carat basically each time. And 10 millimeters is four and a half. That gives you a total of 12 carats. 20 pound per gemstone would be a really globally competitive price. You've got four for 79.99 as your first price, but we're not staying there. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're going to give you a better than half price deal. Are you ready for it though? Pay less than 10 pounds a gemstone. You need to, right, okay. Just let me have your attention for a minute. These are going at less than 10 pounds a gemstone. Even if you separate them and sell them on, you could make a profit without even touching them, couldn't you? So this is serious, this is serious. Let's give you 30 seconds. Get yourself sorted, get yourself ready. The only black Burmese jade in the business. Here it is, the clock was playing up then, it didn't want to come out. Ben was like, you will get out. Here it goes, the clock is ticking, which means that in just about 20 seconds time, we're gonna drop the price. So our objective with that clock is to get you ready, is to make sure that you put these in a basket and you're smug. You're feeling smug, you've got yours. You're as smug as Ben over there. Just as smug as you like. <laughs> Just look at him and you think, smug. <laughs> you don't. You think, what a lovely bear of a man. If you fell over, you'd want him to pick you up and go, <laughs> it's all right. £29.99. There are only 28 chances. That's £7.49 a gemstone. Apparently that's one of his duties in his contract. You have to pick up Jenny when she falls over. <laughs> She's short, you're tall. 12 carats, here we go. And Ben. He has to pick up, because he's, our Ben is, 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 he can be very frail. And when he tumbles down, me and Ben, with such wallflowers. Okay, there's loads of you come for that now. Here we go. I'm gonna give you, these little dishes that Laura has are brilliant, we need those. I bet everyone asks you about them. Those I dishes, just love them. Do you know what? I've had them so, so long. They'd be really long. good for us to keep gemstones. They really are. The they're, they're my way of organising. They're brilliant. Now, we're going to give you a little peruse vous of the Grand Didier, right? Now, I know Toby Cavill's watching, so he's 
on the texts, isn't he? So Toby Campbell, we want to know if there's how many wings are there to Toby's house? Is what we want to know. <laughs> what he had Important for lunch. Stuff. What did he have for lunch? Did he go for lobster or did, was it the caviar today? I want to know everything, Tobes. He is at home, isn't he? He keeps changing his background to normal places so that we don't get distracted by the by the Venus by the by the the birth of Venus fountain that's uh, <laughs> in the turning circle in the front of his house. Isn't that right, Tobes? Uh, now, this Grand Diddy Rate's coming up, and this is the one that Toby's going to drop us in price, uh, like, super low. And then we're going to give you some gorgeous rondelles. So Laura's had most of these, haven't you? Yeah, lush. I love them. Oh, it's the colour, isn't it, more than anything? Do you know what? Like I said earlier, it's the first time I've gotten to work with um, Grand Diddy Rate, but Grand Diddy Rate, I can't say it. Um, but it's beautiful. It really is a beautiful, beautiful gemstone. Do you know, we're just blessed with our gems, aren't mm -hmm. we? Here we have now a strand of ruby and sapphire. Now, you know that one of my favourite gemstones in the world is ruby. I love ruby so much. And to twin it with sapphire. How regal could we be? Could oh, we wow. be any more regal? I don't <laughs> think we can. I don't think we can be any more regal. Uh, these are cubes, so they're going to suit really well, like we were saying to you earlier, with the lapis cubes in the little bubble styles. Uh, but these, would, have you got any of the slider bracelet findings? Because wouldn't they be lovely in a section oh, yeah. and then your slider bracelet? I think they'd look gorgeous. So these cubes are super sparkly. They look natural to me, Ross. Could you confirm or deny? Look at that sparkle. They are totally natural. Natural ruby, natural sapphire. Look at these natural colours. Look at that incredible luster from those beautiful facets. This is an absolute sparkler of a strand and two of some of the most beautiful gemstones, the most sought after gemstones, the most collectible gemstones in the world. Both in the crown jewels, highly desirables. That's what these are, aren't they? 38 carats, QSN, V01. Let's give you a super duper price again. And you've got two birth gemstones here. Ruby is July and Sapphire represents September's birth gemstone. Uh, and having it naturally, again, gives you even more to love about it, doesn't it? I love as many natural gemstones as I can get. Nothing wrong with enhancements. It's something that happens in the gemstone world and it's something that is absolutely fine. But to get them natural, it just gives you, it's even more special, isn't it? It definitely is. Look at that. What a sparkle. Earrings, rosary linking, putting them all together, getting lots and lots of uh, texture from your pieces. Mm. I think it, it, these do lend themselves to tassels. They do lend themselves to texture. And they are a, a, a you know, globally recognised gem. So everybody mm. knows a sapphire. Everybody knows a ruby. I don't think you can go far in life without learning what a ruby or a sapphire is. I don't think you, you know, I think it's something we learn as a very young yeah, at a very young age, definitely. Don't we? And, and it's very glamorous, isn't it? What I love about yeah. that is it's kind of like you've got the glamour of, you know, ruby and sapphire, mm. but in a more modern contemporary look as Absolutely, well. So you've yeah. got like the best of both worlds, really, with that. 14.99 QSN V01 is your item code. Ruby and sapphire faceted cubes. And they are beautiful. Head to the web for all the things that we have had today. Get yourself onto our YouTube channel. There's loads of tutorials on there. Uh, so go and have a look on there. We're going to give you next. Golden Sheen Sapphire. Now this is something I haven't seen for a very long time. Golden Sheen Sapphire gives you, well, the clue is in the title. And if you have a look, I'm going to show you the sheen. You can see it, can't you? Look at that sheen. Look, at, you can see it on all of the gemstones at different times when I turn them. And to have that naturally, wow. And, and, and actually, imagine discovering this gemstone. You'd never think it was... You'd never think it was... Um, natural or a sapphire, would you? Totally and utterly natural. £19.99, B-O-V-X, 75, 25 carats of natural uh, sapphire here, 5 by 3 to 8 uh, and a half by 5 millimetres. Lots of you there for this one. Stephen, Elaine, Rachel, you've got yours. Hazel Shopping. 
Oh, I love that. Don't forget you've got a 30 day money back guarantee if you've never used this gemstone before. And do you know what? I would definitely get the certificate of authenticity. Laura, yeah. do you think that's important when I'm selling <coughs> jewelry on? I definitely think it's important. And I think it's really important when you've got a gemstone that isn't a traditional uh, variety of what they know. So if you think of sapphire, you wouldn't think of it to, to look like that. So for me, that gives it more appeal because you've got something that isn't yeah. readily available on the high street or, you know, not something that you could walk in and see anywhere you go. You've got something different, um, but also you need to have that back up to say, yeah. no, this, yeah, this, is, this is Sapphire and there's your certificate of authenticity because of it. Absolutely beautiful deal. Now, I feel like Lord Cavill is ready for us. So we are going to give you... The star bar you've all been waiting for. And we're going to have to give you a bit of an apology price. But I tell you what, Lord Cavill is up after this. Grand Didierite is such a special gemstone and I really want to introduce to you uh, a gemstone expert uh, and somebody who is incredibly passionate about his work. It is the wonderful Lord Cavill, everyone. Lord Cavill, can you hear us? There he is in his manor! Now, I can't hear Lord Cavill, <laughs> but Lord Cavill can hear me. I can lip read though. You said, oh no, I love the hair. Oh no, your haircut looks good. It looks good. The, the mansion is, the manor is on point. It's, it's nice, it's nice. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any of Toby, but we can see his handsome face, look. Uh, so I'm gonna give you the grand idea right whilst we call our team back into uh, the gallery to sort that out. My huge, sincere apologies for this, uh, jewelry makers. Shall we wait until we give this strand? I think we will wait because I, I just really want you to know how special this is from the man himself. Let's give one of the other Grand Didier Wright strands. Um, I've got some, oh, I love this strand, I love this, yeah. A really affordable way of wearing it and it's already shaded for you. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. You've got seed beads in. Look, how specific is this? Seed bead grandidia, right? Now, do you know that we have only got this because of our connection with Gemporia? There's no way in the world our supplier would normally be supplying seed bead grandidia rights to anybody. This is, we're a big customer and we're getting, I'm gonna presume off the back of the COVID situation, uh, we're, we're actually getting to make a demand such as a seed bead for a gemstone that is so, so, so rare and a gemstone that can fetch $25,000 per carat, a gemstone that is number three on the Forbes list, second is Tarfite, first is the red diamond in terms of uh, expense. This is something that is quite remarkable, quite remarkable. Grand Didierite in a form that you can make stacker bracelets out of. Now, there's one thing that I would absolutely tell you you must do if you're buying any Toast. rare gemstone like this from us here at Jewelry Maker, and that is get your certificate of authenticity. It's only 25 pence, but it was worth it if you're going to get your pieces valued. Please welcome to the show, Lord Cavill. Can you hear us? Are we, can, you, can you hear me now? Yes, there you are. Are we OK? We're OK. Of course I've we're come okay. to the... Um... I'm very well. I've come to the West Wing just to ensure that, you know, I was fulfilling your, you know, uh, you know your, your demand. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, the East Wing was a little bit busy this afternoon, but we, I've managed to, you know, move some people out of the West Wing and, um, you know, we're, we're present now. Thank you so much for doing that for us, Toby. Um, now, uh, I know that you, 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 we probably can't see the Monet in the background or the pre-Raphaelites, but they are there. Uh, talk to yeah. us about uh, about this grand gemstone talk to us about grand didier and what makes it so so special not just here at gemporia but the world 
over. It's done things, this gemstone. It's shaken the blanket in terms of, uh, you know, excitement. It's getting us listening. We're watching, we're looking, we're listening for this gemstone. Why? Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, you know, when it comes to a company like Jewelry Maker, you know, companies that are into jewelry making don't normally get the the you know the the ability the opportunity to work with this gemstone now uh, this is one of the rarest gemstones on the planet i've heard you talking about it this afternoon i've been watching you for the last hour and a half and um you know you're completely and utterly right you know after red diamonds after taffite this gemstone sits there and you know the, the amazing thing about this gemstone is it, it comes down to jenny it's, it's chemical composition the lightliness of the occurrence of this um, happening, you know, in present day, in multiple, place, multiple places in the world is very minimal. Mm -hmm. So just in the same chance that me and you go and buy a lottery ticket on a Wednesday night, hoping we're going to win on a Thursday, um, you've got more chance of me or you winning the lottery than this being literally found again anywhere on our planet. Really? So yeah, wow. so when you compare this Madagascar location, you know, this this one area of the world where this comes from, you know, they scientists have already looked into it and you know, like, like I said, me or you are more than more than lucky, more than uh, more we're more likely, sorry, to go and win the the Powerball this weekend. And so you know, it's it's the it's an equation that's probably about this long, and this is where I really like to get geeky. And it has so many different silicates, so many different properties that kind of that, that create this unique kind of uh, you know this unique gemstone. Any deviation from that, you're gonna have a, a different gemstone and a different makeup. But most importantly, as well, you know, this gemstone is 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 completely and utterly um, is is coloured. The saturation comes from iron. So, you know, depending on the amount of iron in it, you'll get more of your blues coming through, more of those seafoam greens coming through. But what's amazing about this, Jenny, is you can go and find material like this with no iron content. That, I mean, most material, we, we never show this on screen. Right? Most material comes out completely and utterly um, white. You know, hardly any material comes out with these blues, with these greens. Now, we're only used to seeing the blues or greens on screen. And again, that's because we want to have the highly saturated iron present pieces but what the iron also does is it adds to the pleochroism of the gemstone and that's why you'll get flashes you'll notice there's a home friend of you that have got it already flashes of these beautiful yellows these flashes of these beautiful kind of reds and again that's only a phenomenon that's found in only one unique gemstone or a few unique gemstones out there now to be in the top list i mean to be you know, to be compared to the likes of red, you know, red diamonds and taffite is like me being compared to, you know, the likes of, you know, the biggest, uh, you know, celebrities out there. Although, you know what I mean? It's 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 just the biggest compliment that you can possibly have. Now, the the fact of the matter is, is the only reason we are working with this material is because of our connections out there. But simply at Jewelry Maker, it's because of the uh, work that they are doing at Gemporia. I mean, I, I've put a couple of pieces into 18 karat gold. Jake works very closely, um, you know, with this material. And what it allows us to do is when we're cutting this material, because we're getting this rough and raw, we're then able to come up with different ways and different means of you guys at home getting this gemstone. If it was the other way around, you know, if we were just buying for jewelry maker and we were just going to do this, the prices you would be seeing would be astronomical. It's because we are working together as a team rather than Gemporia basically taking out all the material and then potentially selling off, you know, any of the other material that we wouldn't be using or we didn't need to utilize or rather than holding on to it, we can actually then go, you know what, we can bring it to our jewelry makers. So, you know, it, not only we bring you the third rarest gemstone on the planet, not only you're getting these beautiful saturated colors, but today what we are going to do for you is we are going to do some of the most amazing prices. I mean, the biggest ever specimen of this uh, ever found was like 78 carats. It's not easy to find big, big carat weights of this gemstone. Now, if you compare that with the world's biggest, you know, the world's biggest tanzanite found, it's like a tenth of the size. So, you know, we're talking about two what real, realistically, one real, one mine locations when it comes to gemstone quality. But the fact today, okay, that we are going to bring you 30 carats in a strand, you know, these carat weights are just unheard of in this caliber of gemstone. And when you're talking about a $20,000 carat uh, gem, you know, it's just ultimate luxury for our jewelry makers out there, right? When you come to Jewelry Maker to find unique jewelry, to find unique gemstones, to make your jewelry making unique, but also 
get it affordably. And I don't think realistically, there are many better gemstones that our jewelry makers can really kind of get hold of uh, than this gemstone we are bringing here today. I agree. I, I just think this is such a unique opportunity. And let's go back to what Toby was saying about a lot of white appearing in um, a lot of pieces that are offered. There's no Grandidia white on this strand. Have a look. There is none. It is all, as you can see, completely colourful. Some of these pieces really standing out with the saturation of colour. And we've got opportunities here to take these and, and, and really do something special. And again, I cannot tell you how important it is to please make sure you get a certificate of authenticity the reason i say that is because this is such a rare thing to own this is such a rare treasure to have in your possession that people might not believe you if you've got the certificate of authenticity you've got your proof this is what I'm saying it is. So if you want to go and have it insured, or you want to get it valued, and I think you have a big fat smile on your face when you do do those things, then you've got that in place. If you don't do that, it's incredibly expensive to have your gemstones analyzed to then get that, uh, that nod, that tick, that yes, this Jenny. is what they're saying it is. Yes, darling. Can I, you know what, um, obviously we had a few technical issues. I, I think it probably, most importantly, probably was the Wi-Fi around this place. It's a nightmare, you know, spreading well, Wi-Fi. I know, a, I bet you know, you've got some of those. square yeah. kilometers within a house. And what um, all those old so, plug sockets. So what I'm actually doing now, Jenny, is, I mean, obviously we're going to be doing some amazing things with the Star By, as you've been talking about here today. But I want to, obviously I'm not there with Ross, I'm not there in the studio. Um, so what I just wanted to let you know is, you know what we plan to go to? Well, I'm going to be going l even lower than that here today. Reason oh, being, I know we have caused a few technical pro um, kind of problems. I say we, uh, I, I guess it's me. It's your uh, haunted mansion. Yeah, it is, you know, um, but what can you do? You know, it swings and roundabouts, as we say. But most importantly, for all you guys at home as well, Jenny, and just to set the expectation of Ross, more importantly, who's producing, we're going to be going even lower with this today. So just, uh, just Ross, just a little heads up on that. OK, well, let's get uh, the graphics in ready for our wonderful customers to shop for this very exclusive treasure. 10% of the stock has gone on pre-order. We are going to give you a huge opportunity to own a whopping 37 carats of grandidiorite. They're top drilled, they're fasted drops, they're easy to use, but they're also, they're also going to add something really different to the boast that is your jewellery collection already. If you are selling your jewellery on, there are going to be very, very few other jewelers or jewelry makers that are going to be able to offer this gemstone to their customers there are some of the world's best jewelers that do not have this gemstone that's why it's so important that you get that certificate of authenticity because people are not going to believe you they don't know that you've got a connection here with us at gemporia you've got that connection we don't know how long this kind of deal is going to last we don't know how long this is going to go on how long can we continue giving you gemstones that are cut like this the world wants this this gemstone and the world after lockdown will get it. I mean, Jenny, I would say I'd, I'd correct you there a little bit and say, you know, you said most of the you know, world's biggest jewelers don't have, the, uh, you, know, you know, only a few of them have this gemstone. Yeah. I would say 99% of the world's biggest jewelers don't have this yeah, gemstone. I agree. Um, and um, you know, out there as well, you know, as many of you, you've seen me over the years, you've seen me working with, again, I, I like to say it because I'm proud of it, you know, world record gemstones, you know, world record appetites, world record tantalites, world record sphinx, spheralites, you name it, I've been there in my history. But before coming to the Gemporia group, I'd never had the chance of working with this caliber of gemstone. And I think that really should show our customers at home that this little section of the marketplace that Gemporia put themselves in, Jenny, you know. Now, should we get down to a little bit of action? Let's get down because to the business, shall we, Tobes? Let's get down to business right now. Um, as Five once said, um, let's go. Okay, so this piece right here, you're getting 37 carats of grand idea, right? Look at the sizes of those individual pieces. You can see the blues, you can see the greens. Now, what I'm going to do here today, okay, 
is we're going to go in three stages. What I'd like Ross to do is I would like Ross to go on screen to the lowest price point that this strand has ever been to in its history. Okay, so we're going to start with the lowest price we're we've gonna, ever we're seen gonna... this strand for. It's yeah. never been lower than the price we are about to put on your screens just now. For 37 carats of beautiful Grandidia, right? Such a rarity, such a treasure. At 149.99, but with a split payment today for 37.49, you can get this home. No checks done. All we ask is that you have a debit card or a credit card registered to a UK account. You can get Grand Didier right for 37.49. This yeah. is the sort of gemstone strand you would expect only Indiana Jones to have his hands on. That's the sort of hoops we have to uh, go through. This is really? honestly, it really is a treasure. It's something uh, I mean, that. Jenny, put it this way as well, you know, I've been wanting to work with this material in 18 karat gold for the last two years that I've been at Gemporia. I've only put two pieces, right? Two pieces into 18 karat gold of this material. To have 37 carats in front of you right there, you know, and those pieces in 18 karat gold were going for like, you know, uh, two grand, two and a half grand, something like that. To have 37 carats is amazing. Now, what I would like Ross to do is I would like, I'm gonna to go to my originally planned prize before the West Wing got in, you know, got involved. So what I'd like to do is I'd like Ross to take another, I'd like you to take this down to £119.99. Now that today, Jenny, is where we should have been finishing. You know more, that more than anyone. Okay, so we're gonna take it down to the price that we already promised you, Toby, was gonna to give us that brand new low. 119.99, but Toby, that's uh, not where you're stopping. That is not where we're gonna be stopping here today. And Ross, I know you can't hear me and uh, well, we're not in communicado, so I'm not gonna be able to uh, judge just uh, how much you judge me just on what I'm about to do when it comes to price today. But for our customers out there, Jenny, just as a quick heads up to all of you, including Ross and, uh, and, and, and our director today, we're gonna to be taking this strand here today, not just to 119.99, we're gonna be taking this under 100 pounds for the first time ever. So you're gonna be getting a minimum of 49 pounds saving within this auction today. Are you all right with that, Rock? Now, normally Toby would be here and they'd be communicating. Toby's not here. The ghosts of the West Wing, they just, uh, they, they, they got involved. We've got a minute, Toby. There is a one minute clock on. We're at about 50 seconds. We're giving everybody a warning. Already you're taking this home. Over four split payments of 29.99 today. And I've got to let you know that guest designer De Bruges, of course, has got hers. Sophia has got two. Sonia, maker of Bristol, two. Yorkshire, Jackie, Susan, Catherine, Jean. I've got loads of you there. Now, Jenny, let's clarify, okay, that this is Madagascar material here today. This is all natural material. A lot of people are gonna see this price and they're gonna go, how? Okay, how is this physically possible? Has this now been heated? Is this now from a, a from a, an, another location, uh, you know, from the Madagascan legendary material? No, this is that legendary Madagascan material, you know, originally found in 1902. And of course, all of our material is 100% natural. Today, ladies and gentlemen, as you're seeing for the first time on your screens ever, less than 100 pounds, Grandidiorite is yours. Oh my goodness gracious me, Toby, I'm just hearing in my ear lots of screams, lots of bleep words, and he's only going to take a bleeping third off the price. £99.99, <laughs> £50 lower than it's ever been before, £24.99 on four split payments. Go now and get yourself one of the rarest gemstones, one of the most expensive gemstones in the world, third on the Forbes list for the most expensive gemstone in the world. Go and look it up, go and give it a Google, $24.99. It seems like, you know, we're talking about the world's most expensive gemstone and it is, you know, it sits in there number third place. You can see that I sent Ross some Grand Didierite pricing. I was looking mm -hmm. at buying some Grand Didierite recently from a friend of mine in Thailand. This is the pricing that I was provided. You know, you can see there, Jenny, it's not so big on my screen, but if you could just read out those prices for customers, you can see that that is the reality of like, Three months ago. Okay, so one carat, two thousand to four thousand US dollars. Yeah. One and a half, four thousand five hundred, uh, five thousand and five hundred. So it goes all the way up to three and a half carats, four yeah. th between four thousand um, to twenty twenty thousand. Um, so it's saying, you know, this is this is just, I mean, gosh, look how now, many carats we've got, and we're at how much a carat at this price? 
£2.70 a carrot at this it's, price? It's it's ridiculous, Jenny. This is only possible because of the way in which you work. Now, customers at home might be saying, well, Toby, you're saying this is so rare and you were saying that you haven't been able to buy and work with this material before. So how have you got a price list? Well, that, ge that gentleman that sent me that price list is probably one of the wealthiest men in Thailand, certainly the biggest gem dealer that you can find in Thailand. So if anyone's going to have it, it was that gentleman right there. And that's why he is so prestigious in the world of gemstones. And even a gentleman as close to that, I mean, that right there isn't just your standard, you know, a guy that I met in the street and he's sending me a list of pricing. This is a friend of mine. This is a guy I've known since I was like 14 years old. And so it really shows you, you know, that's more, more mates rates. Never, ever would I show you a price list like that normally on screen. I'm showing you that because it, even for me, you know, setting it into jewelry, those prices just simply aren't possible. I can't be consistent with the gemstones that we've provided and what we're doing on screen here today. So why would I bother? Well, indeed, you know, this isn't something that is globally an acceptable price for Grandidia, right? Whether you're going to keep these, whether you're going to sell them on straight away, make sure you get that certificate of authenticity. Toby has spent many, many years building up relationships. He moved to Thailand. He learned the local, uh, the, the language. He, you know, and, and that is something that he's spent a long time doing. We're getting the benefit of that education that he gave himself, that trip, that experience. We are the ones benefiting from that right now. Thank you so much to Toby Cavill for giving us such a ridiculously low price for Grand Didier, right? A Good globally luck. competitive. I mean, Toby, if there's jewelers watching now from across the globe, they'd be stood with their mouths open, wondering what on earth was going on. Why, why are we doing this for Grand Didier, right? Well, What's this is going what on? How? This is what we can do, you know, because, I mean, look, it, it, it just comes down to Jamporia's stature in the gemstone world. To be getting deals like this across the line, to be getting this kind of material is simply amazing. Most jewelers, Jenny, out there will have never even heard, even heard of this gemstone, primarily because of its rarity. Yeah, but what you do. have to understand is that we have a huge advantage here at Jewelry Maker. So when we're bartering, when we're trading for gemstones, when we're looking to get assets like this, we also have a huge chest of gemstones that we know other people want to get their hands on. Yeah. So just as 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 as, as, mu as much as we want to get our hands on Grandidia, right? We know that out there there are people that have Grandidia, right? That want to get Sarite, that want to get natural purple sapphire, that want to get our lapis, that want to get our our Burmese uh, nephrite, you know, our jade. You know, mm -hmm. so when it comes to trading this, we are able to do things that most people aren't able to do there, and we can provide people with something. Cash to all gemstone guys isn't always that useful if you can provide them with an asset and especially at affordable price especially when you're trading a gemstone like this it's far more valuable to them than just having cash in hand well indeed i've got to tell you toby we are very limited stock less than 10 percent of the stock available and we are over allocated which means there's far more in baskets than we have uh, remaining two more strands i'm going to give you the smooth rondelles just now and we've got for you 28 carats, big stones. And I think these are ideal for putting in necklaces and bracelets. Please don't forget that with any Grand Didier Wright purchase, to, was it just the drops to win Laura's? Or is it, yeah, the drops, if you just bought them, you're in with a chance of winning Laura's jewelry. A winner will be picked at random. Now, these are rondelles. And Toby, if you're making jewelry, it couldn't be simpler. This could just be made directly into a necklace or you could use it in sections for things like slider bracelets, use it as a, a bracelet in, in, in its entirety and then perhaps some left over for some earrings. It's going to be very difficult to, again, I've got to tell you, you must get that certificate of authenticity. I cannot stress how important it is because if you go and Google Grand Didierite jewellery, you are met with very few pieces available across in the entire world. Grand Didierite is a gemstone that you just don't see often. Look at the you colors there, Jenny. You will walk into Tiffany and & Co and see a whole collection, will you, Tobes, of Grand Didierite? You're not gonna see a sausage of Grand Didierite in Tiffany & Co. And I could challenge people to walk into a thousand different jewelers here in the UK. You're not gonna be able to see this gemstone. Such is the rarity of it. But look at the colors that you are getting in that strand right mm. there. Now, once again, Ross, what I'm gonna do, we've got 28 carats here. So what I would like to do, I'm gonna continue on with a bit of apology. 
is I would like you to start this auction. Okay, this has only been shown on screen two times before. But what I'd like you to do today, Ross, is let's start our auction at the finishing price of the of, of where we were in the last section. So let's finish. Let's start this here today at under a hundred pounds. Okay, so I'm going to match the price of that last strand that we showed you, but we are not going to be finishing there. You are getting indicolite blues through to Brazilian emerald greens. You are getting, in terms of jewelry making here, just obviously this is grandidia, right? It's extremely rare, but let's have a look at the color tones that you are getting in there. You are potentially getting in there your black jade, your uh, aquamarines, your emeralds, you know, so your, your beautiful, beautiful appetites coming through. It really provides you a huge base of color here. Now, what I'm going to do here, Jenny, is, I mean, I was originally planning on just taking 20 pounds off the price, giving everyone, you know, this was 79.99. Um, and I'm actually, you know, you might think I'm talking to you here, Jenny, but actually subliminally, I'm just talking to Ross. Uh, so we're not going to be going to 79 pounds 99 on this. Um, and what I'd like to do is Wait, I'd like you're to gonna go lower to than. The lowest You're price point lower ever than been to. It's going to go lower than 79.99. So you previously saw this on screen, okay? And I'm going to take this now to the lowest price point you have seen on screen. Okay. And Toby, why are we doing these crazy deals today? Why are we well, doing uh, this? Well, I originally planned to do some great deals on Grandview, right? Just because. Like you said, I like to come and bring you exceptions at Jewelry Makers, something that's going to make your jewelry making as fun as possible, as unique, as rare, as the, to add the most USPs to your jewelry. That's what I'd want if I was a jewelry maker. Now, what we're going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is look, this time, last time this was on air, okay, it just squeezed to about 80 pounds. Today, though, what I'm going to do for you is I'm not even going to take a 10 pound off. I'm going to take off more than 10. I'm going to take every individual pound of this out here today. And if you want to own Grand Did You Right, now is going to be your opportunity. Just brace yourself, though, Jenny, because we're not going to 79 here today. We're not going to go to 69.99, but I'd like Ross to take this to 67 pounds 99 here today, if the system so well let him do it. Uh, I embarrassed myself last week when I took something a bit too low, but I'm hoping that Ross uh, can take this to 67 pounds 99. And jewelry makers out there, today is your day to own Grand Indy right at that price. Well, I tell you what, don't forget, we've also got split pay on the screen and our system will automatically add the split pay, even though we're taking the price down. £22.66 today and you get to own one of the world's most expensive gemstones. This is Grand Diddy, right? If you want to pay the 67 99 all in one go, you can. But if you want to split the cost, then of course it's interest free, fee free. We do not charge you to spread the cost at all. All we ask is that you've got a debit card or credit card registered to a UK address. For the answer is yes, you can take split pay. H -U USF91. Here comes Marie and Judith and Dawn, Lynn and Sally and Diane, Catherine and Sarah in Dorset, Hazel. You've got yours. Richard shopping, so is John. Uh, at 2266, Sophia in North Yorkshire, you've got yours. HUSF91. This is and an amazing opportunity. Please make sure you're checking out baskets. Please, for me, make sure you get that certificate of authenticity. People won't believe you've got what you've got. It's like winning the absolute lottery of gemstones here in terms of what you've got in your collection. People will not believe it. Get your certificate. This is a rarity. It isn't something that happens every day. And it is a fantastic deal. HUSF 91, 67 99. I just hear Ludicrous. Toby is moving from one room to the other in his medieval mansion. Jean in Cardiff, you've got yours. Sally in Suff Sussex, you've got yours. Uh, so, Toby, you jo we're joining you from a different wing of your house, I'm just hearing. Yeah, I tried to make my background... Um, it's not your background, you know, it's your uh, mansion, like a, isn't it? A crazy price sign, um, oh. but um, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't it work. Didn't, okay, it didn't, okay. So I've just, I've just moved into another room instead. Life was easier. But um, just congratulations to, to all of you that are getting involved with these here today. Um, you know, if you want opportunities to own Grand Didier, right, you know, I, I've really genuinely tried to try to put myself in your 
position, ladies and gentlemen. And as I know, there are so many of you avid jewelry makers out there. I know that the difference between normal jewelry and exceptional jewelry making is in that gemstone, obviously the way in which you make your jewelry, but also the plethora of gemstones that you can put into your pieces of jewelry. And let's talk about, you know, in terms of rankings that you have jewelry that you're putting into the ore. Uh, you know, you, let's play, you know, as I always like to play, Jenny, you know, you, we play top trumps with your jewelry makes, right? This right here is going to trump when it comes to rarity. Yes. When it location when it comes to color when it comes to price it just has everything you could possibly want it and, absolutely um, has uh, hasn't it it is like a top trump you're absolutely right if you're if your jewelry fellow jewelry makers are gambling people you've maybe we'll, maybe we'll name the next show top trumps with toes i think that's what we should do we should all go around a table and we'll have our gemstones in our pockets and you know hardness Boom. there we'll go yeah locations <laughs> a little bit of poker maybe now. who knows we have got such a sparkly strand. This is love. Oh, now, Toby, is it is it ordinary to have faceted grandidiorite? Is that an everyday occurrence? It's not ordinary to have grandidiorite, Jenny. <laughs> okay. That's like so, saying, is it ordinary for my alien to wear a skirt? Yeah, exactly. It's like you stepping out of your house, you know, and instead of seeing your little chickens, you, you're seeing like a, a velocir, you know, a, a velociraptor or something like that, and you're I mean, saying, I am a hallucinator, Toby, so it wouldn't be the first time. But well, there you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so to find grandidiorite itself is rare. Now, what we are trying to do with the faceting, because we are high, the quality is high with this material, you can see the iron content in there. Mm. You can see the range of colors within that piece there. And you, they're almost a, like a hombre of colors working to the, the deeper colors as you get central within that strand. But basically, uh, the more iron content you've got in it, the more pleochroism you can tend to get. So you see there, Jenny, how you're seeing bit flashes there of yellow. You see how pieces yeah. are, are slightly yellowy green? Yeah. That's because we faceted them, and that's pleochroism that you're seeing in the light box there. That's what this gemstone can do. And this is what, remember, if we, at the start of the show, I was talking about it. You know, some this specimen, when it's, it has that iron quality and that iron quantity, will give you pleochroism. And that's where you'll find these beautiful, beautiful flashes of yellows, flashes of green. And um, yeah, it's just it's named pleochroism. So anyone that's looking to research it here today, learn about it. Google grandidiorite and pleochroism, and you'll learn all about that. Now. People, I, I know everyone at home now, Jenny, is thinking, OK, so Toby's done some great deals on the first two pieces here today. What are we going to be doing on this third strand, right? Yeah. Uh, well, what I wanted to do um, during the show is obviously I wanted to take the first strand to 119.99. The second strand should have gone to 99.99. But as you can see, the increments of those have, have come down already. What I also wanted to do with this strand was basically take it under 50 pounds for you to be completely and utterly say that again for me toby i couldn't quite hear you what under i wanted what? to do with this strand is i re i wanted to deliver it you at under 50 pounds here today that's what i thought you said yeah so we the first one was one night was you know 119 the second strand should have gone to 99 then i wanted to take one to kind of under 50 pounds as kind of you know the the, the boom shakalaka of the show as it were um but what we're going to be doing again is actually I'm going to go straight down on this. I'm going to go straight down to a price. Again, jewelry makers out there, if you want to get access, if you were, you know, in the last auction seeing that at 99 or 79 thinking, oh, it's just about outside of my, you know, price range. Well, in this auction, we are going to put this right into your price range. So what we should do, Ross, let's go to four, let's go to our let's go to our 49.99 price point, okay? Because that's honestly where I should be going here today. We should be finishing at 49.99. Stop. We didn't discuss this. 49.99, and you're going to take it lower. Yeah. It's actually really fun being in my own house, Jenny, because uh, I can, I've got no one looking at me funnily through windows or people shouting at me through my ears. Um, and uh, well, I'm, 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 I'm isolating as well. She's lovely. Now, what's key about this, okay, is um, let's have a look at the carrot weight. Let's have a look at the color. Let's have a look at the quality of these pieces. Have a look at the carrot weight. This is 45 carats you are mm -hmm. getting here. You have only ever seen this strand on screen two times before. This, are... isn't, this is crazy. I don't know what's gone on here. I feel like we've been convinced into doing something we absolutely shouldn't be doing. Not well, for the first well, time, Toby. I'm, I'm re <laughs> well, Jenny, um, you know, it's a bit of a manic time at the moment. There's all sorts going on, and we're going to add to the craziness right here, right now. So 
Instead of going to 49.99 here today, and congratulations to all of you that are that are already uh, jumping into the auction. I can't see who you are, but I'm sure you're already flooding in there. I want to warn you just before I go to this price. There are only 70 chances left of this strand. Right. When you see what I'm going to do, Jenny, this is going to be the most affordable price per carat of Grand Didierite beads we have shown you. As you can see, we these are still natural, still Madagascan material, still faceted. I've got pleochroism. I can't believe you're even taking that price down and we've got split pay on it. I think um, the that split price pay is, is good enough, Toby, that we've got a lot of people already checked out and happy. Happy at that price because they could go and get this valued and walk away, you know, absolutely even more delighted with themselves. You're, you're up right. The today. You're right. You're completely right. And you know what? Forty nine ninety nine is already ludicrous. Mm. I mean, you guys can see the carrot weight. You can see the price. It's mm. absolutely ludicrous. But ah. we are going to go wild here today. So what I'd like Ross to do is, Ross, you are going to take this to less than a pound a carrot within this auction. Oh, now. We are, we are going to take this to 88p a carrot, and we are going to finish here today at under 40 pounds for 45 carrots of natural faceted Grand Hang on a minute. I think this is the biggest carrot weight so far, right? Is it? Is that the true? Biggest, yeah, biggest and thus the best price per carrot you're going to see on your screens. It's the last strand. OK, I don't know why he's doing it, but he is. And I, I can only say a huge, huge well done to everybody who's got involved in this one and seen this opportunity for what it is. Again, cannot tell you strongly enough, get your certificate. You'll regret it if you don't get that certificate of authenticity. It's 25 pence. What are you doing, Tobes? <gasps> Today? What am I doing now? Yeah, we are going to less than four to less than... <laughs> Less than 90p a carat, 88p a carat, 45 carats, natural, Madagascan, Grand Didierite, 39.99. Your man's gone mad, everyone, 39.99, but not just that. Split pay of 19.99. Yeah. You get to own a gemstone today. That is the third rarest gemstone in the world, according to the Forbes list. Carol's there, smart shopping for Janet, John, Christine, Leslie, Margaret, Sonia, Lynn with two. Well done, Lynn. Rhea, you've got yours. Penny, Norma takes two. Marie, you've got yours. Jackie in Suffolk, June, John. They're followed by Catherine. Catherine, sorry, and Sally in Suffolk. Sarah in Staffordshire joins the queue. So does Melanie, Melanie in Buckinghamshire. Now is the time to be checking out your baskets. We are, of course, limited stock. This is, of course, an absolutely nuts deal. This deal, Big Ben, is more nuts than a squirrel's tummy. tummy. Than a more nuts than a squirrel's tummy in this price. KZDO well, 53. This is what isolation does to you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, I, I, and that's my excuse today to anyone who's going to question what I'm doing. But like I said again, you know, this is this isn't just an opportunity. This is an opportunity to earn the third mm. rarest and expensive gemstone per carat on our planet. I know our jewelry makers love that USP. I love. I know our jewelry makers love this color. I know our jewelry makers are certainly going to love this price. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to get this home today, not for $39.99, but for less than 20 Jenny. It's awesome. Uh, we're seeing brand new buyers here, Toby, as well. Welcome to Welcome. Shopping with Gemporia. This is uh, not an everyday occurrence, so you've joined us at the right time. Uh, Margaret, you've got yours. Janet takes two. Darlene and Paul and Sally in Sussex. I need you to check out your baskets just now. We are limited stock. This was always going to be one of those literally fly by the seat of its pants deals. 39.99, split the cost, 19.99 on split pay. Anybody can, uh, can, can be put forward for split pay. It's not about checks. Uh, it's just whether you've got a debit card or a credit card registered to a UK account. KZP053 is your item code. Leslie Ann joins us from Rhonda. Uh, Sussex, you need to check out your basket, Greater London Town. Uh, there's a lot of collectors here, and I don't blame you. Again, let me just tell you the importance of, of adding just 25 pence. That's the difficult of authenticity to your order. It's so important, and it comes in a card that way. And that way, when you go to get these valued, you've got that backup there. Now, we're going to continue on with Toby. That's yes, it for so the Grand Didier, right? We don't have any more Grand Didier, right? But we are going to continue bringing you the bouge. So, I have got here 
You've got some blue sapphires there, Jenny. Some Jenny's. blue sapphires, some very bougie blue sapphires. And they are well, four by four. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess you, in your in your kind of vocab, Jenny, we can call these kind of bougie Burmese blues. Absolutely. Uh, right here. Absolutely. Um, they are just so beautiful, Tobes. And, you know, the Burmese blue is what was made for... You know, you, we, we know about Ceylon or Sri Lankan blues, don't we? But yeah. to get a Burmese blue, talk to us about, you know, the rarity, the, because any gemstone from Burma is a delight. When we're talking yeah. about a precious gemstone. I mean, you know, I think the, th the thing with Burmese blue sapphires is this is, this is a, these are extremely rare gemstones. So um, one, you know, one of the luxuries that I have of working within the gemstone world, and one of the main things that I didn't realize at the time, but when I was growing up in Thailand, was the education of, in the sapphire world that I got. You know, the city that I was living in was, uh, you know, 90 percent, 85 to 90 percent of the world's sapphires came through that little marketplace that I lived, Jenny. So every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I go and get on my scooter and go down to the gemstone market and, you know, get myself some duck noodles. And then I go and get oh, an update. Duck noodles. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Fabulous. Uh, oh, I recommend it. Recommend it uh, to anyone. Um, and uh, what's name? It's called Kuitiao. So it'd be a Kuitiao Pet in Thai. Um, but... Uh, that, that's that's completely against the point. The, the fact of the matter is, is that in those hours, so on a Friday, I'd sit there probably between midday and four. On a Saturday, I'd probably do, you know, 11 until four, something like that. And Sunday, probably just 12 until three, something like that. So every week I was spending probably, you know, 14, 15 hours, uh, you know, in that gemstone market. And at that time, I got to see every market update you could imagine, Jenny. Any new sapphire, any new ruby, any new deposit of anywhere that had come to the marketplace. Now, the frequency of seeing Thai material, Indian material, American material, uh, you know, African material was, 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 was my normal kind of day looking at sapphires. I'd probably have to go through probably about 10,000 carats of either the, 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 the Indian, the African, the Thai, the American material before I come across any of this Burmese material. And the simple reason behind that is not a lot of this material makes it out of Burma into Thailand. It's extremely hard to find this gemstone from Burma that has this color tone. But the unique thing about this, Jenny, and why I wanted to bring it to you here today, is these are all 100% natural stones. It's amazing but that the color saturation here in a sapphire is totally natural. And these yeah. really are very mesmeric blues. You look at them, they take your breath away. This is what a sapphire should look like, isn't it? This kind of true, deep, expensive, elegant blue. You're getting two of those gorgeous ovals and you're getting four cushions. Now this is an yeah. opportunity for those jewelers that purchase from us and mm -hmm. you get your certificate with these, so you don't need to add them. I'll give you a little, um, I'll show you what our certificates for authenticity look like. They come even with the QR code and they come with all the information. You get uh, one for the, um, for the cushions and you get one for the ovals. Unfortunately, the ovals weren't sent over to me, but I do have the cushions. And I've got to say the color is undeniably mesmeric. So, yes, Jenny, in terms of the marketplace right now, um, you know, Burmese rubies, you know, mm. uh, sorry, well, sapphires, know, yeah. represent, represent uh, of what we have seen at Gemporia, less than 1% of what we have ever shown you. The only reason that we can show you this here today is because of Jake and Dave and Steve going to this location going and buying directly from this individual location. And, you know, like I said, finding this naturally only adds to the value of what you are getting yeah. here today. 100%. If these have been heated, I'd understand, Jenny, that, okay, we've got an evenness of color across all of those kind of six pieces. But to get six pieces like this that are natural is just absolutely and utterly crazy. They are renowned for their beauty. They're renowned for their splendor. And you can see that on your screen. The only variable of what we're going to do for you here today, though, is we are going to do something amazing. Because 
again, for this kind of carat weight, you know, for these kind of color matching, you should be looking at around, I would say, 399 pounds a carat, 450 pounds a carat, something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. making a parcel like this close to, you know, eight or 900 pounds. But what we can do for you here today is show you the power of going directly to this location. There are only a few companies worldwide that have been there. These are from Magok. Uh, there was also some beautiful star sapphires that come from this location, one of the rarest sapphires in the world. And as, as opposed to going to like 799 here today, 699, 599, what I'd like us to do, if possible, Ross, is I'd like us, and you might be think we're gonna be finishing here. Let's go under 100 pounds. Can we go to, can we start at 99, 99, Ross? Is that possible? And then I'm gonna have one swift movement as a finishing price. Okay, let's do it, says Ross. WHXC50. Now, you're getting six individual solitaires. Now, even at this price, for natural Burmese solitaires, there are six of them. That's only £16.66 yeah. per gemstone. We are already blowing the global market out of the water uh, in terms of competitiveness. We are being probably the most competitive we could possibly ever be at that price. But, yeah. Toby, it appears you're not done there. No, no. Uh, how, does this sound a bit funny to you? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you a bit of information here, Jenny, because I know you like this, right? This, this, these, these sapphire, uh, these rubies and sapphires from this location, as they're produced in a similar location, they're one of the youngest sapphires on the planet, actually, um, to, to to form, and and, that, and they date back between like 450 to 750 million years ago. You know, this is one of the youngest sapphires that you can find out there. I find that just mesmerizing. You know. Uh, the fact that we've got these here today, of course, you've got the durability alongside them. Now, 99.99, thumbs up for that kind of carrot weight. But we've been do shaking, you know, been making earthquakes, tremors throughout Jewelry Maker all afternoon. So, Ross, let's let's take this 20 pounds lower here today. Let's give everyone 20 pounds off this price, the last place they saw this on screen for, and let's give them a serious opportunity again about for taking their jewelry collection to the next level. Today, you're going to get Grand Didierite. You're going to get natural Burmese blue sapphire in your collections. $79.99 or $26.66 yeah. today on Split Pay. Absolutely incredible. You've got six gemstones total here. What's that per gemstone then, Ross? Uh, 11 pounds, something like that. 12 pounds? 13.33, I'm just hearing in my ear, per gemstone, which is absolutely... It's as mad as a dog out the bath, isn't it, that price? Absolutely not a Bear price we associate with yeah. Burmy. Any, any gemstone that comes out of Burma, to be fair. Okay. Jenny, bear in mind, right, that I could take you to the Chanterbury gemstone market right now. You know, we could sit there and we, we would have people coming up to us immediately if we had a parcel like this, simply because it's Burmese material. You know, this material has been mined for a long time. And it, like I said, very rarely, very rarely mm -hmm. comes out of Burma. So, again, collectors out there, echelons of the top echelons of the sapphire world. Congratulations. Yeah. And natural. They are totally natural, straight out of Burma, straight out of Burma. Yeah. Now, which number, sorry? And we're going to give you some ruby just now. Pink sapphire ruby, tell me the difference, Tobe. Okay, um, well, obviously, you've got a colour. Um, you've got a colour variation between your pink sapphires and your rubies, but you've also got beryllium in there as well. So it's beryllium that gives you the ruby. It's the, def the de defined point between the sapphire and the ruby as well. Um, but as you can see right this here, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, the colour, the purity, the size of these, Jenny, for me, are the most magnificent part. The way they emit the light, the way how you've got every individual colour between the within that strand, if you know what I mean. They're very subtle variances in colour, but you can see just how much of a variance you get actually when you take them off individually. Now, um, I just want to obviously, when it comes to sapphire, Jenny, uh, I'm, I'm like the biggest kind of fan in the world, right? And um, this material right here actually is a heated material. So it's not natural material, but that is completely and utterly normal from this location. Now, these pink sapphires, like I said, aren't just one of the biggest carat weights you're going to find in a strand in our business, but everyone have been faceted to perfection. And what I love about these, Jenny, is you see every piece, every individual facet gives you almost a different shade of color as, you, as it works around the wheel. 
It does. It, uh, very feminine, utterly beautiful. You've got a real depth of colour here as well, Tobes. There's 30 carats of pink sapphire. And this, again, in turn, is, is a, a collector's gemstone. It's just beautiful. I love my rubies, and these are out of pink sapphire that has more of a ruby tone, like it's going towards the ruby tones. That's my particular preference because I feel like it's a very elegant, very expensive looking pink. So for me, this is definitely my preference when it comes to those those sapphire pinks. Well, you know, pink, pinks at the moment, Jenny, as you know more than anyone, you know, are, are in huge demand. You know, finding pink gemstones anywhere uh, yeah. are, is in demand right now. It doesn't matter the location, it doesn't even matter the gem at some points. People are just trying to get their hands on these beautiful pinks. Now you will see here that you are getting, I mean, to, to get yourselves in one parcel, this kind of carrot weight is, is, is simply phenomenal, okay? But today what I'm gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, is we are gonna show you what's possible when you have got, you know, someone who has been at, at the Sapphire kind of location of the world. Um, so we're just gonna go straight down here, Jenny. We're just gonna go straight to a rock bottom low on this. I don't think a lot of people are gonna be able to get their hats on, to be honest, at what I'm gonna do. but. As you've heard me say many times before, you know, I went to this country. It wasn't just to lie on beaches and, 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 and drink from, you know, buckets of full moon parties. It was genuinely to go and study the world of sapphires and corundum. And today, due to that connection, due to the connections we have to the biggest marketplace in the world, I can take this here today, Jenny, not to just under 50 pounds, not just under 30 pounds. But today, we're going to take this to the lowest ever price you are going to see for a carat weight like this, for a size like this, and for £20 here today, Jenny, this strand that you are holding is yours. That's not a split payment. That is the whole payment that you will pounds? to own that. It's a pocket money price. You're earning, I mean, look at this, 30 carats you're getting in your stash for a pound a carat at 19.99. That's 66 pence per carat of a precious gemstone, a birth gemstone, a gemstone world renowned, heavily sought after, utterly beautiful. And there are cues on the phone lines for this one. Look how special it is. Look how sparkly it is. Just beautiful. Toby, thank you so much for all these incredible deals that you've brought to us today. My pleasure, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me and letting me join you. And as you said earlier on in the show, I was watching you and you said, Toby's avoiding me today. I would have happily been there. I didn't know you were I... isolating. Yeah, well, we'll uh, let you off. I, uh, I had a blip, on, I had a, blip on, a blip on the app as it were. So uh, what can you do, eh? I'm, uh, I'm as, healthy as a, healthy as a hamster as it were, but um, unfortunately just gotta stay at home. You've got to stay at home, but you know what? That's great because it means that you get to Skype in and, you know, we're all healthy and that's the main thing, isn't it? Yes, so, exactly. You know, we're going to send you off to, you know, go and scrub the fountain and, and, and make sure the pool's under uh, under a good maintenance. So yeah. we're going to let you go and do that. Maybe go and get in your sauna. Um, thank you so, so much for uh, your amazing input. When are you back on our screens, Tobes? Um... I am back on your screen, same time next Monday, as always. Uh, I'll be in the studio, which would be nice. Um, Jenny, when am I seeing, when are you When are you with us until? I've heard about the I'm here the until the 19th. I need to see you before I go. You will see me. Will I see you between now and the 19th? I'm sure I will. I expect so. Yeah, I've got, I'm in on the, no, it's me and you on the 19th. You're with me on the last day. Brilliant. What, if you are, you are. We're having a party. We'll have a leave-in do on air, okay? Fabulous. Feel I'll free bring to bring me in any gemstones that you, uh, you know, for me to, as a, as a, as a leaving present, yeah. Mm. Mm. One of your chandeliers, uh, anything. Yeah, I'll. I mean, uh, there's some loose sapphires in the pond that I'm going to clean in a minute, so I'll have a look if there's any of yeah. any kind of uh, caliber uh, for you there. Definitely, one of the piranhas out of your moat, anything like that. Okay, fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Well, uh, like I said, Jenny, um, you know, thank you ever so much for letting me join you today. Customers at home, I hope you've managed to jump onto these crazy deals. And Jenny, I look forward to seeing you even more now on the 19th. Yes, it's our little leave-in do. I'll see you on the 19th. Toby, loads of love. Mwah! See you later. Bye. Have a nice afternoon. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. 
For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Good morning, good morning, la 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 la, good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewellery Maker, so here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. We're bringing the treats to the table in the last half an hour. We've been blessed with some gorgeous goodies that Toby's left us. But uh, we've had so many messages about my bracelets. I literally just made it a minute ago. But we've only got single figures remaining. We took Burmese jadeite to an illegally low price of just £12.99. pence. Now, Toby's confirmed that on my leaving do, we're going to have some, some of my favourite gemstones at the lowest ever price. How amazing is that? So here we go. We have got for $12.99 Burmese Jade. Laura and I both used this mm -hmm. great with the drill holes, wasn't it, Laura? Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. Got the thick elastic going through it. Beautiful. I got, um, you can actually, if you push it right up, I could get it through twice. Mm. Yeah. I pushed it up and tucked my tails in, I did. I was yeah. well impressed with that. There are quite a few unchecked right. baskets and we are over allocated for that just to let you know. Now, Laura, I am surrounded by some of the most beautiful gemstones here at Jewelry Maker. You are. I mean, some of these are just need to be in my life, actually, in my collection. In fact, all of them. <gasps> oh my gosh. 
I've got some real bouge. I've got some real bouge for you. Burmese jadeite certified. <gasps> so I'm so sorry it was... You've got dropsy stuff. No, it's the bag's broken. Oh. I didn't even... I just hardly moved it. I've got it, don't worry. Burmese jadeite, you've got dropsies. <laughs> that sounded... Isn't there some kind of no, it's funny. thing that like animals get called dropsy? No, it's just like that's when you drop everything, you go, oh, you've got dropsies. Maybe well, that sounds like I've got, thing. I I've got a know. problem with, the, you know, <laughs> going to the toilet. Now, here we go. We have got Burmese jadeite. Two and a half carats. This isn't just any Burmese jadeite. This is certified grade a Burmese jadeite. You can see it here, not treated. Absolutely phenomenal to have this in your in your collection. I put it in a ring probably. I like to have it on me all the time, jadeite. And a Burma, a Burma is the ultimate location to get your jadeite from. Uh, this gemstone is said to bless whomever it touches. It's one of the most sought after gemstones, particularly whipped up by the Chinese market, who see this as an absolute symbol of luck and good fortune. It's given as a gift. They uh, honestly, it moves faster than a diamond in, in China, this gemstone. Let's shop for it. We are running out of time. You have got such a super opportunity. I'm, I'm not um, clasping my tweezers on purpose here because I don't want it to ping out. See, good fortune tried to run away from me then, but I grasped it and I said, hey, good fortune, get over here. LCU B61, two and a half carats of type A jade, Burmese jade. If you're in the mood for it, I'm always in the mood for it. Are you, Laura? Are you in the mood for it, Ben? Oh, yeah. I'm always in the mood for a bit of luck. 19.99, it's certified. It's from Burma. It's totally natural. You need to get this fast. I can't believe. Do you know that we were talking to Toby and then I sort of asked Dave Troff, I said, is this true what Toby's telling me? Like, if you're, um, if you're at a gem fair, if you're at Tucson, and they're offering you the certificate of authenticity. You can pay a couple of hundred pounds. He's like, yeah, it's annoying. I was like, annoying? It's expensive. It's like, what? That one sold out, I think. Let me just move that chair out of the way because I can see an accident happening. Where did I get that one from? 18, was it? Here, I've got the same but a different um, shape for you. I won't take it out of the packet this time because I think it's easier for you to see. But I'll put my finger next to it so that you can see uh, the, the sort of size comparison. Eight by six. And again, it is not enhanced. This is from Burma. It's ready to be set into rings, brooches, a pendant, or in your safe. For safekeeping, perhaps to pass down from generation to generation. 1.7 carats, so a bit of a bigger carat weight this time. Totally natural. Why do you, P65, make it yours? for a crazy low price of just £14.99. Now, this isn't viewer's choice, so you are going to have time to purchase after the hour with this one as well. £14.99. Are, are we, are we going to keep this hour on afterwards, or are you, do, are you doing a web sale or no? Because I, I think a lot of people like it when it's on afterwards. Uh, why do you... That's just my opinion. I don't call the shots. And that way, Ross gets to go home quicker. Fourteen ninety nine. Why do you P sixty five? Well done to everybody. Type A Burmese jade eye, eight by six. Let's go shopping. Loads of you there. It's great to see Susan, Hillary. You've got yours. Uh, the, oh, I tell you what. It looks like that might have gone. Now, right. I'm curious about this. A money toad. Okay, mine actually is, I don't think, I think mine's broken. Um, but, no, because it's mounted onto something and the mount's not on. I was a bit, a money toad. It's a toad. A money toad. Oh, the coin goes in its mouth. Oh, I see. Stop. How do I get that in his mouth? It means it's symbolic. How do I get it in his mouth? Have you not got a picture of this? See, this is what I mean. Money doesn't want to come to me. It wants me to just spend it. How do I get that in? Put it in your mouth, Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 
if I give him a rub, is that it for me? Can you look up the money toad and ask? And I need to know what. Here's the money toad. This is the prophecy behind. The, oh, this is this is how it comes. Yes, that's it. What's going on here? Why you? The character for Jade is one of the oldest in written Chinese, uh, dating to 2050 BC. So what is that? I don't. A flat disc with a hole in it. So that's the symbol of it. And then I've got. Uh, and what's this? What's the symbolism towards the toad? It just brings me money. Anything that brings me money is gratefully received, whether it's toad or not. I'm going to give it a little money, 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 money. Can you lend me a fiver, please, Ben? Yes, it works. A E Z Z T twenty seven twenty nine ninety nine. It's worth a punt, isn't it? Oh, he is. But isn't he cute? He's so cute. I love a toad. You should never lick the back of a toad because it might be poisonous. That's something I've learned and kept with me for the, for life, actually. Uh, A E Z T twenty seven. The money toad. I don't know what the I don't know what the meaning behind a money toad is, but I I like the fact that it's. It's a cute little toad. Oh, apparently there's so much. Can, can they put it in a nutshell to me, Ben? L uh, feng Shui, a money toad, represents um, a charm for prosperity. OK, great. Well, this is the gemstone of good fortune, so you've got uh, the prosperity of the frog there. Give your frog a rub, and hopefully good things will happen. 29.99, five chances, and I've got Jisvinda, I've got Helen, I've got Russell in Bedfordshire. Yeah, this time before. Yeah, it's a decent time. Uh, Virginia in Hampshire, Jane in Suffolk, Maker in Northumberland, uh, you've got yours. Here we go, the money frog, or toad. Toad, not frog, there is a difference. One just likes it damp, one likes it really wet. Uh, 29.99, A-E-Z, T-27 is your item code. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Like a frog lives in the water, the toad just likes it damp, is what I meant. <laughs> Someone help me. Uh, oh, I love that. Do you know what? I just want to put this in rose gold. This is just beautiful. A Moroccan amethyst, totally natural. You want to see this? Oof. Well, you would if I gave you a view of it, wouldn't you? I've got to get my gem grabber. I've got to. Toby sent this through uh, to us, and he sent us a very special... Three carrots! Oh my gosh, look at this. Oof, oof, oof. Come on, this is gorgeous. Isn't it great? Look at that colour, Laura, this is leggy, isn't it? That's incredible, isn't it? Gorgeous. That to me is a, take it to a jeweller's and get that set, or, you know, put that in your sterling silver, your Million gallery percent. wire. Um, that is incredible. It's got, it's got luxe to it. That colour mm. is plush, isn't it? Here's your certificate telling you it's natural. Very, do you know what? Most amethyst is heat treated. It is, and that's the way of the world. Not this one, from Morocco. 30 pounds. It's such a super price. Look at this. That was just one of those jasper beads falling around everywhere. 30 pounds, look at the depth. This color, this clarity, this cut, everything exquisite, drawing us into the beauty and the elegance of those true, beautiful, regal purples. I love that. Look, I'm gonna lift it up so you can see all around it, if that's okay, thanks. You've got some player growers and you've got pinks, you've got blues, beautiful. How beautiful is this? And it's deep, isn't it? Do you see the red? Look, here. It's amazing. Oh, Virginia, I'm very jealous of you. Lisa's got three. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I love that. Highly recommended by me, that does. If that means anything to you, I don't know, but it does. I've got something else beautiful. If you love that, you'll love this too. So this is the round version, still big. You've got a lot here, my. Look at this. 11 millimetre round. Look at that for a colour. Isn't that, everyone was like, bleeping, bleep. That is amazing. <gasps> it looks like something that has been 
you know, rescued from the, the crown, to, you know, unearthed during an archaeological yeah. dig that would have belonged to an ancient czar or an ancient king. This is absolutely luxe and expensive looking. Look at those amazing purples. The, the regality of this solitaire is up there. The, absolutely striking. Pleochroism in play there. You can see it for yourself, can't you? Those incredible pinks, those sumptuous purples. $29.99 is, is an absolute pocket money price for that. Brilliant deal. Natural, again, natural. I don't know how we're doing this, but we are. So just, you know, lap it up. Allow it, yeah, allow it. Okay, so this is an oval this time. What's your favorite? I think for pendants, ovals just sit so beautifully, don't they? I love an oval pendant. Another big carrot weight, another natural Moroccan gemstone, another play of regal purple. These Moroccan gemstones are not disappointing, are they? Not one of these is bringing anything but pure drama and expense to your collection. This really does look like something that should belong to somebody of nobility. D-E-U-P-25, natural, two carats, from Morocco, certified to boot. 12 dollars $12.99. Wow. Laura, we gotta get these. Are you mad? That's incredible. $12.99, it's two carats. It's, look, I'm gonna put my, Look how big this gemstone is next to my finger. It's a whopper. It's absolutely beautiful. It's natural. You've got to get this value. You've got to grab it fast. 12.99 DEU P25, two carats, natural oval. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Get two earrings. How many have we got left? I love it. We don't have loads left, we've got about 30, and there's lots of you lining up. Susan in Hampshire takes two. Is it earrings for you? Because I would. Do you know what? Samantha's done something clever and got three, because maybe it's pendant yeah, earrings. Yeah, definitely make a sweet mm. out of that, couldn't you? Imagine yeah. that's a ring as well. 100%. I'm actually wondering what it would look like with the Grand Idiot eye. Beautiful. With that I green and I that, wager. And that um, yeah. purple. I think it would be incredible. If you had this in a ring, though, you'd be like that the whole time. Yeah. It's just lovely. Beautiful. You're lucky. If you got that, you're lucky. Maeve, there you are. Now. <laughs> we'll keep going so and we're gonna we're gonna give you a pair now two I mean not in a shape but we're gonna give you two is what I meant by a pair <laughs> now well then you could make two rings you could make a pendant and a ring or you could make earrings I would say probably a lot of you are gonna make the earrings the facet on these is beautiful you get two, as you can see. Look how deep these are. I'm just gonna turn that that way. But the depth on that coulee is incredible. So the coulee there, the table of the gemstone at the top there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. The color is just on point. I mean, these, these are very beautiful, aren't they? You can't, you can't deny it, they're absolutely beautiful. Classic cut, six pound twenty-five each. Yeah, that's incredible. You're getting two of these for twelve fifty. Look, I really can't recommend these these gemstones enough for the price because you're going to be able to sell them on for a lot more mm -hmm. than that, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to be able to prong set them. You're going to be able to take them to a jeweller and ask. And, and you know what? You've got the certificate. You, they might be like, "Oh, I only touch genuine gemstones. Where have you got these from?" Be like, I've got the certificate of authenticity. They are Moroccan amethyst. Nobody's turning their nose up at natural Moroccan no. amethyst. Nobody that <clears throat> knows their nobody that knows their stuff that is worth their salt in the industry. Twelve pound fifty. GZU P sixty three. Two point four carats. Big carat weight. Tiny price. Seven by seven as well. Perfect. Can't can't go wrong with that. Next up, I'm going to continue with the views. This time I've got a teardrop, which I'm going to call a teardrop rather than a pair. So you don't think that I'm talking about two things. <laughs> I make myself laugh, if nothing else. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Okay, let's go. Fabulous price on this one. 
Look at that. Do you know what that, that colour is a little bit more pinky, isn't it? So very delicate, but still as you move it, you get the drama and the depth. The player crows and the pink in this is is really it's really striking. Yeah, it really is, very isn't pretty. it? Very pretty. It's incredible. And another one I'd put in a pendant. I've got a mount for this one, actually, which I'm gonna grab you now, which is a pendant veil. So the mount here, you can put this gemstone into this mount and it works. Let me just check that. No, that's bigger, isn't it? I mean, it might just be the colour that... It looks a lot bigger, let me just see. No, it will fit, <laughs> yeah. It's just because of the depth of it. So if I show you, you have to undo the prongs, obviously. But it will go in. Yeah, it looked big. Yeah, I was like, hang on a minute, that's too small, but it's not. Brad, oh, seven ninety nine, you mad thing. Are you a mad thing? Where's that price of brand new? Sorry, I'm a bit high pitch. <laughs> You're in some trouble, because you know what? Do you know what I would do? I'd get three. Pendant earrings, mm. they're beautiful in earrings, this kind of drop, isn't it? Absolutely. Mm. I mean, and again, it's very classic, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not something that, you know, it's, it's easily sort of, um, it's easy to set and it's a perfect gift. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. £7.99, pence. YDU P49. Mm. Now's the time to grab yourself an absolute treat. I'm going to give you the rabbit bale in a sec as well. We are running out of time. Make sure you are brand new bale, brand new gemstone. Be quicker. $7.99 is a pocket nanny price. Amethyst, $7.99. Ridiculous. How did we do that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we did it. It's madness. The madness is what it is. Pendant bale is next. So here we have it. 925 stamp is on the back of this. You've got a lovely pendant bale, so you just take the um, the bottom bit away, slot it in. Don't move that top one because it's, it's really quite thick, look. You've got over a gram. This is called a bunny bail or a rabbit bail because of uh, the appearance <laughs> of the split ear, the ears there and then this being a little bunny. That's what it's called in the industry, a little bunny bail. Uh, so you have got solid sterling silver. Now you'll see how uh, there's a gallery there that allows, because a lot, of, a lot of pendants would just be without the bit at the bottom here and you'd just be hugging onto the gemstone. Now, that's quite a disappointing thing because it means that we're not, we're not levitating, not levitating, but you know, lifting the gemstone away from the skin. And when we lift the gemstone up and hold it up like Simba, the light can travel underneath it. And then you're gonna get the player crowism, then you're gonna get the travel of light, the luster, uh, you, you're gonna get that refraction. And, and it's really important that you've got the right bail for the right piece. If you don't do that, if you don't lift the gemstone up, the light cannot allow it to perform to its best. And this is just six pounds. And that, so for under 20 pounds, you're getting both of those today. It's quite remarkable, isn't it? How much is it all together? 14, nine, under 15 pounds then, even better. TZAX12 is your item code. So for under 15 pounds, you're getting both the, sorry, Ben, just whipped that out of shop there. Uh, you're getting both of those, it's just super value. Great gift for somebody. Do please make sure you're checking out baskets. Don't want anyone missing out on this one because you'll be very disappointed if you do. Six pounds, 99. I've got more treats for you. Let's give you some more treasures before we go. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's give you, oh, a little collection here of two, four, five, five by three. Brilliant cut. You might be better off seeing these. How many do I get in total? You think it's four? I've got five. Sometimes that happens. Don't you just love it when you get extra? We're guaranteeing you this carrot weight. So you know, they're probably better on the spinny spinny because you can't really see them uh, in my little pot of goodies. Here they are. It, you are getting five. So you get nine points. Is that 90 points? 90 points, so just shy of a carrot. HNU, P93. I think when we put 0.9, it's kind of a little bit confusing. You think, is it, is, it point, is it nine points or is it 90? 
Uh, here we go. We're going to give you a very, very special deal on this one, says Ross. Let's see where he's going, old rascal Ross. Let's see what he's up to now. Four pounds and 99 pence. That's a pound of gemstone. A pound. Imagine going into the, into the land where, into that shop where everything's a pound and seeing a, ge a genuine gemstone with a specific... Do you know what I mean? So you'd be like, what? They're giving away. People would be queuing up for miles to get genuine ge a genuine gemstone from the land where everything's a pound, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they? This is just ridiculous. How are we doing that? Oh my gosh, it is outrageous. We are running out of time. You need to make sure you are checking out baskets. I can't see your names. These need to sell out. It is absolutely, sorry. My system is being a, a monkey. Rachel, there you are. Maureen, you're there. Dylan, multi buy them. It's genuine gemstones for a pound each. When does this happen? We are guaranteeing you five at the least. Dylan, you've got yours. Olivia, Samantha, uh, well done to you. Sarah, you're shopping for this one. Wendy, you've got yours. Uh, so is Jean, well done. 4 99 Sarah, you've got yours. Susie, you're shopping. HNUP93. Catherine joins from Staffordshire. These are a pound each. 90 points certified even if you buy them and sell them on i'm not telling you can't do that we can't give you an angel policy they're genuine gemstones they're mother nature gives these they're natural mad Ginny in lincolnshire it's multi buy you've got to get a couple of these haven't you now more coming up for you where did i get that one from over here wasn't it do, 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 do. oh now i'm going to give you we're going to break away from the loose gemstones i'm going to give you Where's this emerald from? Is it Zambian? Zambia and Colombia, those are the two places you want your emerald from, aren't they? They are the two places that sit at the throne of emeralds and they boast the best qualities. Have a look. I'm gonna put this next to the white background so you can see the vibrance of this color because it is, oh my word, look at that color. This is what you want in an emerald. So, Zambia, giving us some of the world's finest of May's birth gemstone. ZWS F37, 20 carats of a gemstone so sought after. Now this is natural, save for an oiling. Nothing that most of us here don't do. We get out the bath, we're not putting makeup on, we're still in our birthday suit, we oil. We're still natural, we've just given ourselves a little oiling get the dust away you know 20 carats I'm the queen of oil under 20 pounds Zambian emerald 1999 Zambian emerald 1999 doesn't add up but it is happening it is happening some very strange things have happened in this hour it feels like that going round the twist programme from when we were younger. You, you didn't like that, do you ever, ever felt like this? Strange things happen, are you going round the twist? Is it the bit that went going round the... Here we go, now I'm gonna give you a reminder of that deal, mad. Anybody who bought this grand diorite or buys, you've still got a chance, you've still got seven minutes. We will announce the winner tomorrow, will we, Ross? Will we announce it tomorrow? Wait there, we can announce it now, he says. Oh, rascal Ross. We're going to give you one more chance to check out your baskets and then we're going to announce the winner of Laura Binding's jewellery with the grand diorite in it. Ready? Thirty-seven carats. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence on split pay. SNSF zero five twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Everybody in with a chance. You've got to check out. Uh, your basket, you must check out to, if you want it. Uh, one of you lucky ducks is going to win Laura Binding's jewellery. SNF, F05, you've got to check out. If you don't check out now, 
You're not going to be in with a chance. Uh, we are, we are picking, picking one of you right now. Join Elle tomorrow morning from eight o'clock, where she will be bringing you lots of fabulous deals. We have got a big event happening here at the weekend as well, so look out for the VT on that one. And tomorrow afternoon, I'm joined by Moni. Monica is going to be joining us and giving us a fabulous masterclass. Laura, can we have one more look at your jewellery before we you announce can. the winner? You can, yep. Yeah. So I've just Thank made them, um, so kept it kind of simple and about gemstones. We've got oh, like gorgeous. a tassel necklace and earrings. Thank you so much. Welcome. It's beautiful, really beautiful. So I think we're ready to announce the winner of Laura's jewellery that you see just here. Christine in Dumfries and Galloway, you have been picked at random and you have won <coughs> Laura Binding's jewellery with the Grand Idiorite in it. Thank you so much to everybody who's tuned in today. Laura Binding, when are you back next? I am back on the 18th. On the 18th, yes. so I shall see you on the 18th. Well, are you, you in on the 18th? Oh no, that's the Sunday. I was going to say, I won't see you. Leave me a little note. I will. Must be Laura was here, see you later, Laura kid. was here. <laughs> that, it's been a pleasure to rework with you again oh, after you. Uh, over the two years. <laughs> thank you so much. Laura Binding is a, a fantastic jewellery maker. Please go and follow Laura's page, uh, the guest designer, jewellery maker guest designer Laura Binding on Facebook uh, for more updates of what Laura is up to. She does a lot of things outside of jewellery maker as well. Uh, and of course, if you haven't done so already and you'd like to join in on Laura's uh, workshop that is eight workshops spanning across eight months, uh, then all you've got to do, eight months? Eight, eight, eight weeks. weeks, not months. <laughs> Oh, eight weeks, not months. She's like, mm, I was like no. Mm. <laughs> Taking you all the way into next year. Uh, then please get in touch. All the details are on the website. So if you would like to shop for any of the goodies that we've given you today, get yourself on the website, have a peruse. Mark Smith uh, was joined by Elle this morning and they had some phenomenal deals. From one o'clock, Laura and I took, a took over your screens and then Toby Cavill joined in at three and gave you some fabulous deals too for some very high-end gemstones included in that was the Grand Diddy, all right? I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Elle will wake you up with a big fat smile from eight. Thanks, Laura Binding. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU. And make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Good morning, good morning, la 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 la. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go.
Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Here at Jewellery Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewellery making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewellerymaker.com. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewellery Makers. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you purchase an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. So lovely to be with you this Monday morning. My name is Eleanor, and I'm joined by the fantastic Mark Smith. And you have some utterly amazing, amazing kits and jewelry. Which I still can't believe what we're doing You've with them. You've not got over it, have you? No, no, no. This, as I said, this is this is the price of the little part they set rondelles on their own. <laughs> I agree. Now they are available on pre-order right now. Really? Yes. I kits think that's that's quite daring because yeah. the, the, they are going to sell out for sure. Wow. Um, for sure. But Liam says he's been rebellious. Let's see what happens. And then the price they're going to on pre-order. Yeah. Oh, at the moment, no. Oh, okay. So they're going lower than what you're seeing actually on the web for those amazing. A lot, a lot, a lot lower. Uh -oh. Now, um, okay. <sighs> I need to emphasize, obviously, with all gemstones, I know most of you all know this, but anybody that's new to the to, 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 to gemstones and jewelry and certainly the pearl market, there are vast differences. You know, for example, there is a, a pedigree of, of, of cultured pearl. Um, and I'm going to say this is absolutely one of those. We can farm pearls. Um, freshwater pearls are farmed. They can Each mollusk can actually house lots and lots and lots of little pearls. It's still, it's still very much rare and they're still very much valuable, of course. However, there is different differences between your freshwater cultured pearls and your nucleated pearls and it's a question I'm often asked so I'm going to actually address that now. What's the difference between a cultured pearl and a nucleated pearl? Every pearl that you see on our shows is actually cultured so that refers to the farming process. When you use the word nucleated the difference basically is those little mollusks have had a much smaller nucleated bead actually inserted into them. So, heaven forbid, if you were to cut one of your pills in half, if you actually compared a nucleated pill with a, with a, a usual freshwater pill, the freshwater pill would actually have a hollow centre. Your nucleator pill will have all of those, almost like a, if you were to cut wood in half, you see much more of the nacre um, coating. So they're far thicker. Now, the reason why they command a much higher premium, because as they take so much 
much longer to actually uh, to actually produce. And the more nucleus you actually have, the more nacre, sorry, the more nacre surface that you actually have on your pearl, um, the higher the luster basically is. So they are far more expensive. They are far more involved. They take a lot longer to actually produce, um, and they command a much much higher price tag ordinarily. So this is really what I want to say is legacy pearl quality. Add to the complexity though as well, if you will. Eve, if you think you're inserting a tiny, 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 uh, usually mother of pearl uh, nucleated bead to start that progress. Now we can't guarantee that they are gonna be perfectly spherical. And yet, on this star by, you have uniformity, which is absolutely unprecedented. Think about, you know, what we discussed when we're talking about South Sea, Akoya, and your uh, Tahitian pills. To have uniformity in a strand of necklace is absolutely a contributing valuing factor. Um, they See that luster that I was referring to? See how reflective the luster is? That's because you have multiple layers of nacre across each and every single one of these, uh, these genuine pearls. Now also, I just want to quickly add before we introduce the graphics, the jewelry editor, which I highly would recommend you reading from time to time, wrote recently an article on pearls and the popularity of different shapes, etc, etc, and they referenced the color that you're looking at right now. They actually said pink pearls are some of the most sought after color of pearls in the industry. It's bringing a sort of uh, a, a contemporary twist to what is usually a, a very sort of traditional um, piece of jewelry. Look at that. Now, I don't think in our graphics we've, we've actually labeled these as metallic pearls. Um, but yet I'm definitely seeing that presence of gold. Are you? Yeah. Now, again, I'm just going to drop this one into, into, the, into the exclusivity uh, and the pedigree of this star by. Um, this, this is... Uh, from a harvest of, of pearls, it's estimated, harvest 10,000, estimated less than 10 will have a natural metallic color. I'm seeing that beautiful gold. Now this is limited edition. This is some of the finest quality um, of pearls that we have currently within our entire vault. Um, do you want to see a sort of price comparisons of what you can expect of something of this grade, of this, of this supremacy elsewhere? Now, very similar, don't you all agree? Very, very, very similar, fine quality, pearls it is including an 18 karat gold clasp 3800 pounds um do you think the value is in the gold or do you think it's in the pearls it's in the, the majority of that price tag is in the actual pearls itself with like like what you're seeing right now we've got another example um okay a bit more competitive they are they are but also, can I also say, Liam, these are freshwater pearls. That's fine. That's fine. They're not nucleated mm. pearls, so there's a big difference there. £600, though, still, for that wonderful necklace. And it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This, however, is nucleated pearls, has got that presence of beautiful metallic luster, um, are sizable rounds, uniformity, and they are 10 to 11 millimeters in their size. Do you see those lovely textures that you see across the surface of each and every single one of the pearls? That's because you have that wonderful thickness of, uh, uh, of nucleus on each and every single one of these um, incredible opportunities. Now, even if I was to bring these to air at 399 pounds, which would be absolutely unbelievable, it would be beating um, some com uh, competition elsewhere, and I think very similar, certainly the first necklace, very similar in terms of the actual quality of what you've got here on your screens. Yes, okay, we haven't got the 18 karat gold class, but there's nothing stopping you actually investing that if you wish. Now, we want to do something extra special. We want to bring you some of the finest pedigree nucleated pearls at the most unbelievable star by price. This is a significant saving. <laughs> please, please, please get oh. these valued and appraised. When you come to knot it, restrand it, whatever you wish. I had 199 in my head. 
That would be amazing, wouldn't yeah, it? Incredible. Absolutely amazing. And, and I know that the, you know this. That's why so oh. many of you with in your basket already. If you had this complete as a, a you know as a stranded nucleated pearl necklace with a fine quality clasp, you would absolutely be expecting it to be triple figures and then some and then some. You can even get this home on your split page jewelry makers. We have less than thirty of these available in the entire vault. That's it. That's it. So it's limited. And we are going oh, no. What's lower. He doing? Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for me, knotting it, and I would even go as far as saying going onto your auction sites, get yourself, um, get yourself a, a, a sort of a vintage clasp if you like, precious metal of your choice. And at some point, I know it costs money to actually get things valued and appraised, but that is absolutely worthwhile for the supremacy, for the luxury of these pearls. Yes, you can get you can get cultured pearls, freshwater cultured pearls. Um, you can do that, but there's a difference between um, nucleated freshwater cultured pearls like these. It takes far, far longer. It's far more uh, sort of involved, if you like, during the actual process. Um, they are literally nurtured and, uh, and loved and looked after for many, many years before they're actually put onto this beautiful strand we are going to take it in just about 10 seconds even lower there were just a limited quantity of these even if we actually had these uh, um, are we over allocated okay even if we were to bring this to you at 199 or 399 pounds I'm absolutely confident that you would get that valued considerably more than that. I listen, I'm not qualified to value jewellery, but I have sold pearl jewellery for many, many years, and I know that $79.99 is unbelievable. If there are any of them left, I'll be definitely adding it to my order. You can get it home on your split pay for £26.66 only. I mean, we can see the quality there, can't we, Mark? Completely and utterly. And if that was in, in a high street jeweller's window, you'd have to question that price. You straight away you think, well, they can't be real. Yeah, you think they were synthetic. Price, can you? Well, yeah. you know what? Um, I was waiting for this, actually. And mm. our in-house designer, mm. very successful selling yeah, high-quality yeah. pearls. Hope you don't mind me saying that, Anne. Um, has just bought some of these. And I can imagine... Um, uh, Liam's just messaged Dan on Facebook saying, Anne, how much would you actually sell these for? She said £250. That's very That's good. good. That's yeah. actually very, yeah. very good. Yeah. If you actually sold these at £600, £700, mm, again, yeah. I would still say that's an amazing price point for high-quality pearls of this grade. £79.99 only. Um, you know what? Liam has just said I might buy some of these yeah. and actually start selling them. I had this conversation before my father passed away. We were talking about the quality of pearls that we have here at Jewelry Maker. He knew his jewellery and gemstones, and he actually said, why don't we do this? Why aren't we knotting them and actually selling them online, like Etsy and all those things? Mm. Hello, Lorna saying I have have these pearls gorgeous gorgeous there is one left and there are 20 of you who have it in your basket uh, thank you Jackie and Sterling saying I have these they are stunning they are oh, absolutely well beautiful congratulations to every single one of you that is the custodian of those beautiful pearls now guess what Mark you know your kits mm -hmm. they're flying out the door <laughs> are we surprised at the original price at the original price Okay. Um, which, by the way, is showing at £40 on, online, and we're no. not even stopping there. Not even stopping there. Now, um, shall we start... Shall we start with a hot pink? Okay. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I agree, Liam. I think they are going to be sellouts. And I think it's going to be these little guys are that so are the beautiful. stars of the show. Brand new. I've never seen these before. I've not seen no, them, especially in these lovely colours. So can you see you've got a really lovely deep emerald green in these uh, cubic zirconia uh, channel set. The little princess cup oh, cubic, uh, cubic zirconias in there. Uh, brand new, never been on your screens. They look black there, don't they? So maybe if I actually pick them up um, and you'll actually see the actual colour uh, combination or that colour contrast. It's actually a really beautiful, deep and vibrant green. Can you see how it flashes oh, when yes. it flashes and captures the light? Wow. Um, get these home. You're, we've teamed it alongside some really beautiful terra jasper in your fuchsia red. Um, so you get 10 of your lovely rondelles, the brand new rondelles. You're getting the two strands of your terra jasper, which, by the way, um, are 8 millimeter and 6 millimeter millimeter plus you're also getting your memory wire so mark do these all fit onto the memory they wire do, absolutely even the little rondelles even easily easily yeah yeah wow um amazing so 10 of those beautiful beautiful cubic zirconia rondelles i agree with you mark now you know what liam's taking these to 
and you're flabbergasted, aren't Completely you? Completely and utterly. As I said, this is the price of the little rondelles, in my opinion. You know. Shall we oh, no. give the phone lines a chance? And it's just a tiny little thing, but this is silver memory wire, which which is Good really point. Like, which is like gold dust at the moment. It is like gold dust. <laughs> yeah. I know actually. It's only available in kits. We're not we're not selling it separately at the moment. I know. Mm. Yeah, we can't do bundles of, no. of memory wire or no. certainly silver not colour. Um, no. okay, let's do Let's take it to take it to an already amazing price tag for the consideration. You've got two strands of beautiful terra jasper Perfect. plus your memory wire plus the beautiful cubic zirconia emerald green rondelles. Twenty four ninety nine for ten of those lovely rondelles. Can we take it even lower? Yes, we definitely can. In sixty seconds, we're gonna. The only reason we're doing the countdown now, by the way, is basically to stagger the phone line so we don't cause a meltdown to our lovely call centre, and also that we don't. This is a very real uh, issue uh, that we also don't uh, uh, sort of crash uh, the website, which is something that Mark's kits often do. In actual yeah. fact. Often, <laughs> um, because there's loads of people already there. Now, imagine I'm brand new to jewellery making, Mark. Is yeah, this yeah. a perfect kit for me to get involved perfect, with? Perfect. You've got really good sized drill holes. You've got really nice sized rounds. You've got memory wire, which is one of the sim most simple mediums that you can actually use. And, and anything that I've made along here, you can make with this kit. Absolutely. Yeah. So all I've, <laughs> all I've done, all I've added is a bit of wire and a few 11 OC bees just to act as a little spacers. I'm but absolutely can, loving it. But all of that you can make. Mark, make those them. earrings, these earrings here are just mm. stunning where you've actually got the rose. I know they're different gemstones, but just imagine those now with the terra jasper yeah. and with that lovely yeah. green running through the centre. Beautiful. I mean, they'd be so opulent, wouldn't they? Are you ready? Because this is going so low, jewelry makers. I hope we've got enough of these to go around. This is bonkers, I agree. It's the price of your cubic zirconia rondelles, in my opinion. You're getting everything else actually for free with the actual silver uh, memory wire, which is like gold dust because of its versatility, because there's so much that you can actually do with your, um, with your memory wire also. Every single one of your beautiful gemstones and rondelles will breeze onto that too. Make sure you check out. We actually only have three kits in this hour, which is quite limited edition. Um, we've got them in different colours and they will mix and match perfectly, well, they won't they? All three of them. Oh, well, absolutely, because they're all the same sort of colours, aren't they? The, the yeah, pinks, pinks purples. and purples. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you could put the rose quartz in with a terra absolutely. jasper or the amethyst in with a terra yeah, jasper if yeah. you wanted to. Um, but yeah, super, super versatile. They are flying, mm. flying, flying out the door, and you fully expected that to be uh, that to actually be the case. Oh, let me just pick one of those up again. I want to give you that flash of emerald green. Look at that, such decadence. I mean, if you saw, hang on a minute, I've just had a little uh, little light bulb moment. If you were to see the one I'm holding in my tweezers in that charm shop, you know the one I'm referencing, oh, yeah, yeah. would that be 14 99 No. No. Of course it wouldn't. It'd be more like forty-four pound ninety-nine for the single yes, for the yeah. single charm. It'd be classed as a charm rather than a rondelle. Um, but you're actually getting ten of those, so that's working out one pound fifty per rondelle. But actually, you're getting everything else as well, and you're beautiful, um, beautiful wow. memory ma uh, memory maniac. Are you a memory maniac? I what? am lately. <laughs> <laughs> What's my name? Where do I live? Honestly, I don't know what is with me. It's like I've got a delayed baby brain. Liam, you didn't. Liam, wow. you didn't know. You didn't notice I had baby brain, did you? Did you, Adam? Did you realise I did I have baby brain when I was pregnant? Yeah. You can. You can say it. Speak the truth. Yeah, you, maybe a little. A little. Okay, fair okay. enough. But it's got worse since actually having having Tiggy. I seem to be even more forgetful, as if I forgot that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> As if I forgot about the 24th. I'm so sorry, Mark. I'm so, so sorry. Don't even say it. Don't even hint it. Let me just quash any rumours. I am not pregnant. Not pregnant. No more babies. No more babies. Stop it now in there. Stop it, stop it, stop it. They were like, you said that last time. I didn't. I didn't. Right, which one next? This one. I have to say, this strand of amethyst, the, the, the paler of the two strands, is the most kunzite coloured amethyst oh, I've beautiful. ever seen. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not surprised we've not called it Rose de France. It's just exquisite. It's true. Yeah. It is true. And what a gorgeous combination with the rondelles. Now, this has got my favourite mm. colour of the memory wire. I love yeah. the gold because it really is like a, an 18 karat gold colour. This is the strand that Mark is actually referencing. It's utterly oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. 
utterly beautiful. With those pearls that we've just had, oh. I think this would be beautiful with those. It would be absolutely yeah. amazing. And then yeah. look at those. There is your gorgeous rondelle that actually has this really mm. deep, vibrant, like a well, it's a deep amethyst, mm. isn't it? Yes, yeah. So just dotting those in between in your cubic zirconia. They are princess Have cut. A look. So, yeah, get these home because it's almost the colour. It looks black almost here in the studio, mm. but actually it's almost like a, um, like a like a deep kunzite. Yes, that's a good point. Liam says, Al, you've got your phone in the studio. Look how now, beautiful that looks on screen. <laughs> let me just mention that if my bosses are watching, the only reason I've got my phone in the studio right now is because we were showing the pop socket. In fact, in fact, I don't know where it's gone. I don't know where it's gone. Who's who's nabbed my phone? <laughs> it yes. was in there. Yeah, there it is. There it is. A bit further past the banana. Oh, there it is. <laughs> past my little <laughs> mid-morning snack. Here we go. Yes, here we go. Can you see that beautiful vibrancy of purple? Ah, oh. yeah. There we are. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. In natural sunlight, you see yeah, this glowing yeah. purple colour. And you're getting 10 of those, plus those lovely amethyst, um, plus, of course, that very Rose de France-esque colour, um, and a mixture of your polishes as well, between your matte yeah. and your high polish. Don't forget also including your memory wire, which uh, is in the lovely sort of 18 karat gold um, pink, uh, sorry, yellow, which I absolutely adore. Okay, now I know for sure that this is going to be a sellout kit. How many do we have of these available then, Liam? There's only a hundred. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. Already, immediately, loads of you have this in your basket. Super simple makes to make high-end luxury jewellery for fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's unbelievable. Oh, Mark, it's that technique. Yes. Yeah, so if you look back on last Wednesday's yeah. morning show on YouTube, you'll see this technique in action. I just had to do it with this and with those little rondelles in between. Yeah. It just looks. I mean, that, that's a 75, 80 pound necklace any day of the week. Oh, and, and worth every single yeah, penny of yeah, it. That, yeah. The genuine amethyst, beautiful, uh, different shades. Often you get your pinks, you can get your yeah. lovely lavenders, you can get these really beautiful Rose de France, and you can get that lovely, deep, opulent purple as well. Um, if you want that technique, look back on Wednesday's show on our YouTube channel, and you'll see Mark actually doing it. £14.99. pence. For that, for that, the pale of the two amethysts, I agree. pay that price. For that any one strand. So beautiful. And the Memory wire packs were about six pounds, weren't they? Uh, four pounds, three ninety-five for the memory wire. Three ninety-five. Yeah. So, so that's, that's not bad. That means everything else is un yeah. is approximately what ten, eleven pounds. Yeah. That's Mad, unbelievable. Yeah. So ten, eleven pounds for those beautiful gold-plated rondelles, um, and the sort of rose de France lavender shade, plus also that lovely deep Zambian amethyst shade. Down to the final thirty-nine of these incredibly popular kit. Please don't leave it in your baskets. Um, hello to you. Um, uh, sorry, uh, wait until the menopause. You stand up to do something and forget what you're supposed to be doing literally two seconds later. Uh, pff, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe that's it. Honestly, I do it. I go, I go into, I go into the kitchen think, and I'm stood in the centre. My husband laughs at me all the time. I'm stood in this middle of the room like this. And he's like, you've forgotten what you were doing, haven't you? I'm like, yeah, totally forgotten what I was doing. Totally forgotten what I was doing. Liam's saying he does that at the age of 26. I think life is just so chaotic, isn't it? It's very I can't easy to forget. Being 26. No, nor me. I think I was quite wild at 26. Really? Yeah, yeah. Liam's mm. not. He's quite. He's quite. He's very sensible for a 26-year-old. I feel. He's got his head screwed on. Well, I went to bed on. The, I've, I've said this before. I went to bed on the eve of my 13th birthday and woke up a 40-year-old. That's what you think. Have you mm. always been quite a sensible, mature yeah, person? Yeah. Yeah. I've never been. That's not a bad thing, wild though. Or That's no, not a bad thing. No. Liam says he's had, he's got tweed slippers. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong mm. with that. I love a pair of slippers. Anyway, this kit's on the verge of selling out. I think it might That's actually amazing. have done that. Um, no, you I talk... don't quite understand this next kit. How quickly do you think this is going to sell out? <laughs> Just don't understand it at all. For the same price, we are going. Oh, hang on, we are going to the same price, aren't we? Before I, ah, oh, right. So for the same price, you don't get two strands that we've had in the other kits. <laughs> you get four. Mm. And one of those is actually the diamond cut. Yeah, I know. There's something wrong seriously with this one. And. <laughs> It's no. actually got the clear cubic zirconia. Which is so beautiful. 
has has there been a bit of a mix up mm. during this kit construction? I'm going to start by showing you these. Um, how many do we have, Liam? I mean, look at that, Mark. They're, they're this... stunning. They're so beautiful. I love the gold with the clear. They just look at that. It complements <laughs> your memory wire absolutely perfectly, doesn't yeah, it? Spot on. Okay, do you want to see what's causing Mark the confusion? Because we're going to do a 60 second clock, by the way, and that's to the graphics. Because whilst we do have the biggest quantity, how many do you say? 150, mm. still not going to be enough. Because look, beautiful rose quartz, 10 millimeter rounds. Stunning. All completely natural, by the way. Really deep then pink you as have, well, aren't they? They're really deep. Pink. Yeah, really perfect lovely. rose quartz yeah, colour. Yeah, then yeah. you have your six mil, perfectly complementary. Then you have your lovely two millimeter, and then you actually have the lovely star oh. cut. Four <laughs> strands of rose quartz with your gold plate, even Liam's questioning himself now. Yeah. Hang on a minute, I've got to check this, it's got to be wrong. And your gold plated cubic zirconia rondelle, so that wonderful, it, it, the princess cut, pin, princess channel set. Mark, that is absolutely exquisite. Is that on memory wire? That's on point four. Oh, rosary link, rosary I can link. see now. Yes. Can yeah. we also yeah. show those amazing earrings in front? Because they are utterly beautiful. Utterly, utterly beautiful. And the hoops. Go, 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 go. This is an absolute bonkers giveaway deal. I mean, the earrings alone, I would absolutely, mm. if you doubled the price of those on, uh, on what, when you used to be a sell your jewelry market, I would mm. absolutely pay that. Um, so you've combined it with just a few of your Mayuki gold yep. um, on your memory wire. That's the bracelet in a hoop earring. We're going to go straight down to it. There are over 70 of you who've got this in your baskets already with your gold-plated, beautiful cubic zirconia princess channel set rondelles and the memory wire, four strands of rose quartz, <laughs> plus also your star cut. It's a bonkers deal, isn't it? Absolutely wow. bonkers. Who made this kit? Lovely Hannah. Hannah, yes, gorgeous yes. kits. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Loving, loving, loving these. A third of the stock has been snapped up already. We're at £14.99. That, I mean, that looks like it belongs in the V&A, Mark. That's just beautiful. So all, I, I thought all I've done is I've used point six, bit of point 0.6 wire and a few jump rings to separate the, the rosary links. But it's so lovely. And by the way, we can bring you those jump rings. We've got oh, a little, uh, little uh, sort of add-on little collection yeah. as well. So if you want the, if you want the shepherd looks, Mark, that's that's beautiful. If I turn that, so all I've done is I've found some jump rings in my stash. You can also use 0.8 wire on your mandrels and make your own jump rings if you want to. Yeah. So all I've done, if I just turn that round, is I've just popped that on one piece of memory wire. I just found some findings in my stash there. But you could continue. That's 100 jump rings on that. Um, it's like the sweetie inspiration, like isn't sweetie, it? The sweetie yeah. bracelet inspiration. That's so okay. beautiful. That's one piece of your bracelet memory wire. Gorgeous designs, Mark. Morning to you, Elizabeth, oh, in time you, Elizabeth. Yeah, Really thank gorgeous. You. And gorgeous kits as well. Amazing. I bet, again, you had to say to yourself, right, stop now. Yes. Stop now because you can just make yeah. and make and make and make and make with this kit. <laughs> Over 70 of you have actually got this in your basket with how many on the phone lines? That looks so beautiful. Oh, it's about five minutes queue. It's been photographed as well. It's yeah, it? really lovely. Uh, well, you know, we always have this. Immediately, you've got this affiliation with Rose Quartz, this gemstone of love and unconditional love. We've got the sentiments attached behind it that has been around, by the way, for centuries. It's right, it dates right back to the Egyptians using this gemstone as a gemstone of uh, emotion. If you don't check out in the next 30 seconds, this kit is going to be a sellout. Um, if you've got a phone in your hands, all I can do is keep everything crossed because there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. It was always going to be one of the most popular kits. Um, and we have got people multi-buying on it. So good luck to each and every single one of you that being said um adeline i've seen you've just been answered susan you've just been answered whilst you keep dialing through we'll leave the final 18 there um i'm going to bring you the findings um and then of course we've got the lovely demonstrations as well thanks adam thank you knew that was going to be a a, a busy busy kit uh kit one of my responsibilities is if i use anything else with the kits yeah. we have to inform the producers and they try to put the items alongside to, to enable the the viewers to make mm -hmm. the jewelry that the guest designers bring to air now we're not 
but I always try my luck, we're not, to ask for findings packs. But I always, I always chance my arm, especially with Liam. Yeah, because he will, Because he's done it. <laughs> yeah, he will. If, you, if you're going to twist yeah. anybody's arm, no. <laughs> I feel like Liam's is the, is the arm that you want to try and twist. Yeah. Liam, Liam, yeah. can you put some findings in? OK. <laughs> yeah, OK. He would do it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, look at how beautiful. Again, it's, it's the perfect yeah. colour match to um, the memory wire as well. It's the perfect, perfect colour match. You're getting two of your gold-plated tog uh, toggles, uh, two pairs of your shepherd hooks. You've got your jump rings. You've got your length of chain there if you wanted to create like a bubble style um, or uh, lots of other alternatives. You've got your head pins and also your crimps. Yes. Um, and mm -hmm. if you're thinking, will they match the gold colours um, in your memory wire? They match absolutely perfectly. perfectly. And that's something we're really mm. sticklers of here yeah, at JM is making yeah. sure that all of our plating complements uh, uh, each other. <laughs> it's also um, coming your way. Essentials. So this is the pack that I've used on the jewellery. £3.99 yeah. only. They're absolute essentials. Liam says he'd be quite happy if you bought that super quick because it's that yeah the team are actually coming into the studio now they're yeah. actually they're on their yeah. way into the offices yeah. so they're yeah. and the team there is a there is jewelry jewelry maker is up in each and every single one of the rooms so they can they watch us yeah. they do know what's going on right now but Liam Liam don't pretend like you you be yeah you're not bothered no nah, he ain't bothered he's not gonna do it so it's done now isn't it he says, I just mute no. the office. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um, but they're essentials, aren't they, Mark? All Completely joking aside. Absolutely. I mean, the, the earrings on the end that you like. So, oh, I they're mean, lovely. That, that's from this findings pack. I've used the toggle class from the findings pack. I've used the jump rings. From, I mean, that's just, just a head pin and your shepherd's hooks. And that simple. Them. Yeah, yeah. That simple. So, I mean, it's just using, um, yeah, your head pin, two head pins, your, two of your shepherd hooks, obviously, uh, and all of your gemstones from the actual kits. But it will work with all of the kits, too, if you wanted to do it with the amethyst, also the terra jasper as well. It will also work perfectly with your hypersthene and certainly your aquamarine showcase that we've got um, that we actually bring you in a, a little bit later on in the show. OK, uh, because Mark actually... Oh, uh, made that lovely sweetie style bracelet. Now, if you want to make that, which is basically Mark said about the gizmo, gizmo yeah, you tool. Use, you can use a, I use a crochet hook as well if I need to make, make oh, a lot and then, and then cut them. Um, so this is the exactly the same 0.8 wire that we featured on the show on Wednesday, which is really soft. It's soft. really nice. So we've put it in today. So you can rosary link with this. It is so soft you can rosary link. And also for doing the wrapping around the amethyst that we did on the show on Wednesday as well. Oh, the little, so the, literally yeah. every single one yeah. of these. Yeah. So all of so this necklace here, uh, all of the jump rings can be used from this wire, and the rosary link you can use the point eight. Three pounds ninety nine only for ten meters. You can make your own yeah. jump rings. You can do this technique, which Mark featured on Wednesday show. Wednesday just gone. I'm mm. looking at the stretchy bracelet. The jump rings that are in between the stretchy yeah, bracelet would have absolutely. used this wire as well. Yeah. yeah. So as I said, you can use your gum, you can use your gizmo coil mandrills, or I've got a a two and a half and a four millimeter crochet hook. So yeah. It's just perfect for doing. Yeah. You're, you're wrapping so you don't even need rings, the tool for yeah. the job as such. Mm. Um, okay, limited though in their quantity and always very, very popular. And um, this is your gold colour. And again, if I just show you alongside the memory wire, you can see how perfectly they actually match one another. It's perfect, look. Yeah, perfectly yeah. matching. So you're not going to have... It's, it's, it's funny, isn't it? There's the slightest difference in shade mm. of gold plating makes such... To, with, the, with the end result, mm. yeah, makes absolutely. all the difference. Yeah. So perfectly matches actually your memory wire colour as well. Uh, Three ninety nine only for this jewelry makers. Make sure you snap those up extra quickly. And yeah, it's this that Mark used to create the sweetie style bracelet, um, the jump rings, the jump rings in between the stretchy, and also of course to cage those lovely uh, those lovely beads in that fabulous necklace that and he because demonstrated. Because it is a soft, it is a softer wire. You can hammer this as well. You can texture all your jump rings, all your all your your findings and things. It's lovely. Why, why does uh, so the fluidity of the wire yeah, yeah. matter? Yeah. Uh, because it, it's just, just it's some, sometimes when you take the wire off the reel, it whizzes round and round and round and round. This doesn't, it comes off really smooth and it's really soft. So for me, you've got the strength of the 0.8, but the fluidity and the ease of use of a 0.6. Wow, that's good. Yeah, that's so it's good. really nice. Right, just really one nice. more before we... 
Oh, I actually don't have it here, but we'll bring the uh, gizmo tool. Um, so, yeah, what a gizmo tool creates the most perfect little little coils. You use them to create your own jump rings if you ever run mm -hmm, out. But right. also, they create nice little features, don't like they? Like little tubes, and you can gizmo your gizmo to make flowers. And, and I think um, guest designer Claire uses it to make her... A lot. Um, with her... Um, French wire to do her little chicks and her animals oh, and yeah. things like that as well. But I love it. And this one, you get five mandrels and you also get the clamp to attach your mandrels to, so you get the whole thing. Yeah. It's brilliant. I love this tool. Yeah, so you do, you'd you'd really struggle, actually, unless you've got crochet hooks at home then yeah, yeah. Uh, to create your gizmo coils. Mm. Um, so, Mark, mm. oh, which of these fantastic designs well, are you going to... I'm going to two really simple earrings using the ring memory wire and the bracelet which are really, really, really simple. So first of all, I'm going to show you, um, I've made... I love those earrings. These are really simple as well. It's a nice way of using your, your memory wire as, as, um, as shepherd's hooks in effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one piece of our bracelet memory wire, mm -hmm. and it's the, okay, and you get 14 coils on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my memory wire pliers. I'm going to cut one, one complete round off of that and then what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to find roughly the central part on the other side and I'm just going to start squidging so the, the harder you squidge the smaller your earring will be so I'm going to stop at that sort of size and then what I'm going to do I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to cut either side so I've got that little oval shape like so Okay, and that's your, your first part of your earring. And you want this at this top part this top part here to be nice and curved because that's actually going to go and sit in your ear lobe. So you want it to be nice and so you don't want a you don't want a sharp point. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to finish off our our actual earring part. So we're going to choose one of your beads and we're just gonna simply choose one side to place that on. And then we're going to using our round nose pliers. We're just going to make a simple loop. Now, when I'm doing memory wire bracelets, I tend to bend it in and curl out. So have the loop on the outside, but we want the loop to be on the inside. So I'm just going to go right to the tip of my round nose pliers and the tip of the memory wire, and I'm going to just going to curl in and make a tiniest little loop. And this is more of a feature to stop your bead from falling off in the loop. Okay, so we've got a little eye pin loop on the end. We're going to let the bead sit down and then what we're going to do at the end here is we're just going to flick like you would your shepherd's hook. We're going to flick away and that is your earring. How gorgeous. quick was that? Yeah, it's so gorgeous though. <laughs> so, and if you wanted to, because you've got a loop there, you can, you can hang a little dangle if you wanted to. You can add a, an extra bead, which I've done on the pair that I've made. If I just turn those round, you can see I've made a little loop those. and I've just added... So I've used the dark one in place of the pale I've just shown you, and then I just add a little dongle on the end. But that, that's a root. So you could probably make um, about 20 pairs of those from your bracelet memory wire. Just that's really, unbelievable. Just really, really simple. And then the next one I'll show you, I wanted to use these little rondelles. So I've gone in my stash, and we've got this. this is, these are from the findings pack that we just had. So I'm just going to cut the end. I'm just going to make an eye pin loop. If you have any eye pins in your stash, you can use those as well if you want to. Okay, so we've just got an eye pin loop, like so. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to decorate that using some of the amethyst and some of the... Um, I've, got, I've got some 11.0 gold CPs that, that I've also used as well. So I'm just going to add some little spaces. Ah, I think Liam's just put on some... 11.0 light bronze up on the screen for you there. Then to separate the two amethyst, I'm just going to pop one of these amazing rondelles. They're just beautiful. I love these. We must get some more of these. Yeah, we'll have to report that back to yeah, the team. Yeah, and then another amethyst and then another bead at the top. And then we're going to cut that off to about a centimetre. And then using our round nose pliers, we're just going to make a simple eye pin loop to finish the top off like so. If you wanted to, that could be your earring, but I wanted to incorporate the ring memory wire because we don't, we don't tend to use it very often. So this is, again, is a really simple way of making simple earrings. I'm going to open out the coils and I'm going to cut exactly a coil 
I'm just going to go in with my pliers. So you can see, if I just take that off, you can see that there's about a millimetre gap in between mm -hmm. the two sides. And I'm going to take another one. Let's find the end. So this is a sort of similar way that you'd make your, your wine glass charms. How decadent. Yeah. Well, Gemstone I use the, wine um, glass charms. I use the, the ring memory wire for plant supports in the garden. For, wow, for, that's for, a good idea. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're galvanised, you see, so they won't rust. Or, so they're do you know what? It's probably outside. way cheaper than if you were to it's buy the equivalent cheaper, in the garden centre. A lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of my amethyst. Again, we'll stick with the, with the um, pail. And I'm just going to pop one side in one side of the bead and the other in the other. And then you just give a little, and then you just give a little push, and that keeps it all together. And we'll do the same with the other side. Now, most gemstones you can do this technique with, because the, the drill holes are really nice. You're just going to position, so the two cut ends are in the middle of that gemstone inside. Then I'm going to take my jump ring. I'm going to open that up, and then I'm just going to pick those two up. So I've got the same colour here, but in the other earrings I've made, I've chosen two different colours. And then we're going to place that in the bottom, like so. So you've got those hanging like so. And then we just use our shepherd's hook that you had in your findings pack. And just place that on, like so. And that's your completed. I mean, look how simple that was. You get that really nice movement. You haven't had to do anything faffy with the with no. the memory wire to pop that on. If Adam can just look down here, there's a bracelet that I've made. And I, I've, if I bring that, sorry, I'll bring that out of. So this is the um, this is a bracelet I've made. So contemporary. So it's, it's exactly what I've just shown you with the earrings. So each of those are single memory wire. And before I've closed the closed it up around the bead, I've just interlocked it in between. The, the previous ring on here, and then I've just popped a toggle clasp on the end. Mark, beautiful. And it's really simple. It's a really nice way of using up your, your, your ring memory wire that we don't tend to use very often. Yeah, because it's labelled as ring, bracelet, necklaces, but there's nothing saying that you can't actually no, sort of mix no, them up, particularly not. sort of your bracelets with your earrings and your, That's right. uh, and your rings as, as individual links yeah. as well. But I think, I think using your bracelet as, the, as these shepherd hooks here as you said they're really contemporary yeah you can add little dangles if you wanted to on the end because you're making a loop so that's really nice really nice oh, i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving it these yeah. kits by the way um well firstly they're pr either pretty much sold sold out the rose quartz oh, no. i'll tell you there's eight left eight left of the rows oh, wow. uh, of the rose quartz and the other ones again very very limited so um make sure you check them out there's still 38 of you actually who have it in your basket so good luck to each and every single one of you um thank you mark Pleasure. beautiful jewelry Pleasure. and if you're inspired by mark's incredible talents like we all are um then make sure you're with us from 11 o'clock because we've got some amazing jewelry in your master class that is your kiss cross um liam's been hinting to me saying oh, i might put those on but he ordered have you done it Okay, that's brave. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, and the reason why I say it's brave is because many, uh, particularly with Mark, lots of his kits sell out way, way, way in advance. Um, so that's coming up at eleven o'clock. But right now, jewelry makers, I'm bringing you a showcase of a gemstone that I could most definitely count on one hand mm -hmm. the amount of times I've ever brought to air. Absolutely. Not just here at jewelry maker, no. at Gemporia also. I've only a couple, probably, off the top of my head. We are talking about a gemstone that is completely and utterly natural. And actually, if I was to say, name your black gemstones, most of us, myself included, would completely forget about. Mm. And that is, by the way, an indication of its rarity. Hypersthene is incredibly beautiful often referred to as your velvet labradorite, although it's not mm. the same gemstone. You have beautiful visions of pearly luster coming your way in a showcase of just four strands. Be prepared, because these are utterly divine. Hypersthene is a gemstone consisting uh, of manganese and iron silicate. It is completely natural. 
And the name actually uh, refers to, it's the Greek word uh, for overstrength. Uh, and the reason you might think, okay, why is, why, what's that, why is it referred to as that? Bear with me. Actually, it could be an indication towards the gemstone's hardness, because this is actually much more durable than many other minerals. But actually, when I...